cost the bait. Uh, Mr. Medicare, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm, I'm having a good evening. I hope you're all doing sumptuous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been quite the sumptuous evening, I have to say. Um, okay, so are we ready to... Leaving that to the side for now, are we ready to patch everything in, Gator? Is that is it ready now, or...? Uh, once he unmutes it in here, I think it'll be fine. Okay, I think... Okay, Gator's here now. So... Okay. Now, now is it? Does it work? Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, we can. it works. Yes, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Cool. Okay, everything's fine. All right, cool. Oh. How, how you so doing there? It, how you doing there, Fake Ross? Oh, uh, so it's the Internet Aristocrat himself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just I, I wanted to ask you questions about your good friend David. I mean, we're not good friends. I mean, like I well, he was he must be a good friend. He invited you in across. I mean, I, like, I don't. I, like I don't. Like I don't uh, like I don't like like how like how big of an ego do you have to be to like call yourself the Internet Aristocrat? It's based off a Gilbert Godfrey joke, which is about the most terrible shit you put in between an opening and an ending. It has nothing to do with aristocracy. It's a a reference to horrendous shit, which is what I cover. Usually, furry degenerates or probably people like yourself, incels, virgins with rage, that kind of stuff. Are you there, yeah. Fake Ross? Can you hear me? Like, you're really, like I, I, you, you, you are basically like you act. You, you can have this. Oh, I don't give a fuck about anything a attitude. Yeah, you clearly do care. I mean, you started fucking Gamergate. Well, you know, I mean, I guess if we talk about you know, like comparing causes to believe in, uh, I, I think you could teach me lessons because I haven't threatened to shoot up political gatherings yet. But you and your, but oh, was that a joke? So I'm curious. When your good friend David invited you into Kraut's Discord server, but then disavowed and said he had no relationship with you, and when your good friend David said he doesn't associate and like there's a little division between him and Kraut, was that an entire lie? Why are they hanging out with violent extremists such as yourself that threaten to kill people for their political beliefs? I mean, they had a target list, right? They called it a target list, and here you are hanging out with them threatening to kill people. So what what is that target list exactly about? I mean, could your good friend David explain a little more? It was just it was just like re research like, like watch alt right videos and then like point out like the stupid shit they say. Yeah, you know, like get background information on them, maybe find out where they live, make it easier to hunt them down for you, kind of thing. No, I mean, do you dox people or not, Super Kai? I mean, like I never even. What? Have you? Do you dox people with uh, with no. a shit rat? No. No. no? You, pinky promise? You, you're not lying. Or not? <laughs> was that only? <laughs> no, no. Was that only something? You know, you know, the, the only reason why we came into the, I came into that chat because we we're talking about how Tim Pool has you know how there were how his connections to you know all the alt writers like he was in a photo with people who marched in the Unite the Right rally. Well, how many times have you been uh, hung out with uh, David and Kraut together in Discord? Like, well, no, no, I never. Then David was never in the voice chat. It was just well, Kraut he said he invited you in. Yeah. So if David's not in the call, why would he invite you into Kraut's Discord? How does that make sense? Take your time. <laughs> why are you scared of? Why are you scared of H Bomber guy? I'm I'm not. H Bomber guy's a wonderful individual. We watch Naruto porn PTSD. together. I love him. <laughs> you get, you get, you get, you get PTSD whenever his name is brought up. I, I seem to be doing just fine now. I mean, there's no gaps in you know my speech. I'm not going dead silent like when I ask you about threatening to kill people and hanging out with Kraut and shit rat making an alt right target list. See, that's the silence I'm talking about. You hear that? Like, Crick, you, you, you like contribute like like oh, okay am, am I, am, i'm okay i'm making a book about I'm, I'm writing a book about internet culture and like you're kind of contributing to like the toxic en environment so toxic you know, environment like, you threaten to kill people because you disagree with their politics you fucking sped can you name some of those people on this list that you're doing investigative research on this was like dude i wasn't even involved this was like eight months ago I wasn't even involved with that. 
Is Sherrod helping you with the with the uh, text on this, or <laughs> is he is he co-writing your book? Is he a ghostwriter on it? Is it called Why I Killed Them? <laughs> is that going to be the name of your book? He's just he's just a guy that I follow on Twitter. We don't we're not like best friends or anything. And he invites you into his Discord. Your non best friend, the guy you kind of maybe sort of know, inviting you into other people's Discords, but you don't so, really so talk any, to him. So any so anyone who anyone who you invite to your discord is you automatically I, I don't one. use discord I'm heterosexual I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> so what what's the correlation between using a messenger service and your sexual orientation well take a look at yourself and then ask yourself what are you using and there you go just just why do you have this attitude about oh I you pretend not to give a fuck about anything even though like 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 it's just this like you're you're like you're like the manifestation of like oh hello fellow kids like that's basically you. Well, I mean that's some sick hot banter. I mean that that that's good. I, that's kind of like a skeptic angle, but I've dealt with that. The last guy that used that on me uh, ran away from his weekly programming and quit politics. You might want to choose a different vector for attack. You you, find you, you clearly have a bias uh, bias in favor of the right wing. I, I've never hid the fact that I'm right leaning in my politics. I mean, like, why haven't you made a video on the alt-right? There's a lot of cringy stuff to cover there. Why, why would I ever do something to satisfy somebody who's as retarded as you? Hey, why, why, why do the stuff you do, then? You're obviously satisfying an audience that wants to see cringy stuff on the internet. So why well, not to do I, I like on the alt-right? I, I like to annoy people. I mean, that that's part of the enjoyment I get out of it. And I've noticed that so people, like, like, people like you and Shit Rat and Crowd get really fucking mad when I ignore the things that you want me to talk about. Maybe if you like, idiots had you know, pressed your, your cocks up against my back and kept begging for a JF video and doing dumb shit like that and harping on it daily for months, we I mean, you've, you've created a new term. I mean, you get that, right? It's not troll shielding. You, it's like troll trenching. I, I don't know. Somebody's going to troll moding or whatever they called it. You've begged so much for these people to be a target. You've made them basically bulletproof. JF could go out <laughs> tomorrow and rape retarded toddlers and I wouldn't do a video on them because you've turned me off from ever ever considering it like okay okay I, okay, I don't want to make a moral argument but think about the effect that it would have if you make a video on the alt-right like I, what would the effect be like people people uh, like okay it's no secret that your audience is pretty in favor of the alt-right so and you say you want to cre create controversy so wouldn't it be well, wouldn't you want to see the effect it has within your audience if you make a video on the alt right? Wouldn't you want to intentionally piss off your own audience by by fucking with people that they're just like, like? No, because Jim makes them seem seem like oh he doesn't pander to anyone. So if he truly believed that, it would would he be willing to make a video making fun of the alt right? You know the weird thing is like you bring up why don't you target that? But there's been a lot of shit that I haven't covered that would be right up my alley that I just never got around to, or other people covered it, or I fucking just ignored and moved on to other shit. I mean, look at the situation with Encyclopedia Dramatica and the fucking the owner, you know, the second go around with that shit. That would have been a perfect video. That would have been something you'd expect me to cover. But no, I, he's I back in jail. You, you saw that, right? He, he's back. In yeah, jail yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been keeping yeah. off and on okay. with it and stuff. Okay. But it, it's really weird. Like you, you're you're treating me like I'm some kind of network programming, and you're wondering why I'm not showing the shit in prime time that you want to watch. You're not my fucking audience. We're not similar. We have different senses of humor. I'm not trying to appease somebody like you. You're a retard, and your friends are retards. And I, I don't want to do anything that would make you guys happy. I, does that make sense to you? Just think of it. Was that a thought? Was that words? What was that? Did he have a fucking fit? What was that? People like people hold you. And like it's no see like. Most of your audience is underage, so they're highly impressionable. So oh, there are, the majority, I, I did a poll, yeah, the majority are at least 8 years old to 11 years old, 90% of them. 8, hey, to, okay, 10, I refuse 8 to, to 11 years I refuse, old. I refuse to believe that the majority of your audience are uh, are not underage. Oh I'm no, they're all, they're all preteens, yeah. No, it's a preteen, uh, it's a preteen army that I've been raising. Jim came to my preschool. I did, I recruited him right out of it. He showed me his channel and here I am. Where, where do you think he got the nickname Negro Joe? He used to be Billy. 
Okay, so like we're so like there needs to be momentum built against the alt right. So if you make a video like attacking them, that that'll, what, that'll, what, that'll what, what what are you talking about? Why would a guy that does videos namely you know like mainly focused on laughing at people doing retarded shit or disgusting shit? Why would I need to build momentum against the alt right? Why would the guy that does videos on diaper first need to do a video on the alt right? You started an entire movement from a one-hour video. Like you're talking about Gamergate. That was Monday, Matt. I think we've all come to the conclusion. I mean, like he's taking credit for that. Let's lay that title at his feet. He started Gamergate. If you remember, I left after three months. I said they're all a bunch of faggots, and I quit. Do you remember that, Ross? Or Ross, you there? And it had less to do with the politics and more to do with people fucking with video games. Like, if it, if it was you know, the there, fucking Republican. There, there was genuine harassment coming from the gamer gates. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. This guy. No, no, like the... Like, there was this one girl who, him, who, made, who made a... Who made a tongue? Uh, who made a post mildly cr cr mi just mildly critical of Gamer again, and she got bar barrages of her, her death threats and rape threats. Oh well, you know, so, I mean, life life is like that sometimes. I, you realize you're in a fucking call, right, with the, the guy that runs Kiwi Farms and Ethan. Like, have you seen the shit those two have gotten? I, I haven't heard them threatening to jump off a rooftop because of it. Yeah, I've gotten quite okay, a bit like, that, negative. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean like that kind of be so that automatically makes that kind of behavior acceptable. Yes. Just because just because I, so, just I'll because be the things. first to say it. I deserve all the shit I get and much more. You can handle it. It's it's okay. If you People put yourself out there you and you the get shit, that's what happens. Thing, like, a, lot, a lot of a lot of marginalized people who 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 marginalized like, how how, how do you know the girl that wrote that post was even a a girl if we're talking about gamergate let's talk about the fact that there were like what nine or ten guys running around pretending to be chicks to get nudes and shit on both sides so how do you know a that was a girl two how do okay, you no, know no. they were marginalized even right even oh, no even even uh, even uh, even, uh, even then was even, even who was it what was their name let, okay, let's Let's say let's a post mild a, a post mildly critical of Gamergate. Like the reaction was still real. What do you mean the reaction? I'm saying how do you know it wasn't somebody stirring shit up? No, no, no I'm, not, I'm just talking about in general, like on the internet, the way we treat each other on the internet. It's just terrible. the real reaction to the fake person is what you want to protect fake people from. No, no, it's just like okay, no, okay, no. I'm, I'm we're, I've, I've moved on to that. Right now, I'm talking about the like in, in a general sense how we treat each other on the internet. It's just terrible. Who cares? Plus, you're not the best messenger for this, are you, Ross? That's what. Yeah, like no thing. Like people, like marginalized people, would be rejected from society. Like the internet is their only. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so far, this isn't Christ. the handmade tale, dude. What are you talking about? Marginalized people are being rejected from society. I mean, that sounds like a great talking point some sociologist in fucking your intro class told you, and now you're parroting it like it has some fucking meaning. But what do you what do you mean marginalized? Who's getting marginalized? Who's getting attacked? Okay, How? Okay, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Do transgender people face uh, face problems that you won't face? Yeah, because they choose to chop their dicks off and call themselves Susan. They right. were always they were always they dude they were always well, females. <laughs> were they? Was it a feminine? <laughs> was it? The twin. We had this conversation in Voight before before we got on there, and he has a friend that is transgender, and he takes particular issue with the number of transgender threads that we have on the on the forum. Uh, Ross, can you explain to me how it is somebody like Iron Liz, right, seems just fine with banter, can handle it just fine, can take a heap of shit and deal with it with no issue. But you talk about marginalized people, you try to lump them all together and act like, oh okay, my god, every, every tranny's gonna fall apart if you tell a, a fucking pronoun joke. Iron Liz okay, doesn't for, give a for, shit. For, for, one, for, one, for, for, one, for one transgender person that's okay with it, Ken have committed suicide due to relentless bullying. Or, or maybe they committed suicide because after they transitioned and lopped their genitals off, they realized, I have made a fucking <laughs> critical mistake. <laughs> There's tons of literature proving that many people feel that way. Yes. Do you think that subtle attitude towards transgenders has nothing to do with it? No. 
If anything, the society is set up, especially in the United States, to make sure that transgender people have everything they could ever ask for. And the only thing that it can't protect them from is they're, they're, they're people who are mean. They're, but they're, they're, that, their, surgery still not, their surgery is still not covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you know, that's 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 good good to pay for people to chop their dicks off. Is that what you're saying? I, I think that's where he's going with it. Like, I've always been, I, when I first met you, Fake Ross, I was convinced you were just trolling around. Um, but, and then I thought, okay, maybe it's like a deep cover troll, but I, you're, you're real, you're like legit autistic, right? Yeah. Like, like mild, like mild, I, I was mild ass, but like, it's not mild, buddy. You said earlier that you have severe autism. No, no, someone said, so someone said, no, uh, you, that was you said that. I said I had crippling autism. That doesn't matter. There's the truth. And you said it was developed because your adoptive parents have buyer's remorse. And what? You have a problem. You said this in a voice chat with me. Yeah, yeah, my, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my parents. My... Your, par your, your adoptive, adoptive parents, parents have buyer's remorse. Wow, that is beautiful. Did you come up with that or did they tell you that? Well, he's Indian and they're Mexican. Oh, where do you shit, Ross? <laughs> you worked that one out. You wipe with the left or right hand. I use I use a toilet paper like you. <laughs> what you, hand do you use? Yeah, do you use your feet when you're using the toilet paper? He's asking which hand, buddy. Okay, okay, now, okay, now you're Indian. Okay, a bunch of incels are asking me about how I wipe. You're a you said you're a brain. virgin. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> You've confirmed to them that you're an incel. <laughs> You're like the you're like the uh, Mr. Medicare is like the arch in the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the arch in <laughs> the arch arch incel. I that's like that. that's a new title I'm going with. Yeah. You know, Ross, there's only one person in this call that finger banged the chick on stream and you're talking to him. So I don't know if you could really lob out the incel argument against me. I, I've done basically the, live the, the, pornography on YouTube. I think I've so, one so, up so, you in this. The whole, the, the whole, the whole you carved in your anime pillow. That counts. Well, that anime pillow did make quite a few squeaking noises. That's why Ralph finds it so sumptuous. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, see, Kai, we could make fun of Ralph without him killing himself. Isn't that great? <laughs> Ralph, do you need a do you need a do you need a hug? No, I'll, okay, I'll, buddy. I'll, are you gonna make it through right, this? I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Are you, right. you looking valley? Are you looking valley? Ralph? Right Somehow I'll make it through. Yeah. Are we? Are we what? Are we invalidating? Wait, what? We're invalidating your lived experience. You woman. <laughs> We're here for your transition, Ralph. It's okay, Ralph Athena. We all support you in this beautiful new stage in your life. <sighs> Ralph Afina, were you aware that uh, <laughs> that that HMOs don't want to cover you chopping your balls off? They think it might be a little crazy. I know Maybe it's crazy. Maybe they great. don't think that's medically necessary. Yeah, shock. We'll all yeah. pay for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, does your friend by any chance have uh, is pre-operation but she does want the operation? Yeah, she's pre-op. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you, just as a as a human being, as a friend that, that's just met you, don't don't let them get that fucking surgery because they will kill themselves. It's it's the worst fucking thing. It it's, is the worst fucking flip. thing. Yeah, he's right. It's a coin flip, man. I mean, it's fifty fifty basically. You get that? I right, mean, like, this like if you if you you know push them forward in their delusions. Uh, and they're not they're not uh, as strong willed as some people. It, they're gonna fucking off themselves in probably like a year. And the information is biased. The resources out there about the surgery are fucking lopsided, heavily in favor of it. And people do not get the correct information about the drawbacks of cutting off a part of your body and f funneling a hole into your pelvis. It is not just don't let them don't. That's why it's not covered because it's not only like people who have the surgery are more likely to attempt to commit suicide than people who haven't had the surgery. So oh, the, the, shit. The, it, it's you, like, yeah, it's like 45% before 55% after the fucking treatment is worse than the disease. Don't no, no, get no, no, the, no, fucking the, uh, surgery. the chat is asking. I, I don't think we even asked this. 
uh, fake Ross, is your friend who's going to be transitioning? Is it David? I uh, know. <laughs> that's, quick, that's the quickest you've answered to anything. That all was night, a real like, fast answer. Wow. Is, is David is David Amer is David American? I don't know what the fuck he is. Oh, he's British, isn't he? I believe so. Yeah. 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 He's a British gypsy. I don't know. I just, I just thought it was interesting that you've taken so much time to answer every single question, and then that was just split. That down, was that was a second. hard, fast fucking. That's a rehearsed no. That's what that was. Now, now are, maybe, are sure? maybe we just don't know David's female name yet. Maybe that's what it is. That's why he was able to answer no real quick. What's David's what female is, name? Fake Ross. David is his dead name. We can't use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's another thing about Kiwi Farms. Why do you always like when when well, you articles know, about? I, I've shown myself to be a tolerant person. If you want to tell me more about this transgender person, and if it is David, I will I will welcome them and their new name with open arms. Uh, it's not. Davida. Davida. That's such a weird it's, one to go with. Probably Dana. Is David American? Is David American? Why do you keep asking? Is your transgender friend American? Yes. yes. Okay, so who British. in the who in the shit rat Discord would be American? Let's let's go through the list. Is it your fat Taku? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he dude, played the camera dude. lady. Now he wants to be dude, the camera dude. lady. Uh, dude, short, Laval. Short, short, short fat short Taku is like an MRA troll. So who is it? <laughs> what she doesn't she's not she doesn't have an internet personality. What? Okay. But if they're if they are your internet friend, how would they not I have an like, internet personality? You know what I mean? Like they're not a public figure. What? So they they exist privately on the internet. That's a new one. I mean, is it is it like a skeptic? Are they also like a skeptic like you, Super Guy? What? I'm not a skeptic. Yes, you are. Like, yes, you I, are. I, 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 I value skepticism, but I, like if you're talking about like the reactionary, the reactionary community on YouTube, then no. Who who do you watch on YouTube? I'm actually I, I don't think I've ever asked you this. Like what who yeah, do you, you watch? Know, what what stuff do you watch on YouTube? Uh, uh, three arrows. Look, what um, else? Uh, contrapoints. Uh, philosophy tube. Uh, uh Peter Coffin. Uh, H bomber guy. You watch Peter Coffin. Uh, now, how do you refer to Peter's um, significant other? Uh, do you use Lindsay the proper Ellis. pronouns? Uh, do you use the the proper pronouns for Peter's significant other when referring to them as a blow up doll or a real person? How does that work? Okay, you know what? No, I don't think he knows the deep lore on Peter. Oh, Coffin's you don't know the deep lore about Peter's special girl that he bought at Costco. Uh, he just makes he makes good he makes good videos on cultivation theories. No, what about his girl? I don't know. I don't know about his girlfriend. You don't know about Mandy the mannequin? No. Oh, I don't believe you. I don't think I believe you. I mean, I that was a while ago. That was a few years ago now. I just I, I just like his videos on cultivation theory. By the way, Prince Hubris is in the chat, and he said that. Uh... Fake Ross doxed him for for going after someone. Oh, oh no no he bullied, busted. He bullied, he bullied, busted. He bullied my friend. He Ooh. bullied my friend. He bullied my friend off Twitter. Let it be known. Let it be known. Uh, speaking yeah. speaking of yeah, Prince Hubris, get rat and crowd associate doxes and threatens to kill people. I didn't. Just want to put I it didn't. out. There. All right, here we go. Hubris himself. You can. Oh you can. yes, thank you. Yes. Oh, hey, what, 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 did you. what what did she do to you though? Like she, she didn't. Well, well, first of all, dumbass. Uh, I didn't dox her. I just retweeted something that had her dox in it, which you was tweeted from her own personal YouTube channel when she was like in fucking high school or something. So it wasn't her actual dox. You called her. You called. You called her. You called her sexy when she was in high school. Like you're a fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I would never do such a thing. Have you watched that video? She's not anything close to sexy. But go off. Continue. Okay, like. Like, um, and you, 
Continue. Literally, I'm waiting. I, 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 have, I have a tweet from you where you said pedophilia, okay, is, not, show pedophilia it. is not increasing. Kids are just getting sexier. That's a tweet. <laughs> 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 that's a literal that's a that's a tweet that you wrote yeah i know and if you if you don't see the irony in it you're a fucking retard but continue <laughs> like it, it, how, would, how would you react if like a left-wing person said that or, i or, wouldn't i i wouldn't because i understand humor a left-wing person would never make that fucking nuanced joke ever Oh yeah, like a joke. Did, a did, joke did, about, did you get? Did money. you did? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, asshole. Listen, asshole. Did you get the uh, screen cap of me uh, doing the NBC tweet of like me showering with my sister or whatever? No, 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 no you didn't. Because I don't have a sister, which is what makes it funny. Like the whole NPC meme is a fucking tr- is is a is a bad joke. But the the most absurd way you can take it is hilarious, and that that's the same thing with the tweet you mentioned. Like, oh, there's not more pedophiles; kids are just getting sexier. But I'm glad I'm on the air because, uh, oh, I have a lot of pedophiles to expose. Actually, this is uh, this is, is good. it. Super Kai sixty four. Do we? Have, is there a pedophile in the room that we should know about? Not here. Probably not here. But um, there there was a Kiwi Farms thread that led me to digging, and uh, I got like I know I've got enough for for at least an hour of content, depending on how long you guys want to go. No, no, wait. Let me ask you, what did what did Fake Ross do to you? I, w- I want to keep it to Fake Ross. We can always talk about that. Oh, he, any, anytime I made a new account, he would get mad at me uh, for saying that I dox his friend Olive. Um, and if I really wanted to dox her, I would. But uh, her friend, his friend Olive, which I didn't do, which ironically, uh, the, this guy named Zero doxed her. Totally. And, and leaked. Just... No, no, you don't. No, you can't interrupt. Uh, this guy named Zero uh, leaked her old YouTube from when she was in high school, and she did some cringy sonnet. She's she's highly autistic. Highly autistic. She can't even. Uh, do a full sentence, let alone a stanza, without you called, stuttering you, out. You called her a roasty. Okay, what's your point? Like there is well, none. Okay, is, let is me continue. Olive, then. Is Olive but, the but, transgender yeah, person? No, no, no. Olive, Olive, I mean, I don't know. Are they transgender? I don't really care. So Olive, the, the person that's that supposed too, to be doxed, uh, I retweeted a tweet from this guy. That ended up uh, actually doxing my family and myself for going after other trannies. Uh, it, his name is Zero. He's known as O or Zero or yeah O A C V on Twitter. And uh, if you look at him now, that person at O A C V on Twitter. Uh, him and Olive are both mutuals. There, the, the, she has humid hollow and coherent states. All right, Hubert, look, I'm gonna bring not. you. I'm gonna bring you back in because I'm trying to keep it to fake raw stuff. Like it's kind of getting off, like off. Uh, if you're just reading the fucking shit off my forum, I assure you it'll be there after this conversation. Then. I don't know what your forum is, dude. It's the Kiwi Farm. He you owns fucking Kiwi moron. Farms. Yeah, he owns Kiwi Farms. Yeah. He okay. runs Kiwi. He runs Kiwi uh, 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 no, no, you you can keep me here. I'll uh, I'll I'll. Uh, I'll be quiet. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Um. Is 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 Fake Ross still alive? I see he's muted now. Or oh, maybe he's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The cops are right there now. I don't they know. found him. No, no, he he's does dilating. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you done dilating, Ross? Did you? Well, did you dox this guy, uh, Ross? You did you dox Hubris? I know, I know a guy that he retweeted doxed him. No, no, you dox me. Your account has since been suspended. No, I got suspended for a different reason. Threatening <laughs> <laughs> to kill people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll. That's a good way to get. Suspended. Oh, so, so just so we can sum up, right? Yes. Ross, fake Ross, Mister. I want everybody to be nice on the internet. 
you dox hubris, you threaten to kill a bunch of people that you politically disagree with, you hang out with shit rat and that crowd making target lists of the alt right in Discord all day. Who are you fooling with your bullshit? What do you want to be nice and hugs and kisses and Can fucking the, rainbows and shit? Like, would you say the stuff you say on the internet to a person in real life? Yes. Would I call you a faggot in real life? Yes, absolutely, I would. Where can I say this to you in real life, Ross? <laughs> what state? Can you give us a state? Yeah. I can't reveal my information. I'll I'll give, go there. Give, give us a time zone. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> A hero. Now, let me ask you this, Ross: Are, are the are the FBI? Have they have they contacted you, or they have they talked to you about your Secret Service, perhaps uh, about your about your tweet? There, I know, or? I know. Uh, there's like nothing, like literally nothing. I mean, because I have a hard time believing that because it was all over the media, like not just the conservative Did media. You say, it was in, I believe that the Secret Service contacted you. And was. Uh, no. I uh, know, uh, like, there's nothing like that happened. Where where did the lies end, Ross? Did it happen or not? Why are you telling him it did if it didn't? I didn't. Why are you laughing when you say you didn't? You're lying. No, I said I said something like the Secret Service said investigate Huey Farms. I didn't say anything about me. Why wouldn't the Secret Service investigate the forum? Because you're dead naming trannies. <laughs> <laughs> We need the White House on this now. Unless fucking like Milani is a tranny, I don't think the Secret Service would get involved. You know, I think this whole like internet thing is like I think it's a perfect example of capitalist alienation. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, th more buzzwords, please. You know what? Actually, I want you to define that for me, Fake Ross. Tell us what that means. Like we're forced, we're forced to compete to each other for like on, on the interests of the capitalists. So we're we're alienated from what we produce. No, I mean, like, at, no asshole. You don't compete for you don't how produce, you how you capital. You don't compete for through capitalism. You don't you compete produce through what you produce. You work at a call That's center, what capitalism money. is. Yeah, I, I I lose money hosting. Work, 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 it would be, it's like, against work, my interest to host work, the forum workers, capitalistically. Work. Workers have no ha, have no say in how you're not a worker. Problem. You're a call center person. You put <laughs> You're a fucking pedophile. <laughs> is what you are, asshole. Actually, fake Ross. Do you work? He's a no, call center. Definitely he's not. There's no fucking way this dude works on a fucking telephone. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you give us your sales pitch? <laughs> I want to hear what it sounds like when you call some poor unfortunate fucker up and try to have a quick conversation. Yeah, you're not too quick on the draw. I think you have to be a little, little sharper than that, maybe to, to do the call center. Thing. Maybe you start with hello. Yeah, I my internet's broken. Uh, how do I, how do I get back on the internet? Uh, uh, I, I uh, have, I, I, I have worked, but I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> Rising. Uh, so you're, you're, you're not only okay. So, so far you've confirmed for us that you're a virgin with rage and you're unemployed. Currently, currently unemployed. Currently, a virgin with rage and unemployed. I, I have worked in the past, but you've never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> you have fucking silence every time. I mean, just Would you have sex with a tranny with your tranny friend, Super Kai. Jeez, Is that what's going on here? Are you trying to get your friend to transition so you can fuck their front hole? <laughs> well, that's right. Never mind. They're a lesbian. All fucking. In no, wait, wait, wait. Are, are just wait, lesbian. wait, wait. There's no, there's no shame here, fake Ross. Just, I mean, just submit it if it's. If, if I mean, would you, Ross, if you, if Ross. if she wasn't a lesbian, would you hit that front hole, Ross? You could just take some HRT and then hit that. You could be. Yeah, woman. you could be trans too, and then you could have lesbian sex. No, it's, it's my understanding that That'd you already, straight. it's you already said this in in private conversation, right? That you were a virgin. Yeah, I'm mean, so so is like ninety percent of the alt right. So you you're confirming that it's not. So ten percent of them get more pussy than you is what you're telling us. 
right? Is that how the math works out? I mean, you're the one that knows all these great capitalistic theories. You must be a wizard at fucking economics and mathematics. Thank Rossi there. Okay, okay. Watch ContraPoint's videos about what's wrong with capitalism. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a yes, and that's a yes to banging your tranny friend. Yeah, just to wind it back. I mean, are you if if they weren't a lesbian, would you be interested in them, fake Ross? What was okay? He muted himself. Something started playing, and he muted oh. himself. What, he was, I think, I think it's this, uh, I I <laughs> I hope not. I really hope a grown man didn't pick that out. Is this fucking ringtone? <laughs> what the fuck was it? I don't it know. sounded like a lullaby. It sounded like a fucking lullaby play from it's, his phone. To me, it sounded like like an old school Soviet communist song. Yeah, no, that's what I thought that's too. At I first, like too. propaganda tense. What are you playing there? What's your ringtone, Ross? Ross. Did David uh, you, call you? You know, you know the song. You know the song. You know the song. Katyusha. No. Okay. No, I'm not it's is it the Panzer und Girls uh, Katusha cover, or is there, whatever the fuck it is? It's a Russian folk song. Yeah, we got the call center. Russian, Russian folk song. That's pretty fucking gay, to be honest. Oh. I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed that I know what it is, but so you got what is that? An ode to communism or something you got on your phone there? What is it? How do you even have a phone, <laughs> by the way, if you don't have a fucking job? Like, how are you paying for your phone? He says he doesn't take any any welfare or anything. So no welfare, no job. How do you? How does that phone have a ringtone? How does it have battery life? You're an adult, right? So how are you paying for your shit, fake Ross? How old are you? Let's start with that. How old are you? None of your are, business. I'm are you, young. But. Are you okay? Am I grooming you? Are we a preteen, a teenager, or are you an adult? Can you at least say that? Are you an adult? Uh, late teens. That's are not you, an answer. Are you or not? Yeah, are you an adult or no? Legally, yeah. What do you what legally? <laughs> Wait, mentally you're not? Well, <laughs> I mean, like, that's that's the big debate going on now. Well, he did say it's crippling uh, autism. Like, so you're nineteen okay, and um, late teens, you're an adult. Or I mean I guess well, you could be what, eighteen no. too, but Ralph. Just, yeah, just for nineteen. Ralph, you need yes. to pull up what I just sent you on your Discord DMs. <laughs> <laughs> It's right. very pertinent to this stream. I just posted it in the side chat. <laughs> okay, let me pull this out. Let me see. I always have to screen yours first, Negro Joe. No telling what you'll you'll be sending me. Oh, do you get no. any kind what? of assistance? Did you or do you? Oh no! What is this? <laughs> oh, well, put no. it on stream. I, I want to see what this is. It's super kind. Yeah. It's, it's a quote uh, from uh, September the twenty third, twenty eighteen, which is what uh, eight days ago or so. How do I get out? Uh, and then the next one that is in big letters says, I will never post scat porn again. Can I leave the gulag, please? <laughs> is, that from, is that from, wait, wait, the gulag? Is it from, the gulag is it from crowd crowds. server? We found this in the, in his discord. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, I'm, I'm loving this. All right, so just so I got this clear, you're an unemployed virgin with rage that loves communism. You're an adult, have no income, but you have a phone and a computer and the internet. And you post scat porn with your buddies, David Shitrat and Crowd. Oh, and you threaten to shoot people you politically disagree with. What do you have to say, Ross? Uh, you're a loser that spends a lot of money. Oh, like you know, TV shit. I, 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 would say, <laughs> I would say, why should I do a video on the alt right? Why don't I do a video on you? You sound like somebody I would cover in a video, Ross. Dude, I'm, I'm my least interesting person. Like, well, what would, what would that? How would that be like? Oh, this guy just copped on stream and just talked about what? What would I? What would I talk about? How about the guy that likes scat porn, threatening to kill alt writers because of his virgin rage and love of communism? He, he's an Indian into scat porn. <laughs> 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 oh shit! This what? is the, the poo uprising. Now, why did you? Up. Why did you post that, Ross? What was? It was a joke. Okay. What, How did you get in the gulag? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it totally was a joke, guys. And did they and did they let you out of the gulag? Yeah. Oh, so how so did you they, get in? They, there? Yeah. You have to be. 
You have to be put in there, Ross. Did you actually yeah. post it? Yeah, yeah, I posted scat porn, and then I got put in the gulag, and then I got it out. Who called in a favor to get you out? Was that uh, Sherrod himself, or? Uh, crowd, crowd himself came. Oh, crowd. oh, crowd! So crowd, crowd himself. Crowd oh. Wow. When it came to porn. Okay, even better. <laughs> Crowd said, I am not going to let this man stay in prison with his love of poop. He's got to come back into the main Discord. Hey, it's just culture. Hey, 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 Jim, if you want a video idea, how about Richard Spencer advocating child porn? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it did I, Richard... I, already, I already did that on the Weekly Sweat, actually, and, and not too many people care. So <laughs> try, okay. try, try harder. R- Ross, did, people... did Richard Spencer post about his love of shit porn? On a, a, a Discord with a hit list after threatening to kill people that are politically different than him, like you is that did. Worse than pit- is that is that worse than pedophilia? Well, I don't know. Yeah. So far, we found out you've doxed yes, people, you threaten to kill people, you're into shit porn, you hang out with people that have target lists. Like, I'm more curious now. Like, you don't work and you don't date. What the fuck do you do all day? What does your day consist of? When you wake up and go to bed, like, what's in between those two things? What do you do all day? I mean, I'm I'm working on, um, I, okay, I play video games, and I'm also working on a book. <laughs> Yo, video games and a book. <laughs> Your book has one sentence in it. <laughs> Your book has one sentence in it, Ross. Who's going to be in the book, Ross? No, no, no it doesn't. You read one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we were in VoIP, I asked him to read some of his book, too. I asked the same question. He did the same exact sentence, word for and he, word. And then he said, that's all I have so far. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You're such a liar. You told me to read the first part of your book. And then you said, that's it. No, I didn't. I said, <laughs> yeah, you wrote. Well, you read one sentence, and then you said, Can you re- Read it. a second sentence, then, motherfucker. <laughs> read a different sentence. I'm uh, dying I'm to hear it. I, I want to really, hear it. I want to hear it. Yeah. We all do. We really yeah. want to hear Dude. this. Just give us a little taste. He's writing it right this fucking second. <laughs> He's writing <laughs> that second sentence. Bolts of sweat fucking running down his face. Just, just, just a little. Are sample. you interested in purchasing my book? I yeah. will buy your fucking book. <laughs> no, no, you won't. That's capitalist. We're communists. You'll give it to us. Oh, that's right. That's right. You need to share it. You need to share your your manifesto with the proletariat so we can be enlightened with your your fucking fucking disgusting right bourgeoisie motherfucker. You're gonna give it to us. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's the definition? Do you even know what the definition of bourgeoisie is? No. What's the definition? You're the communist expert. Tell me. Uh, people, the people that their relations to the modes of production as rather the, the proletariat who are the forces of the modes of production. Wow, really then I guess I used it correctly, huh, retard? No, no like the way people use bourgeoisie. Did, you know, did I know, use people, it correctly, idiot? Yeah. You, you use it in a way it's like, oh, like, did I use it correctly, now, Ross? No, yeah. no, 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 no. I, 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 are you producing the book or no? Is it? Is it? You're the. You're the. You're the owner of it. Yes. Yes, but I'm the I'm the forces of the book, so I'm the, the forces. The forces, yeah. What do you mean by forces, Ross? You need to go watch more contrapoints videos so you can get this shit in order before you come back here and talk about communism with us. Yeah, I wonder how your friends in the crowd Discord are gonna gonna take your appearance tonight. Uh, your tranny friend might even disavow you after this one. Ross, what kind of porn are you into? Are you really into scat? I don't. I don't watch. I don't watch porn. Why not? Uh, I'm. I'm, a, I'm asexual. Are you a fucking sponge? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true, Ross. I'm calling. I'm calling your shit. I don't think you are. Because unless you're fucking spayed and neutered. I get the feeling you want to hunt no, something. Earlier else. when we were asking you if you're a virgin and you said yes, but only for now. So you te- that must mean in the future you plan on not being a virgin. I got your eyes on a nice little piece of tail there. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Is it David? The... Why would I tell you her name? Because we're out for, oh, for did you just friends. gender your future lover? What? You said her. You can't misgender them. You're marginalizing them, Ross. This is how people end up killing themselves. 
Wait, it's actually it's actually um, David Sherratt for real? Use his pronouns correctly next time. What do you like about David? Just tell us what you like about him. Well, I'm not even... It's not like I'm best friend. He's just a guy I follow on Twitter. Mm. I'm sensing some sexual tension. Yeah, <laughs> you, just, you just follow him, but he invites you into discords. And then any back rubs involved, mm. Ross? Slot up in those DMs. Yeah, you, yeah, you just slot up in the DMs and start sharing the poo porn. Sending some outlines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. I'm 50-50 on this guy. Let me pull the room. Do you think he's legitimately autistic like this, or is this just like the really dedicated troll persona? He exasperates some things because when the, I think we were both, I think he's we, like a super autist, autistic. but he thinks he's trolling. Yeah. Give me some background in the VoIP. He was claiming he had hacked the forum and had an admin account and could take down any post and any thread at any time. And if you'd ask him how, you know, he would dodge it like he does, and he would sometimes laugh awkwardly. And that kind of gave me the sneaking suspicion that he was bullshitting and knowingly bullshitting. So I think he he is like an awkward weirdo. He probably does have some weird ideological things going on. But when it comes to like talking to people, he just plays shit up for laughs. Also, let's it, ask let's ask the chat. Okay, I, want, I want to see if you would actually believe me if I said, "Oh, I'm the ad, I'm, the, I'm an admin at TV." Let's let's ask the chat. Press one for complete autist. Press two for for troll, maybe a little autist, little autism. Uh, yeah, number three would be a mix of both. <laughs> yeah, 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 three for a mix. Yeah, okay. Ross, yeah, do you get your money from? Do you get your money from Social Security disability for being severely retarded? What? No. Yeah, do you get any social? I mean, social security stuff. That's that's within the communist lines, right? Nothing Redistribution of wealth. You're into that. Do you get any any social security disability? It's, it's you know we're friends here. No. So who? I mean, who pays for stuff? Like, if I could get a government assistance, I'd take it. Is it? Is your mom? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I live. I live with my. With your what? You cut out. Sorry. Yeah, I live with my parents. Do you have any plans to change that? No. Well, I mean, it's difficult to get housing, so we're uh, yeah, yeah, actually, Fig Ross, I, I'm, 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 well, I'm kind of curious, like, uh, websites that you use. Do you, do you, have you ever been on a forum called Face Punch? Because you seem like the type that would probably fit in there. Uh, no, I never heard of it. What, what forums do you use? Uh, I'm not really a forum kind of guy, like, uh, sometimes I use Reddit, but, like, you know, Reddit is, like, fucking mm -hmm. full of, you know, yeah. Like I like I'm, I I only I only go on Reddit Checks for like out. specific subreddits. Checks like what? Out. Like the poop porn? R slash scat. I don't know how do you, how do you judge this? So uh, Josh, say he is an autistic troll. Which which do you which takes priority on that? Autism for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, autism because it is—it's a thing where it's uh, like if he wasn't doing this, he'd be playing fucking Fortnite and losing. So you know, this is more fun than that because it, again, I think he's very socially isolated. So this fills up the social social meter, like on his stat bar. Just I lean much on. more heavily towards just an autistic leftist. I mean, you see, they all let him back in their Discord and let him hang around. I mean, obviously, they don't think he's a complete troll, or they wouldn't. Oh, no, I'm, I'm actually, I actually am concerned about like you know, internet. Uh, like, I want to. I, I believe that internet culture, like the way we, it needs to be reformed. Like, to, so what, your to what end? Yes, I mean, what, what, what's what goal are you are you going for? Reformed how? To what what do you want the end state to be? I mean, we should, yeah. we should we should we should we should interact online the same way we interact in real life. Is that your only objective? Like, like look look like I can interact with a person from the other side of the world. Yet most people just abuse this privilege. Like, I would call you a faggot to your face. It's not yeah, a privilege. Sure. It's a service. What do you What do you mean privilege? Like the like. like I can pick up money. my telephone, yeah. call somebody in India, and call him a faggot. The telephone company doesn't cry about it. So wh why is the internet different? Like communicating like the across internet, the world like, makes it special somehow. Like the concept of an internet is supposed to like change like the human like humanity. Like think think about we have at libraries of information just on our uh, just on the palm of our hands so, we've had libraries forever ross they've existed in cities for uh, hundreds of years <laughs> thousands of years it's not 
It's not special. We've always had information at our fingertips. It's just a little closer. Oh, you have to roll out of bed a little less. Yeah, but this yeah, was no. taking place at like a coffee shop, and we were all gathered around drinking coffee at a table. I'm pretty sure this conversation would be going almost identical to how it's going right now. I don't think this medium changes how we talk to you. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it'd be dead on what we're talking about. Yeah. I don't think I'd talk to this just, guy in public. It just, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. it just feels like internet culture encourages sociopathy. Oh, pulling out those big buck words. It's like, it's like just. Uh, so, okay. Look, he asked you, what would your, what social change do you want to see? And the only answer you've given thus far is that you want online interaction to be sanitized. Do you have anything else that you care about besides people being nice to you online? You mean, you mean like, you mean like, what, what do you mean? Anything, anything. literally anything. anything. You said you yeah, don't like yeah. the way the internet is. I support, I support Medicare for. I... Should the transgender surgery be covered under Medicare for all? Yes. <laughs> There's another quick answer there. Why is it a problem? <laughs> I think I think this guy could run in fucking Massachusetts for Congress. He's got the same exact fucking <laughs> platform as Brianna Wu. He wants the internet to be nice and he wants free sex change operations. This is perfect. <laughs> also, it's clear this tranny has, has promised to fuck you, right? Is that is that why you're so like up in arms she, about dude, it? She's a, she's, a, she's a lesbian. Why would she? Oh, okay. Well, I, I mean, let's be fair here. You're not striking us as much of a man, so I mean, maybe. <laughs> Maybe she's getting mixed signals. Are you going to be the first one to break her in? He wants to get that tranny fanny. Maybe he could pull the, yeah, old, okay. the old double well, switch why, and he could why, he could transition yeah, as well. Gosh, do you want that is it, is it hard to see trans? Why do you have to? Why do you have to use more? Ro uh, okay, fake Ross. Honest question: Do you want to be her stand-in dilation station? What? No. <laughs> do you want to pull out the hairballs? <sighs> No, you be know? honest. Be honest. Would you? Would you want? If you could, if you could have consensual sexual relationships with this transgendered person that you're friends with, would you? Okay, now, okay. A bunch of Nazi incels are fucking asking me about fucking. You know, yes, I am asking you as a Nazi incel, motherfucker. Would you fuck this tranny? No. Why not? I don't think. Her Isn't she enough way. of a woman for you? Yeah. You what do you got against it. trannies? Yeah. Sexist. You're saying she's not a woman? You're a trans misogynist. I'm fucking disgusted with you right now. You're marginalizing her. Hairballs are natural, Ross. You're going to pick them out with your teeth, Ross. Use your tongue. Dig deep. <laughs> <laughs> Make her feel like a real woman. That's what you want to do, right? Like, Okay, I have a question for medical. It's like, is this how you act in real life? Like... Yes, absolutely. This is absolutely how I act in real life. So no, nobody calls you out on your behavior. Did no one call you like a fucking autistic faggot in real life before? Uh, no. Because I don't believe that. That's surprising. Do you go outside? How? Okay. On average, how many times per week do you have a conversation with another person that you were not related to? Okay, does online count? No. 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 <laughs> it's the opposite of counting. Uh, yeah, I interact with people on fair, like fairly regular. Like, and it doesn't count number. like I'm going like, to the convenience store and, and buying your yeah, no. Pajit snacks. Sitting down and having a conversation like we're having right now, face to face with another person on average per week. How often does that happen? Okay, maybe like, maybe like once every couple of weeks, I guess. So twice a month you talk to a human being face to face. Okay, like I, I mean, Kate, you, you said you don't count short conversation. No, no, no casual interactions. Like, yeah. can I have can I have fries? Like that doesn't count. You're talking like, and it can't be your parents. If you're, like full conversations, and that's like twice. Yeah, twice a month. Like three, maybe three times a month. So how do you know what a real conversation is like when you're telling us that the internet needs to be like real life when you don't talk to people? Oh wait! Okay, no, the, 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 more images. No, the way ahead, people treat our like the. Huh. No, c continue. I didn't mean to cut you off. I've just been handed some new material, so that's why. Oh, did you find his uh, forum that he <laughs> that he frequents? He's Reddit. Yeah, this is this is him and uh, and Kraut's Discord. Kraut, I got a new one. He's linking to an Aiden Paladin tweet. This is disturbing. Linking to another Aiden Paladin tweet, and then here. 
Here's another one. Uh, let's see. This Are you one... obsessed with Aiden Paladin? Is this she one... your girlfriend that you're talking about? She's a bitch. <laughs> this now wait. <laughs> you wouldn't dilate her is what you're saying to us, buddy. Her her username was literally crypto fascist. You got a problem with that? Here's another quote from him on September the 10th. It says apparently Medicare and H Bomber guy have a history <laughs> going back ten years. This dude's a you, real you internet just, sleuth. You just figured that out? Wow, wow, it's stellar detective work. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you, Ross, if you're curious. Um, H Bomber guy and I knew each other from a forum we both frequented. Uh, we yeah, no, medic- maybe maybe people. about seven or eight times. I uh, did a voiceover, a commentary on Naruto porn. I'm really not joking about that. Made fun of Armic Twenty One. And uh, did some DCQC articles, and that w- that was about the extent of it. And then, then another comment. He says, "I can't talk in voice chat. Do you guys think Mr. Medicare had malicious intent, or is he really gullible?" That was the uh, end of the. Oh, answer. malicious intent! What are we talking about, Ross? What did I do that was so naughty on the tenth? Uh, you accused Monday Matt of being a pedophile. When did I accuse Monday Matt of being a pedophile? Oh, because he held a chick up at knife point and tried to make her kiss him behind a shirt? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking retard? Really? Ross, if I held a knife against your throat and demanded that you sexually interact with me, what would you call that? For what? Play. Did, For him. You, no, you never said that. You said that. That, was, that was what he was accused of. We were watching yes. a video Don't where you. he talked about holding a girl up at knife point. Ross, don't you believe accusers? Are you are you telling that are you saying that accusers are lying? What? Hey, don't you believe she women? Ross? Him. She's right. You can't are you denying that the accuser? Like, uh, like I don't even like Monday Matt. Like he called to flag the Nita No, Ross, you are this is this is real serious. You're you're saying that a, a a sexual assault victim is lying? Was she asking for it? Is that what you're telling us? No, no, like you, you, but no, the thing I'm is like you took tweets out of context. What was a tweet? tweet. He said it was a video. In a video. Yeah, it was in a video where he explicitly said he was accused of holding a girl at knife point to force her to kiss him and was thrown out of church because he wouldn't fuck her. Okay, fine, you know, fine, fine. He said like Coach Red Pill t- made a video. How? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Are you denying? Are you saying that this accuser is a liar and made it up? What? This, this is very misogynistic. You can't say this kind of thing. I bet this motherfucker supports Kavanaugh. We should kick him out of here. Doesn't yeah, this is, this is fucking house. crypto. You're talking about crypto fascism, like Ross. There's damning evidence against Kavanaugh. There's Kavanaugh. evidence against oh. Matt. He got kicked out of church. A- actually, police. Ross, it's pretty much the same evidence against both of them, if you want to be honest. <laughs> like, like, like I said, I don't even like Monday Matt. Like, he called the flag several. Like, the, that's not here. You're here. dodging. This is a deflection. Do you believe the girl when she said that he held her up at knife point or not? Okay, but this is a claim that Matt Monday Matt's making. I don't even. So you don't believe it's the girl that, that, that she was held at knife point? Yeah, I don't. Like, I don't even know the full situations. So a thirteen-year-old you... girl said Matt held her up at knife point and forced her to kiss her, kiss him. Want to kiss are, you saying that the 13... are you saying that she's li- She's lying. Are you denying? And if you didn't know the full story, why would you automatically assume that Medicare was in the wrong? That's fucked up, Ross. Why? Why would you? No, no, my. Okay, no. The reason. Okay, I posted that because, like, like, does Medicare have malicious intent? Is he gullible? That. So, am I gullible for believing Monday Matt when he tells us a story that he was accused by a thirteen-year-old of holding her at knife point? To initiate some kind of a sexual contact with him or am i malicious in believing him like how does that make any sense what you're saying i believe all women accusers i mean monday matt's the one that told the story yeah he told the story we didn't make it up monday matt made a video saying she accused me of holding her up at knife point and then attacking her brother with chairs and drunk dialing her father at two in the morning are you condoning harassing women and assaulting okay. women sexually? Again, I'm not even. I'm not even really defending Monday match. I'm just. Well, you're denying the, the girl's accusation. Yeah, you're this is her this lived is experience. Disgusting. Yeah, I can't handle this. It's upsetting, really, to be honest. 
I'm I'm kind of shocked. I mean, I thought you were a good guy, man, but you. You also, you also made coming. you also you also sent me fake posts uh, saying that the old H bomber guy friend threatened this girl. Oh no, I he didn't, didn't send you anything. You're, you're talking about, that's quoted directly from ED. That's part of the history of ED. Yeah, Encyclopedia Dramatica. You're, you're using that as a you, you can ask any sysops. You can ask DeGrippo if you want about the ED singers and about what happened between H or uh, uh, Haberman and LMTE, the ED singers. The troll shielding article, the whole history of it, how H bomber guy was related to that. Yeah, you can fucking go ask anybody that was around. They will tell you the story, the same fucking story I told. You're a fucking bitch. Oh, come on, Ross. You gotta stick to it better. Either be the autistic guy or be the troll, but you can't you can't you can't fluctuate. You gotta stick to the character. I'm not playing a character, like what the so you're really this retarded? Well, how am I? How, what, what, okay, what retarded thing have I said? Everything, oh, literally yeah, everything. Yeah, there's been a lot. Yeah, I mean, where where do you want me to start? The sex stuff, the 24 human interactions per year that okay. you have, the not okay. working, is that, is scat that, porn. Is that more pathetic about a guy, a guy who go who makes his entire YouTube career off of fucking Gamergate and watching people on DeviantArt? Well. Ross, I mean, I'm, I don't talk about I talked about Gamergate for three months in 2014. Okay, fine. Other than that, okay, fine. Like, well, what about Deviant Archer? That's even more pathetic. Yeah, but that's not my life. That's the difference. I'm talking about other people's weird, pathetic shit, Ross. You're telling us about your weird, pathetic shit. Do you get the difference? I'm laughing at diaper furs shitting and jacking off to wolf pictures. You are the diaper fur shitting and jacking off to wolf pictures. <laughs> You get it? I'm, like that's I'm, the difference. I'm, that's the core difference. You're you are the lived experience. I'm the guy watching from the audience. What do you I mean it's clear that you part like how many times do you went on the Kumite? I probably went on, I don't know, maybe like twenty times, I guess, the experience of it. You Ross, what are you doing with your mic? mic? Ross, Ross, what are you doing with the mic, dude? Chill out with that. You're not just an observer, you're a clear participant. Well, yeah, I mean, I can say a lot of things about dances with dongas, but he's not a diaper for Ross. I, I don't, I, I, I don't see where you're going with this. Are you trying to say that Tonka saw is a diaper fur? No, no, I'm just saying like you. Because I can assure you, you, he's not. No, you just, you just said, you just said before of how you're just an, oh, you're just an observer, just trying to, but that, but it's clear that you partake. No, he's drawing a distinction between people who live that daily reality and him commenting on it. As as many other people do comment on weird fucked up shit. Like let me let me put it this way. If we were to kick you off of this right now, what would you do? What would you go back to doing? Uh play maybe like go we'll go to sleep now since it's late. Okay, you wake up. What do you do? I, I fucking told you that ringtone was a lullaby. I fucking told you guys that. <laughs> it, was a, it was a it was a Soviet song. It was a Soviet song by a Japanese woman for a fucking cartoon show. What was it? Not the 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 anime version of what? Never mind. If you when you wake up, what are you doing? What do you go uh, back to doing? Uh, playing video games, I guess. Uh, drawing art. Well, that's that's what he means. Oh God! Can you share your art? No, I was about to say I want to see yeah, something. Yeah. You draw. Do you have a deviant art? I uh, know it's mostly sketches. Can you show us? What do you sketch? Just post yeah, one in the Discord. A bunch of, of yeah, alt alt right info. No, no, don't show us. Just describe it. Like, what do you what do you draw? Horses, trees, trannies. What do you do? I uh, mostly draw trains. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! No, this is bullshit. I, that's 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 the bridge too far for me. No. Trains, trains, like. No, like, I no, heard you. Know, I heard you. No, I don't believe it. That's where I draw the line. This is too much. Thomas What's your favorite Duncan? train? What's your, like, do you have a favorite? There's a there's like a chain called uh, Mono Chan, which is all about trains. Do you have like a favorite type of train? Percy the train. What do you draw? You can't, if you draw trains, you should be able to tell us what kind of train that you like, right? Okay, do okay, Medic, do you like to do this thing forever? I refuse oh, to believe no, no, that no. you draw pictures of trains. I fucking refuse to believe it. You have to prove yeah. me wrong with one picture, just one, one picture to prove me wrong. 
or or name talk about what kind of trains you like do you like is it like thomas the tank engine or is it like real what's trains so, what's so weird about that i mean like there's there's people who drive no 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 on. ross no 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 all right that's the biggest joke that exists on the internet and in real life is that autistic people are obsessed with trains so if you're telling like that's just too much that's 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 going way overboard you have to prove to me that you're actually drawing fucking pictures of trains because i don't believe you supposed to pick okay why are you so judgmental we're not judgmental we're curious it, it's just a stereotypical thing it's kind of funny that you bring it up and we're really curious and we're hoping that you can show us some of your pictures because we're really curious to see them i like trains too to a I, bunch of, it, I love trains i love how fast they go to, to a bunch of incels says the incel yeah i don't believe this guy draws or draws trains he's full of shit this is, where, this is where I make the obligatory Lily Fang reference. That's a deep cut in uh, <laughs> <Toad History. laughs> Next, you're gonna say he's yeah. Most, um, other than that, I mostly just play. I mostly just play video games. I want to see this locomotive, Ross. Just you pushed it too far. You you were doing so well, but that 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 gave it away. That's that's game, man. What are you doing with your mic. What the fuck are you doing with you your mic? Choose, choose, choose a better mic, dude. Jesus Christ. I think he's laying in bed and the phone is brushing up against his pillow or something. Yeah, I'm going to go sleep in a couple minutes. What else? Yeah. Uh, I want to see. I it's, wanna see it's, your it's over. He's, he's done. He's tapping out. <laughs> I think, yeah, if he was real, he would be able to. Because, like, okay, you know, Medicare, you should know ADF. The fucking uh, the the communist guy. Yeah, who, yeah, I know what you're talking about him. Yeah. He draws nonstop. He draws like civil engineering shit. He draws road signs and and like train routes and roads and stuff. And I guarantee and bicycles. He loves bicycles. And it's like I'm sure if he came on, I could ask him about bicycles or road signs, and he could start getting really fucking specific. Now, wait, and, somebody, and details Jasper in the chat stuff. says, Jasper in the chat says, let me make sure I'm unmuted. Jasper in the chat says he draws chain, trains to appeal to that Jurlasta tranny. It likes trains too. That's what somebody in the chat says. I don't know. If <laughs> <laughs> it, was actually, it, was, it was actually a joke. Like, I actually do have a friend that's obsessed with trains, so I just wanted to. Oh, I drove. Yeah, no, it's I too late. It. It's too late. You already <laughs> lost it. You lost it. The game's over. You gave it up. That fucked you over. What? It was, it was convincing, but you fucked it up. You fucked up, buddy. What? Okay, so do but there's literally, there's literally nothing you can say now. It's it's the game set match. We're done. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. How how long do you think you're fine? Here's like good faith question. How do you, how long do you think your internet career is gonna? Be? Why are we even talking? You've already you've just uncovered yourself as a troll, Ross. I mean, there's no point. Ow. Are you saying I should? Bring the yeah, well, there's, well it's, not, it's not fun anymore. Because now there's not a mystery about it. Now it's confirmed, so there's no point. It's like a dead end. It's just kind of, eh. Alright, Ross. Thank you for coming on the kill stream. We peacefully sunsetted him. There's still a lot of autism there, though, right? Uh, yes, um, I'm. I'm still like I think. Yeah, I think he does. He'll he'll say shit he knows will trigger a reaction, but. Like, I, I don't know. He just comes across to me as like a husk of a person. Because you remember, you know, Jace, you obviously know fucking Jace. Jace yeah. was a troll. But he was he was spastic and entertaining and he could run with shit. That guy can't run with shit and he just kind of plays the same notes. And I, I, I'm pretty sure he's fucking like super autistic. But he, this is like the only attention he gets. I believe him when he says he doesn't have like conversations with people. I, I'm sure there's a grain of truth in there, but the train thing was a little bit too much. <laughs> it was. It was. He might as well have said, "I play with Legos all day." You know what I mean? Like, this. Come on. I watch Sonic. It's, yeah, I watch yeah. Sonic and play with Legos and draw trains. Okay, Ross. It, it was over for me when he couldn't name a detail of the train because he should have a fucking favorite. <laughs> like, if you sit just there say, and draw trains, yeah. just say fucking F forty PH. Just, just go ahead and fucking say that. That's an easy one. See, I, don't, I would be fucking convinced by that shit. I don't know anything about trains. If you would have had any type of... Well, yeah, because if you spend that much time drawing trains, you should at least be able to, you know, name one or two of them. And like with the book, the same exact sentence, I'm pretty sure he wrote that while he was talking to us in the void. And he didn't have anything else written hey, Yeah, I, I gotta yeah. say, when, when Kraut sends his trolls, he's not sending his best. <laughs>
I mean, I Ross sent me the the cover to his new book. He has the cover done. By the way, somebody sent me this while we were on the air. This is, I guess, this is a tangentially uh, related to this uh, mouthy Buddha DM. I don't know if, if people have seen this. Uh, let me make it where I can read it. That's a long DM. It's quite long. Let's see how quickly I can read it. So, yeah, Tizzy and I basically wanted to have a calm talk with you to smooth things out. Tizzy is one of uh, uh, Kraut's minions. Over the course of the last few weeks, people have come to me to apologize, and I'm fine with that. Most of them have never made a video condemning me, but when it comes to you, I will only conclude with this. You are a massive coward and a truly pathetic person. I find it absolutely amazing how you turned up more than a year ago, annoying me and others over how we supposedly have to go after the alt-right, how you insisted that we have to start doing something about them. How you kept praising my fucking videos against the alt-right while you were making videos basically denying the Holocaust. How you sucked JFG, which is a JF Garapy, and Braving Ruins cock like a pathetic little bitch. How after I shown concern for you, for your well-being during your time of crisis, you seize an opportunity when I'm down to trample on me and kick me while I'm laying on the floor, opening the floodgates and inviting others to shit on me, which they did. How you edited a secret recording of me to make me say something I didn't do. And how you try to weasel yourself out in private by complaining about how JFG just used you and by showing your DMs with Braving Ruin and to me and how he lied about you. Again, this is from Kraut. I thought it was from somebody else first. Um, not, none of that is in any way a justification for what you did and you couldn't even get your pathetic ass to apologize. I've been pondering, smoothing things out for you for a while, mainly because I have friends who are friends with you. But in the end, all I can say is there's no point in doing so with a sleazy, cowardly opportunist like you whose sole drive is to squeeze attention, views, and subs out of anything by whatever means, by lying and scheming. One of these days in the near future, I'll probably take a massive shit on you, and you know exactly that you deserve it. Now, are you sure that's really from crowd? Because I'm not noticing a lot of spelling errors. Well, that's true. Uh, I mean, look. Right? Isn't that, that's kind of weird for somebody, if you wrote that much, not to fuck up spelling at point. least 20 times. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point, actually. He has really, ridiculous is the word that he really cannot spell no matter what. Uh, so that's true. I don't. I'm looking through. Wait, the, the guy with the f- the fancy posh accent can't spell. No, he's ter- He's a terrible speller. And actually, since Jim pointed that out, I'm looking through, and and it does. Uh, well, pondering yeah. is misspelled, but yeah, th- you would think there would be a lot more misspellings. That's a fair point. So we'll we'll have to take that with a grain of salt, I guess. Oh. Add it to the pile. <laughs> That also, moment the, when you suck at spelling so bad that people can tell <laughs> the DM is fake just by the spelling. Uh, also, the guy got back to me uh, for the oh for the nice. Monday Matt video. Uh, he said he wants a hundred dollar Amazon e gift card. That's what he wants. A hundred dollar e do Amazon e gift card. All right, I will send a what is what is uh, you're gonna buy it for him? I'll send the money to you that's, for that's through fun. super chat. That's uh, fine. I'll, I'll send it through Super Chat like tomorrow or something. What is it? They take thirty percent. So yeah, I'll pay. Good. Just I'll pay the thirty percent. No, I'll, I'll I'll kick in half with you then. All right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you. I'll send a hundred dollars Super Chat. Now I also you. told him to uh, that I was fine with that, but I, I wanted him to send the audio first because I'm not gonna like get get stiffed on it. I don't know. I don't really. And know you're who certain this guy it's is. not. You're certain it's not Monday Matt himself. Um, pretty certain. I looked up this guy's username and it like you can see him elsewhere on the. Money on the internet um pretty- <laughs> he, needs, he needs that amazon gift card to buy baby formula ralph come on now <laughs> don't stiff him yeah I, i'm pretty sure it's not him so there's a couple of screen names elsewhere so um but i mean maybe it could be who knows but yeah that was that was the offer i, I need to hear the rest of that vidcon story because i've heard from two sources two different people at vidcon the same story um that Base Mama and Wizard were in a room together, that Matt was in there, that Wizard and Base Mama apparently fooled around, and that Matt allegedly was masturbating under the covers while this happened. <laughs> that, that sounds good. Now, Very surely cool. he'll leave that part. Of, surely he'll leave the part where he's... I don't, I don't know. That's why I'm really <laughs> fucking curious to hear the rest of that audio. <sighs> that was a great tease reel, I have to say. Whoever, If that was him that cut that together, the guy that emailed me, that was a good job. Because it definitely piqued my interest, but I think I think that's a that's a fair deal, I guess. Um, so we'll see. What my happens question would be, why wouldn't Shuan had get her own room? Like she has enough money for no, a room. no. She was not, she was not sure. This. this was uh, based mama. Yeah, based mama. Uh, yeah, mama. The Kilroy organizer. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't don't. No, there's no way the alpha skeptic's gonna hang out with a lowly drag like Matt. Yeah, not gonna sleep on the fucking bed with my. <laughs> she won't even go to his party, much less hallway. sleep in the same room yeah, with him. Think, yeah. Yeah, I think at VidCon they had a suite. To be quite honest, just them. Too. Yeah, they had a little too. sign on the door that said "No Matt's allowed." <laughs> 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 Yeah, and apparently and failure was in there. Mama was the one that was feeling people's dicks on their back. Is, is that what he said? Yeah, yeah. And that's feeling what he that said. Yeah. Now I had never heard. You guys had never heard that part of the leaks either, right? That was all new information. No, from, the only the only things no. I, I heard from the leaks were him talking about um, armored skeptic crying at pussy, yes. and uh, the other one where he tried to shit talk Shu and say that she had the most uh, horrific and toxic community on the Candid app. Yeah, and there was one. I think there was another one where he said something about you, but those yeah, are the yeah, only, he yeah. threw a little shit talk in there, and that's probably yeah. included in there too. I, 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 again, I what I said when they initially came out was he should talk like that more. Yeah. People would probably find him more entertaining. I was a thousand percent <laughs> serious. Like that was that was pretty much what he should have done. First off, when it got leaked, but especially after the flag and stuff, he should have just came out and just started, you know, change up his right. whole persona. Well, but, the yeah. the fake Ross stuff was fun. I'll, I'll send the money uh, through tomorrow to you on Super Chat, uh, and then. Um, yeah, it's just a little disappointing. He oversold it with the trains uh, thing. He ruined it. It was still it was fun. He's still it super was seriously fun. autistic. Oh no, yeah, I'm I sure think. he's he's definitely has a touch of the tism, but uh, yeah, <laughs> he oversold it a little bit on that. I'll let you get to uh, hubris and the. We, it's like I think he mentioned it was like some or people were telling me it's like some weird LGBT pedo Discord thing. Yeah, I don't. I still don't even know what that is all about. But yeah, some type of. Uh, I thought it had to do with blue check marks too. I, I don't know what's going on to be honest with you. Of course, well, of course. When you're bringing up LGBT <laughs> pedos, the blue check marks aren't far from behind. All right, uh, yeah, take thanks, it easy. Man. Appreciate yep. it. Take it easy. All right. And really, I just want to say, like, she had the worst candid group. Like Monday night, she just thrown down and been like, she has the shittiest RuneScape plan. She has the, she has the shittiest uh, guild on Neopets. Like, who who fucking cares? <laughs> What's uh, oh I should I should read these super chats real quick. People were kind enough to send in. Way behind Robert says, Why do the shittiest people hate the alt right? Do they just hate whites or what? Jim explained. Well, Jim was on his way out. Mephisod says, Do a fundraiser for the Mid South Coliseum. That is a Memphis reference. Uh, Kyle Neal says, Tell fake Ross to turn the scat porn off for now. OBGYN Kenobi says, Show us the Thomas Rule 34 drawings you made. Max M says, You're a you're a bitch. Why autism needs a cure? Neg Le- Negla Sax says Ross on the troll scale you're about a 3 out of a 10 on a good day submit yourself to recycling for the good of the environment Farm Master Fuhrer says feel sorry for him too stupid to know when to quit Old Angry Normie says Matt's accuser is more credible than Cavs she didn't wait 36 years that's true Australian Patriarchy says some old lore Matt was the first to quit the rationalists just because just a car I popped my pooper before age 11 criticized him once nothing changes Quiet Rider says obsessed with Aiden Paladin I mean Trey Y says, wait, what? Three times a month talking to real people? OBGY, that part I believe for sure. OBGY and Kenobi says, God damn you, Jim, I'm eating. And he was talking about the hairball comment. Marai says, personal request, please bank, bring back hubris on when convenient. Yeah, I think he's still around. We'll probably bring him back in. Uh, Trey Y says, I got my shirt from Ross. Lord Akira says, can we call this stream Internet Insanity Fake Ross live on stage, please? Uh, Blue Satoshi says he wants a hug box full of saccharine fart huffers. Old Angry Normie says he just needs to find a sumptuous tranny. Kian Green says fake Ross wants to turn the internet into Facebook. This communist wants further corporatization of the internet. They're all stooges. Pharaoh Owen says this is what communists are, people. This sped gets to vote. Peacefully sunset. Nerd Bane says damn Jim, these autists are still after you for not attacking JF. Better make that video before they really mean business. Guns Down Hell says this is some gay commie gobbledygook. Internet tab says history has proven that Marx's vision of an egalitarian utopia is unattainable, inevitably creating an oligarchy more oppressive to the proletariat than the bourgeoisie it vilifies. She says autismo. Accurate. Uh, Steph I says, please ask fake Ross about his talks with Bronx blogger. Oh, God damn it. I totally forgot about that. Bronx was the one saying, oh, he's just a young kid. Da, 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 da. I completely meant to ask him about that. And it just it's totally slipped my mind. God damn it. Old Angry Normie says, didn't shit rat also have a crush on a lesbian? That is true. And that did not slip my mind. I just didn't bring it up. Uh, Old Angry Normie says, if Fake Ross wants to try to toss a word, word salad, inform him that Monday Matt uses wet wipes. Oh, God. 
Mirai says, ask Hubris why he got suspended on Twitter today and about certain pedo black cock worship. Blah, blah, says fake Ross didn't do nothing. Uh, Sean Hollinger says, uh, kind of getting off Ralph 10, one That is not, uh, it's not true. Uh, Pharaoh Owen says, LOL, this is the fucking short bust of Killstream. So much exceptionalism. Epic Yoshi says, Medicare, read this. Dark side Phil, stop begging children for money and get your jo- get a job, you gout riddled coward. That would have been a good one, actually. Fuck you, Google says there is a pill that cures the transgender illness. It has been suppressed for years. A uh, pomozod, pomozod, an antipsychotic, apparently works ninety percent of the time. Jasmine Araya says the friend is himself, fake Rosa. Universal Impurity says how many dilations does it take before dead name Jane sunsets itself? Makuta Laroca says Baca, of course it's not David. Uh, Jim is low-key proud of his finger-banging moment. I don't think it's that low-key, actually. I think it's, I think it's high-key proud. All right, we'll get back to that. Uh, what else are we doing here? Is Hubris, did Hubert still want to talk about that for a minute? Well, let's bring him back in and see. All right, bring him back in. Explain, maybe he can explain what's going on. Okay. Uh, is he still? I see he's muted. We'll see if he can. If yeah. yeah. Okay. Now what, all right, now what were you talking about? Uh, well, judging from the super chats, they want to talk about something specific. So, yes, de- depending on what you want to talk about, uh, I guess I, I mean I can I can start from the the, the bottom. I mean, if you could just do like maybe a a summary of of what you're speaking of, because I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what it's about. I, yeah, I've had a, no, uh, no, neither neither did I. So, uh, somebody. Somebody linked me a Kiwi Farms thread of this dude. Uh, am I allowed to say the name? Like, if, if uh, it's a Kiwi Farms thread, uh, or do I have to go by the pseudonym? Just I, I would just use the pseudonym to be safe. Okay, by a, a dude named Kate. Uh, so th- they linked this thread with a bunch of videos and stuff, and um, I started digging. And uh, this other guy that, that, that was helping me out, I can't name him, found that they, they run this Discord server, which runs a black fetishist, uh, white genocide fetishist secret channel, which you have to be invited to, of course. So, you know, obviously that in itself, you know, just being a normal white guy is uh kind of triggering until you find out that they're inviting like 13 14 15 year olds into it and indoctrinating them into this okay you, you you get a little bit more into it and once you start to get a little bit more into it uh you realize that these people who you know, th- this doesn't matter at all. This is just completely conjecture. This doesn't have anything at all to do with it. Uh, half of these people, and I'm not jo- not joking, not making this up. You can all check this up on uh, my Twitter. Uh, they're they're Jewish, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, you, you know, right? Uh, it, it's weird. Mm. Uh, so, so you start to find this out. I have all these th- this uploaded onto my Dropbox. That now, uh, it's now. Is there any of this we can show on air without getting the stream sunset? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Plenty of it. If you go to my uh, my my Twitter, it's uh, at uh, st yeah, this, this, underscore. Go ahead, Michael. But the L is an I. You a hundred percent is able to, to show. Okay, yeah, I was about to ask you what your Twitter was because you have a new one like every week. Uh, okay, no, so. I, I, actually, in the past, in the uh, since last Friday, I've gotten suspended five times from exposing this stuff. How have I not heard about this? It seems like people Probably maybe have tried to alert me to it. I know today it was blowing up for sure. Well, you know, I was doing the charity yeah. stream and stuff, so I really didn't have much time. Right, to right. You, you, you've you you've definitely been busy, so it's been a bad <laughs> yeah. time. It just but, seems uh, like this I, uh, is something I should have heard about. Like, what the fuck? Uh, okay. Right. All right. So I, uh, I, I put it in the chat. It's like uh, St. Uh, S-T underscore Mikey, M-I-C-H-A. 
E I and 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 you and you you a hundred percent you can share any of my media over this. And mm-hmm. I and I know a bunch of your fans don't like me, but uh you have to respect the work I've done over Well look, a good story is a good story. I mean uh let's right. see. Um, see, and Treya deleted the server even before they deleted it. Right before the drama happened, they were able to close all individual links and disable invite generation. All right, now I'm looking. So, what would you suggest? What about these? What are these videos? Who's this bl- blonde-haired? Uh, okay, thing? that so that's that that's the the guy. Uh, and this is this is something that I've warned about uh, against before. Is you know, uh, it's the blonde-haired guy. Uh, the, the, just the picture of him is uh, the the twenty year old groomer. He lives in Florida. He paid for the flight of his girlfriend, C boyfriend, who was sixteen at the time, from the UK. Paid for the flight to come over and have uh, sodomite sex in the U.S. in Florida. Wait, wait, wait. It was the age of consent. The eight, yeah, the age of consent. In Florida, 17. So it's international child sex trafficking, which I've got them to admit to. And I also have archive links to this as well. And uh, that's what that person... So can I play... What, what is happening in this video? Can I play that? What, what, what is going on here? I'm just... I can't if, you, if, you, if, you play, if you play the expose video, that's just like the... the uh, my 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 uh stream of what i did earlier if you're actually going to the dropbox link that i did earlier you can play any of those links those are no child pornography nothing all all the all the, all the things that they, like i never clicked on anything all all the link like once once the people in the server that were like um here i'm just saying you is have, this video uh, would it be funny to play this video if it's my stream, not really. No, no. no I'm talking about the one with this freaky looking blonde headed headed dude. Would that be? Yeah, funny yeah. yeah. You, you, you can play that. You can play that. Now there's just, no. Just listen to how, how how deep that trainee's voice is. There's yeah, no nudity or anything in this, right? Like no, that's what, no, no, no nudity. No, no. Maybe I should. All of me. you niggas are hard. Oh, I mean, oh, wait, oh, I, oh. I would. Yeah, I'd go to jail if you did too. So no, I'm Fuck not it. not gonna post that. Okay, it was very short. He he said uh, something about basketball Americans being homosexual. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, once you start to go into the actual chat logs, it becomes very strange. Um, what what, what <laughs> if, if you if you can if you if you can screen share anything, uh, I maybe I can DM. I'll uh, I'll put it in your um. What what channel is this? the sprite club chat i'm gonna tag you in it okay all right so that 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 tweet is probably also the, look uh, if people want feel free look i've not had a chance to go through this so i'm kind of learning about this yeah. on there if you want to go yeah. through it there's the link as well if chat wants to take a look um okay yeah no a lot, a lot of the people don't like me i'm seeing that now but i i get it but uh, if you if you if you screen share that, everything's blurred out. Uh, it's basically admitting that they're spreading around a fourteen-year-old boy's nudes that they're trying to get out of them. Well, it's not that they don't like you. It's just that I think that this kind of thing isn't hard to hard to talk about. And no, they they, the they don't stream. they don't like me. <laughs> Trust no, me. No, they they yeah, there's. There's animosity going on. What's the name of the person who has a has a forum thread? Like, what's his username? What can I type into the search bar and find it? The 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 two main people. If you if you go back on my my timeline, they've deactivated. Uh, they well, they still have their forum threads, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I I I can uh I can pull up the QE Farms thread. Hold on, just one moment. I'll uh. All right, so it's in the it's in the Sprite Club chat. That's what what alerted me to all of this. Now, how did you find out about? Yeah, what what? How did you find out about all this in the first place? Okay, so the the Kiwi Farms thread came about, um, and then people that were in the DM group 
uh, we're, we're like uh, there, there is 453 screenshots that I had to go through myself, uh, with, with my, I, I actually had to take work off today <laughs> to go through them. It's disgusting. And <laughs> it's it's so hard. Hard. <laughs> this is oh, more furry shit. So this is like the third yes, thing I've yeah. seen in the last yeah, month. Right, that's like right, furries. right. The, this, this is why I kind of wanted Jim to be here because like this is right up his alley, you know. Um, and 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 no offense to you guys, like you know, it's just it's just what well, you would expect from these people. So they started off as and and, it, and it's a very common thing. It's a very common thing. You know, you've seen it a million times. The Nazi furs end up turning into uh, white genocide uh, BBC fetishists. Uh, the, the pipeline has been, you know, you, you've seen it a million times, right? Obviously, that's sarcasm. But that's what this uh, this whole uh, leak is uh, displaying um, I understand the pin tweet I have on my Twitter. A lot of the stuff isn't able able to actually be downloaded, so I've re-uploaded onto my Google Drive, my personal, my one of one of the throwaway Google Drives. Who is this guy? So, who is a Volkov? Who is that? I, I just picked that out. I'm, lo- I'm looking through the thread at random. Uh, uh, a-, a-, a Volkov is not one of the people that's deactivated. The two main people <laughs> would be Treya. And uh, Swissy, and uh, those are the, those are the two people that have actually um, been part of child sex trafficking. Uh, one of them is a 16 year old that lives in the UK. Okay, which would we, be can't, we can't. Yeah, we can't show. We can't show 16 year olds. That's too. That's too no. Much. There, there, there's, yeah. there's 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 no no nudity or anything. There's just, just to get it out there. Yeah, what, even so. Uh, the there, name there's, of the thread he was referencing was Alt Furry Zanadu General, and Zanadu, Zanadu was yeah X A N A D U, and that's yeah. uh, the, the starting point. Like, yeah, like this, age uh, thirty or something. This leads into something that I actually wanted to talk about, but I didn't get a chance either. Um, there are people on the forum. I need to double check it because I don't I don't trust their work entirely. But they said they doxed. Wolf, who is the one of the worst. He was the guy that put ants into the orifices of his dogs. The fuck? So he's apparently a guy in Cuba, and they're trying to get the Cubans to like I, I don't know, like fucking court martial him and kill him. He's a part of the Cuban like defense force or some shit. Um, I don't know what the fuck they're up to. I have to check. But there's that, and uh, somebody sent me 8.5 gigabytes of additional leaks related to the furry. And I looked through it, and unfortunately, it's not the same as the main zoo sadism uh, thing, where it's like there's their friends and they trust each other. Each other. This was kind of more public, and a lot of what they shared was stuff they had just collected. But it, it, it's actually indescribable in how in how awful it is. It, it was literally just gore. Like the first thing I saw was a woman taking goldfish, throwing them on the ground, and stepping on them, like one after the other. There's no sexual element to it. It was just a group of furries. Uh, pretty much anonymously sharing these videos and they, it's big and small everything in between it's it's really hard to stomach and I didn't even upload it because the videos themselves are just shit they've collected but uh, I have the messages re-uploaded and I want to get people to go go through them and before I make it public because I don't know uh, people are going to start deleting stuff because now the whole furry shakedown thing is going on so hard that I'm sure a lot of people who are into this kind of shit are starting to delete everything Oh yeah, and that's uh, that's exactly what's happened. Is uh, a lot of these people have deactivated their accounts entirely. They've they've shut down Discord servers and everything. And I, I see the chat, and they're again, rightfully so, not happy with what I'm putting out uh, because they don't trust me. But uh, I have no reason to hide this. I have a hundred percent transparency of what I'm putting out. Um, between my, my my drive, my Discord, uh, I'll, I'll upload a mega when I'm more sober. But um, <laughs> if uh, it, it, you know, ask for something and and, and you'll receive. Because these people are, uh, you know, you know what really gets me is when you're trying to indoctrinate like teens and preteens into trans- transitioning to do. 
there's a, a very specific on Twitter that goes by Cosmo. And they're a 20 year old left handed person. I'm sure you know what left handed stands for when it comes from the <laughs> weekly sweat terms because I. I know actually. I was like, "Why the fuck would you mention that he's left-handed? Can he not become a knight for the king <laughs> because he's left-handed?" Uh, am I am I allowed to say? Does anyone else know here know? I mean, just just say it. I, I I'm in, I'm curious. Okay. I heard fur fag, so I came running. Okay, I mean, okay. left-handed is uh is code for Jewish, so oh, it's this twenty year old. Oh, stop! Uh, You're anti-Semite. The, yeah. The, the, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Well, we have to worry about, you know, getting reported and stuff. So it's this 20 year old Jewish person that's uh, trying to talk to a 15 year old or actually 16 year old, I'm sorry, person to actually lobotomize themselves to disable their amygdala so they ha- no longer experience sexual repression and guilt and further themselves into. The, the transgender agenda and and I, and I have sc- screenshots of this as well uh i try i actually tagged you into it Ju- uh, jim if you, if so you check th- your is this, is this like a group of lgbt people or are these furries or yes. is it like a furry lgbt thing or like what what exactly it was, are they? It, the 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 <laughs> it's a it's a long evolutional path um so so the person that started it treya uh nat hemel who have have uh, visual and uh, voice recordings of? Uh, they started as a furry. They became a uh, BBC white genocide fetishist, where they started indoctrinating preteens and and young teens into their whole agenda. But and is this all furries or or what? I I mean, like they start like like you have to imagine. A young teen starting as a furry. They started. As a furry. <laughs> are, you, are you telling <laughs> me that to... furrydom is the gateway to to leftist insanity? Like pot's supposed to be the gateway to like hardcore. Well, well, no, 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 sort of. Like, like honestly, like in in torn in terms of like sociology, like they have no other group to belong to. They don't have a religion. They they don't have sports groups. They don't have like a, a school group to belong to. So what else are they going to be drawn to than like some obscure online group where they're going to be totally accepted towards that? And then once that's not enough, then what are they going to be drawn to? But whatever they make up. And then then the once they learn that like hey I can be sort of like the the speaking voice this sort of like leader of this group and then make it make a discord or whatever no you cut out you cut out hubris so uh Um, if you like like i'll i uh if you if you dm me i'll send you the kiwi farms thing of like their name is nat hamill uh and and this is known long before yeah because i I, i'm i'm like them yeah, I'm up to my fucking uh, knees. In no, I, I know you, you have the whole hero, wow. hero thing going on. Well, then, yeah. I mean, like, like, this, like Josh was saying earlier, the like, whole... the, yeah, but I haven't even touched on the bad shit yet. Like, the animal abuse stuff is bad, but, like, he's talking about the ants up the ass shit. Then he got all the yeah, pedophilia yeah. stuff. That, that, that's, where they're that's talking about, this, like, yeah, yeah, but this, they're talking this, about, like, this, grooming nine year olds to, to have sex with them and sending sexy pictures to little kids and sending right. pics to nephews yeah, and shit. That's more along of these lines, but it's a totally different group of furries that were doing it. What the fuck is and, going and, on and, with that's furries? That's what I was going to say. Why is all this and, happening and, 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 right oh, now? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not like it was like like Kuro, which is like, what, he's like 30 or something? It was like a 17 and 20-year-old that were trying to get them to do this. But, <sighs> but like, yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't know. It's just, I, I don't understand. Like, like I, I'm used to seeing like a lot of degenerate shit. It just seems like there's been like a massive influx. And then, uh, uh, Josh, are you still there? Of course. Yeah. Uh, that, that gay dragon, right, that I had in my video, um, the one that was talking to Kiro, didn't, didn't mm-hmm. like fucking secret chat logs with him drop where he was basically trying to say something along the lines of, oh, just admit to, to being into zoophilia. Nobody cares. Only SJWs are bothered by it. 
Ooh, I, I vaguely know what you're talking about. I really, unfortunately, have not been able to keep up with all the Zeus Seda stuff because it's it's split apart into like seven threads now. Yeah, I know. I've been, uh, I've been following it fucking everywhere, and like it's shit it <laughs> dropping every. And I didn't I didn't even realize that both of the fucking people that did interviews with this guy, like, have their own backstory. You know what I mean? Of course. No, these people. And what happened is I, I I've talked to you about this on two separate occasions. Way back when I mentioned that the furry community was falling apart because of political divides, and he said he knew about it. And the last time we talked, which was the Hill stream, uh, I mentioned that. Uh, that there was more that there was worse stuff going on and i think this is the the culmination of the furry community falling apart and that's because uh, number one it, it split politically and the people who want it to be apolitical don't belong in the fandom anymore it's the, the creepy weirdo nazi people versus the creepy weirdo super 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 far gone like hyper liberal dystopian people and those people are covering each other because it's not just uh not just this shit it's the guy. The guy who owns Ink Bunny is a thrice convicted pedophile. The guy who owns a uh, Bad Dragon and E six two one and the Furry Network. All, that guy has his own shady backgrounds and, and creepy weird shit. And they're all covering for each other. Somebody has even told me that the conventions always set aside a room or two for like straight animal sex. Yeah. So I, I get the it. feeling. Yeah, it's going e to be a, easy, a domino uh, effect. Yeah, I, it's an odd guy. Easy peasy was mentioning that uh, like he got information that they have like actual. I don't know what you'd call them. Petting zoos is what he called them, but like oh. places where furries would be, <laughs> no. no places where furries would go to have sex with animals. They'd pay. They had their own like establishment. Petting zoo? Did you come up with that, or is that the term no, that no, they that's, use? No, that's what he, that, 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 <laughs> that is a legitimate name. Oh. Yeah, and it, it makes sense. It makes sense that that's the shit that they're into, and because they do, they do go to these conventions. And I, I stress, I stress again that if you are a furry and you patronize these these economies, these ecosystems by donating to your artists on Ink Bunny or whatever, you're 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 funding this shit. You need to find something else. It's over. It's fucking done. I'm not going to have any sympathy to anybody who calls themselves a furry anymore. Because if you are a part of this shit, you're guilty by association. And then I have no remorse in saying that. It's weird, you know, like they. Furries used to get a lot of shit, and rightfully so. And it, it feels like when the brony movement came along, everybody got so angry at that, they stopped focusing on the furry shit and forgot. And like now yeah. it's all kind of catching up, you know what I mean? Like those years of not paying attention, and everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, they, they, they were in the shadows for about a decade. And now the light is creeping. It's daytime again. The sun has turned all the way around the earth. And it's fucking shining right on them. And they have become complacent. And, and open with how fucking horrible they are, and they they have not bothered to hide their tracks. Well, no, it's not that. It's uh, cockroaches scatter when the light is sh shown upon them. This is this is like you know, like Bible one hundred and one, uh, and all these people are fucking disgusting. That whether whether or not it's like what Jim is exposing or what I'm exposing, and that's. <sighs> That's like, like to, to give you an example. But it's, it's never just like one, that. though, right? Like, I mean, that's what that's what's fucking me no. up. I think. That's what it's kind of like a mind fuck. It's never just one flavor of degeneracy. No. It's all and of them. No, they, I, can't, they can't just be a, a crazy, like, fucking hormone taking tranny or a furry or a pedophile. They have to be all of them at once. Yeah. Because they no. get bored with it. It's their no. lives. I, these well, people are like sex obsessed and they get no, bored it, with it. Yeah. Their, their per perversion takes over their their lives. To give, you, to give you an example, I've been suspended on five Twitter accounts since Saturday. Well, look, it's, it's like what Josh said, though. They get to one level of perversion. They get, uh, you know, inoculated to that. They see that desensitized to that all the time. And then what's the only thing for them to do to get, you know, to get their and their because they're in a to group, go to the next level. And then you end up at pedophilia by the time they're done, because that's the, you know, the most taboo thing. That's why, in particular, in the zoo sadism links snake thing, the guy who actually linked it is, to me, one of the worst because he was. He was like comforting. No matter how bad it got, no matter what people showed him, he reacted with the the oh whoa hearts cute like uh, the, the the colon three like cat face emoji. Like he was all about it. You could not you could not scare him away, and he was always happy to to compliment whatever the fuck you were doing. Who, who was the guy in the Zeus Sadism links? There there was one of them. I can't remember the name, but he was actually convicted of like a sex crime. He somehow got his record expunged. 
And then he went right back into it, talking about wanting to fuck nine year olds. I know who you're talking. I think that might actually be Snake Thing. I'll pull it up. How does that happen? How do you go out and do like this shit, get your record fucking expunged, and then go right back into it? Well, you can't carry a pedophile. Well, it's it's such like a lack of impulse control. Like he, it, it's it, somebody in the thread I think said something like this. This guy, it makes me the most worried because he obviously doesn't fucking care about the consequences. He's already gone through prison and he just doesn't care. Well, a rational person would say, well, "Look, I just got away with something huge. Maybe I should, you know, chill out on that." But like like Josh said, I mean, these people are so sick. Hey. That fucking guy, the guy doing, I recognize this fucking guy because he looks like Rich Evans. Uh, Jim <laughs> Rozulski, he's one of the zoo sadists, and that's why he's doing the fucking interview where he yeah, says the I, guy I don't kill farms. I fucking noticed what? that after I did the video. <laughs> I noticed this fucking threat after the video. Uh, he's yeah, he's the fucking neutral party in the story. The guy that has a fucking thread who can't even say the name Kiwi Farms without his voice fucking breaking. Yeah, and, and that's yet, the and guy yet, who can give the interview. Yeah, he bitched about Kiwi Farms putting his information up, and yet he went after somebody and created a fucking domain to link their information uh, from Kiwi Farms. Directly? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a redirect. It's a fucking redirect from his own fucking <laughs> And they, they do it, and that's the thing, because I'll even have it where a guy who is clearly a furry will join the forum, he'll post everything he has. It's good content. It's fucking hysterical. And then I get a, a, a talk to staff message or somebody email, emails me and says, I know who that is, and I got the dirt on him. And what what can I say? Like, nigga, post it. What the fuck are you doing to keep them to yourself? And they, they're, they're fucking, like, the, the I've looked at the statistics recently for the forum <laughs> and i'm i'm checking the uh, the numbers for all the different boards everything's kind of static everybody's like it's maintaining it's treading water except animal control our furry board has been doubling in activity every fucking month so these people are going ape shit on each other and i i'm sensing it it's the end times for the furry community we're witnessing the end no well, yeah, I, I, I i i hope so i don't think so though I, I, I don't know. They keep dropping shit on each other, though. I, I mean, they, they're going to keep exposing each other for petty revenge until none of them are left standing. Hopefully, uh, that's a the, that's a big hope. My <laughs> thought was that the furries they got into the community because it's just some weird shit. They're into the fucking cartoons. They think animals are cute, and then they literally put on a mask. And whoever you were before that mask did not matter. It doesn't matter what race you are, where you're from, what your religion is, what your politics are. You put on the fucking mascot costume and you're a cool cat and you're going to save the kids and it's okay. And everybody's okay with each other. Now it's not that it's a political thing. Like everything else is, and they don't have that sense of anonymity and they don't have that sense of community. And it's hey, fucking wait, 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 uh, Ralph, I got a great, I got a great idea for your show. Okay, hear me out. Just hear me out. Let me right, give you that. Okay, because you're into journalism, investigative stuff. Yes, yes. Why not? Why don't you create the position of the uh, Killstream Kitty, <laughs> and you send somebody undercover to fur conventions to see what they can find? Just dress them up like a mm. cat and send them in with a camera, and uh, start seeing if we can find like these back rooms and these weird fucking. The Killstream you know, Kitty is the actually... Killstream Kitty. Yeah, <laughs> I got I it. Like we'll send idea. in Corin. Dressed as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she, she can. She would she'll fuck blunder it up. her way into a rape room with a fucking horse. And now no the time. person we pick has to be. I mean, they have to be good and legit, though. I, I think there's a lot of people that would probably do this. Well, imagine what you could find, dude. Like, imagine how paranoid oh, I, they would get. I would do it, but you, you don't need to. Uh, look at uh, what's the the Sprite Club Club chat? Th- this is this is after. Four hours of leaking stuff. They're willing to out each other st- like this. Like, like they, they get so scared so quickly that uh, you just have to promise to link. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll bleep your name out. And, and you throw everyone else that you're involved with under the bus. Well, that's happened just now with the wolf because the people like it's, again, exactly. Uh, I'm not too I'm not too set certain on on Wolf and what people are trying to do with him. I don't know if the information is correct, but somebody said they found him. They figured out who he was in Cuba. They found out that he was a part of the Cuban military, and they said if you don't tell us who the other Zeusatus are, we're going to send mail to all your neighbors, telling them what you do to your fucking dog and how you torture it. And they said that he started dropping shit immediately, fucking instantly. 
And again, I, I can't I can't condone that because that's to me that's extortion and that's a crime. But no, I mean, extortion means you you have something to gain from it. No, it doesn't. Not legally in the United States, extortion. Even if they don't believe, even if it's not possible for you to do what you're threatening, if you make a threat and expect something in return, that's extortion. And what they're doing is they're right, the, right. That's what I. That's what literally just what I said. If you have, they're trying to, to get docs from. It. They're trying to say, if you don't do this for us, we will do. We will do this in return and hurt you. No, you, that, it, literally, it, it's, as soon as, as soon as you get any sort of this information, and you and you don't bring it to any sort of law enforcement, you're you're kind of a piece of shit, dude. Well, it's in like, Cuba. Like it's, they don't it, have it, animal cruelty laws in Cuba. Okay, <laughs> then why am I talking to you? Like I live in I live in a, a, a an actual country, not like if some you fucking, fucking third drinking, world. You'd be able to follow the conversation, bro. I'm telling you, the worst one in the Zoo Sadist League is in Cuba, and that's who we're talking about. And I'm confirming <laughs> that when you put them into an awkward situation, they will turn on each other instantly. Okay, uh, when you uh, when you have actual roads and like you know, like internet and stuff, then then I'll I'll consider maybe what you to say matters. But until then, he's not in like, Cuba. Like, it's a, exactly. It doesn't fucking matter. But he's like, saying the like, person is in Cuba, not he himself is in Cuba. Okay, so 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 what so what am I gonna do about it? Tweet about it? Well, I don't know. I mean, man. I don't know, mate. You should probably drink some Gatorade and take a nap right now. <laughs> no, 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 I I shouldn't. I should care about stuff that I can actually like you know do stuff about. You know, I think that makes a lot more sense than like compare about shitty third world countries where they have to get a usb drive to get if you internet. were listening you would know that i'm telling you that they turn on each other and this guy in cuba is turning on people in his community i'm literally telling you people that are turning on people in an actual first world country where you can alert the fbi and be like hey this Cuba's, this 20 year old eating now is uh, uh mashed potatoes Oh you God. want some? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Was... <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a first world country where you can actually report this stuff to the FBI instead of doing like you know dumb like live streams where it's like this guy is in a third world country and you have to go through these these channels to actually report this stuff. Like no, all the stuff I'm reporting, you can actually send these people to you know prison. Like they can actually receive, you know, uh, I don't know, consequences for what they're doing instead of All like, right. you know, the people that are trying to go to like a Cuba All right. All right. And, and avoid internet, like avoid U.S. I got law. You. I got you. Because got you. like that, that's way more outside of like the right. reach out of right. of a YouTube channel. All right, he was. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit too. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was that nigga was eating mashed potatoes least laced with something some fucking LSD some fucking pot <laughs> that was the spiciest mashed potatoes ever eaten <laughs> I don't even know like, look I, I mean it's, like, it's worth it's, it's worth trying to here. learn some just... no I like him I like him it's, it's whatever I yeah, think he's I think he was, he was I, getting I, I he was getting, he was getting close to like he, he was getting close to Ralph level uh, on Saturday night <laughs> Uh, yeah, he needed the hook to come out and mercifully sunset him. But no, well, like, I don't I know why he was. I'm not sure why he was getting into it with you. Uh, that's what I didn't really understand. But. I don't think uh. he understood. <laughs> <laughs> he admitted he was like super drunk. So yeah, uh, like you know, people people put in work, and sometimes like usually they're fucking weirdos. The people that do the most work are, are usually weirdos, and I hope I hope he gets what he's going for, and I hope. Like I don't know, I don't, I don't particularly agree with extorting people, but if they're doing it, I can't stop them. He's having a sumptuous evening. A very sumptuous. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> back to the important thing. How's that Killstream Kitty sound to you, Ralph? I like it. I see people in, in <laughs> the uh, in the Spike Club are already volunteering to do this. And I'm telling you, that's some that's some top level shit. Imagine the fucked up shit they do behind closed doors. You could you could be the exclusive expose on that. Well, just look at the shit that you see that comes out and, you know, without them trying to hide it. Imagine, uh, we talked about the, oh my God, petting zoo. The shit That's legit doing what with, they call with it. Foam oh, and yeah. Just everything, yeah. And we, we have to uh, get them, we'd have to get them a first. I mean, it have to be convincing, right? We couldn't, they have to, oh, they have to know what they're talking about. So, could it be uh, a raccoon suit. 
Yeah, cone. It either have to be. Well, we could. We obviously couldn't say what it was on air. We, we're using kitty for the code word. Now it could be a kitty. Could be a dog. Whatever. I, I want it to be the most retarded animal. Like what one do they not? Use? <laughs> they, like a retarded oh. horse or something. That that. that yeah, just, no, I got it. You you know that the the fucking thing from My Little Pony that has it looks like a really fucked up animal, like all slammed together. Uh, no, it's called Discord. That's right. It's, I think Discord is actually named after it. The fucking oh, thing. no. That would be perfect. <laughs> there you go. And we got to get a ca- we had to get a camera, though. You know, like no, you, you mount it in the fucking head. Yeah, it's that's perfect. what I'm saying. Yeah. Right through the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's eye level with you. <laughs> Holy shit, Ralph, you could put a little speaker in there and then surprise them. <sighs> like, record them and, you know, and stream it secretly. And then when you, <laughs> when you catch them doing something, be like, Surprise, motherfucker! You're on the kill stream. <laughs> Not gonna know what's going on. Don't 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 Surprise, say that. It might fucking put you in the. <laughs> it might put you in the petting zoo to stay. There's seriously been like five or six people already volunteering. There's more for this. now. They're like, I'll do it. I'll now, do it. what's a big? I, I'm not this up on their culture. Oh well, we uh, what, we need to find big, like the name of all their dumb little fucking. Go, yeah, go what's a wiki? If you go now, to the wait, was it the, wasn't the Carol dude talking about there's one coming up that he wasn't allowed to go to? I there's saw that in your video. You go to the, there's um there's Euro Eurofurence Furence or whatever, the big one in Europe. And then there's also um there is another one coming up in the US. But what was the name, Jim? You'd called it out. You might not remember, but it was in your video, the ones that I forget it was some conference said they didn't want him there. Oh, uh, WAPFA. Yeah, uh, WAPFA. I knew it started with a W. Uh, that's not a big one, though. Okay, but yeah. okay, okay, Is that okay. specifically because he fucks animals? Yeah, no, they yeah. they released a statement, and, and if you read the third paragraph down, they're like, yeah, we believe in charity for animals and all this. And then at the very bottom, you and it, I know it's addressing Kiro because it's the same day that his video came up saying he wouldn't go there. Uh, and it said, we will not allow anybody that abuses or associates with people that abuse animals to attend this convention. They're they're banned from the premises. No, that's because he got caught, though, right? Like. Well, yeah, yeah, I think I think that might just be because he got caught. Oh, I mean, if you're going to send people to the European one, I mean, V probably needs a new, a new <laughs> dawn, right? Because that's, that's, that's it. That's our ticket. Yeah, I mean, get V, get send V in to do the European ones. He would do it just for the attention, <laughs> just for a pat v on the redemption head. arc. <laughs> yeah, just. Scratch his, uh, scratch his nose or something. I don't know. What is he, like a dog? What is his fursona? What did he, I don't know. What was his former... I know he's talking about it before. I'm not sure what his, uh, you know, fursona is, though. Or what... I mean, I guess he said was, but... No idea. Yeah, Maybe was. Dinosaur. Oh, what was. is going on? Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a wink. Oh. By the way, Hubris is still talking about Cuba in the Discord. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why, but... The if we, if okay, just so you really know, um, <laughs> I don't think Cuba has laws against animal cruelty, but I mean, if he gets like court martialed because he's a member of the military, they might just fucking shoot him. Which you know, I'm not going to complain about. Huck him in the ocean. He, he, <laughs> he, he was the worst. I haven't read through. I actually haven't even read through all of them. But Wolf was the worst that I've seen. I think it was the worst that everybody else had seen too. We don't even have everybody yet. I think we've got like maybe six out of nine. But so many of them were really into the, the yeah. pedo shit too, which is so like it wasn't just the animal abuse and shit, but no, like it, yeah, and talking. I mean, talking about real kids. Like one guy was talking about sending dick pics to. It was one dude dating a woman, and he was talking about helping the other guy seduce her son, and he was like nine. What? And, like, yeah, and I know what you're talking. There's a picture of them together. They're like in the lazy boy, and he's got the kid like on on his lap or to the left of him, sandwiched between him and the chair. It's just it's he said something like him. You know, he said he was like sending pictures of the guy's dick to the kid. Yeah, yeah, that that was their their uh, what? It's not Discord. It's Telegram or whatever the fucking thing they used was. Yeah, Telegram. Funnily enough, in the uh, the the animal gore leaks, which I've not parsed through yet, and I'm having people help me with, um, I'm not even going to upload any of the image content with it because it's just it's completely irrelevant and senseless, and they don't even do it themselves. It's just shit that they collect and, and slosh around between each other. But um, they were talking about the makeup of the channel and how most of the people in it were furries, 
And the one guy even joked and said, well, of course they're all furries. It's Telegram. It might as well be renamed OOgram at this point because the only people who use it are furries. So, well, yeah, yeah. And then did, did you see the shit with the Telegram uh, that made uh, fucking Kiro's story even stupider? Uh, apparently Telegram hasn't been available in Iran for eight fucking months. It's banned. <laughs> <laughs> so they, there's no way hackers from Iran could have done it. They can't use the fucking service. It's completely shut off. Yeah, his his story was blatantly bullshit from the very beginning. And everybody, I think everybody who immediately defended him needs to be looked into. By the way, v is, in the, v is in the chat right now. I don't know if you guys saw that. but Ask him if he wants to be our undercover fur fag in Europe to do this, uh, the Kitty Kill Stream expose. He has to ask for the petting zoo. He, he wants the full experience. I mean, should we bring him on real quick and ask him? I know we're over Tom already, but... Might yeah. as well. Right. Yeah. I mean, we might as well at this point. That's true. All right, let me, let me make the window go away real quick, just in case. All right, I'll send him the link. We'll see. Oh, what does this turn into? All right. You want to take one last guess? Ever. Wait, uh, oh, what, what it is? It would take, yeah, on what his fursona is before he tells us when we ask him. Uh, what do you, what do you it's a husky. 100% a husky. Penguin. Dragon. <laughs> um, Iguana. I was thinking something lizardy. Uh, I'm going to go with a, a kitty cat because, oh, right? Okay. Uh, v, v, yeah. Oh, that is video. Is he Sorgon's lap cat? It is the cat. You didn't see the cat video, Josh? No. Oh. <laughs> is it really being in a cat suit? No, it's not him in a cat suit. It's him with his cat. Squeezing the cat. <laughs> it's one way of putting it. <laughs> it's literally what it is. Yes. By the way, oh, V man. V came through and he did send the money he said he was going to send the other night uh, for St. Jude. So yeah, I saw that. Good I on wanna, him. I just want to repeat that. There's Good V. All right, let's see if he'll. V, you're muted. There yeah. you go. Hey, gentlemen, how's it going? Hey. V, have we we got a fun adventure for you. I heard. Before we start that, what was your first Sona back in the day? Well, people haven't tried finding it. I said that the person who finds it, I'm, I'm going to say his name on my live stream. Um, is it a husky view? No, it's not a husky. But uh, I, I don't want to spoil the magic. Oh, it's come like on. a treasure oh. hunt on the internet. You oh, need to find it. No. At least narrow it down. Is it an other kin or a furry? Are we looking for scales or fur? All right, I'll, I'll narrow it down. It's scales. It's, oh, a, it's, it's, see, it's a I said Ralph was right. I told you something scaly <laughs> has to be. That's that's a good guess, Ralph. I'm just kidding. Just okay, well, we need it to be a secret anyways, because when V, we're going to strap a camera on you, a hidden camera, and we're going to send you to Euroference, and you, you've got to ask for the petting zoo. And if you catch these people fucking animals on camera, we will pay you. We'll pay you many shit. We'll pay him anyway, but. Well, the problem with this is that people kind of know who I am, especially in the furry community. But I can, get you, some, <laughs> I, I can get you someone. I can get you someone on the inside. I was gonna say you? maybe he knows someone. How well do they know you, V? Well, I've been making streams with to the ranting griffins. I got the out furries, uh, the the furry raiders on my stream, so they probably know who I am. Um, but I, I can uh, definitely get you someone on the inside if you want to do something like that. Wait, do you mean yeah. your voice is too recognizable that they would instantly know who you are even in costume at one of these conventions? Um, who, who squeaks more than me, Jim? I mean, do you, do, do you, have, have you heard someone with, with a more squeaky voice than me? So was Ralph right? Are you a dragon or was I right? Are you a snake? I'm not going to confirm or deny it. You need to find out. Come I'm on, just, it's on I'm the internet. To it's out you, there. I'm trying to picture you slithering around. <laughs> I'll, 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 just say it, I, I'll just say it this way. I'm definitely not a snake. I, I don't believe I think he's... I got it. I nailed it. You're a but, snake. But I, 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 got a, I got a question for you, Jim. How do you know about Uncle Kage? How wouldn't you? He's he's one of the voices that's well-known within the furry community. If you've covered any of these furries or any of the shit that they do... His name is repeatedly brought up. Uh, right. It seems like they either hate him or they like him. Uh, like they're divided on it because he's one of the people that goes to conventions and says, please stop acting like fucking degenerate assholes. You're making us all look bad. Well, I understand he's, uh, I believe on Furcon, he's one of the organizers and uh, he constantly votes against the far left, which is why they, they hate him so much. I, I don't know. Sh I don't know shit about his politics. I just know that he was the guy that would give speeches about please stop wearing leather gear in front of the media cameras 
and stop humping each other in hotel lobbies. <laughs> well, I, I can bring you up to speed a little bit. If I, I can bring you up to speed a little bit because I've been following the uh, subversion from Antifa regarding the furry fandom. It's almost entirely uh, corrupt. Wait, like what? their entire leadership is either Antifa, they're supporting Antifa. Um, you got, for Affinity, you got Dragoneer, who is openly vouching for uh, Antifa. And this is why you keep seeing people uh, trying to get some uh, others fired or they're, they're uh, being outraged on the Twitter constantly. Um, th th this is basically what they're trying to do. They're co-opting, you know, people who just sit at home all day on the computer, yiffing or whatnot, and they're using them as online activists. Um, like, you, you will notice this. Every time there's some scandal coming up, you'll see furries that are bitching and complaining. You, you must have noticed the pattern by now. Well, what, I, what, I, what I've been noticing is... Like, it's it, this has gone beyond like just weird weird shit fee i mean like it's getting into territory of fucking corpses of animals and molesting kids and it's a lot of it it's not just a few yeah because the far left encourages that shit no the far left encourages that shit i mean they they have a furry convention for children if i'm not mistaken like there's pictures of that if you what? want i can bring one up what yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga you better fucking bring it up oh hold on I'll bring you, can't, up. you can't bring that up in passing comment I'll, I'll break it up if you want. Like ever since the far left took uh, control of the furry leadership, they're encouraging more and more degeneracy. I mean, it, it existed back in the yeah, day, but it was heavily suppressed. I mean, let me see if I can find it. It's like I said in Euroference, they released the thing. The guy who organized Euroconference or whatever, he said, "If you're a Trump supporter, if you're on the right, do not come to Euroconference." And Euroconference yeah. is the oldest still-running Euro uh, or uh, furry convention in the in the world. It's one of the oldest, and it's partisan. And if uh, Anthrocon in the U.S. is partisan, there is no like vetted uh, furry conference in in the world left that's not political. And that, and they're fucking crazy, and they're eating each other. And the ones on the left, in particular, seem to be covering each other's asses in regards to fucking animals and kids. Look at the article I just gave you in the picture. No, wait. What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Parents no furries. That sounds. <laughs> hold on. I'm, I'm just gonna. Uh, okay. All right. I see it. Um. Excuse me, I'm sick. I apologize. Um, should I what? Should I read some of this or? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. The media often portrays the furry fandom in a negative light. A huge number of parents accept this information, making them wary about the fandom. Uh, this is the reason why young oh, teens God. may find it hard to come out in the open and tell their parents that they are part of the fandom. Spreading awareness plays a very important role in helping others understand furries much better. Let us look at some points parents need oh, to know why, about. Why does this sound like it's it. every article ever written about any weird <laughs> yes. niche thing, right? If this was the trans community, the gay community, it's the same wording you'd hear with every article about exposing your kids to this wonderful new world. Yeah, yeah. The, the, we're, we're talking about people who are fucking in the hotel lobby. It is, it, yeah. you, know, you know, it's like talking about the BDSM community and saying it's okay if your 12 year old comes out in favor of the BDSM community. No, wait, they compare it to comic books, movies, gaming. <laughs> They are, however, enthusiasts about anthropomorphic uh, animals and carry their fascination with them as they grow older. A common misconception about furries is that they are often attracted to a sexual fetish. See, how to prepare for anal sex. That is another article on this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to what? God. I swear to God. What the fuck? I mean, let me give you something from Vice. You that, know, maybe, maybe that, that one is a little bit... D, is this satire? Is this a fucking joke? Okay, here, I gave you one from Vice, if you want. If you don't believe the first source. <laughs> wait, 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 Ralph. The, the article about parenting your children to become furries links to an article about how to take yes. it up the ass. It says, see how to prepare for anal sex, and that's uh, loveplugs.ca. <laughs> the next one. Parentheticals. God. It's like a fucking comedy sketch. It's comedic perfection. And well, I gave you something from Vice if you don't All right, I'll pull it up in a second. Let me read this last sentence, though. Furry oh conventions are a great place to learn more about furries, and attending one with your children can help you better understand the fandom as a whole. Yes, bring I your think kids. The, I think the sentence preceding that could better help you understand <laughs> the fandom. When it follows up, introduce your kids to furries and how little Billy can take it up his poop shoot. <laughs> and, and you also have a picture with a kid at a furry convention. I asked other furries that was legit. 
Yeah, no, it reminds me of those those like things you see on pole, the little kids at the gay pride parade looking at guys in assless chaps. It, it gives you kind of <laughs> it does, sick feeling. It, it really does. This Vice Holy article shit. says how the furry community became a safe space for youth. For teens who feel isolated or ostracized, the furry community is a place where they can come out and be themselves. You require more Vespine gas. <laughs> but see, that's that's what I was talking about. That maybe that was true at some point, but now no. it's not. Now it's no. like this close it never to thick shit. No. Back in my day, <laughs> he says no. <laughs> Back in my day, the common sense furries would stamp on this shit. They would be like, "No, this is eighteen plus. Absolutely not." But now that the far left is in charge, they're like, oh, no, it's okay. Bring your kids. That's fine. Just, you know, just get, get your kids you're, you're, you're getting back some social credit with Chad. <laughs> is he our furry? Man on the inside. No. V, how, a deep how, throat how, of furry how, how prolific is this? Like, how uh, honestly, how bad is it in the furry community? How many of them are really into animal fucking and kid shit? If you uh, really, give it a number, just a percent. Yeah, well, uh, again, when I was in the community, this was stamped out. Like, if you were caught doing any of that thing, you would be banned from every furry chat. You Like, no one would want to associate with you. Nowadays, I don't fucking know. Um, I, I know a lot of furries are leaving the fandom because of your videos, and they're saying that's fucking disgusting, and they don't want to have anything to do with it. But then there's other people that are heavily defending it, and, and, and they were, like, willing to do absolutely anything. It's like you said in our video, they're willing to die on this anthill. Man, you gotta get out, V. I don't know anything about you, V. I don't have any ill will towards you, man. Get oh, I, monster I girls, man. I, I got out for years. I used to be a furry. So anymore, what made but, you uh, leave? What made you leave it? Real life sex. <laughs> <laughs> but I still know people on the inside. I still talk with some of the people that I used to know. And, Bro, uh, if, that, if you yeah. can get evidence of this. I don't know, man. I, I will, I will, I'll hook you up. You'll have one eternal favor. Well, which one do you want? Children at Furcon or like them fucking animals? It, it, them fucking animals. I for think sure. I picked the okay. animals. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a choice. God. What is <laughs> <I'll tell> <laughs> happening? And, and I'll tell you this from what I know. That maybe things have changed, but back in my days, they would have never fucked animals at a hotel. Um, if they were to do something like this, it would be like a subgroup of furries doing it somewhere private. Like it, most of the people there would be on board. I just want you to know because this is going to be recorded. This is going to be clipped. This is going to be passed around. Sure, we're, we're gunning for you. We got V. We got we got a man on the inside. We got the the gypsies are fucking after you guys. You got to be careful. If you fuck a dog in a hotel, we're gonna know about it. Well, I'll just say this, right? Like any any of you guys that got fucked by the far left, by Dragoneer, but by some of the new furry establishment that are very political, if you want to get back at them, if you want to fuck them, bring some evidence for it. And we want to do the undercover op too. This is exciting. I feel like this is going to lead to good shit. (laughs) The fall is shaping up to be... Uh, I, I guarantee the fall there's furries. somebody out there right now <laughs> who has something spectacular that they are itching to share with the world. My email is null at kiwifarms.net. You can email me whatever the fuck you want. I will look at it. I promise you. Ink. Tons of dick. Oh, wow. This is a Vice article. A furry convention welcomes Syrian refugees' families to Canada. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, 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 I'll post it. Of course, because now they got access to little boys that can't speak the language. Of course, they oh. love it. A number of refugees oh, got a look surprise. At look, look at the pictures in that Vice article. Holy shit! Oh no! The kids fucking loved it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! That's a literal quote, by the way, on the Vice article. Is that real? Yes, that's is literally that real. What yes, that article is oh, real. Why don't God. people believe me? Every single time I'm telling the truth, people think I'm trolling. I, I legit oh believe Oh my <laughs> God, V, what the fuck? Vancouver, <laughs> Vancouver by the way, the name of their convention is Vancouver. Attendees wearing fursuits greeted enthusiastic children from some of the Syrian families with hugs and posed for photos with them. <laughs> 
could you imagine? <laughs> could you could you imagine crossing an ocean with no money, <laughs> and you get to a new country, and the first thing that happens is some fat dude in a fox suit fucks you in your ass? <laughs> this is supposed to be the promised land, you know, the West, you know, the land of freedom oh, 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 and democracy. Look, look at this one! Look at this one! Holy shit! This I'll just read the title. Oh, Trudeau's master oh, plan. Furry convention of unacceptable adults scars one hotel guest cheerleading children for life. <laughs> Oh, this is from Gawker. It's back from 2013. This is an old one, though. You know, back when they had common sense and the media would have just automatically praise furriness. And say, yeah, oh, how is- far we've fallen in five years, V. <laughs> I'm not sure My you folks... Curve. Let me read this. I'm not sure if you folks know what a furry rave is. A regular rave is a party where folks dance, drink, party, and do their drugs. A regular rave would have been unacceptable then. A furry rave included more lewd and lascivious behavior along with the other factors included in a regular rave. Apparently he was pissed that his kids had to witness this, which I don't I don't blame him. I don't. I don't. Oh, yeah. Turn your fur friends in before they turn you in. It's happening. This is the day. This is the night of long knives. You got to be ready. You got to get the jump. You got to get the jump. Yeah, it's all coming out. You might as well get them before they get you. The old prisoner's dilemma. Yeah, just stick that fucking knife straight in there. (laughs) The fall of furries. Someone in chat said the night of the long horse dicks. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, somebody earlier said instead of confiscate confiscate their coats like you usually play gator confiscate their goats that's what uh... all right Uh, oh oh before before we i guess we're gonna head for home here soon v they wanted me to ask you about your about your poor cat oh the the (laughs) video you played yes the funny thing is, is that I I was just squeezing it hard. It's just like if you applied the little touch, it would make that sound, and that's why I found it fun. Okay. I, I listen, know it listen, to the, as... listen to the furry talking about how funny it is to make the cat <laughs> scream. Okay. No, I, I I'm serious. It was just a very light squeeze. It, it wasn't uh, as bad as it sounded. I don't even know how to phrase this. You better be telling the truth, V, because we're on to you now. Oh. We're on to you. All right. They just I'm looking for things from Furcon, and, and you get all these questions from parents. Is a furry convention a good place for kids? Yahoo answers. My son is a furry. What should I do? <laughs> Euthanize him. Get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> get a new one. <laughs> that fucker. <clears throat> if you notice the family dog limping, it's time to put him down. Okay, somebody sent me a, a thing from uh, Kothrix Nashiri. I don't know if I can pronounce it. Oh, it's the blue dragon guy, the gay blue dragon guy. So this is a quote he said. I think you mentioned this. He said, uh, Zosh is right anyway. Like 20% of the furry community are zoo pals. Everyone in the furry community knows this and doesn't really care. People outside the community think all furries are zoo pals anyway. The only people who are upset by it are moralizing social justice warrior fucks. Trust me, you aren't losing much by having them hate you. Yeah, so basically, it's okay. We we all know we, that you guys like fucking horses and dogs and shit, and the only one bothered by that are uh, SJWs. Well, didn't you see the furries fighting fascism sway of articles in the mainstream media? I I don't know. I, I my my brain is melting at this point from listening to this shit. Man, no, I will send, oh. send a couple if you want. Oh God, what are you? Uh, how do you have all this at the ready? Uh, because I already made streams about it. Okay, I already okay. tried informing people about it. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. We watched one of your videos about it the other day, actually. What are you talking about? It? Uh, even furries are wanna, fighting fascists. Yes. Just going to throw the invitation out there. V. If you ever want to make a forum account and start posting some stuff, you know, the, the options there. It's a 24-7 uh, facility. You can join any time. Well, he's probably already got an account. <laughs> Probably that's why he's uh, lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hearing a denial there. <laughs> Look at this one. That's the furry community. Doesn't even answer it. Just moves on to something else. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't need an answer. It's already known. You're, you're, you're trying to break my cover. I need to be uh, smart about it. 
Well, once they found out you're bad for life, uh, this one is from the Rolling Stones. Does the furry community have a Nazi problem? So apparently the leadership of the furries, they made the blacklist of people who are Nazis. As I understand it, uh, there, there are around 400 known uh, Nazis in America, right? They, they're being kept by uh, the, the watch websites. So if they found a thousand people blacklisted. That means that every Nazi in America must also be a furry. Well, that's, I think the the FBI standard for what a furry is is a little bit stricter than what the uh, just wearing a fucking paw swastika armband thing. But yeah, no, How it's, you even uh, get into this? Not... Just look at this photograph. I don't know, man. <laughs> don't you want to join that community, Ralph? It's just strange. Like, I don't know. It's oh, just weird. weird. Well, take comfort in the fact, Ralph, that you know over the next year after your Kitty Kill stream stuff goes on. When another furry looks at one of those masks, they'll never know if there's a camera behind the eye. They'll all be paranoid for the rest of the time. Oh, yeah. You can put a camera anywhere on that fucking suit. Anywhere. We can put one on the dick. Are we going to check for it? You know, do crotch inspections for cameras? You can't, you can't hunt us down. You can't did, did find Did you guys hear about the, the furry fatwa? No, I did not. Okay, so there's this guy, Foxler, and he likes to role play as, a, I believe, a Nazi fox. He's got, like, this armband with a pow and everything. Um, I have so, heard of Foxley. I did. I have yeah. heard of Foxley. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. So he, he's a little bit controversial, right? Uh, and apparently, he was denied access from a convention because they said they can't guarantee his safety. And, and uh, from rumors are like, uh, I'm trying to get Foxler on my street to talk about this. He said, if he goes there, people will kill him. And I'm like, hmm. So so basically, there's a furry fatwa on his head. You you, you well, can't get yeah, more. <laughs> What? Is, yeah. Did he try to go into one of the, the, the left leaning conventions? Because they're the, all I mean, the left leaning provide. conventions. There, there are no yeah, more yeah. non left leaning conventions. That's what my friend was saying. Uh, Anthrocon is yet to to say if they put rules like a uh, conference has, but uh, she expects them to. And after yeah. that, there will be no more conventions left that are. I understand that they tried to start a non leftist convention, like some of the furries tried to uh, start their own shit. Uh, the far left protested until it got shot down. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm actually, in, um, I, I don't, I like to look and not touch, but like, I would like these conventions, these hotel centers that are hosting this shit to know that these people fuck animals and they're probably going to fuck animals like within the, the perimeters of the, the, the conference. Man, if the far left keeps encouraging them to be as degenerate as possible and out in the open, uh, <coughs> I, I suppose, but again, like, don't most of the states in the uh, in your country have laws against fucking animals? Uh, yeah, I believe yeah. all fifty states have that law. Yeah. No, not all fifty. Wait, what? It's, uh, you're you're Gucci in Wyoming and West Virginia. Okay. In well, fact, in fact, Mundo, I think it is West Virginia where it is legal to fuck a dog, record yourself fucking a dog, huh? and then. Sell Videos of yourself fucking the dog and to possess the videos of you fucking the dog. There's like different levels. In some states, you can't fuck dogs. Some states, you can't sell your videos or you can't record Country it. Roads. <laughs> Do we know oh. the uh, tourism rate between West Virginia and Canada? I know <laughs> up there, they're loving those new laws about horse fucking. Uh, I was not aware yeah, of that. No, there, there is. I remember people were talking about it, where it was safe to have sex with animals, and where if it's uh, if it's illegal for them to possess it, if it's legal for them, like where my my server is stored, obviously the state that it's hosted in, uh, it's legal to to possess and distribute uh, zoophilia, because otherwise my server would be fucking possessed by now by the state. There's no federal law against fucking animals. Um, so yeah, there's there's room. In, <laughs> is that are you plugging West Virginia? Makes <laughs> 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 it's no, a lot of state of West Virginia. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to fucking uh, quarantine West Virginia. There's just so much like uh, unknown STDs that people caught from fucking horses. Oh, I didn't man, know this, this, shit is, <laughs> this shit is crazy. Uh, this is so. This is bizarro land. Well, one thing I can say is it's gonna give us content for a long time. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Jim. Like ten internet insanity videos <laughs> right here, right now. No, I'm not kidding, Ralph. If you do that, I'm kitty kill trip shit, I will watch that shit religiously. That'd be fucking serious. entertaining as hell. I think that's one. I think 
I think V V, you can do this, my man. You can. You, I think you that had to. Kinda, you were, you are punished, V. You had to leave your community. You're probably in that shit for 15 years. And Antifa, they pushed you out, man. This is your chance. You're gonna. I, you're I, can, gonna, I can find you people on the inside that go to these conventions. <laughs> yeah. All you need to do is <laughs> kick in the door, and the whole rotten structure will come crashing down. I think it'll pan out a lot better than Corinne and Compton, at least. Let's put it that way. Well, when I was uh, in the community, the only case of bestiality that we heard about it back then was this guy who used to come in the chat with us suddenly went missing. And then people found him in the papers. So apparently what happened is that he went into the barn, got a bull to fuck him up the ass. But apparently like bulls, as I have found out, have this bone, like this actual bone in their dick. So it ended up giving the guy internal hemorrhage and he ended up being in critical uh, unit at the hospital. He never came back to the chat. But that was like the only case of bestiality <laughs> <laughs> that I have heard about when I was in the furry fam. What did I just listen to? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Now, I don't know if he didn't come back to the chat because of his internal shame or because the doctors couldn't bring him back. No, probably the shame. Unless it was Horstick, that guy unfortunately walked into the operating room or the emergency room uh, with a with a sword butthole and an injured sense of pride. I, I'm curious, God, how do you explain us. that shit? Like, how, how do you, you know, call 911 and tell them what happened? No, Mr. Hands didn't explain it to anybody. <laughs> he got fucked unconscious. He, they, it ripped his fucking organs apart. So they, they scooped him up, bleeding out his asshole, and literally just dropped him at the ER door and left him there. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you never know what's going to happen on the kill stream. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go said, drink I'm about uh, to... some fucking bleach. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you all yeah. very much. I'm about, to, I'm about to wrap it. Um, oh, God. Right now, I'm just checking my... Um, same with okay, uh, okay. Verve. When I first signed up with Verve, I was getting dozens, 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 dozens of signups. Now, it's you know, a few less a month. But again, but again I, mostly I mostly do pay per... I normally do pay per, like, just through the ad spot. You know, X amount of dollars just do the shout outs. And then I yeah. don't really worry about. You well, know, on, on top of asking them for affiliate information, which I'd appreciate if you do do that, um, yeah. I would like you to look at their privacy policy because what we were talking about regarding selling information is that yeah, they explicitly yeah. say that they can sell your comments and their uh, therapist, their, their messages back to you. Yeah, um, if it turns out that they did something like that, then I obviously would no longer recommend it. But the shit that I have said to my therapist over there, holy fuck, I don't want anybody finding that out. Well, the I, I, was is, under the, I was under the presumption that it was safe. Yeah, no, it's um. they say explicitly that your questions and the answers to those questions uh, are a part of what they can sell to people in the privacy policy. Okay, um, I signed up for BetterHelp on June 7th, so I've been using them since about June 7th. Okay, um, and, and our fear is is that Facebook actually put out a article to its investors and advertisers not too long ago basically saying that young adults with depression have uh, low mood swings where they're particularly vulnerable to specific types of aggressive marketing. And we think right. that this is actually some kind of data feed for a machine learning to pick up on language perhaps used in Facebook Messenger I mean, that indicates well, that somebody's particularly I mean, that's not particularly surprising to me. You realize that's what YouTube is, right? Well, this like is, you realize right now you're feeding the AI machine right now. The YouTube is exclusively 100% about feeding AI. Every word I'm saying on the stream right now, every image that you're uploading into the stream, every it's, it's being converted over to text. That text is being fed into the AI machine. The algorithm, algorithm learning is the only reason Alphabet gives a flying fuck about YouTube. You realize you're doing that right now. Every video you upload, every word you say on stream, every picture you upload, every Gmail you send, that's the only thing Alphabet gives a flying fuck about is AI. You really Can I ask, that, right? Giving you this, uh, that kind of idea regarding YouTube? Because AI is the future. It's obvious. It's obvious. Why, why else would they run a, a, a money-losing website? What possible other reason? Well, they, I mean, what do you, think, what do you think Facebook is about? I mean, Amazon loses money, too, off Amazon.com. Yeah, the AWS gets in the float. YouTube yeah. is the number two website right. in the world right now. Even Facebook. I'm They're telling, really I'm telling you, I'm telling you, AI is the fucking future. It's it's Amazon versus fucking Google versus fucking Apple, and they are all farming your data. And versus fucking Facebook, and they're all farming your data, and they're all using it to feed AI machines. And if you think for a fucking second that they're not doing that, then I think you're naive.
And are you aware that uh, there's there's provisions within this this terms of service that they can actually sell the the contents of your therapy sessions? Absolutely not. And I I didn't read my EULA honestly. So that, that's what I'm saying. If they sold my shit, it would fucking ruin me. The shit that I said to this therapist, I don't want to fucking talk about that shit. It would, it would I don't show up on my Kiwi Farms. Did you yeah, say, you to, did you tell them not to share it? Because you have to legit tell them that you don't want it shared. Otherwise, to, it's already, is, yeah, yeah, the otherwise it's already been happen. shared. Yeah. Now that it's already been shared, then I'm fucked. But hopefully it's just going to be fed into a giant AI machine like Probably. every word I'm currently saying right now. Uh, the other everything, thing is it, everything we are saying right now is currently being fed into the exact same fucking machine. So I don't, you know, so I don't worry about it that much. Why I call this a pyramid scheme and, and Josh alluded to it. Yeah, wh- yeah. Who the fuck is saying pyramid scheme? Can because, you explain- okay. So this is how it works. This company, if you look at the CEO, he's made multiple companies that do the same thing. Uh, right. Either they're health companies. Well, that's that, not a pyramid. Oh my, no, 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 hold on. Health companies, beauty companies, whatever. But what they do is they get YouTubers and I guess, quote unquote, influencers to shill this product they give you a fee as you said you got 200 some people got 100 per per person and actually if you look at your link if you look deeper into your link you link to philly d your affiliate link so i think he gets a cut from you as well so whoever signed up for you i don't think that's it. the case we have a screen, like, we have a screenshot of of your actual uh, well, url and it links to his so we go to company. Com yeah it has the rogue buggy, rocket tag right there in there which is his company his youtube company um and the way it works is they get you guys to sign up then you get your subscribers to sign but up see, that would be don't, that would be a, that would be illogical because i'm not going through philip defranco i'm going through seismic and why would seismic give them a percentage why would they give the you have to ask why make any sense or help that, I, I why they're working that why wouldn't they want to keep all the money they can that doesn't make i think sense. 200 dollars is the top uh okay. top referral level because that's what andy worski was promised but that, you that got and i and i had i had three or i had two different people i was about to say three but i think it was only two but i had an agent that works with another youtuber reach out to me and then i had seismic reach out to me and i just went through seismic because they already handled my other stuff so I don't, you know, I don't know who would have been. Se- Seismic's a third party, so they might have gone through Philly D to better help, and that's why yeah, exactly they're getting I, that there. wouldn't make sense. Like why they don't work for DeFranco? That's not one of his companies, but, but he might I mean, have he, contacted them to get other people. I mean, maybe. Yeah, that's, I that's, by the way, here, here's the affiliate link, uh, and I can follow it. Oh wait, that's the wrong. That's the wrong link. Yeah, can I uh, can I see this? So I got the kill stream. Let, let me let me copy. Can you yeah, you can, you can see it. Give me a sec. Yeah. Um. No, there's that's the Rogue Rocket website. If you paste in your affiliate link, um, Ralph, has, you're always so mean to me, and I understand why you're always so mean to me. Thank you for being so kind, and I, I really it has, appreciate you. It has the redirect. Well, I mean, look, there's the Rogue Rocket. I don't know if you can see that. Can can that is that showing on the screen? Hold on. Uh, I don't know what Rogue Rocket is. So you know for a fact, like you can prove that's DeFranco's company. Yes. Me, yes. Listen. Now, if you see, hold on. Let me. Uh, so if I go to RogueRocket.com, yeah, there's see, DeFranco. Right there, okay, right gotcha. there up top. I got it highlighted now. You should be able to see it on screen. That's Rogue Rocket right there in the uh, in the URL tab. So, yeah, I, mean, I do see just, it. And so that's that's if you go for if that's people can if just you go look to, at it through the. Here, here's the hold on. Let me let me copy. But you get this. that if you go to BetterHelp.com/slash/boogie. Yes. Interesting. Yes, you. Do well, I guess DeFranco's been. I guess I've made DeFranco literally dozens of dollars at this point. <laughs> Yeah, there's the I'll link. Probably, you, you guys can check it if you yep, want. Yep, I yeah. see it right there. Holy shit. Affiliate plus UTM So campaign. you're saying you didn't know anything about this? Like, this is just... No, man. I don't fucking ask questions like this, dude. Like, I... I, I the so whole can... reason I... The whole reason I work with a brand manager is so I don't have to ask questions like this. He's like, here's the deal. Here's the product. I try the product. If I like it, I do the deal. That's all so I wait, ever think about. Wait. Boogie, you, you don't you don't ask questions like this, but I mean you're you're promoting a service for people that are depressed or have suicidal ideation. You don't right, think- but I used but right I used it for six weeks before I recommended. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean that that's the clever marketing technique that these people use. We get the influencer to say they use it, and then any criticism brought against the the application of the service is deflected away because I used it personally. But I mean, oh, this, is Medi- Medi- this is Megator, right? Medicor? Well, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, me- mediocre. Uh, but <laughs> oh, well, no, but hey, I mean, I like your videos, man. I, so I, was, I flipped the fuck out when you got banned from like Twitter. And did you ever get Twitter back? Uh, nope, nope. It's lost forever. But you, I, but you did get banned from, you, but you got YouTube back, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm using Hal's channel right now. He's a great guy. Okay. He's a, he's a okay. good guy. Hey, I'm glad to see you back. I'm glad to see you back on YouTube. 
Yeah, but a lot I mean, of people. I, I think a lot of people think like I hate you guys or something like that. Or no, I disagree with you guys a lot. But there's no fucking hating involved, and you guys are allowed to have whatever opinions you like. And I watch you guys for the same reason I used to watch Lacey Green back in her SJW days. I don't always agree with oh, you. Yeah, compared to Lacey Green, Green. but, but do not I'm just saying. To I'm just Green. saying. Shit. I, okay, I'm gonna make it worse. I'm gonna compare you to Anita Sarkeesian. I would watch him. Oh, that, that, that's fantastic. Because I don't know. Really <laughs> we're getting, let's get it. We're, 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 we're getting way off track. Yeah. yeah. No. I, I just okay, wanted. Anyway, to, sorry. I'm sorry. I just fangirled a little bit. I apologize. Go ahead. So I mean, here's the thing I find weird, and maybe maybe that you're completely unaware of this, but if yeah. from what I'm seeing, this is it's got an eerie resemblance to something that's already happened once. I mean, you, you know, Josh has that's talked about it. You talked about it a little bit with the AI stuff. Them taking yeah. information from people and then feeding it into uh, either an AI algorithm or some kind of a, a learning program or something like that, right. or using right. that for marketing purposes or something else offsite. I've already seen one group of YouTubers and influencers that had middling numbers to kind of high numbers, uh, which were the skeptics. You had uh, people with hundreds of thousands of subs working for a company called Candid, which directed all these people to use an app, and they were told it was you know free anonymous online speech. And then it turns out they're they're training an AI bot, and who's who's you know the company that ends up buying it? Well, it's it's Amazon, it's Twitch, and now look at the state of Twitch. So now you've got this this service, this site that's saying, hey, if you're depressed, hey, if you're screwed up, hey, if you're suicidal, hey, if things are really dark, come use our website. And then you find out that oh, you know, maybe not everybody's uh, you know licensed like they should be, or maybe we can sell your information to whoever we want. I mean. Imagine how crushing that is. If I'm a fan of Philip oh, yeah. Franco or you, no, trust me. Imagine how fucking crushing it is me, uh, to me right now when it's my reputation on the line. Imagine how crushing it is to me when I've been talking about depression and anxiety my entire life, talking about therapy my entire life. And if this turns out to end up being miserable, this shit's going to ruin. I'm not ruining me. I don't. I'll be fine. Like it's not going to ruin my YouTube channel. Shit, the shit I've gone through this last year to ruin it. My channel is always going to be around. But I'm not going to be able to fucking sleep at night, dude. If I if I've misled my fucking audience. I'm just gonna fucking ruin me. No, well, yeah, but I mean, I, I think, think about the kid. Think about the kid that uses a service and then finds out, let's say, a month from now or two months from now, that the really screwed up shit in their life, you know, the abuse or the depression or the suicidal ideation, got sold to somebody that's training a fucking AI bot, or that these these personal conversations are just floating out there. And the other really weird thing is, I, I why did none of the influencers or the people that are involved in this look at the percentages and say, okay, something is clearly wrong here? Uh, Josh had mentioned that most people went for the two month package. That was the one that seemed to be the most attractive that balances out to about $350 up front. So sure. if I pay $350 for a service, but then the person that referred me is getting $200, that means the person giving the referrals, getting the majority of the money, which obviously means the service itself is not what's generating profit right. for the company. Right. But, uh, okay. But I mean, at, back in the day when I was selling, uh, think about it, they signed up for $60 a, a week, right? I think that's what they said when I signed up. So sixty dollars a week, um, and so that's two hundred forty dollars a month. So imagine I get paid two hundred dollars; they make a forty dollars profit in the first month. In a two month package, they double the amount of money. So they paid me two hundred dollars, so they made four hundred eighty dollars. What, so what was the price of the two month? I thought you said it was like three fifty, wasn't it? It was sixty dollars a week. Sixty eight, I think. It, it scales at the most. Yeah. If you buy a well, single week, you pay like eighty dollars a week. If you buy an entire year, it's thirty five dollars per week. Okay. Well, I am on a monthly bill. And let me look up and tell you exactly when I'm getting monthly build. Because here's the thing, guys. Like, I'm more than glad to help you build a case here. If there's a case to be built, I want to help you fucking build it. I got no problem with that. And if it means my fucking reputation on the line, if it means I get tore the fuck up because I sold this thing, then I don't give a shit because if, if it's a bad company, I want the bad well, company. Well, no, this, 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 sounds you know like, this sounds like DeFranco is fucking you, to be honest, with the, the weird his uh, uh, URL attached to your referral link. It's like a Ponzi scheme. Right, like he's getting the biggest pie mm -hmm. out of everybody. Am I am I off on that? Am I the only one looking at this? Like, okay, that's a little weird. Why would he? Con why would he be related right. to these referral links? I had I had literally no clue about any of that stuff. So I that's a big surprise to me. Uh, fuck, I don't I mean, know how to. Find we even had we even had uh, like Shane Dawson today came out and said he was going to look into it. You know, I. I don't see any evidence that he well, looked yeah, into Shane, it. Shane Dawson's it really seems like campaign on it, right? But isn't October 10th that's World Mental Health Day? So his big series comes out two weeks before World Mental Health Day, advertising better help. What bigger impact okay. do you have for your service than having that message most viewed by everybody? Yeah. So here, right are, when the hashtag comes up, yeah, I don't so know here. how much of this. I don't know how much of this I need to blur out. 
um, because I, I'm going to blur out my transaction ID. That seems correct. So hold on, I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to show you my bill. All right, I mean, I guess I don't have to. If I don't have to show you my bill, if you trust me, it's two hundred sixty dollars a month. It's yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, month. so here, here is how it tiers up: uh, unlimited eighty dollars a week if you pay, if you pay per week, sixty five per week if you pay monthly. So that's to uh, two sixty. Uh, unlimited forty five per week if you pay every three months, and unlimited thirty five dollars a week if you pay every year. So they basically charge you up front. So if you do the cheapest one, they charge you a thousand uh, eight hundred twenty dollars. Yeah. And a lot of people were unclear on this, which is why a lot of negative reviews specifically mentioned the billing because they're, you know, starving college students who click the $45 per week option and then they get billed yeah, for sorry. an inconceivable amount of money to them. Hey, yeah. I'm really sorry to do this, by the, by the way, real quick. Fire Resistant Podcast, thanks for the $100 donation. I really appreciate it. You're the realtor. I'm out in Dallas. It was a pleasure talking to you with you. I'm really sorry that I didn't get to say thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. That's one of the biggest donations I've ever gotten. So thank you so much. Um, that said... The, so, um, I, so you guys remember I used to like I used to sell um, affiliation for uh, for porn sites, right? I would get paid one hundred and fifty dollars for a free trial sign up. Yeah, but day. Boogie, I mean, the difference is right. That's because sites, it's yeah, because but the people, difference right? is they're 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 jacking off. They're getting the service they're paying for this. <laughs> right, but I'm this saying, but I'm really saying that people. I know, but I'm just saying that's what I thought I was dealing with. I thought they're going to rebuild. So then the first month they pay me 200, then they bill that guy 260. They've made six hours profit. That guy bills a second month. Now that's another 260. They doubled their money. So that's what I thought. I thought it was. No, it's something I mean, really is weird. Yeah, no, I, I get you. But something's really weird with how the, the economics of this scale and the amount of a cut that the influencer is getting. Like I, the, the affiliate amount is just really kind of strikes me as odd. And the, the lack of data protection, real that, I, is that that's even legal? Here. Yeah, right. I mean, no, that's, that's really. So you would think the HIPAA would not no, allow that. No, but they're not doctors. They're, that's they, how they're trying to get exactly. around it is by they're claiming that they're well, not medical professionals. Right. Well, the woman, I, the, the woman I talked to has an MSW, which that's not a doctor. She's not right. a doctor. A master of it's a master of social work. What is it's a master's degree? Yeah, so none of, doctor. doctor. none of them are doctors. None of them are none of them. None of them are They're doctors. Not a, a, a but patient most therapists, relationship with you, right? But yes. only psychiatrists are doctors. Psychologists are not exactly. You can get so, a degree in psychology. I've, I've only ever worked with one psychiatrist in my whole life, and I've had wonderful therapy in my life. Right. So basically, the chick that they have that chills is out, Katie Morton. She was on a stream with, I guess his name was something nash uh, i forget his first name jason nash i think is his name and he called her a doctor and she refuted it immediately she was no, 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 no i'm not a doctor you can't say doctor because if she was a doctor she couldn't tell anybody of the stuff you talked about now that she's not a doctor and none of these people are doctors they can sell everything you've ever said to them it's not confidential at all and a lot only uh the actual list of the colleagues all the people that are participating as therapists on the site at the very bottom there's a link to a Tele Mental Health Institute, which offers an uh, online therapist training program starting at four hundred dollars. So I, I don't him, know. Tell him about the psychics. I think he needs to hear about the psychics. That's really the oh, God. Andy Worski's uh, the marketer that contacted him is a part of CreatorHealth.org, which is a very shady company that has no public information. And by pure coincidence, we managed to figure out that CreatorHealth.org was owned by uh, InfluencerLogic.com. And uh, J Joel Robinson, who's the CEO uh, of that, and he has specific ties to the uh, information or the infosec of, of military groups. So it's all very strange and shady up there. But they also have ties to other kind of telehealth uh, organizations, in particular, one called FreeOnlineTherapy.com offers uh, online psychic readings as well. I mean, so, I, 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 can I can imagine. I, like I said, I, I mean, I, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, your guys' videos breaking this down. But that said, and I'm obviously, I will, will not be advertising these guys until I know for sure. That said, that's fucking fascinating. Um, I imagine whoever's whoever's angel investing this, they probably just don't personally give a shit. They just want to make money. It's a, so a company called Teladoc. Teladoc owns uh, Better Help, and Teladoc was an angel invested company from the mid two thousands that uh, basically lets you do phone doctor appointments to show problems without coming into the office. And they're currently worth about $233 million. And this was their branching out. 
I mean, if they have good intentions, I'm all for it. It doesn't sound like they've achieved those good intentions, but I will tell you that I had really good results. I mean, well, I, just just as a, as a personal aside, uh, you can contact this woman and continue your therapy if something were to happen to better help. Just yeah, that. So, yeah, I, I can write it right now. I can, I can message her right now. I'm still paying for the service, so yeah, I can talk to her all along. I, I guess the curious no, part I mean, is you can always email her to, outside of it. The part that I have yeah, I, is, I is how, how do you not know how many affiliates that you sold? So you said ten, you rounded up to ten, but and now you can't get to the panel. Like how you know how did you get? Well, that I don't have a panel. Place? I go through Seismic, so I just I get a check about two months afterwards, and my check. Hold on, I'm gonna go grab a check real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hold on, I'll be right back. Who's Seismic? Yeah. It's a company, is, uh, management company, agency. Yeah, but he had a number in the first place. I guess is what my point is. So you had some numbers, and now you don't have the number. I don't know. It just seems a little. It's strange to me that that I mean he works for himself, but this, uh, these other people cut checks for him. Yo, yo, dude, that, yo, he's being fucking robbed, dude. But you oh, all, you, know, and you, you all get robbed. Okay. This this happens to every one of you guys. You get these fucking managers and agents that just bend you over and have well, their way with you guys. You know stopped, what these yeah, managers well, and agents I, I, are, right? That's why I stopped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, I remember hey, I, I'm I, back. I'm back. So I, 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 I just realized I shouldn't show this on stream. But um, so basically I get a check and then the check breaks down. And this is the July check and the July check shows up in showed up in September. So it's about two months back. And this is, I guess, July is the first month that I ran BetterHelp in the yep, in the the third week of yeah, the third week of of that month, about six weeks after I started the service. So um it just breaks down. Here's how much I made from NordVPN, here's how much I made from classes, here's how much I made from Daily Harvest, uh, here's how much I made from BetterHelp. And there it shows three signups uh from from, from BetterHelp for that month. So I've right, I ran another one in August and I ran another one in September, and maybe one other one. I th might. I guess I know I didn't run anything in October yet. Um, so let's say I average three per three per. That'd be three six nine. And did that's you, what I think. Did, I you a, did you do a dedicated video to this, or was it just an advert that was? No, no. It's just a, it's just a sixty second shout out towards the end. I don't. I, sixty seconds. Oh, no, wait, no, hold on. Still, no, no, still. Hold on, though. I, I think, think my numbers too are way smaller than yours, and I've, yeah. I've gotten more than you did in 2017. Now, two? I mean, I will tell you, no, I got no, a, but like I got a hundred signups in the same month for NordVPN. I think it's just it's depression. Like NordVPN oh, is a service a lot of people right. need. Only a handful of people need depression services and mental health. You know what I'm saying? So By the way, Boogie, the Boogie, but, your fans are trying to flag out our stream, man. You should you should probably denounce oh, that. Oh, that's fucked up, guys. Don't fucking do that shit. Don't fucking flag. I, you guys know I encourage criticism of me. You guys fucking know that. I want people to make their videos. I want. I, I wasn't even mad about Lucy Fox, guys. You fucking know this shit, okay? Let people well, say you, whatever the fuck they want to say about me, guys. I want to ask you, how much were you paid per sign up? Per 200. Referral? 200. Wait, right, were you sure actually right paid 200? I told you. I told yeah, you. Right here. Fox. They offered me 200. I, Josh, I saw the emails in the morning. I, I was playing it live on, on my live show. Mm -hmm. And they offered me two hundred bucks, right. and then when I was paid, it was just a hundred bucks. Well, I, I can I can show you the check right here. I got three signups. This is two hundred pop. So, God, is everybody oh, getting robbed? Do you think? Like, is this company <laughs> robbing each side? <laughs> they run their hustle? Well, no, I'm saying I'm saying I, I I'm saying that's why I like the guys. That's why I like my brand manager over at Seismic. He gives me the best fucking deal every single fucking time. He is such he's so good at his job. I love everything he does. Well, he doesn't me. sound so good. Look at what's <laughs> happening right now, Bookie. What are you talking about? Well, I, no, but I understand that. But this this if he, he did steer me great. wrong here, number one, he didn't know any better. And yeah, number but look two, at this shitstorm. It's his job look, to know better. What do you mean? Three and a half. But I'm saying I've worked with him for three and a half years. This is the first time anything like this has happened. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, it's his job. Oh. You're getting robbed by the seismic. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to any Bitcoin stuff from Spectre.ai. Yeah. No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, go ahead. Because they're connected with. Oh uh, yeah, company. no, no. I, I'm just curious. It, it it really feels like, and I mean, uh, it, all the information is still coming out, but it really feels like. Not only are the people getting referred there and using it are, are getting hustled for their data and other stuff, but it feels like it almost feels like they're lying or false reporting the amount of affiliate signups per uh, individuals, right? I, I mean, it just feels like they're lying to the creators because it is hard for me to imagine you're only getting like three people 
uh, especially with your here, audience. Here, I'm sure so what, many people in your audience have depression. Here's what I'll say about my brand manager. I trust them explicitly. I'm um, not saying yeah, they're they're I'm not saying they're going after you. I'm saying this no, company I'm is saying, lying to I'm, you guys. Right. I want to I'm saying I want you guys to know for a fact that if I don't want anybody thinking anything badly about my brand manager or the company he works for, they're fucking incredible. If if anybody's getting lied to, they're certainly on on that list. Of people getting lied to, they're not doing the lying. I guarantee, goddamn too. Well, you yeah, know that's that's my that's my hunch. It feels like that the influencers and their managers and their agents. It feels like everybody's getting lied to by this company, which makes me even more curious about what the hell's going on here. There's no way with your audience you're only getting three people. I refuse to believe that they're they're lying to you. No that's way. just ridiculous. I think it's I think no it's way. just no a, I think it's just such a niche niche audience, man. I no I mean, the boogie. I bet you if I were to do something like something like that right now. I get more than two or three, like definitely, even with my smaller audience. I mean, yeah. especially. Uh, I, I do. I do want to address something real quick. So somebody did ask if I did a dedicated video. Um, no, but I did do one of my videos talking about getting back into physical therapy, like getting back into therapy in the same room as somebody um, with m the Mercy Network up and and Rogers. And I did talk about getting back on medication. And then in that video, is the entire video was dedicated to my personal mental health. And then at the end of that video, I did mention that better help pushed oh, like, me in that direction. There's another video so, that says, will I, I ever a dedicated video. Th this video says, but, will I ever get remarried? And then that one has the better help. Yeah, that's, in it. that's the one I'm talking okay. about. Yeah. Okay. So it, yeah, they, uh, I talked about Boogie, my do you, know, talk. do, you, do you know in the emails? Cause I, I saw Worski got this and I have a feeling this is what they're doing with everybody. Uh, they try to dance around it and do this, what they call soft touch marketing shit. Where they're like, oh, we don't want it to be uh, seen as just a um, um, uh, sponsored advert, right? So we want to help you integrate it into your personal story, talking about your personal struggle. Did they approach you with that kind of uh, an angle, a kind of attack? Not, not really. I mean, it is very common. Like, so when when I do Verve, for example, Verve very much wants me to use their service. They very much want me to watch the shows on the service and they want me to personally recommend a show that I personally enjoy, right? When I was working with Daily Harvest, Daily Harvest wanted me to find a food that they sold that I personally enjoyed and then be able to recommend a product I personally like. And so every company I've ever worked with always wants me to try the service, to use the service, to see if I like the service before we ever sell the service. And I always insist on doing that. And if a company has ever said, well, we just rather, we would rather, we, we don't want to send you anything. Uh, we're not going to let you use the service. Then fuck you. I'm not going to, I'm not even consider it. So That's the true. closest, yeah, the closest, the closest they, they said is you should sign up for the service, see what you think. And if you do like it, then you can you have a personal story. But while so you were scrolling through that. your emails, I saw something said that was titled explicitly in the emails, better help talking points. And I think that's what he's asking about. Oh yeah. Now I can show you that. Exactly. Okay. I'll bring that up right now. Um, this is my friend, Brad. So better help talking points. Sorry for the delay brought to you by betterhelp.com slash boogie better help. If you didn't know is a fantastic place where you can get affordable private online counseling, you get access to licensed, trained, experienced, accredited psychologists, marriage and family therapists, clinical social workers, and board licensed professional counselors. All you got to do is go to betterhelp.com slash boogie. You fill out a questionnaire, they match you with a counselor and you can start counseling today and really lean uh, into the affordability aspect on top of their already fantastic pricing. They offer financial aid discounts. Uh, a personal antidote is recommended, but not required. Uh, and then another talking point. So if this sounds interesting, you check out the URL down below. Um, big note, if you're in crisis or someone you know is in danger, don't use the site. I will link to resources down below where you can get immediate help. And then that's that's basically, it's. and I will get something like this for every company that I ever work with. Like, here's a good example of, of you know, what we would like, um, but make it entirely yours. Do it however you want. But this is this is the stuff we would love to see covered. And some of it I covered and some of it I didn't cover. Right. Yeah, I'd say they would um, uh, change it depending on who they're asking. So if they're a bigger YouTuber, they would be le uh, more lenient on, oh, you don't have to talk about your personal story. For me, right. they were right. like, definitely talk about your personal story. By the way, here's a tweet that I just got. Uh, somebody checked Shane Dawson's better help link from his video. And guess what? It has the Rogue Rocket tag right there. In the DeFranco uh, the is oh, playing really? everybody. He is playing. This yeah. is a fucking Ponzi scheme, and the Franco's sitting at the top. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had a story. I had a story. Um, I was thinking in the chat, but there was um a DeFranco back in the day. Uh, there were some gaming channels. He did he had some show called like like cubes or squares or something where he would have like 
six channels, right? And he would play it on his show. And then people would vote for what they like, um, uh, uh, whose channel they like, uh, like the most. So it'd be like, like 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, and you'd vote at the end, right? And then he'd pick the best channels and then he would have them sign up. And one of my friends uh, from 3 Kilobytes was going to be signed up. And I read his contract, dude, and I was like, yo, this guy's robbing you. Like, he didn't sign it either. Like, it was like, we take 80% of your of your YouTube revenue, but we'll promote you. I'm like, dude, don't sign this shit, man. Uh, so he's done this before. Like, he's like the, you know, he's the top of the pyramid. He's a businessman, right? I think he's a bad guy. He's just, you know, just well, making more money than anyone else. It doesn't mm -hmm. seem good. Just, just remember, and I'm sorry, but just remember that when Better Help really started to boom, was um, mid 2017, yeah. right at the time that the Franco elite happened and was funded. So just a point to throw out there. Okay, sorry, he's a bad guy. I'm reading the chat. Yeah, that's a <laughs> shit. Wait, 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 you wait, no, 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 no. Take it back. <laughs> Fuck him. What? It, what? Uh, Memology. What did you say? Is, that this took off when? Uh, right at the time that the Franco elite was funded in 2017. There's a GoFundMe, isn't it? Or a Patreon. So he got seed yeah, money, yeah. basically. Yeah, but you, you know, remember that BetterHelp supposedly has been since open since 2013, but this blew up on YouTube right at the time that Patreon Elite from the Franco Elite, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, was funded with over 7K at Wait, least. Could you, because, uh, yeah. could, you, could you do me a favor and say YouTube one more time? YouTube. I'm sorry, I, I'm discount I'm no, a pencil, no. as they say. No, no, you <laughs> said, no, you said so. it right. You said it right. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Basically, it seems Shane Dawson did this entire, you know, video. He's making this what series on Jake Paul, right? And the entire thing is about mental health. Yeah. And then he was shilling that chick. Katie Morton was in there too. Yep. Who was shilling on all these other people with uh better help. Yeah. And he's I met his, his, I met Katie. She was really Of course really you did. Yeah, of she's really nice. Did. No, but like my video well, I met her at E3. What do you mean of course Wait, I did? I'm just saying I, I met her at E3. She was yeah, really It was sweet. like yo, it's pure scam, man. Like that why is this like a that whole show that they're doing at E3. It. Yeah, I'm not E3. Things. Sorry, I meant VidCon. I went to VidCon and E3 this year. So I got them confused. Okay. That's why. It's, that's why it's so fucking dangerous for me to be on a show like this. Because when I get anxious, and of course I'm fucking anxious. I'm on, on here with Ralph. Ralph has called me every name in the goddamn fucking book at this point. So, um, you know, I, 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 well, I was. At least he's not. Quality. At least he's not playing the sound clips. <laughs> 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 yeah, it would be a real shame if one of those sound clips suddenly was, went off. It, it would be terrible. <laughs> it would be terrible. Gator 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 gator. That one clip that I already uh -huh. told him to play before Boogie left. Uh, can I can I interject for a moment? Because uh, just out of curiosity, on the the Kiwi Farms thread, somebody very generously compiled a complete list of all the BetterHelp affiliate URLs that they could find, and one of them by. Uh, Allegra Shaw. Uh, I clicked it just to see what the URL would look like, and it says UTM campaign equals Influence Logic, which happens to be the company, the marketing campaign that contacted Andy Worski, and it does not mention uh, the Rocket Company by Shane Donson anywhere. So that is definitely the top level referral. the The Influence Logic company is just another one of these top level uh, uh, referrers from the Ponzi scheme that have trickled down to, in this case, Allegra Shaw. Interesting. Yeah, this is what was the name? What was the name? Honest. I'll search it. What was the name? Allegra Shaw. Uh, if you go to the forum thread and you just click links and open up the referral URLs, you'll be able to see in the URL uh, bar um, UTM campaign equals influence logic in the uh, parameters. And that parameter will be probably the refer of the refer. Right, I'm going to check out some shit. While you check that out, by the way, again, with the HIPAA laws, so HIPAA protection is specifically when it comes to PII or PHI in a medical facility or medical institution. And BetterHelp basically says that their providers and neither are employees nor are agents to represent. Oh, they're contractors. That's right. Yeah. yeah they're, so they're, they're it's they're a work contractors. So it's a workaround from the entire thing. They're not tied to anything. They don't have to protect any of your data. Everything you said is sold. Everything you've shared, your address, your your what but, you do. Okay, but everything. so I have a question. 
does, does Discord do the same fucking thing? You know Facebook does. You know YouTube does. You know there's, that's why uh, Meta refuses to come on Discord. Well, there's there's, there's, there's a selling therapy <laughs> though. It's not. It's yeah, not a social it's media different. site. It's, it's a therapist site. You know what I mean? Like it's not. Your deepest darkest secrets are being told to everyone. Yeah, yes, like straight up. If you're putting, if you're putting online, if you're putting on online in any fucking way. Do not have any delusions that it's not feeding the oh, fucking. This is, cat- this, is. this is catastrophic, though. I mean, if they really are selling data, this is going to lead to suicides when people figure out that their darkest secrets are out there in some corporation's hands. Yeah, how do you think I feel right now? If that's, I mean, again, if it's going to the AI, I don't even really give a shit about that at this point. But some of the stuff that I said in in confidence, I don't. I would not want a hacker to fucking get. That's terrifying. Oh, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, they, it could get oh, intercepted, yeah. couldn't it? Ninety percent. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. I waited until I was on the phone with her to be to to, to talk about like the really dark shit, you know. But that's recorded. Just, uh, just throwing this out there. I happen to be in machine learning, and I'm interested in buying information regarding depression from BetterHelp uh, regarding. <laughs> you want to God contact me? Yeah, um, I am. I am in that industry. Josh is shilling again. Um, but no, even I'm pretty sure those calls are recorded. I don't know. Yeah, I, it's I'm trying to remember where we did them, uh, it, it, but yeah, it, it, she can be easily recording it on her end. And I, I Arkansas, an app, correct? I don't remember. I, I honestly don't remember how. Yeah, if there's an called. interface or a UI yeah. in between you two, they have. You're right. It was probably. Hold on. I bet I figured it out. Better help has an app that you can use to call them and to set up dates and everything. It's all recorded. Probably, everything is that's recorded. Probably what we did. Yeah, on the policy, guys. On the policy, it says that it can be used for marketing purposes and also for training purposes. But the training for who? If the persons, the counselors don't work for better health directly, who they are they training? Well, exactly. the marketing, especially, who, what are they going to market to? Like if you're, if you're some crazy person that's got like some weird suicidal issue, like how is that going to help you sell Nikes? There's something going on here that yeah. they're not being upfront because about. Because of, of the Facebook connection. They're training the, oh. the marketing tools on Facebook you know, to be able to figure shit. out when people are vulnerable to buying shit. Yo, so here's you know, I some shit, dude. Okay. Wait, I, 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 I forgot to check. Joel has a different email at Influence Logic. I searched Influence Logic, and he's giving me all his info, um, all, all the companies that he was using. And he even says this in one email. I, I, hey guys, I hope all is well. Uh, Spectre has asked me to request that all YouTubers delete their ICO review videos. They just yeah, they probably got in trouble case. with the fucking feds for their bullshit. Okay, I, I've gone back and I've looked at our phone sessions. And yes, the phone session was, she called me through the site. So yes, that is how we did that. Rip and pepperoni. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. It's between wow. you, your therapist, God, and the Facebook data money. Well, I'll, I'll, and everyone else has access to that. All the Russian hackers got that shit. I will just go ahead and admit to everything now. Let's could I do it right live or right? Fuck it. I mean, Before it gets out, let me tell you the truth. I am a furry and I like getting pegged. <laughs> oh God. No. Wait, that wasn't a joke. When you were talking about getting your asshole pegged just five minutes ago to that woman, you weren't I mean, if she was if she was down, why not? Like I will do anything once. <laughs> This is the greatest oh, interview shit. of all time. What yeah. The like it. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. What's your I'm persona? My persona, I am an Uber Wolf. I'm an Uber Wolf. That's gay. Come on, pick a better one. No, that is my persona. <laughs> god damn it. I've been an Uber Wolf since I played EverQuest. So I was a character. Uber. Oh my god. Look, Wait, I'm so are you serious? Yeah, I was Uber Wolf. I'm gay. I, or I'm not gay. But I mean, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Even if I want to get fox fucked in my butthole, that's oh nothing. There's nothing wrong. With Are you sure we're working through this together? This is this is the better or help now, and we're trying to get to the bottom of your issues. Are you sure you're not a Bro. repressed homosexual? I no, know. I, no, I, I, I know how straight I am. I've kissed three dudes. Okay, I know how straight I am. I've tried. <laughs> if I could be gay, I would be gay. If I could be gay, I would be gay. But I can't. I tried. Why, 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 why would you kiss a, kiss a fourth? Well, the first guy. Okay. Well, I haven't had a fourth offer. The first guy I kissed um, was to explore. You know, it was in high school, and he's like, "Hey, how do you know you're gay? How do you know you're straight?" I'm like, "Cause I don't." 
I'm like, how do you know your buys? Like, cause I, I tried both things and he's like, would you like to try a dude? And I'm like, I guess whatever. So I kissed a dude. And then I'm like, no, this is disgusting to me. I don't like the stubble in your face. And also, you know, your tits are bigger than any girls because you're like 400 pounds or whatever. He was a big guy. Um, and then, so the next two times I kissed the guy was during games of gay chicken. If you're familiar with that game. No, I'm not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the, premise is, the premise is you lean in. The premise is you lean in to like kiss somebody and the first one to duck out loses. And so <laughs> since I, I'm, con- I'm hundred so always won. I'm hundred percent confident in my sexuality. I always won. And so two different guys I had to lock lips with about three seconds, but that was enough for me to get them to, to walk away. I don't give a shit. I'll kiss the dude. I'm so straight. I don't mind kissing dudes. Kissing dudes to own the gays. <laughs> <laughs> you ever blow someone boogie? Fun? And I'm not actually a furry. No, I no, I have not. I you're did. Full of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never, right, 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 right. I never right. blew anybody. How do you what do you think I'm full of shit? I've never no, blown anybody. You're, you are a, you can't walk back the furry thing. It's too late. Yeah, well, it's I'm not late, a furry, it's a joke. No, 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 no. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a furry. Fuck it. You want to be a furry, be a furry. I don't think there's everything wrong with being a furry. I don't think it's just popping up on his screen from his manager. What are you doing? Take it back. (laughs) Too late. I don't kink shame. I think you should whatever you're into. Yeah, we we do doesn't kill, harm kink, another person. We, we, we do. Want. We definitely do. We kink shame. Uh, you can be a furry, but if you ever get an opportunity to go to a petting zoo, we're gonna ask that you say no to that. Or at least, if you do say yes, please record it and send, I, send it to us. I grew up on a farm. I had as much chance to do it. Whatever. Oh no, oh, no, Jesus Christ. Christ. Look, man, if you don't have sex with a sheep, there will not be sex. No, Boogie. <laughs> Boogie, no. Come on. Boogie's the best. <laughs> Fucking sheep. I this is the worst part about it is like a lot of people are like, Boogie, oh, you're you're so fake on YouTube. You're not really that nice of a guy. No shit. If you tune into a single fucking Twitch stream, I like edgy humor. I like jokes. I watch iDubs every time he fucking uploads, man. I don't know. I watch fucking drama alert because I enjoy the drama. I watch the kill. I watch Ralph retort mostly as a form of self harm because you fuckers hate me. But, um, but you know, I mean, I'm, I'm an edgy guy in real life, you know. And you'd be surprised how often I agree with with some of the shit you guys have to say. It's it's not well, 1488. No, no, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> check it, just check it. I mean, I. What the I was, I was, a, nice, <laughs> I I was a 1980s this liberal, so I, I believe no matter what color you are, what shape you are, what size you are, how old you are, what, your sexuality, your sexual preferences, I don't give a shit. If you're not harming somebody else, I don't give a fuck. That's fine. You just be whoever you want to be. I don't give a fuck. What, what are the 29 words, though? Are there 29? I thought it was... What is I thought it was like his fourteen eighty eight. That's right, the fourteen words in the eighty. Well, yeah, you got you got half of it right. And what have you added? What what is your twenty word twenty nine word manifesto? Boogie? Oh, be kind to people. Buy me a pizza. Hail Hitler. Yeah, and then also yeah, right. That part, <laughs> <all> <laughs> <in the white. laughs> right, of course. It's I canon now. You can't walk that back either. You're you're an Uber Wolf, a homosexual, yeah. furry. <laughs> this is so <laughs> surreal. Yeah. I I Boogie would never. <laughs> that's why this why that's why this shit never bothers me. That's why this shit never bothers me. Like everybody's like, oh my god, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just me, dude. I'm just me. Well, well, he's a little edgy. Yeah, you discovered the the great secret that I have a sense of humor too. I have, I have to ask you the fuck. I have to ask you something. Yeah. When when Anita did that shit at VidCon. Yeah, and then she was crying or some sh- or or made you cry. What did she oh, say yeah. backstage? I mean, nobody cried. She showed she shoved her fucking finger in my fucking face and wagged that shit. And she's like, I don't fucking appreciate what you fucking said up there. No, and I don't have a fucking time to fucking respond. And I'm like, lady, <sighs> I have an anxiety disorder, so I recommend you walk away right now, and we can <laughs> talk in a few minutes because I don't want to depersonalize and say or do anything that's going to kick e- get either of us kicked out of VidCon. She's like, I didn't know about your anxiety disorder. I'm like, well, now you do, so give me some fucking space. And then we went back behind stage and we talked for a while and I tried to convince her that maybe she does more damage than good. And she tried to to convince me I do more damage than good. And then she, the worst thing that she fucking said to me sticks with me to this day. So this is one thing that drove me fucking crazy. She said, she's like, you know, you, I said, as a straight white man, aren't I supposed to be fucking immortal? Like I'm never supposed to get hate, but I get hate all the fucking time. You should hear what this Ralph motherfucker says about me. Uh, you know, so I get hate constantly. I get fucking harassed. I got doxxed. I get fucking people showing up my front fucking door. I get big black dildos sent to my fucking P.O. box so I can, you know, oh, he's my wife with them and shit. I'm like, what? why? So aren't I immune? Aren't I immune? And she's like, no, Steve, you're not immune. 
And you would be if you were a normal straight white guy, but your obesity is what makes you a target. And I'm like, dude, not a fucking chance. I think, fuck, do not, do not fucking diminish me just to being fat. Like out of all the fucking people, that to me is fucking bigoted. That to me is bullshit. Yes, I happen to be a fat guy. That's not the only fucking thing I am, right? But even if that was the case, shouldn't my straight white maleness make it so that I'm still immortal? Shouldn't that be enough to where I would never get fucking harassed no matter how fucking fat I got? Because I'm straight, I'm white, I'm male, I'm bulletproof, right? I'm the problem. So it doesn't matter how fucking you're negative and point it out like, but you're fat, right? Yeah, so you, right. So you that's, understand that's your... Yeah, you wow. don't know what. It's, yeah, you don't know what it's like to be a real straight white man. I know the fuck. I don't. I'm straight. I'm white. I'm a man. Fuck off. She did not say that. Yes. No. She said. She said, Steve. The reason you get harassed. If you were a normal straight white guy, you would not <laughs> get harassed. But your morbid obesity makes you a target. That's what people see when they are attacking you. Oh my that god. That is pretty dehumanizing. I gotta agree right. with you on that. And then I made a video calling her out on this shit, and you guys fucking attacked me. I'm like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck am I doing wrong? I don't, because I, I, I don't think I've ever talked about you doing a video <laughs> well, about it. A lot of people, but I'm just saying a lot of people in your audience and stuff, you know? And I don't know, what the fuck am I doing wrong? I, I You know? like uh, Well, I, I can tell you what people complain about if you would like me to. Well, I get the general premise. Number one, they didn't like the fact that I called myself a straight white man. But I don't believe that being a straight white man gives me any special fucking powers. They do. They fucking do. So when you're talking to these people, you use the terminology. If they called me a Googleplex, I would say I'm a Googleplex. They call me a straight white man. I say I'm a straight white man. And I said, as a straight white man, I still get harassed. Harassed. So your belief that it makes me fucking bulletproof is fucking bullshit. And that's well, my. Whole I think point. a lot of but problems what people know? have. I mean, speaking for myself, is you seem to you seem to rob the fence a lot. Even going all the way back to the Gamergate stuff, you you came right, out and you, su and you supported Gamergate, and then you're like you caught a bunch of heat, and you're like, oh, no, sorry, I disavow. No, no, no. Here's here's my Gamergate perspective. Of well, course, I didn't want to go too deep women. into it, but but yeah, but, but give me a chance. Give me a chance. So I won't get okay. too deep. But of course, we shouldn't harass women. Of course, we shouldn't fucking harass people. Of course, we shouldn't attack people. Doesn't matter what color they are. Doesn't matter what sex they are. Never attack anybody, you dumb shits. But also, do you think we could get a little fucking ethics the way you assholes are reporting shit? Yeah, but, all, and, but I, yes, you are correct. We shouldn't attack women, but stop being fucking lying pieces of shit. But, but the you're whole right, narrative was was bullshit in the first place. And then I guess the the nice guy thing's been brought up too. It's just like, oh, I always love people and be nice to people when it's clear. But that's just I, how I personally. We, feel. we, we had cornering on here, and he said you're not you're not really like that in private, and and that that's kind of a false. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, ask him about that. What's the deal with interview, interview, you, and, interview uh, you and cornering? Jeremy there Hambly? Be, yeah, there seems to be bad blood. <laughs> oh, I will. I, I don't want to start shit with Jeremy again right now. But I do. I want to hear it. Please, please tell us what yeah. the bad blood is. I'll do it. I don't want to deal with it. He's a uh, humble ambassador. But so, so long story short, me and Jeremy were friends for a really long time. And we talked all the time. And he got to know the real me. He got to know. He knew when I was starting to have marriage troubles. He knew that stuff. We, he sponsored my YouTube streams when I do magic unboxings. Everything was cool for a while. And then he started like um, what I felt was attacking other people. He would attack Tularian Community College. He would make these memes where like, you know, Wedge was sucking off the professor and stuff like that, and he would share it. And I, I found that shit, and I lost my fucking mind. Wedge has been a friend to me. The professor has been a friend to me. And so I got him on the phone one night. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you fucking doing? Why do you fucking do this shit? You're a fucking sociopath. Why? You're not the person I thought I was friends with. What the fuck are you fucking doing? I don't understand who acts like this. Why do you do this shit? Like, why don't you just fucking concentrate on unboxings and shit? That's what I like your content for. Why the fuck do you do this shit? And I, I probably called him every name in the book. I probably called him a sociopath, probably called him a psychopath on the phone. I probably called him every name in the book. But that was me angry. That was me anxious. That was me depersonalized. That was me being an asshole. I apologized to him as soon as it was over, as soon as I was back down to like earth and, and not a crazy person anymore. Um, and we've been friends again ever since. But yeah, every once in a while, I was like, I got a Skype conversation recall, call recorded where Boogie called me every name in the book. He's not. Yeah, he nice said guy. he had it recorded. Because it's, it's because he's fucking. It's because he's fucking attacking uh, my friend Brian, who I've all been friends with for just as two fucking years. If two people got in, uh, into a house, uh, uh, two of your oldest friends from like the last five years got into a fight in your fucking house and one of them started swinging first, who would you throw out, man? Who would you be mad about? That's who I was mad at. I really? got you. It's kind of weird, though, that he'd have a recording of you going off and threatening to play it, though. That's kind of scummy, isn't it? 
Well, I mean, if that's how he protects himself, and I don't know that for sure he has a recording. I think I've I think I've heard that secondhand through one of his friends or something like that. I don't think he's ever directly said it to me. Was but, his was his you know, friend certain, a little Romanian certain, uh, pigeon by the name of V? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's V. I think who said he's got. A yeah, record. V. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, I think it, it really time. was V. By the way, V. Somebody messaged me this on on Twitter, and I forgot well, about no, this. V, v V made videos about me and talking. Well, about there was a he, he had a clip. A really nice guy. Boogie is a piece of shit, and Boogie and, and Jeremy has proof. You know. Well, V seemed to imply that you were um, maybe a fan of cheese pizza. I guess would be a way to put it. Uh, uh, I don't know what that means. Um, uh, I, child I, I prefer. Yeah, child, child what the fuck? No. Yeah. Why? What? Seriously? No, he he kind of left it hanging Holy out there. Yeah, he kind of he kind of left that hanging. He, he didn't finish Holy the thought. Shit. But yeah. Holy shit! I mean, I was molested as a kid, and I know a lot of people that get molested as a kid break in that direction. But I definitely did not break in that direction. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've gone out with a few 20, 20, 21 year olds, twenty year olds in my lifetime. You know, how like you, you guys know the lot Lucy Fox girl. I went out with her for a little while. You know? So, but I mean, I've never fucking, I can't imagine 20 is hard enough. You know how much shit a 20 year old girl knows? A 20 year old girl knows three things and she's wrong about all of them. I was like, you know, I'm fucking, yeah. I can't my, imagine. My wife's 21. Like, so, uh, <laughs> old, old, oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, uh, yeah, I got to no. say, I like this boogie better. Why aren't you like this yeah. more often? Yeah. This is fun to talk to. Because oh, this man. is because this is also who I am. But when I make a YouTube video, wh wh what am I going to say? What am I going to do about this? Like, what is my video going to be today? Hey, well, everybody! Uh, I, I like I like pretending to be a furry and sucking dicks. And you, <laughs> go, back and look, go, back, go back and look at my go back and look at my fucking mayonnaise video. Go back and look at me eating meat. Go look at my W two F series or watch a single fucking stream. This is what I do on stream every night. I make jokes about sucking dicks. I make jokes about fucking I rap over rap music. I, this is what I do on Twitch every night, five nights a Why week. Why don't you try it on YouTube though, man? Because I, I don't I like what I do on YouTube. I like talking about video games. I like talking about my personal health. Yeah, I like doing a sucking dick. Like, hey, like and when be, uh, the other thing is how fucking stupid would you have to be to try to gain followers by state going down the middle? You get hate from the left, you get hate from the right when you go down the middle. The only reason I go down the middle is that's because how my fucking brain works, dude. That's the only reason I go down the fucking middle, because that's how my fucking brain well, works. you do have a well, large percentage of people. Me, okay, oh, well. Nita, Nita on the left of me putting her finger in my fucking face. Ralph railing me on the Ralph report every fucking week. I don't know. You, you think, Ralph you think, did no railing of Boogie. No, no railing. I did not, I did not rail. <laughs> yeah. But but I guess there are a lot of people who kind of sit in the middle like, oh, well, both sides are bad. You know, there's there's a huge demographic for that. Both too. sides are bad and both sides have points. Well, and yeah, people suck. If I may, I want to interject with just my, I have very limited experience watching your content, but we were sure. watching your stream and the way that you kind of interjected between those super chats by like randomly doing that PG shit with the pee pee poo poo, it, it really made me uncomfortable and kind of cringe because it was oh, just because it's, it's, that's a stream meme. So you're not familiar with that. No, no, but it, yeah. it did it, like people in chat were saying it's like the boogie has a facade and whenever he's talking, he has a facade wow. and. And you know you're saying you're keeping it real, but the minute you left that stream and got on here, you you got fucking hard about AI, and, and you got fucking really dark about that. I'm like, then, wow, then you I need actually, to like, listen to this then guy. Go watch some of, then go watch some of my fucking streams because this is this is me, dude. I have a character named Clifty who fucking is terrified of Robert Mueller breaking into his house, and I pretend to get con uh, uh, deleted by Donald Trump and Obama fucking three nights a week when I do the Matrix song. This is what I do on Twitch. Twitch to me is a completely different performance. But the truth of the matter is, is YouTube a performance? Yes. Is Twitch a performance? Yes. Is this a performance? Yes. All, all of this is aspects of who I actually am. If you ever met who I actually am, you'd be bored to fucking tears. I sat in front of the couch. I play fucking Magic the Gathering. I sat there and stare at shit. I'm super sad and I'm super depressed and I didn't do anything. What, uh, everything, what, I, what everything I do is a personality. By the way, what color do you favor? I don't know. I've always liked green-black combo. You know, uh, I if I had to pick a color, color the blues. <laughs> I prefer <laughs> I don't know much about the blues, but I do love the whites. Oh. Hey, now, there we go. See? <laughs> <laughs> right. Gas the Jews. We're we're gonna convert. What is you. that shit? What is that <laughs> shit? <laughs> why, why, I, I don't get any of that shit. Like, why is that? Is that funny to you guys? I don't understand that shit. No, we're dead serious all the time. You said no, it, Boogie, not me. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that was that. Here's, here's, it became here's a story. As it kept going on. <laughs> here's, <laughs> a story. Here's, a, here's a story that I think your audience will like. Okay, and this, and I should go after this because I want to go entertain my house guests. Um, but. 
that said, and that's just my friend. Her name is Danny. She's really great. She does special effects, makeup and stuff. And we've just been hanging out the last couple of weeks. I need somebody to help me do exercise. And she's been going to the gym with me and walking every day. It's been a lot of fun. That said, um, I know a lot of people are curious about that. Oh, she a thought? Is she trying to get Instagram famous? No, we're just hanging out. We're friends. Um, but anyway, uh, so when I was a kid, I was failing history class. And my history teacher says, if you'll read three books this summer, or you read three books by the, but before summer, I will give you a D, passing grade. I'm like, sure. So the three books he gives me, number one is Lewis, I think Lewis Carroll's The Jungle, if you're familiar with that one. It's about industrialization in the United States and some miserable shit that has, happens, in it, including um, somebody uh, losing their hand on like the fucking meat grinder. And it, th there's no regulation at the time. It's like 1890. So their hand gets made in sausage. And then people just eat that shit because there's no regulation, right? The second one was like Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee or one of those Indian books. And it was basically about a big march where they marched all these fucking Indians and then all the Indians got killed. And all these people died. And like only half the people are trying to put them in the reservation. Made it. Uh, I, I, think I, I think I read that one. Is that about the Donga tribe? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's about the Sugma tribe, isn't it? Oh, okay. I may be mistaken. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Must be similar. Um, and so the third book was on the Holocaust. I don't remember the name of it. And so I'm reading the book and here's something I found fascinating in this book. It's so fucking depressing, this book. But they were talking about the Japanese experiments. Are you familiar with the Japanese experiments where they were like vivisecting The water women? purification facility in Manchu? I don't remember that. I do yeah, remember I do. the vivisection. I yeah. do remember them uh, doing sure. open heart surgeries on people that didn't need open heart surgeries, like some really crazy shit. Mm -hmm. And so what I found out from this book is a lot of Nazi scientists and doctors were given asylum in the United States in exchange for the knowledge they had possessed. I didn't know that, you know, but uh, if you think about it, a lot of, a lot of some good came from all of that in that health science was, was advanced many, many years. And that's one of the things that kind of made me have the mentality that I have. Nothing is black and white. The Holocaust is horrible, absolutely horrible. But some good came out of it. <laughs> you got to look for that. Oh, some good came out of it. <laughs> oh, I know out of context, that's a terrible statement. But yes, some good. We less children die during childbirth because of it. That's yeah. true. That so is true. Jews, roller coasters got much. It better. wasn't worth the price. It wasn't worth the fucking price. But that's some. So anyway, I get to this fucking page in the middle of the book, and there's pictures, and there's a very famous picture. You can look it up. And someone had scrawled inside one of the gas chambers the phrase, "If there is a God, He will beg my forgiveness." And I read that, and something fucking broke inside of me. And I'm not proud to say it, um, but I cried so hard I fucking laughed. And from this day. I fucking love edgy humor. I love the most disgusting, most awful fucking edgy humor I can find. I have looked at fucking Style Project back in the day. I've been on 4chan my whole fucking life. I'm not much in the last couple of years, but I, I, I look for edgy humor. I don't tell it on, on YouTube. I don't tell it on Twitch, but I do l read it every once in a while, and I enjoy it every once in a while because of how awful it is. I can't imagine actually, actually being racist, but I get the humor in pretending how are you surviving on Twitch, by the way? Like, I, I know Destiny and other people, they're getting banned like every other day for even stepping a little bit out of line with any kind oh, of. Oh, I guarantee I'm getting. I guarantee I'm getting banned tonight for 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 dual broadcasting. You guys, I guarantee fucking tea. I guarantee. Shout out to Twitch staff. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for support. I, if, not, if, not, if not, it'll be a temporary suspension. But that said, I don't. Uh, th this is very different from what I normally do. I don't tell edgy jokes like that. I've, I follow the rules, right? You know, I follow the rules, so I'm not gonna. Uh, you know, I will tell my little chess joke. You know, I like to go first in chess. That's why I prefer the whites. Oh, but that's the ed edgiest I'll get. By the way, I know I know you've been uh, generous with your time, but uh, V stopped in uh, real quick. If you if you hey V, to. what's up, man? Yeah, hey, I, I want to clear the air because uh, you did point out that I made a video about you, and uh, you know I, I've been thinking. Oh, you made several. I've heard you on several podcasts. You made several videos. You have ridden me like a fucking pony, dude. I don't know what your deal is. Yeah, and this is why I'm here, to clear the air. So, I was playing, I believe it, it was... It seems pretty fucking clear, dude. It seems pretty fucking clear. Yeah, well, let me, let me explain it from my point of view. Um, I, I've been a huge fan of yours, especially during Gamergate and afterwards. I've been following your channel constantly. And the reason I was doing this is because you came off a very... Um, how should I say? Very, very innocent, gamer-like person. Uh, one of the very few YouTubers who look like that. And then I was playing with the quartering and Arch Warhammer. We were playing uh, some Warhammer 40k. And it was during the controversy regarding uh, the MTG thing, the cosplay thing, where the quartering uh, was attacked left and right.
Oh yeah, I went uh, fucking off on him, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I yeah. called him every name in the fucking but, but book. But here's dude. what happened. Here's what happened, right? I think you called him, and he was playing with us, and it was actually his microphone was still on, and, and I could hear you literally screaming at him. And as you said, you were yeah, calling him all the names in the book. Yeah, right? that's exactly what I said. Every fucking yeah. I literally yeah. called him a fucking sociopath, psychopath, piece of shit. How dare he attack the professor? How dare he attack my fucking friends? Fuck you! I just literally yeah. word for word what I said. Exactly. But then like three seconds later on the Twitter, you post this thing where you say that you're still cool with him. There's not, no, not nothing wrong with him and you're still friends and blah, blah, blah. And to me, that, that seems so disingenuous. Uh, I mean, you, you, it's hard to scream on Twitter, dude. You know, and what else am I supposed to fucking say? At that point, I went from being very angry to calming down. I went from out of control to some level of control. And then I, I, I was like, you know what? This isn't worth losing a friend. So I, I, fuck it. I guess now that you're saying, but but you can see how it looked from my point of view. No, it's fine, man. I, I here's the thing. I don't know why you. I, even if it did look like that, I don't know why the fuck you made a career out of like three months of talking about it, like every chance you had. But I, I guess if that's what your life is, that's your life, man. You know? Well, it, it also seemed really disingenuous because you were very willing to talk about uh, the query when it came to the cosplay thing. But when it was about pedos in magic, you didn't say a peep. Because I still don't believe that shit. And I want you to I want you to fully know that I I know 20 magic judges, not a single one of them fucking pedophiles. I think it's I think that Jeremy blew that way out of proportion. I think there's a handful of pedophiles out of the thousands and thousands of judges there are. I think there's probably. 10 or 15 of them, they're pedophiles. Now, that said, I did ruin my relationship with Wizards of the Coast by insisting they start doing background checks. You can find that on my Twitter file. I tweeted, Really? Yeah, I tweeted Wizards of the Coast, and I tweeted, and Wizards of the Coast will not work with me now to this day. Oh, my God. Isn't that shady? Why do you think that's that shady. is? Why, why, why do you think they're so resistant to having this well, common sense exactly practice? Why, because they specifically said someone who would support, um, someone who would attack people in their community, specifically women in their community, and since I supported somebody who who did that, they don't want to have anything to do with me when there's plenty of other people they can choose to work with. And do you buy that shit? Very clear. Of course. Yeah, of course not. They're they're I'm mad that crazy. me and Jeremy, they're mad that me and Jeremy are friends and that I won't denounce Jeremy, so they don't want to work with me. And I believe it one hundred percent. Well, V, are you gonna apologize? Because it sounds like Boogie put his ass out there. I don't want that something. I don't want your apology, man. I want to know if he's I want to know. I don't, I don't want him. Yeah, no, hold on. If you actually look, I deleted the video I made about you a lot. No, 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 but you said he was disingenuous. Who gives a shit? The damage is done. Who gives a shit? Yeah, but you, you, said, you, know, v, you, you said can delete it all you want the... once everybody's seen it. It's been done. The damage is done, man. You know, like this Lucy Fox shit. Do you believe that Lucy Fox shit? Did you actually watch that video? How many times did that girl mention money? She mentioned money every third word. Come on. Did you yeah. ever believe any of that shit? But I, I don't think I spread that shit around with Lucy Fox. No, the only thing that I was Jeremy shit. You were wrong about this Jeremy shit. I, me and Jeremy had it. I don't know what Jeremy was fucking telling you to make you think that stuff about No, me. no, no. I, I, I told you what it, happened, it, it, right? You, you basically were screaming at him, and then a, cu a couple of seconds later, you put on Twitter that you're still friends with him. Well, well look, at the end of the fucking day, I, want, I, I am still friends with him. That's not a lie. We're still talking. Right, but you know, you, you, know, you, you hear I this mean, guy screaming and cursing, and, and then you're posting this very uh, kind message on Twitter. Um, Can I ask you a very serious question, V? Have you never argued with a friend? Have you never lost your fucking temper? Have you never gotten to a single fucking fight? Because I've been no. in, a, I've been in several fights, man, and I'm a pussy, and I've been in fights. You ain't never been in one. You never no, disagree with a friend. Did. No, no, no. That, I, okay, I'm then what the fuck, dude? Then what the fuck? Why is it so special when I do it? Well, no, it was just like the next second you're posting on Twitter like it's cool and nothing happened. You, I mean, you, it, never, it, you, you never went through a fist fight and then hugged it out afterwards. That's not something you've ever done because that's something I've done. Yeah, of course. I'm surprised. Why I came here. Like when you're putting it this way, it makes sense. So that's right. that's exactly what I did. He is, he is telling you that he has never had a confrontation with Don Sargoon. He, he will not step out of line. Well, yeah, Capos <laughs> can't do that. The Skeptic Mafia. That's not a lot. <laughs> right. I uh, here's what I actually believe V. If you if, if we're really throwing punches tonight, and I don't fucking mind throwing punches. I believe that you were being purposely obtuse. I believe that you're being disingenuous. That's what I fucking believe. I think you were doing it because you wanted to ride my fucking coattails, and that's what I Whoa. genuinely believe. And if you apologize for that, I don't want it. That's what I believe. <laughs> I believe that I believe that you were taking it out of the context. I believe that you're using it to ride my coattails. I believe you're using it to, to put my name in videos. I believe you were purposely, purposely ignoring it when it clear, as clear as fucking day is what it is. And that's what I think about 80% of people do on YouTube when it comes to me. 
No, I, I'm I'm generally saying I'm not doing that. If you look at my channel, I don't usually put people's names in my. Well, maybe videos. you're not doing it now, but I I guarantee if you I'm I, I either that or I'm just gonna be I'm I'm just I, like I said if we're throwing punches we're throwing punches. Yeah. I think you're smart enough. I think you're smart enough to have put those together on your own, and I think you chose not to. To me, the most if you're not that smart. If you're not that smart, then hey, that's up to you. But I think you're smart enough. I really, I really like this boogie. I've got to say, you really you. swung my, yeah. you swung my fucking opinion around real quick tonight, man. Yeah, <laughs> make another channel called Boogie Two Nine Eight Nine and just do this shit. No, I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. This isn't what I like to do. What I like is making people happy. What I like is making people You're laugh. Making me like so happy. Happy. <laughs> this is good. Dude. This is actually really good. good. No. Can we can well, we put boogie sports. down one to zero on the blood sports? <laughs> <laughs> it's a victory. I call yeah. that a victory. Well, yeah. this is, no, this is furry sports. Oh, that he's another. No, uh, he's another kin. So I mean, that's kind of or scaly. scaly. I'm not. I'm not another kin. A scaly. <laughs> scaly. <laughs> sorry. It's a, I don't know. It's the, all furries to me. It's the uber wolf versus the slippery snake. <laughs> <laughs> versus <laughs> untermensch. Okay. No, that, 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 if you remember yeah. my videos, like the 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 things that I said there was that. When you're on YouTube, it's a persona. Like you're, you're usually not that kind and not that collected. You're, you're putting on not an true. act. Well, not it's kind of different. Ask my house guest right now. You could ask my best friend of the last 25 years. I, I, I'm one of the nicest fucking people in the world, dude. And, right, but sometimes they get angry. Sometimes they get angry. But what you said, what you said is, instead of being somebody who, who is, uh, who, who, who's nice, who gets angry sometimes, you decided that I was some asshole that only pretends to be nice. Who fucking thinks like that? Who well, wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to be an asshole today. Oops, I was accidentally nice on YouTube. No, I'm a nice guy who fucks up sometimes, dude. And you have to know that. You have to have enough sense to know that. I, I suppose, you know, we're all YouTubers here. Usually we're entertaining people. Like, that's our job. So it, it, it makes sense that some people might put on an act, might put on a display. Like, even though they... You put on a fucking act? Because the, the person thinking like that is the person I fucking accuse. No, I don't. But there are other YouTubers who do. So it's See, not... I disagree. I think you were being purposely obtuse. I think you were pretending when you made those videos about me and you said that shit about me. I think you were putting on an act. I think the thing you're accusing me of is what you were doing. That's what I think. And I don't know that you'll ever be able to convince me otherwise. Well, look, okay, put yourself in my shoes, right? You get really upset. Well, I am. That's when how I get there. Okay. Well, you're really upset when someone um, is accused of talking shit about cosplayers, right? But then you don't say a word. You don't make a single video when the whole Magic the Gathering pedophiles thing blows because up. That was bullshit. I saw proof. No, I saw proof. I but saw the, proof. They, they were convicted. It's not the also, and also, did I tweet about the pedophile shit? Check my fucking Twitter, V. Check my fucking Twitter, V. Check my I, fucking Twitter. No, I, I guess you tweeted, but my, 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 my criticism was that you didn't make a video. Oh, Wizards of the Coast to start doing background checks to make sure this shit ha doesn't happen. Yes, I did my, I did my fucking share. I did yeah, my, no, fucking the, my My question was why you didn't make a video because you made the video about the cosplaying shit. Which, let's be honest, it wasn't. That's why, V. Look at how that blew up my fucking face. I don't want to well, touch Jeremy Hambly with out, a out of curiosity, pole. I've heard that, V, you have some kind of bombshell on Boogie. Is this true? Uh, yeah, the you called me a fucking pedophile? What the fuck is that shit? What? You called me a fucking pedophile? No, I, I never called you a pedophile. You kind of left that joke. What is, what is your you bombshell, V? I never. Yeah, what do you I got on a pedophile? He didn't, well, he didn't that outright used before, call him. That used to be on disability. That that I I have an anger no, I'll, issue. I'll, I'll type it well, in the chat. I'll, I'll type it in the chat, and you decide if you want to make it public or not. Is that fair? Yeah, I, I'm sure it's bullshit. Well, okay. Ralph, make sure this isn't on screen. No, so. it's not. It's not. Right. This is going to be in this this green. It's, I don't I know guess how it's in the hangout works. chat. Green room. Uh. Is it, no, is it going to be in the green room? Because there's a shitload of people in the green room, dude. Uh, oh, <laughs> what? No, no, it's not. It's, <laughs> what? Did you see it? Yes. I didn't oh, see it. Just, right, see. Do, How do I see it? Oh, no, you can't I'll see it. See it. So, look, I'm in a group. In I'm in a group with you and Keemstar. If you don't mind Keemstar seeing it, I can I can put it. Well, maybe you do. I guess, I'll, yeah. I'll, no, I'll yeah, DM it to him in, in, in Discord. That's, that's be fine. Here. Okay, yeah, do that. I, do. I don't know how to check DMs in Discord. Yeah, how do I do that? Well, if, hey, Boogie, if right. you'll just send me a Twitter DM, I can send it to you real quick. Uh, your, your okay, who is that? Who's talking? I don't know who's talking. Is that your That's me, Ralph. Yes, yes. Yeah, I see you one right now. It's out the Ralph retort. Yeah, you got one. Hi. Okay, let me let me check. You don't see me, you know, I just I I S D F K F G D. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. 
Um, I think right now I'm the only one besides Boogie who doesn't know what it is. Uh, well, chat keeps asking. I'll give him a hint. It's his fursona name. Okay, chat. So you <laughs> keep guessing. I was going to talk about that. So yeah, you said I, you I, weren't a furry though. You walked that one back. Yeah, well, yeah. Of, of course, I fucking talked about this, dude. I was depersonalized. I was disassociated. What are you guys surprised about? So uh, I, at some point, I was like, I was like, I'll tell you something. I'll, I'll tell you something, dude. I, you, you, I, I, blah, 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 blah. I'm so anxious right now. I'm stuttering. Sorry. I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking miserable with this fucking divorce and shit. I can tell you what, I will give you $10,000 if you will fucking get an assassin to blow my fucking brains out in the middle of the night. I will make sure that my lawyer wires you 10 grand if you can get me fucking killed. Can you do that for me? Because I don't have the balls and I don't want to fucking go through this divorce. I don't want to go through this shit. So fucking end me. So, no. so you asked Jeremy, you asked Jeremy to hire an assassin to kill you, but you do realize that in another video, you complained that people hired assassins to get rid of you. Do, do you understand how that looks from the outside when people no, know this knowledge? I, I don't because I I have enough sense to realize that I don't mean something like that when I say it. I don't actually want an assassin to show up at my fucking house. Yeah, uh, kind of. Me, me. I mean, no, 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 all right, all right. It sounds I, like. I, 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 B, it sounds like hyperbole. If the dude's going through a divorce and he's down on his luck, he's probably. Of I've, course, I've said, no, I've, that's, I've, that's I've said shit like V. I've said shit like that. Oh, I wish somebody would yeah. fucking kill me. This Did, sucks. Yeah, it's my way. It's my way of expressing to my friend Jeremy that I'm so fucking depressed. I'm feeling suicidal tendencies, and I wish I had. I, I, I want to talk about it. Yeah, that's what and, my that way makes sense. No, hold on. That, that that makes sense. But then you make a video and you say that you you have evidence that someone. Hired the assassin to kill you. I mean, you, yes, several, people accidental. Have, several people have. I literally can show you uh, the death threats I get in DMs right now, or not DMs, in, in fucking email every day. And then I can show you where somebody hired somebody on the fucking tour network back in 2011. I think it was 2011 to fucking paid them $3,500 $3, in Bitcoin. Can you imagine what that's worth now? $3,500 in Bitcoin in 2011 to fucking have me killed. Sorry, I, I was on the dark side. And, and how do you expect that? I don't think that maybe you ask the guy to to hire the assassin to kill you. Just After like learning you how your brain works, I'm not particularly fucking surprised what you think at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the <big> boogie, <laughs> just so like boogie, just giving B no slack. <laughs> This is like yeah, it's like I, a yeah, sumo wrestler just it's, butt it's, slamming. No, I, I, like, like, guy. like, just no offense. It is clearly that you're drama oriented, and you're drama minded, and that you go to drama as the first option. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I don't mean that in a mean well, way. I usually I don't meet a lot of people that talk that their lawyer are going to to pay someone to kill them. You were yeah. depressed. Okay. Yeah. Well, you were you were depressed, and I guess uh, what what happened? Like, where did he call the cops in order to help you out? Like. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, that's exactly something that happened. I'm like, what are you right, fucking so, so, crazy? So this blew up, like, right? Do, like, do you not get, it you not get the hyperbole? Yeah, but, but it doesn't seem to be a hyperbole if the cops were involved. Like, th this was a little bit blown no, up, and I think you're, you're, you're trying to lower it down now? I, no, I, 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 very serious. I literally had involved. in my lifetime about four fucking checks, uh, you know, uh, uh, for how many times have been hospitalized for it, though? Never. Because the cops show up and they're like, oh, are you actually suicidal? I'm like, no, I just talk about it sometimes. I talk about my suicidal tendencies. But am I fucking suicidal? No. Uh, yeah, the cops yeah, I, I, I got to say, I don't think this is going the way you think it is. I mean, but you, yes, of course, you're, Jeremy, you're harping, you're, hyper, you're harping on the guy for saying he wants to die because he's depressed. And you're like, this is a big bombshell. Oh, my God, this is going to fuck him up. You're just kind of looking like an asshole, to be honest. Well, I, I get yeah. it, Jim. But, but how many people do you know that claim, claim they had uh, someone hire a hitman on them? Like, th this is just very niche. To put it how like many that? people have swallowed pills and then puked it out right later? You, you know what I mean? As someone who has swallowed pills and puked them out exactly. later. Exactly. Yeah. How many people have like had a noose and like thought about it for a second? Come on, man. What are you talking about? No, my, my point is that the assassin story is quite niche and I haven't heard any other person. Well, if, say you, if you must know, back in 2011, I wasn't quite as fucking depressed as I was in the middle of my goddamn divorce, V, if that's a surprise to you. And so in 2011, when somebody took out a fucking assassin hit on me, I didn't want to die. When my ex-wife left me two months after my fucking bariatric surgery and I was still shitting blood, yeah, I was pretty fucking suicidal then. All right. Things well, change. I don't know, you know. Another stellar showing from the skeptic community. Thank you, V. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The first ever internet YIF sports. Oh my what God. was that, the, I mean, what it. was the bombshell with the furry thing? I don't, I missed that. Like, what was the big thing? No, oh, that I was just pretending I was a furry. Uh, uh, I was just pretending I was a furry.
By the way, no, no, didn't V say that he had evidence that Boogie was no, a the bomb shell, The bombshell was that it was suicidal. And, no, and the bombshell was that, 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 you, you oh, asked Jeremy no. to hire an assassin to kill you. Now you're saying it's just a joke, but the guy took it pretty seriously and called the cops. Now, we can look yeah, at the bombs and we can analyze if it was just a joke or not. Which is a pretty, it was a pretty dumb thing for Jeremy to do because he's heard, he heard me say stuff like that a hundred times. Oh, I don't know. I mean, what do you expect? I, you know, I, I, I don't believe it was just a joke and just, well, it's a hyperbole or something, but the cops were involved no. again. Like, it, it no. clearly escalated. Okay. Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy taught me that day that I cannot trust him with those kinds of statements around him, so I've never made one since. Fair enough. But yes, I yeah. do struggle with my suicidal tendencies. I have had suicidal tendencies. I've made about a half dozen videos on them at this point. I, you know, and I talk about it frequently. And sometimes when I trust somebody, I will express my suicidal tendencies to them, hoping that they are smart enough to know that I'll never actually act on them because I haven't acted on them since I was 30 or since 2009 was the last attempt that I acted on them. And uh, I want them to know that I'm safe. And I would never, if I was suicidal, what would be the logic in telling someone if I had planned to kill myself tonight, what would be the point in telling somebody? They're just going to interrupt it. If I was actually ever suicidal. No one would know until I was gone. Am I muted? No, no, you're here. You're here. Let's keep starting. What's up, guys? This is this is one crazy stream. Yeah, <laughs> this is. You never All know right, what's cool. gonna happen. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, that's the thing, man. Like, that's the thing, Ralph. When you're like, and you're just shitting all over me, and I watch it every once in a while, and somebody links it to me, like, oh, you got to hear what Ralph is saying about you. I watch it, and I'm like, man, no, this is true. It doesn't bother me. You know, it's like if you were saying Boogie's from fucking well, Mars. Look, I got to give you I'm more credit than Mars, I got to so. give you a lot more credit than Sargon of Akkad. Let's just put it that way. Well, I, yeah. I, I'm going to say this. I don't I'm, get that reference. Why? I, I, well, I, because I we, we shit on, on him for months exactly. and he refuses to come on the show and you come on at the drop of a hat. So, Skeptics BTF. Well, yeah. I, 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 I mean, to be, honest with you, to be honest with you, if I can help you guys get to the bottom of this better health stuff to find out whether or not it's a legitimate company or not, of course I want to do that because I do not want to refer people to a company that is not going to help them. Now, they were helpful to me and that's why I continued to promote them. But I'm going to put it all on pause now that you guys are breaking this shit apart. And once I find out what you guys have decided, I might pick them back up. I might not. If it turns out they're not reputable, then I'll walk away. Simple as that. And of course, I want to come here and encourage you and help you to do that. And do that to all my other sponsors, too. Help help do the footwork for me. You know? Shit. I'm going to say this. Uh, after talking with you, Boogie, I'm not going to shit on you again. I, I wish I could have talked with you earlier. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's and and that's the thing. All these motherfuckers. I'll tell you how many YouTubers I've reached out to, and I didn't reach out to the UV because fuck it, right? Like whatever, man. You clearly had made your decision, and I wasn't going to fucking change it, and I don't want to spend the time doing it. But sometimes, every once in a while, like on this Lucy Fox shit, I ran, I ran ahead and reached out to. I reached out to some of these YouTubers, like, hey, can I tell you what really went down? Can we really talk about it? And that's the thing. When people make videos about me, I don't know why they just don't reach out to me. I'll, I'll do your fucking show. I'll do your fucking podcast. Whatever. You want to hear it from me, I will tell you it from me. I don't know why Ralph hasn't done that. But no, Ralph is too busy to be like, oh, you fat cuck piece of shit on Twitter. So I eventually had to mute the guy. But if Ralph was ever like, hey, Boogie, do you, you want to talk about your fucking dual personas? Do you want to talk about being middle of the line? Do you want to talk about Gamergate? Do you want to talk about what this girl has to say about you? Sure. I, I, but he never we did. We did play her video on the show, to be fair. We did. I know. I saw it. And well, I was like, holy well, shit. I mean, are, we can't say what's like true or not. Believing this shit? We can't say like what's true or not. I mean, it's just funny to watch. Like, I, I even during yeah. the video, I was like, well, we don't know if this That's is true. Funny. Yeah, it was just funny. We did. Oh, also, I, uh, I, I do like, want to offer you a sincere apology, though, for that. Um, uh, The reason I didn't. I talk, accept it. And I appreciate it. I think it. it's pretty fucked up that you brought up the whole, like, you know, hiring someone to kill himself. I mean, that's really private details that. I put well, it in the chat. To give, I, I didn't make to give him problem. credit, he gave me a chance to not talk about it. But I'm so open about my suicidal tendencies. I and wouldn't even be mad if he just talked about it. It was so it. fucked. Like, that's such right. a fucked thing. Well, you guys rail on him for me. But oh, no, we will. Oh, wait, wait. wait. No. Before you go, Boogie, wait, wait, Boogie. Before you go, Boogie, 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 you go, Boogie. Boogie. Yeah, yeah. you've been yeah. a good sport, but there's one thing we have to do, Gator. Do you I have know what this is what? You know, there's some black fucking bull that's just... Filling her with cock meat. Oh, some yeah. Real oh, yeah. Stars. Some big black ball. Just oh, I know. Really cock meat. We had yeah. to do it. We had to do it to you. <laughs> you guys, you guys do realize you, you guys want to know the truth about my divorce. You guys want to know the real if fucking you, truth. Yes. About yes. yes. Fuck sure. it. Let's. OK, here's what I want to do. OK, so me and my ex-wife, we hung out for a while. We got married. We were married for four years. 
in the last year of our marriage, I am an anxious person. I'm a severely anxious person. My ex-wife um, basically could not handle that anxiety. She's got some anger issues. And so we ended up at this point where I'm anxious all the time. And then she would get angry about it sometimes. And then I would get angry about it sometimes. And we were fighting and we realized that wasn't good. So we made plans and we talked about it in July and we're like, hey, maybe we shouldn't be doing this anymore. And I'm like, yeah, but I got the surgery coming up. Let's see if we can get through the surgery and see if things change. And so we got through the surgery. We saw if things changed. They didn't. So we decided to separate. We separated for about a month. At the end of that month, we agreed that we were both better off. So we got a divorce. And that's how that happened. There's literally nothing yeah. more to it than that. There's not another guy. There wasn't another Sad. person. You know, she 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 did move back with her family, and she lives up there in the north with them. And that's, may I ask uh, why you chose to give her give her more money uh, in the divorce than was some, so we instead of doing a uh, oh fuck yeah I guess it's complicated I don't know how much of this I should talk about but I trust you guys and I hope it doesn't fucking bite me in the ass so I talked this to our live, mediator. by the way so I trust you guys so I, 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 I talked talk to, to I, doctor, I'm gonna suggest that you shut up yeah. <laughs> no fuck it fuck it. <laughs> So I talked to my mediator and he's, my, I talked to my mediator and I'm like, so what is the deal here? He goes in Arkansas, if this goes to court, you're going to lose your ass. And I'm like, really? You say, yes. We, the, in Arkansas, they always side with a woman every time. And I'm like, well, I'm already prepared to give her half. Why well, won't I just give her half? Right. That's what the law says. And I want her to have that, you know? And he's like, because she left work for the last two years to work under your business. So she's worked with the Francis character. She's been in the videos. She could easily make a case that she owns half of the business. She could get money coming from you for the rest of her life. So if she asks, you say yes. And I'm like, okay, that's fair. He's like, I want to save you as much money as I can. And you can either give her half now, or you can get half of what's left after you buy me a fucking yacht and I don't need a yacht. And I'm like, you got it. So when we sat down for mediation, she says, I want this. And I said, yes. She says, I want this. I said, yes. She says, you want this? And she says, yes. And I look at that and I'm like, wait, that's not half. She doesn't understand how much money we have in the bank. I want her to know how much money you have in the bank so it doesn't come back on me. Here's how much you're actually entitled to. Here's what I want you to have. Now sign the fucking paper that says you'll never come after me again. And then she did. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it does yeah. actually. Yeah. Checks out. But, that, but that's the she thing. These... Hey. these when these little Reddit sleuths take all of this stuff out of context, you know, they, they, you know, you can, you can isolate any of this one thing and make it sound like whatever. Well, that's the thing. It doesn't ever really bother me. And sometimes I kind of get off on it, honestly, like reading these subreddits and their crazy ideas. Sometimes it just is a form of self harm. And I'm like, man, this is fucking crazy. These people are crazy. It's fucking hilarious. But I know who I am. I have to go to sleep every day in my bed. I know what's in this brain. I know what I've done. Now, Boogie, I have to I have to tell you, I have to let you know that uh, yeah. you signed an agreement coming on this, and we are billing you eighty dollars an hour uh, for therapy. Motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm billing you eighty dollars a minute. Oh, <laughs> I want to know how you better feel about help Franco, like being on the top of this whole referral thing, like. Honestly, don't know, man. I, I mean, honestly, if he, I don't know if he's got money in the company, that's fine. The company helped me. So again, like I said, if it doesn't turn out to be too terribly shady, I don't have a problem with it. But if it does turn out to be really shady, if he's earning 5% of what I'm earning or whatever, if he's getting five bucks for my 200 or 10 bucks for my 200, I don't care. No, that's fine. That's how this shit tends, tends to work, right? Somebody's, everybody's getting paid. Huh? Would you work with them again in the future if this turns out to be bad? Like, would you still clear of Red Rocket or whatever the fuck it is? I don't know uh, if they're open about it. No, um, I know the only thing I would, the only thing I would be unhappy about here, if it turns out to not be open, like if there's something I needed to know, but moving on forward, I, I, like I said, I don't normally ask questions like this, but I will for the next one. Garen, goddamn to it. Cool. Well, I think you won the room over, man. You I won me so, over. I got, I got yeah. to tell you. I have to give him all the credit in the world. It was a good the guess. Redemption arc. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah. I can't say you're you right, right, well, canceled by the way. Well, my wife never banged our gay black friend. Why do people think that my wife banged that gay black friend of mine? Like, I don't understand. They took a picture together, and that's enough for the internet. Exactly. I know yeah, it's so just... fucking sad. Like, like me and Danny, we're just friends, and we're hanging out, and like, oh, what? She's like some sort of, you know, I don't know. I've heard. That's sad. It's hot. What are you talking about? Yeah, she's we're just friends. She's a cool. She's a, she's a cute cosplay girl, and we met. Well, look, I mean, you did talk about exactly. you did talk about hiring hookers and stuff, right? Like, I mean, did, didn't yeah, you but say those are jokes. Obviously, those are jokes, right? Oh, I thought you were joking. Jokes. Really? 
Uh, no, I'm not fucking. I'm just saying, if you, if you hire a hooker, <laughs> that's nothing, I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. I just. Uh, LeoPage.com, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't, I, get I, I, don't get me wrong. I know what back pages of course, knows the website. <laughs> uh, they have more back pages. Do. They removed those. I have a question. Oh, I heard about that. Trump, really... Trump is the only person that's allowed to fuck prostitutes. He took it away from the rest of us, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good that's a good joke. Though. That's a good joke. All right. See, the last time I going to talk about the president that way. All right. So, Really old episode of the kill stream. So sure. we played a video by a man named El Presidor. Oh. And I wanted to oh, yeah, that guy fucking hates me, dude. He, he's fucking crazy. What about him? Did you and El Presidor like like did did something happen between you two or, or was it just nope. random? That dude just hates fat people. That's it. And then like he I engaged with him on Twitter a few times and like fucking like yelled at him or whatever. Uh or like he yelled at me a bunch of times, like I was at VidCon. And he's like, you fat fuck, look at your fucking scooter, you fat fuck, you're a fat fuck, you fat fuck. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, President. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, President. I was just hanging out with Hank Green and John Green here in my free hotel uh, within eye shot of Disney. Um, is there, are you having problems or something? You know, I'm getting paid to be here, right? So I don't know. He's like, yeah, you fat fuck, you shitty fat fuck, and you fat fuck. And I'm like, okay. Well, anyway, I'm just going to go um, have a free dinner. Uh, so goodbye. I was like, that was pretty do, much do my you engagement. Still get shit after you lost your weight, by the way, is, do you still get hate on Twitter? I get more hate. I get so much more hate. <laughs> they are so fucking mad to see my fat ass lose weight. They are so mad to know that I am right. doing well. They're serious? so mad to know that I have money in the bank. They're so mad to know that my mental health is improving. They get so mad when they think I'm dating somebody. They get so mad. They get so fucking mad because they think I'm worse than them. They think I'm lesser than them. And if I'm doing better than them, then what the fuck does that say about them? It drives them fucking crazy, dude. I put a girl in the thumbnail, they lose their fucking minds. I show you that I've lost 350 pounds, they lose their fucking minds. I tell them I'm doing better with my mental health, they lose their fucking minds. I buy a box of magic cards, they lose their fucking minds. They, and the more weight I lose, <laughs> the more pissed they get. They're so fucking mad. They're so mad. The How dare people him live longer? How dare cards? him be healthier? How dare him be okay? Yeah, literally buy a box of magic cards. He's wasting a hundred dollars on that shit. Who I can't believe how much fucking money he has. <laughs> That's you know like what one I would better do? help referral. Yeah, do you know what I would do? <laughs> exactly, dude. No shit. You know what I would do? Actually, actually, that's only half of a better help referral. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can double up with some magic yeah. the gathering cards now. Yeah. And, and 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 you know, that's what I'm saying. They're like, I can't believe how much money he has. I deserve that money. I'm not fat. And yeah, dude. Go earn it then. Just go fucking. Oh, you don't earn it. You where were you when I was building this business for six years back from 2006 to 2012 before I got my first fucking YouTube paycheck, buddy? Trust well, me, you, I earned what's it. What's going on with your channel right now? Because I noticed your like. I thought it was this better help shit. I have a I have a, a YouTube rep that's telling me it's the algorithm, um, but I don't know. They're like there's something going on with the algorithm with your channel. We're just not promoting you as much, and I'm like I don't know why. Um, but I'm just bleeding subs. It happens every so often, but my biggest concern right now is I'm down to like 6 million views a month, which is, I'd normally be about twice this last year. I think it's a lot of the stupid mistakes I've made in the last year. Some of the shitty things I've done, the quality of my videos certainly haven't improved. It could be that I lost weight. It could be that I, you know, there's all these weird, crazy. Yeah, have that, you ever thought about that? Yeah. We talked about this on the show. I think maybe once or twice yeah. too, like that maybe, you know, getting skinny might, you know, it's counterintuitive a little bit. Oh, I but think might, it might hurt you. Yeah. yeah I but they want to see a, a fat fucker on there, spurging out. And yeah. I, I think a lot of people hate watched me. And yeah, now that yeah. it's harder to hate me, they don't hate watch. Yeah, that is a fucking, curious, I don't want to probe too far, but have you, it. have you like financially prepared for like a, a dip in income? Well, the divorce didn't fucking help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, after the divorce, uh, I've been earning quite a bit of money. But that's one of the reasons I really started hitting the brand management stuff. I'm like, all right, man, I got better start planning for a future. Now, do I have seven figures in the bank? Not even close. Not even fucking close after that divorce. Am I going to be okay? Dude, I used to live off of $700 a month. So if I have to go back to living off $700 a month for a while, I will be pretty fucking fine because I lived like a king. It felt like I lived like a king. You're talking to a guy who was homeless in this fucking city for six months. So having $700 to spend in the month, $1,000, $2,000 to spend in the month, great. I, I, I'm almost you know, paid off this house and I'll have this house to buy. I'll be able to sell the house if things get really thin. Um, I think I'll be okay. But yeah, buy, I really know why your channel is a little bit dim. I think it's yeah. because you're not covering... 
you know, topics that people are interested in. Yeah. And that's a big part of it. I, I, I make what I'm interested in and hope people watch. I don't necessarily think, you know, cause I'm sure if I came in there and started talking about some of the stuff we talked about tonight, it's going to be controversial, but the views are going to be good, but I don't want to talk about that. I just want to talk about what I'm interested in. Well, um, I thank you for coming on the kill stream and talking about it here, sir. All right, so be nicer to me, God damn it! I'll, I'll, I fucking have, to, I'll have to be a little nicer now. We won't feel the yeah, same. Right. We'll, 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 we'll take it out on the gypsy. Thanks for having me on. What I'm doing right now, Ralph? What I'm look? Let me show you what I'm doing right now. I'm okay. going to fucking unmute the Ralph retort oh, right wow. now. Yeah, wow. okay. Yeah, don't hit 1488. Exactly. What is that shit? Like I'm people just go ahead go to the chat thing. You're boogie 1488 when you're here now. Yeah, that's <laughs> such a weird. I hate and, that. And there it is. Please like your your manager to try and get affiliate information. I fucking legit petitioned to get same sex marriage in this fucking state on the ballot. I marched in fucking high school at gay pride parades as an unless they're interracial, and these, right? And these fucking <laughs> <laughs> hey. My, my first girlfriend was African American, oh, man. God. I'm the one who got blacked, god damn it. And then that community that community attacked me. I felt so fucking bad. I'm a fucking ally, guys. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm definitely not the guy you guys where you want to fuck. Do you miss it? Okay. All right. No, because they were shitting on you like on a daily basis. Oh yeah, they still do. They still do. Yeah, if my name gets mentioned over there, people get banned for daring mention it. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. I love this fucking gaming community. Uh, the, well, I, I have so many fucking gaming news reporters who've blocked me at this point that I can't even fucking read their shit. It's funny. <laughs> I literally can't read the bullshit that they're putting up. Right, they're which is fine because it's bullshit. But here's the thing. Even at six million, because they don't agree with my politics because I'm not SJW enough. But here's the fucking thing. Even with my lowly six million views on YouTube a month, I'm still getting more fucking page views than a lot of these fucking authors. So they can block me all they fucking want. I still have 10 times the power of these little shits. Too. You so got a red rover boogie. Respect. It's brighter. It's greener over here. Ah, uh, fuck, man. I, but that, that, that's the thing. I don't always agree with you guys. I'm not going to say what I don't believe in. I'm going to do what I believe in, man. No, you don't have to. Yeah. We just we just like open honest talk. That's the fun exactly. part. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's yeah. all well, I'm looking I do for. Too, and that's why I tune in every once in a while. And then I tune in and you play this fucking sound effect. <laughs> and you're like, this is the fucking <laughs> then I have to tune out. Stop doing that well, shit, hey, motherfucker. Boogie, now we have a whole new is. plethora of, of sound effects now. So <laughs> next time you tune in, we'll we'll have some updated. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Thank Goodbye. you. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Take it easy. Wow. Fuck you. Close fucking discord holy shit i got you i got you i got you there you go there you go i got you Okay, since Keemstar is here, I have a burning question. I think at the end of your video, you mentioned that uh, a couple of people were doing digging into this better help stuff. Do you have any uh, any names to drop regarding the, the the sources? Yeah, I think they're in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andy is working on something, and uh, Meme is still working on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess. And I am. It's unfolding slowly. Yes, it's unfolding slowly. Uh, I think the video I posted today was just the start uh, of of what's to come because there's a, there's a few other emails, a few other things I want to check out on Skype too. Well, so, hey, Andy, I hate to interrupt you, but I have, to, I have to ask a burning question here. Uh, the, what was it like getting fucked by an obese man on a live stream <laughs> in front of six thousand people? Is your ass yeah, right now? I have an answer for that. Let That's the person sad, yeah. who never shot on Boogie cast the first stone. Oh no! I, I hey, I've, I've taken I've taken plenty of shots, but I didn't get forcefully fucked in front of the audience tonight like you did. Jam. Well, I, I will I'm be like, honest. You know, V, I, I, I like how you were like, "Oh, I got." Oh, you tried killing yourself, fucking asshole! I'm like, "Whoa, V, calm down, dude." What? I, I mean, V. That. That you were was mad at that. him that he tried oh, killing oh, himself. I, mean, I, I, I really didn't say bad. that. Hold on, right? First of all, I genuinely feel bad about it. Like this, this is why I came here. I wanted to uh, sort things over to see if I was right or not. Um, and secondly, I didn't say that, Andy. Okay, I fucking exaggerated. Calm down, dude. Relax. He has trouble with hyperbole. That was the whole yeah, point. Yeah, hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if he ever acts up, we just gotta say we'll bring Boogie back. We'll get we'll get Boogie back. <laughs> <laughs> Better get right. 
Dude, the, my, the best is when Boogie wouldn't accept V's apology. That, that was, was fucking. <laughs> <what? laughs> Then Molly's just like, yeah, yeah, I accept it. I accept it and just like dismiss it. He cut him off. He cut him off. Say yeah, whatever. Well, I I genuinely felt bad though. And I, yeah, I deleted the videos I made way back then. So, you know, I got to say, Keemstar, he co signed Boogie a long time ago. I think, I think it was maybe on this stream. He's like, nah, I like Boogie. He's always been, always been funny and cool with me. I mean, he kind of, he kind of proved this tonight. I have to, I have to eat a lot of my words. So. Yeah, I realized that he was completely different than he put on when he started talking about the AI. Like the the way he spoke, yeah. the the tone of his voice, it was way different than anything I've ever heard come out of him. Yeah, Boogie being real. Um, Boogie is the best. like you know I've talked to him privately a bunch, and he's also been on my podcast, uh, Bait It, and you know he goes into detail, you know, on that when we had him on of basically just saying that like on his YouTube channel he wants to be the best him, you know. But that's not who he is. Yeah, well, he talks so frequently about his depression and stuff, and I, I don't know. It, it seems like if you want to attract more more viewers, you should probably stray away from that a little bit. Yeah, because the best tip is just being to talk about depression and his weight and all this stuff, and yeah. video games, of course. But here, it seems like he was having a fucking blast here. You know, yeah, he, he needs to start calling people out. Yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. I like that. He was pretty oh, good. Dude, I actually like. I never hated him ever, but like, like today, I was like, "Whoa, this guy's actually pretty cool." You know what I mean? I'd love to see a video like this. You know, I, I want to see what he would do here, but if it doesn't oh. make him happy, there. he should make a video on V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, how how punished are you going to be when the Don hears about this V? Uh -oh. You put down the family. <laughs> how are you going to live with this? You know, like the thing is, the Don actually likes Boogie, so. Um... I, I, yeah, I might be very yeah, fun to do that. <laughs> well, he's, gonna, he's gonna lock you in a room. You're gonna turn around. There's gonna be like ten thousand donuts there, and he's gonna say, "You're gonna eat all of this. You're gonna gain the weight that he took off. You're gonna, you're gonna take his place." That's your <laughs> if I if I don't make videos for a week, you need to call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get the cement shoes. Well, uh, I, what happened with that? Did Sargon get a bunch of bad press, or what? What? What happened? Yeah, I got anything about the whole um, regarding his Apple's B suit. What do you think we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I thought you photoshopped that on your thumbnail. By the way, I was like, "Oh, look at this Photoshop," and I'm like, "Oh, wait, it's a real picture." That is a real picture. <laughs> yeah. Ralph, what is going on with your shows, man? I don't Holy, know, this, man. This it's, week has been something else, man. It's only Wednesday. And I guess, you know, we had the weekend heel stream, too. Keem, I noticed I saw your tweet. You said, uh, I tuned in at 730. What were those outrageous things that were being said? I, we were trying to figure it out. There were so many outrageous things being said on the stream that we couldn't figure out what what it was you were referring to exactly. He sure has to keep things kosher. Come on no, now. I mean, I completely understand. I wasn't mad about it, but I was just wondering, like, what was it the Holocaust debate that, oh, that we had going oh. on? Or was, it? was it the cowboy thing? I, I tuned in probably about 1030 or no, it was like right before. Yeah, it was 1030 because you were ending at 11. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there was some uh, gassing of the, you know, oh, whatever. Yes, yes. Like that being said, and I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, gonna, probably best to sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasted by that time. <laughs> not even Team Star, would you say this? The conversation struck you as being very sumptuous because Ralph uh, was telling everybody that, yeah. <laughs> that it was quite the sumptuous conversation that he was having. <laughs> I was there for only ten seconds. Heard that. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> It, it took that motherfucker 10 seconds to close out. Like, no, nope, no, nope, that ain't happening. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been a crazy week, I guess. Got pretty bad when we were uh, watching Boogie's stream as well. But, you know, yeah. towards the end, I was just too compelled. I had to come in and say hi. <laughs> we appreciate it. By the way, I appreciate Not everybody chosen. coming on. It's been a crazy week. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for thanks for having me on, man. I'm gonna Thank I'm gonna you. bounce. It was. Uh, I, I have one uh, question before you leave, by the way, uh, and it's for Andy as well. Uh, you, you guys were at the forefront of the uh, Hasbro pedophile scandal. Do you generally think that Boogie's right and they didn't do it? Uh, what I think is it was funny coming up with the Adam uh, Race Worski thing, and we had a good was... time that night. And the uh, quartering got to say what he thought was going on, and that's that's about what I thought of it. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought he he should get his chance to say what he thinks, and uh, you know we had we had a couple of laughs about it. That's kind of what the internet's for is having a few laughs, unless you're dealing with a bunch oh. of fucking furries that are 
raping puppies, in which case you need to exterminate them. But that's a different fucking conversation, isn't it? <laughs> or if you're trying to get your career off by advertising some affiliate shit, then you're going to get fucked. I'm going to be laughing about that shit. No, Guys, I got I to gotta go real yep. quick because I got to talk to Thank someone uh, pretty important here. Uh, but listen, um, Jim, are you making a video on this better help stuff? Because I really want to see a video from you on that subject. I'm considering it, but I mean, like, Mammology is doing, like, his videos are fucking amazing. Like, have you seen the, the shit he's put out? It's fucking incredible. Yeah, I've been good, yeah. Right. Yeah. The yeah. problem is, is there's no, like, the way he does his videos, there's no commentary, right? It's not, like, it's not my style of, of video. Well, if you want, I can link you some, I, I've been looking into the companies and stuff, and if you want to do a video, I can link you some stuff that I put together, and it might be informative. Mm. Okay. You DM me. Thanks, guys. See ya. All right. Yep. Thank Take you it easy, much. man. Peace out, everybody. Appreciate you guys coming along. You see you, Ralph. Peace out, man. Later. Everyone, have Peace a nice out, night. Later. Have a good one, man. Right. Medicare has the link. Oh, this should yeah. be entertaining. I think so. All right. Oh, Gator, he has the link too, right? He should. Okay. There he is. There he is. Oh, no, it's not. That's a robot gator. Oh, it's bot gator. Don't worry about it. We're not taking... It doesn't matter. We're not taking callers from the Discord, but... Oh, well. You're already there. There he is. Mr. Mediker, how you doing, sir? Oh, how are you boys doing? Ah, uh, you know. Same old, same old. How you doing? I'm seeing those numbers. That's impressive. You guys have been hitting five, over 5K. Now, a couple of nights in a row. Yeah, just yeah. having fun doing the same shit we do. Yeah, isn't it great when you can do a show and not fuck it up by being retarded? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's a, it's a, it's a wow. really, it's a, what would the religious? Oh, the, the Southerners, the religious Southerners would say it's a blessed job. Well, you've got a great job, huge audience, making good money, and all you got to do is not implode. It's well, really it was, that simple. Yeah, it was quite close today. We almost scrolled down a Twitter page. We shouldn't have scrolled down. Yeah, oh, a bitch had a, a, dildo, a dildo in her ass. Luckily, I didn't scroll further down. But yeah, I guess it, it kind of is the, it's almost like the process of elimination if you look at the history of, of this uh, of this uh, genre. Uh, we we kind of just didn't implode. No no host drama. No and host still, drama. Yeah, you built, you built it up. I mean, I remember your first couple of streams. You had like 100 people watching. You're up at yeah. 5,000. Fuck, by next year, you'll probably be breaking five digits. You'll probably be up at 10,000. Well, I mean, if things keep trending this way, we will be. Yeah. Next year, I can call Jordan Peterson a faggot to his face. <laughs> now, Ralph, I love how diplomatic you are. When you approach a situation that's a little uncomfortable, you're very good. So let me ask you an uncomfortable <laughs> question. Since Please. Vamp is a admin of your server, that's what's true. your opinion on the conversation between Vamp and Andy? What did you think of what he had to say about that? Uh... <laughs> so I, I okay i guess i'll, I'll just say this um andy worski has always been nothing but honest with me and uh, i was on his show today and he wasn't trashing the kumite he wasn't going at vamp he wasn't going at tonka matter of fact a lot of his chat was going at those same people and he refused to go there um so i i don't know uh, I was informed while we were on the air that uh, Tonka and Failure were, were kind of airing him out. Um, I I don't know what that was about. If it was if it was old beef bubbling up, or did it just happen to be because you know Andy was in, in their same time slot, getting like fifteen hundred compared to their three hundred. Um, if that's what the issue was, um, but look, Andy's always been good to me. I can't say anything bad about the guy. Uh, as far as Vamp. Um, I mean, she she's been nice to me as well. I I, I think it's I, I think it's unwarranted the things she was saying about Andy though. So listen to you, Juck and Jive. I like <laughs> <laughs> just dodging around that minefield. It's very diplomatic. I mean, look, I don't know. I, I, I especially when he said, "Okay, let's just scroll down the same conversations on screen." I I don't really see how that could be ripe for. You know, manipulation. I mean, it's it's right there on the screen. You guys are both going to simultaneously scroll. I don't know. I, I I like Andy. I like what he's been doing. And uh, you know, we well, yeah, had him, we he, had him he, on the show just last week. He was funny. I mean, yeah, his numbers have been doing. I mean, like he did. I think was it a stream yesterday? Somebody said he got like two K watching. He yeah, got like yeah, it was, yeah. I was I was, was on that with the, right. with the Blair funny. White stuff. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. Andy's kind of like Rasputin. You can't you can't kill that dude. It's so weird though, Ralph, because I thought there was no morning audience going by another show that's on at that time slot that only gets like mm. two hundred people watching. <laughs> I uh, where's Andy, where's Andy getting these numbers from? Oh, there's confused. a lot of people that want something entertaining in the morning. Oh, do they? Are they desperate for some entertainment in the morning? <laughs> I, think so. I think so. It's been clearly Me lacking. Personally. The people are desperate for it. <laughs> Me personally, I think so, yes. Now, let me ask you, wh- where do you think uh, Tonka and the Kumase went wrong? Oh, well, I, I gave my two main gripes, which was the uh, the Viva Lasa shit was driving me crazy. And the fight me in real life stuff was just, I, could, I couldn't take it after a certain point. It's like everybody, I want to fight everybody. And um, that was one of those things where if you hear it enough time, like, I, I don't know, maybe it's just a difference in age. Maybe, maybe I am old now at this point, but I grew up around uh, an online culture where if you got to the point where you wanted to fight somebody in real life because they made you mad on the internet, you lost. Uh, yeah. You lost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was that was game over. You look like a fucking retard. Um, I, I I just think that there was like this. I I don't know, man. It was again. It's the easiest shit in the world. It's the easiest formula in the world. Andy and JF had a huge audience, made a lot of money. Tonk and Failure, huge audience, made a lot of money, but this infighting shit just fucking imploded them. Right. And it was just to the point where, I mean, everybody splintered off and did their own thing. Right. And JF's doing his own streams now. And I think he's pulling in like uh, anywhere between one to 2000 people. So he, he kind of survived it. Right. Um, Andy looks like he might be getting back to it. There's only one guy that's having some difficulty. You know what I mean? There's, there's one guy out there that's seemingly struggling with this. Now, maybe that could be because once he gets angry at you, he tries to make love to everybody that you ever fought with, like people like, I don't know, Kraut and uh, those Sargon. particular gentlemen. Yeah, Sargon, based Sargoy of Applebee's. <laughs> Sargon. Uh, Sargon. Now, let oh, me you ask you, is, is there a certain Sargon? bit of, I mean, maybe frustration because, you know, you've been on our stream many, many times. You, you, you've promoted us on your own stream. You've tweeted us out. Uh, but you did the same thing for the Kumite. And they were rolling right along. Now, of course, maybe I shouldn't toot my Well, horn. and I'd like to add, too, you know, in the intervening months between kind of when the Kumite ended and Andy kind of stopped doing his thing, I didn't talk shit about any of them. No, you didn't. I, yeah, I didn't. There weren't. I wasn't throwing out jabs at them on a daily basis. I wasn't making videos or streams shitting on them. I just kind of left them to do their own thing. Tonka's the one that suddenly wanted to get into it. I mean, he puts out these passive aggressive tweets where he's like, oh, look at this multi-billion dollar international corporation (laughs) and their fucking sporting events got these many people watching. Well, no shit, idiot. It's a billion dollar corporation. (laughs) What are you brain dead? You fucking retarded monkey. What are you talking about? Of course, a wrestling organization or a fucking MMA organization has the money and the marketing to get a big audience. And then like this whole let's set, set up fights between everybody, you know, newsflash champ. OK, I, you know, uh, people with 50 million combined subscribers are going to have people watching them if they're sitting on the toilet taking a shit. So I don't know if it's necessarily the fight component of that that drew in the fucking eyes. It might just be that they're at a point where they have enough of an audience that they tune in for anything. Well, but like, be, he, oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. To be fair, that that stream he was talking about when he had 20k people watching it yours had 27 oh no but didn't you see the back pedal after that he said no i didn't mean live viewers i meant total views afterwards oh okay yeah yeah and then he <laughs> he put out another one i think taking a shot at you guys where it was like six thousand viewers on like some wwe thing and he's like this is so much better than people sitting around on stream uh fart huffing yeah, I've seen I've seen that and look, I don't know. You know, he did a stream with the Logan Paul thing and he had 7k watching. But the title of the stream made you think that you could actually watch the fight on the stream. So there were a lot of people tuning in and they're like, "Whoa, I'm about to see this fight. Let me let me watch this." And then they tune in and there's no fight there. I mean, I don't even know if you'll call that clickbaiting. That's, that's I, I don't just- know. My advice to Tonka would be uh don't be bitter, be better. All right, you want an audience? Earn the audience. Be entertaining. Nobody wants to listen to Godzilla for four hours in the morning with dead air interspersed every twenty fucking minutes. Well, and and you looked at—I you know, don't know if you did look, but you know, Worski, he wasn't talking about him. He wasn't, you know, slamming them. He was just doing his show. Uh, and there was a quote from Dong Wave and Tonka's on stream where he's just like, "Look, I I did I did tune into Worski's show, and you know what he's not doing? He's not he's not running down the Kumite. He's not going at you guys." 
Uh, but here for the first, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes of your show, you're, you're spending it on Andy. Whereas if you just spend it on your own show, it'd probably be better better time spent you know what i mean hey well i I wouldn't even be talking about this guy if he didn't want to start this all up but like you listen to this shit i mean he's he blamed me for blood of palooza he said well his gym hyped it up and it turned out to be shit again i didn't organize it i didn't make money off of it it wasn't on my channel i didn't sell merchandise for it i didn't put the programming together i wasn't the fucking host right i was just the guy that Hey, let's set up a couple of fights and Andy's going to have a fight and we'll do it on our thing. and It'll be this big deal. You know, if that gets fucked up, that's on you, man. That's your show. You know, if I put together a bad show, it's a bad show. If Ralph, if you do, it's on you. You know what I mean? Like it takes some fucking responsibility for your own platform. Well, it would be like if the heel stream was a, a failure and I just said, Jim, God damn it. Why wasn't this a success? What the fuck? You fucked this up. It's like, no, Ralph, you organized this. You booked all these people for this, and it sucked. Of course, I don't think it did suck. I think most people liked it. But it, it would, you know, it would fall flat. That's that's not a very fair criticism, right? Well, yeah, I heard a clip, too, of, like, failure from the Kumite saying, does Jim hate me or something? I, I haven't said anything about failure. Like, the only person I've responded to is Donga, because Donga wants to throw boulders at me, so I'll huck a few back at his drive. Right, you know, like that's kind of the difference. The, the difference here, it seems like, is you know, everybody says, "Oh, well, you know, it's just he's just you know he's allowed to be critical. He could be critical." But then when people go back and even have light, minor criticisms of him, like he sicks the fucking uh, self esteem team on you, and it, it like I had a, I had a stream where I was talking about my criticisms, and goddamn, the self esteem team showed up in force. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm familiar with the fact that you were you were starting to go in a little bit on that, and then uh, uh, had some people come out to try to motivate you in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, boy, did that happen! I'd say just light it on fire and watch the fucking uh, pretty pretty flames. <laughs> smoke. That's what people want, man. They they want an entertaining show. They want you to speak your piece, brother. They want you to <laughs> say. <laughs> Uh, they guess, don't. They don't want to. You know. They don't want the the, the diplomatic thing's fine because Ralph can pull it off a bit. But they want to hear some shit talk, man. I mean, that's that's what's entertaining. But I, I, these pot shots that he's been throwing at me, and it's fucking obvious as shit. Bitching well, he, about he numbers, done that a long. He done that for fighting. a long time. Like yeah, that wasn't was. just. Yeah, he he been talking off. shit for months. Like oh no no I'm a, I'm aware and I mostly yeah. just ignored it because I didn't really give a fuck. It's like all right whatever he's upset for some reason. But it just kept going on and on and on and on. And then he started bringing in the fucking circus freaks. Here's crowd. Here's David shit rat. Um, you know, here's some of the fucking YouTube scientists. Here's Tommy C to whine about it. Uh, here's Sergun. And then he brings in fucking short fat otaku and the rest of the skeptic retards. So it's like really obvious. It's really fucking obvious. If you want an audience, put an entertaining show on. Don't get pissed at other people for not promoting you no. or for not showing up for your shit why is he and look again i've tried to be diplomatic but I, you know i guess i'll just i'll just speak off the cuff why is he upset in the first place so um you helped his program you promoted them you appeared on the program many times no, you, let's you be honest them. Andy, like, andy helped their program all right the well, best moments on the morning kumite were andy related when andy trademarked liberalist that was funny as shit when Andy thought that uh, Right Wing Watch was going to get him banned from fucking Israel, that was funny as shit. Like, those are moments that you can kind of remember. So I don't know why he's going, like, what this animosity with Andy is. Andy wasn't the one that organized the fucking uh, IBS apocalypse stream. Andy didn't, you know, uh, he was there like you guys were, you know what I mean? Just to be there if somebody wanted the well, fucking Well, I think, I think he blames Andy for the, for the death. Well, I shouldn't say the death, but the... Uh uh, the <laughs> diminishment of the Kumite, that 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 whole live thing where they they ended the Kumite and then they had all those fights. I think he blames Andy for that. And then for you, um, I guess you know the whole IBS apocalypse stream didn't go the way he wanted. I mean, it didn't go the way. I, look, you know, looking back was even it still. Well, look, like it was, IBS, it was a, the IBS. Well, let me let me let me just say this. Okay, so I was on that program. Yeah. Um, was it a complete spurt fest? Yes. yes. Was, it, was it something that, you know, looking back, it could, maybe I shouldn't have participated in? Maybe. Um, that being said, okay, so I just looked at it as, okay, it's a one-off, whatever. It was, it was a complete shit show. And then I just went back to doing my show. Like, I didn't, uh, you know, we did one program about it after it happened, and then it was over. I didn't hold any... I'm laughing about how gay it was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that was it. You know, we just... I, I, don't, I don't understand why months later... 
oh, you know, so-and-so, and I know he has his criticisms, there was some video or whatever, face, I, I don't know, it's, that's another thing well, that I could and talk again, the about, way but, yeah, yeah again, ahead. the way it was set up, and I told everybody this, the same fucking thing in the DMs, just, you know, redact it if it's private information, and so I had people sending me multiple versions of shit, and I, you know, I'd look it over, um and you know he, he's talking about the zoom video right or is he talking yeah. about somebody else's video i guess there was a video where um look i haven't fully examined but the, there was a video that zoom played where it showed i mean you if know, you go uh, back and watch that stream you zoom literally uh, overcuts on his audio saying jim is a faggot he made me remove this like there's like yes. 30 fucking examples of that well there's there's a clip where it shows um you know, Tonka and Vamp, like their actual faces or whatever. Look, I, and I've said this before. Um, everybody knows who Tonka is, right? Like, so. Well, wait, wait. How could it be a doxing of Vamp? I mean, she does live streams on camera on her own channel. Yeah. He can't, be, he can't be talking about Vamp. I guess he's talking about himself then, because uh, there's a clip where it shows a picture of him, you know, when he was a wrestler or going down the road or some shit. Uh, but but everybody knows who he is. That that's another thing that I don't really understand the whole, um, you know, doxing angle or whatever. When everybody knows who you are, there's videos where it's it's clearly the same person, and there, there's even you know broadcasts where you came on there and said, yeah, that's the same person. Failure on the IBS stream said, yeah, that's the same person. Like what? I don't know. And, and why did he wait three or four fucking months to bring this up? Well, okay, I'll, 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 I'll just say he, he's, he, well, should I just go completely off? Uh, just light it on fire, I mean, he, he says he told you about it, even during the program that he told you about it. I honest to God don't remember. If he did, okay. I don't remember. Like I, I said, I told everybody, if something pops up and you don't want it on there, say something up front, and the stream, I'll kill the stream right there. Uh, I mean, he, I said that at the beginning. Yeah, and there was even a couple points in the stream where you're like, okay, you know, we're about to kill it. I said, don't do this or whatever. And the, everybody there, me included, were just like, nah, keep going, whatever. Yeah, and the uh, thing is, Andy was trying to recall the tweets where he's like, oh, uh, Don, uh, Don, Tonka was saying that Jim is a doxer. Uh, Tonka was tweeting out shit saying, yeah, Jim doxed people on demand when Zoom wanted it. Jim was showing faces and names when Zoom asked. All right, so he's trying to make it out to be like, I was just with the, my finger on the button ready to do it. And then he walked it back, just like he did with that shit where it was, oh, you guys will never beat these numbers on the stream. Oh, no, I didn't mean live viewers. And now I suddenly mean total views. He does that shit a lot where he'll say, he'll make a statement and then he'll walk it back a little bit and try to move the goalpost. Yeah, and, and look, my whole thing is, of course, he claims, you know, he messaged you at the time or whatever. I don't know the whole details because, I, you know, I don't control either of you guys' accounts. Um, I, I would I would expect that if he had said, you know, stop the stream, that you would have stopped the stream. Um, but even even if he had all that beef, it's like Andy said, what are you doing? Like, this makes no sense picking a fight with Medicare. And I told, I, you know, I've said the same thing uh, before to various people. Like, the, like why are you doing this? This guy promoted you for months. It just doesn't, it's not really a logical move. So if for some reason, you know, down the line, you decide you don't want to come on our show um, for whatever reason, maybe you're just busy or maybe you just don't feel like appearing on live streams, you know, anymore. That's fine. Wh what am I going to say? Oh, Jim's a piece of shit. After all the times he came on our show and helped promote it and pimp it out on his own stream. That makes, that's just looks like sour grapes. You know what I mean? Looks petty. Yeah, well, if, like, he, if he wants to make it out like I have something out for him, I would have gone after myself. You know what I mean? Like if I had an issue and I wanted to to go after Tonka, I, I would have done that. Like the IBS apocalypse thing, people were bitching saying, oh, we've got all these complaints. Fine, I'll set up a fucking stream. You can all scream at each other. Six and a half fucking hours of it. Oh, God. Uh, you know, and so <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It, it was a clusterfuck of his stream. I honestly don't remember him telling me to stop it. If he did, I, I would have. I really, honest to God, don't remember him saying that. That's that's what that's his claim. I don't know. Like I, I was just there. Like you said, you talked about this before. I was. I really. I, I don't know. I was just kind of there along for the rod. Me and Worski really didn't have much to do with the main complaints anyway, and we were just kind of there, you know, commenting every once in a while, but really kind of outside of the, or excuse me, on the periphery. I guess would be the way to explain it, but. Um, I, I, I don't know. You know, let the ghosts stay in the past, right? We're, we're living <laughs> in the present now. It's a new age. It's the age of the kill stream. 
All right, get with the program, Tonka. <laughs> and he's going to stream in the morning, and he's going to fuck your numbers. And Ralph is going to stream at night, and he's going to fuck the corpse that was left over from the fucking Andy <laughs> game it earlier. Now, let me ask you this, you know, let's, let's, let's try to look on the sunny side. Is there a possibility? Of course, you know, this has been put out there before, and you were there ready to uh, discuss things. Is there a possibility, you know, maybe you guys could talk, get on the... I already, I I, I was, you were the one to put out that uh, lovely offer and uh, I agreed. I agreed right away. I said, sure, I'll go on the kill stream. And then he said, I, Donka's response was, I don't operate on gym time. Well, it's not my stream. You're the one to put out the invite. It's not even, this isn't my platform. I don't make money off it. These people aren't my viewers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, But I was, I was willing to come on, but he didn't want to do it. And then he tried spinning it later by saying, no, you have to come on the kill stream. (laughs) Why would I? Why would why would I why would I do that? No, why yeah, you not, mean you mean come on the bring, Kumite. Or, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, the Kumite. Why would I not bring the viewers here if we're going to do that? I'm going to make you shekels, Ralph. I'm not making him shekels. <laughs> Fuck him. I'll make you shekels. The screaming match can be here. Um, I don't know. I mean, do, does he think it's going to just be a destruction, or maybe? I mean, maybe there's some some you know way that there could be a. I don't know about agreement, but just okay. Let's let's put it behind us. Maybe I don't know. It just seems. I don't know. I've got more interesting shit to do. I've got uh, the DeFranco stuff coming up, right? And then oh wait, 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 wait. What are you doing on the DeFranco stuff? I'm waiting for World or World Mental Health Day, and oh, then I'm going to take a big I... shit on DeFranco. Very that's good. tomorrow, right? No, that's no, uh, that's Wednesday. Tomorrow. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Depending yeah. on what time zone here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I got that, and then I've got um, a really fucking good stream coming up uh, dealing with... Um, I've got some really fucking insane stalkers, so we're going to be watching that shit. That'll be fun. Now, let me ask you why you're here. Did you... And we didn't get to talk about it tonight because the, the stream is actually three hours long, and I haven't had a chance to go through and timestamp or do some type of super cut. Did you... I saw you tweeted about the whole Kenny Jones thing. Did you know anything about that, or...? The Kenny, uh, yeah. So somebody sent me uh, a timestamp of a stream that uh, it was Josh from Kiwi, right? Yeah. Uh, did with this dude, where he's like, "Oh, if Jim wants to make a video on me, he can make a video on me." But the like the stream is like three hours long, so I didn't watch the whole stream. So I don't know exactly so what what's the story behind that. What's the situation? Um. So basically, he donated a power supply unit to Margaret McLennan. Who uh, used to ghost right from? I, th- I think you know Margaret. Used to ghost right from Milo and do a bunch of other things. Actually, on the Medicare Masterson Mega Show, she came in for like five minutes. It wasn't very well received because it kind of threw off the stream. But uh, she she's a friend of mine. She's been around for a while. She's pretty funny. Um, anyway, he donated a power supply unit to her, and then she stopped making streams. Um, one of the main reasons she stopped making streams was because uh, this guy was kind of you know, like stalking her basically. Um, and now he's on a autistic quest to, I don't know, expose her or something. And that's what that stream was about. He's paid some people to make a video for him. Originally tonight, we were going to do a segment on that, but like I said, I didn't have time to go through and timestamp it. Um, it's complete autism basically. Uh, so, okay. Yeah. So th- this guy donated parts then or he was like a, a patron yeah so what? he was a patreon uh supporter and she was making you know building a computer or whatever and he sent her a power supply unit and now he feels cheated because she took down her videos and she's not making any more videos and she's not playing overwatch like he wants her to play and so he thinks she should either a make more videos b like give him the copies of the old videos or a and b do both and you know start start playing overwatch again well if, if he's unhappy <clears throat> with the shit that she's doing like he stopped giving her money right that would be the first thing wouldn't it yeah he did stop giving her money but he he's taking his other money and started so he hired a private investigator to you know, Wait, find out what? yeah he hired a private investigator uh he's hired people to kind of uh uh, fuck with her uh according to her she's he's also spoofed phone numbers trying to like you know uh you know message her phone and shit uh i mean he admits on that stream that he so absolutely wait, hired the problem he, he, he's doing this because he wants the power supply in it back or what what no he wants he wants more margaret mcclennan basically he wants more, wants more overwatch videos yeah wait so the dude hired a pi yes to hunt this chick down because he wants to watch her play overwatch yep. yes 
Yes. You got that 100% oh, correct. It gets even it gets even worse. There's <laughs> it's a lot more By shit. By the way, Josh, do we have the do we have the uh crossover worked yes. out? Yes, it's already set up. Okay. Uh Josh from uh from Kiwi Farms, maybe maybe he can explain it. Again, I've been on the inside of this for a while because Marcus is a friend of mine, but Josh was actually there for the full three hours of the stream. Maybe maybe he can explain it for a second while I have to take a piss because my bladder is about to explode if I do not. Um, l- let me. L- I got him. I got him. Go oh, ahead. Cool. Hello. Hey. So okay, yeah, this guy's fucking crazy because he, <laughs> he, he was getting bullied in the voice chat in the Discord. And he wanted to, he was afraid of me making that thread on them. So he's like, let's have a conversation over uh, voice chat in private. And I was like, okay. Um, about 15 minutes into talking with this guy, I'm like, okay, I have to make a secret live stream and show everybody in the Discord what, what this guy is saying when he thinks it's in confidence. And he goes through this story. And basically, what it is, is uh, he bought a power supply unit with a couple other fans of this, this chick who was popular during 2016 uh, during the election as a, as like one of the Trump women who are kind of getting popular. And the arrangement was that if they bought this new gaming computer, because her laptop was junk and it couldn't render videos properly, uh, she would start doing a, a certain schedule where she would put out content like every day of the week. And after the computer got bought, she didn't, uh, she didn't fulfill that obligation because she has Crohn's disease and she had some kind of medical emergency shortly after the computer got put together. And uh, since then, Kenny has been on a crusade to get her to fulfill that obligation. And he basically said during the live stream that I was putting on uh, secretly that he would stop harassing her if she did one hour of content a week live streaming and um, and re-uploaded all the videos she deleted when she got spooked by the stalkers that were harassing her. So uh, he, and I asked him, he's like, do you even watch this, this shit that she's doing now? And he said, no, he said, it's just the principle of the matter. So he doesn't even watch or he says he doesn't watch what she does, but he is demanding that she, that she do this shit for, for this principle, this obligation that he's not interested in himself. So why, why is he hiring a PI then? I mean, he knows what her what? social media is, right? Like why, what does he need the she, PI for? She had said that he's from a city where three women were found dead. And it's true. The city he's from actually does have an active serial killer. And she kind of implied that it might be him because he's a creepy weirdo, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so he wanted to sue her for defamation. And he claims he hired the PI to uh, dox her so he could send litigation towards her. He never did sue her, but the PI... Uh, after I guess he also thought that uh, Kenny was a creepy weirdo, um, extorted him for thousands of dollars to keep the fact that he tried to dox her a secret. Uh, he didn't pay her, and the guy kept his word and did uh, alert her over. Yeah, text the guy. The guy said, "If you pay me, address. if you pay me three thousand dollars, I won't. I won't tell her all the shady shit she's been doing." Of course, he he didn't. Because it, it, so. it was a guy yeah. from like Sri Lanka that he hired on Fiverr. <laughs> oh, so he got he got hustled. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. 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 Wow, that's he must be a very smart cookie. Yeah, he genius. surprisingly he does have a master's degree in uh, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck you call the study of zoology. snakes. He's a yeah, zoologist. It's, a, it's, it's, it's like hepatology or something. It's specifically the study of, of uh, <laughs> who uh, hires a Sri Lankan investigator <laughs> on Fiverr. Everything he no, does he is doesn't. from Fiverr. He He's admits hired that everyone. From yeah, Fiverr. he admits not only this. There was something else he hired off uh, Fiverr, but. He's doing this hit video on on Margaret, and that's what we're waiting for for him to put out. But to do this, he paid a hundred dollars on Fiverr to have the script written. He paid a hundred dollars on Fiverr to have a voice actor narrate it, and he's paying another hundred dollars to have it professionally cut. So, okay, so how much? Next, oh yeah, what's like the what's the average price for a power supply unit? It's like fifty bucks, isn't it? He, he paid two hundred and fifty for the most expensive he, one he could find. Yeah, he bought a, a twelve hundred watt gold certified power supply. Okay, unit. and he paid the Sri Lankan <laughs> private investigator for five or three grand to keep quiet, and then he spent three hundred. No, 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 they, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, he extor- the guy yeah. said, if you don't pay me three grand, I'm going to tell her all the shady shit you've been trying to do to her. He didn't pay the three grand, and then he. He told Margaret about it. Yeah. Oh well, at the very least, he spent more on the Fiverr. Oh video yeah, dude. No, than he did yeah, on the yeah. power He supply, sunk right? so much money yeah. into this. Not only that, he knows I'm friends with Margaret, right, and have been for years. 
and so he's he, you know he's hung around our discord forever he's tried to hung, hang around our, you know my stream and stuff and then today he sent me a message said i'm gonna shut down this discord if you don't do this and this and so i just banned him from the discord now he still wants Wait, to why, is, why is he going after you did he did he well give you some people were look no nah, some people were fu- well he knows i talked to margaret but uh, it might he, have been me yeah some people were fucking with him in the discord and he said ralph if you don't stop this again i have very little desire to police the discord anyway because as you know jim discord is complete cancer and i'm starting to think i should just delete the entire discord but um so he's like if you don't police this discord these people are fucking with me uh i'm gonna you know message the the discord admins or whatever and and try to get it banned so i just ban him instead so that's he couldn't handle the jokes so do you guys also know that he used to uh super chat into the kumite yeah, yeah, he did fake super chats in Margaret's name to the Kumite. He also set up an, an <laughs> he yeah. also set up an archive yeah, channel uh, with with the with the few videos of hers that he does have. He set up a Margaret McLennan archive channel, and according to Margaret, he also used to super chat into Baked Alaska streams, like flirting with Baked Alaska in her name. So, <laughs> so, he, so he's, he's, he's like legit mad. He wants yeah. vengeance. Yeah, he's he's pretty much mad. over. The funny player. thing is, <laughs> no, no, it's, well, not, it, no. it's also that, and he was a five dollar a month or five dollar video patron on Patreon. And whenever you whenever you point out how illogical he is and how nonsensical it is, because I went at length to to say if you keep fucking with this chick and the people that you're you're hounding, like Jim and like Ralph, start to buy into the story. You realize that people are going to find your job because you've told people what your job is, and you might get fired again. Because he he was uh he was in the labs at, at some museum where he lives, and after people started telling them that he was stalking Margaret, he got uh, fired from that. But he still works for that same museum as a field researcher collecting venom from snakes. And I'm I'm telling him like you know you say this is your dream job, but everything you're doing is putting this at risk, right? And he, 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 whenever you say that, it's like, well, you know what? It's the principle of the matter. It's the principle of the matter. I can do whatever I want, and it's completely justified because it's the principle of the matter. And that's that to me was like the 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 telltale sign that he was a, a legit creepy stalker. Because no matter how obvious the logical fallacy was, and no matter you know how hard you you are easily explained it to him, he would always revert to it's the principle of the matter. So in his head, he has like rewired his brain to see this as the logical conclusion of, of what has happened regarding the Patreon and the, the gaming PC. Oh, so if, if she were to give him back the power supply unit or give him the money's worth, uh, the equivalent of whatever it cost, would that end it for him? Would that no, be good at one point Josh no. asked him like, if you give me the, if, if she gave you the old videos and just, you know, and he kind of seemed to say yes, but I don't believe that for a second. Cause if you look back on his Twitter I history, he was, you know, he was very thirsty uh, for this woman. Josh and, uh, asked him if yeah. if she would stream without a face cam on. Would that be enough for you? And he said yes. Because Not only he just that, wants her to sit there. Well, Margaret has an illness, that. so Margaret sits sit there sometimes. with no camera, yeah. no audio, and just yeah, Overwatch playing. He said, um, he said he would be he would be fine with that. He just wants her to sit there and stream for him, even without a mic, even if it was just her on her account playing the game with no face cam, no <laughs> mic, no interaction, he would be okay with that. And to me, that was like, so you don't even care about the content. You just want to force her to do something she doesn't want to do. And that's your satisfaction. Well, yeah. I've got to listen to the stream now. Now I have to hear yeah, it. Like, you I, <laughs> are, are you sure? He's you not wait till like, are you sure it's not like a no, joke? No, it's not no, trolling. No, Jim, no, 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 look, no, look, no, I'll tell you for a thousand percent fact, it's not trolling because when I got out, you know, from my state sponsored vacation, I, I'd seen Kenny around before. Uh, but, you know, again, I talked to Margaret a lot and uh, we had been following this for months because he's been doing creepy shit for months and months. Uh, even before the last few days where it finally came out into the open, he's been in the Discord. You know, trying to, he tried to get me to write a hit piece on her, which of course I'm not going to do because he's completely wrong. So it's just, I, I want to make sure I'm really understanding this. His main gripe is the power supply unit was promised for more videos, and she didn't do the videos, and that's yeah. why he's upset. Yeah, he's trying to say it's, it's not really a scam. the power supply; it's the fact that he gave her money, so he feel the way, way he said it. He said that he is entitled to her videos, to her streaming. He wants her time. And he wants her to do something for him. It doesn't matter how good it is, whatever she does, 
He just wants her to sit there and do something. A stream of her just fucking staring at a wall. He just wants her to do something. Was that okay? I mean, like, it, it's weird because I mean, I, I, on one hand, I do get it. Like, if you give people money on the internet or if you buy them shit, you would expect them to do what they say they're going to do. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I, 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 said I, 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 I have a Patreon, right? So, and I get people that leave all the time, they're like, you're not, you're not doing enough videos. Oh, well, okay. I mean, that's, I totally get that, right? Uh, but on the other hand, it, this seems kind of like overkill for a power supply unit. Like, you know, impersonating her and then throwing out super chats, flirting yeah. with dudes and shit. The, it's a little this, crazy. the total value of money that he spent on her, he claims is less than like $500. He said before that it was above a thousand. So well, I think yeah. yeah. So he's throwing yeah. good money. So Gosh. even if you thought you were completely in the right, which I do not agree with that, but l- let's say you're, you know, you're Kenny and you're like, I'm completely in the right. What kind of person keeps kept throwing hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars? at a lost cause and not only that i mean he has a kiwi farm thread now we're talking about it here on this stream by the way he he begged me for months to talk about it on the stream so i mean I, fuck, Ralph, this this reminds me of there's a movie called Gotti. um i think nicholson's in it i can't remember it's like from the 90s but there's like this speech where they're talking about um what's the worst thing you can do to somebody and it, it's something along the lines of you can wrong somebody and they'll get over it. But if you slight them, it never goes away because it's always yeah. in their head, eating them away. And this sounds like a dude that feels slighted and doesn't want to let it go. I think I think that's absolutely correct. Yeah. But yeah, oh, that's, for a power that's supply. The unit, that's the funny thing to me. Over the power supply. Yeah. Well, in in his mind, he would be able to justify it even if he never gave her a penny. You know, the the principle of the matter is is whatever the fuck he wants it to be. And even if you know, I, I the way he described it, I don't have all the information, but the way he described it, it's like, yeah, she did kind of renege on responsibilities regarding her country, her her relationship with her patrons. But you know, all you do when that happens is you withdraw your support and you maybe tell a couple people, you know, I'm I'm not going to support her anymore. You don't you don't and do this shit. There was a Even bunch if of he other wasn't people. the right, he's but not in the right So anymore. say somebody gave you, you something. How how long are you obligated to make videos? Though that's what I don't. Uh, and oh, again, no, I I asked him that, and he said a year. <laughs> well, he look, is entitled to a year worth of her I, effort. I've, yeah, ta- I've talked to Margaret, and, and the main reason Kenny Jones, Honorable Judge Kenny Jones, being like you you will be sentenced to one year on probation. Where you're yeah, but look, the main reason video. she gives for for ceasing her activities was because this guy was being a fucking creep and just hounding her <laughs> everywhere. Yes. Yeah, well, and that's I, the reason I she's done. I, yeah, I don't know anything about this chick. I don't know if she's like sketchy. I don't know if she's legit. So I can't well, I can't give like an opinion on that. Uh, all I all I'm getting is like. Uh, his side of it, but uh, so he wants he wants a year's worth, so that's fifty two streams. <laughs> uh, so it's like, that works out to what five bucks an hour is about what he's he's. I guess her. so. About minimum, a little bit. I guess Just well, about. minimum wage is a little bit higher. Is, now, is, but, yeah. Does she still have a Patreon to do stuff, or did she shut that? No, down? No, she doesn't. She doesn't she's have a Patreon. Withdrawn it. She's active in one uh, like podcast type thing where she talks. Um, I think regarding like women and conservatism, or it's like a dating advice thing. I don't know what the fuck she does, but he, she does do one thing as a co-host, but she has no Patreon activity. And that's because when uh, she got her computer, she had that medical issue and she stopped for a month and she was still doing like one, one thing out of her schedule. Uh, but by the end of that month, Kenny had harassed her so much that she didn't want to go back to it ever again. So I, I told him as much. I said, you know, you're the reason why she stopped because you harassed her so much when she was like, like shitting herself or well, shitting well, out her friend. Well, but, you, but you said he doesn't even watch your shit, really. So why does he care? Well, he's lying. after. Well, after that, after the month, because she he liked her original schedule. But when she went uh, and did this this new thing, I don't know exactly what it is. But as a co-host, she, he's not interested in that. But he's he says he's satisfied. Uh, with that live stream as being part of the live stream obligation, but he also wants her to do several other auxiliary things to meet old obligations. So, it, you know, you could sit here and, and write it out as what he wants, but I, I doubt he has. Did did he mention list. this when he gave her the computer parts? Was this, did he say, hey, I'm going to give you a PSU to repair your computer, but you have to do this? Or did he just say, yeah. I want to give it to you? Is like, is there a contract? There's no fucking contract. No, no, I, no I'm, being, I'm straight. Like, did he ever mention it at all in a post or anything? Or did he just say, I want to do something nice for you because your computer broke? Yeah, my understanding he, is he did he, not he, mention uh, that. Yeah. It, he, she put out like a, an Amazon wish list with like computer parts or something. And the idea was she couldn't do as much because her laptop couldn't, like her shitty $100 Walmart laptop could not uh, do these videos or streams correctly. So the idea was, yes, if 
he uh, they bought her a computer she would live stream but she she does have the uh, Crohn's disease and apparently after after they got together and bought this for her she had an extended stay in the uh, the hospital and was like on painkillers and shit because she was she was in. Well, uh, she has like they had to take out like half of her intestine or some shit. Yeah, like, she's she's very the very front hole comment. She had a, a colon. She like she has her colon missing, bag. and she has yeah. to poop into a bag off the front of her body. Like, yeah. yeah, it's gross. But that's that's who Kenny Kenny wants to fuck that front hole so bad. I mean, he does this to a lot of e thoughts. He gives a shit ton of money, like thousands of dollars, to Brittany Venti. He donates to Wait, what? Line, like. Yeah. I like how Sargon was the second name on the list of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he acts like one. I know he's I know he's in Monday Mass Discord as well, so there was another thing where he, he tried to roll up Monday Mass Discord against against me, which was pretty funny. After I mean whole, you remember when Sargon Kenny wants to show oh. Sargon as snakes. Ralph, do you remember when Sargon was shit talking you during his D D stream? Yeah, Kenny right, was right. the one who super ch- super chatted that to yeah. get him to shit talk. Yeah, to he's you. constantly he constantly tries to start up shit. Uh, of course, you know, I'm already starting shit between all these people, but, uh, you know, he hangs around my discord and then he, he tries to go to others and like leak stuff. And I mean, it's a public discord. So really, I mean, it doesn't make any sense anyway, but yeah, you that's should, You should bring him on the kill stream, Ralph. I'd love he to wants to you. come on. Oh, he, he wants is to come scared. On. He no, is no, no. He I, asked me earlier today. Of course, I didn't think we'd get into this, but we're in our what? F- I don't even know. Four and a half hours now. Uh, 27th hour now. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think we were going to get into it tonight. So I actually, you know, he messaged me and I said, "Yeah, I don't think we're going to get into it because I haven't had time to time stamp the stream and all this." Of course, here we are talking about it. But yeah, would he, he go actually, on stream with Jim because when someone sent him a fake tweet of Jim tweeting about he him, he shot his pants. No, and I don't yeah, know if you saw he, this. I just pulled it up on air. You know, his Twitter's protected now. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if Jim saw this yesterday. Oh, you know, Jim's friend runs a certain Twitter account, a fan account uh, for, for Jim's uh, streams and stuff. And uh, I, I messaged the friend and let him let him know what was going on. And Kenny said, Ralph, please. Ralph, please. Let's avoid let's avoid involving Jim any further in this matter. Me and you both know you're leaving out a significant amount of context relating to this issue. Um, so I don't well, know. Ralph, I think I think Kenny might be right here. We do need the full context. Kenny, come on on. Are you are you willing? Come to on talk down, to, Kenny. Are you, are you willing to talk, look, look? I guess I listen, can message him right to my now. Conversation with him first because I, I think you're going to get a lot of repeats in terms of what he says. So if you like, I went into this cold. I had no idea what his story was before he started telling me. So um, if you listen to that and kind of get some more backstory, you might be able, be able to, you know, pin him on more of what he says. Because uh, apparently he did gloss over quite a bit of uh, shit that he did to Margaret. All right, you gotta me- bring on a couple of people. Who, I uh, messaged him now. Uh-huh. We'll see. I, I don't know if he's gonna answer now. We might have to do it tomorrow. I don't know if you're willing to talk to him or not, Jim. But- well, did do people wrangle snakes in the evening? <laughs> he just I mean, he super chatted. Be- oh, hey, there he, he is. Just- did he really? Oh, he wants he in. $5. He wants in. Yeah, there, there you go. You guys hey, can well, have your combo. If he goes oh, on. Can God. I bring on one or two people? All right. Well, let's. I'm here, Ralph. Let me in. I can't defend myself if you banned me for disc. Okay. Well, I don't have to let you back in. Oh, Discord. Go. I, I uh, I'm going to grab a drink. This is going to be right, fun. Go ahead. I'm going to go grab one myself. But um, so Kenny. All right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some more here back. I guess I guess I could let him back in temporarily. You know, he threatened the Discord. That's why I banned him because he's like, "Well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this Discord banned." Ugh. So I was like, "Okay, fuck you, get out." That that's the only. Reason. And he's been fucking around for months, by the way, and I didn't ban him. But when he said that, I was like, "Okay, get out." You know what? Fuck you. Okay, so right. how about this? How about this? I I you know I have the Hangout link, but I'm just gonna go ahead and revoke, revoke the Discord ban. Here's the Discord link. Ban him after the show. Yeah, we'll see. All right, Ralph, if you're going to bring Kenny on, can we please bring on Dr. Roxo? Because he said his name about seven times during the stream with Josh, and he is scared of, scared as shit of him. All right, well, let's get Kenny on Kenny first, on. and we'll see. Oh, it'll be funny. Well, of course it'll be funny. It was great in Metalocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> all right there goes there goes the discord link kenny go ahead and go ahead and rejoin and and we'll bring you in wow what, oh man this show this show has everything you never know what you're gonna get on the kill stream the kill stream all right let's see here let's see if he's joined well ralph you're under a contractual obligation now 
to give at least an hour. We've, we've worked the rate out. All right, we're, we're waiting on you, Kenny. Is that, let me make sure. Is that actually Kenny? Hold on, let's go to this channel. Is it full of Margaret videos? Yeah, I think that I think that actually is his channel. The real Kenny Jones is in the green room right now. Six six really? four eight. Yeah, really? Yeah, that's him. Wow, it's really happening. All right, let's do and it. Here we go. Kenny Jones, you're on the air on the kill stream. Hello, fellas. What's happening, man? What's up? Hello, Kenny. Uh, not, you know, not, nothing much, nothing much, you know, just, uh, just hit of, you know, give, give my side, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to defend yourself when you're banned, you know? Well, look, I, and I'll you're say not. this again and I'll say it to your face. I, I'm, I'm assuming you saw the stream since you super chatted it. And the reason I banned you is because Somebody, you came in there. Someone, t someone sent me a, a message on discord. See, I'm, see, yeah, okay. what you understand is. Wait, Kenny, see, Kenny, 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 hold on. Let me finish what I was saying. The reason I banned you is because you came in the patron chat, which you did give on Patreon, which that's great. I appreciate That doesn't mean I'm going to just let you do whatever. You came in the patron chat and you said, Ralph, if you don't do this and this and this and that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to report you. Uh, I, you said somebody, you said somebody was using your dad's photo as a, as a, uh, I said someone is stocks in my family. That's what you said. I didn't see and the evidence of doxing. Then, I didn't see the evidence. I, I linked you to the evidence. I took screenshots okay. of the evidence. All right. I'm just telling. You. And then you said, well, I'm going to message uh, the so, Discord admins. And I said, don't, okay, you're don't banned. I said, the situation, okay. Man. Okay. I said, okay, you're banned. Anyway, you're here now. Oh, I'm here. I'm here now, but that was a, a kind of a massive injustice. You, you're telling me. Not really. Jim not here. really. Um, Kenny, I almost bad. banned you like 15 times over the last. Two For what charges? What what rules did I break? Because you're fucking stalking my friend. That's what the fucking charge was. No, Do I need a bigger charge friend. than that? Okay. I'm okay. Not well, that's what we're here. that's what we're here to talk about. Okay, we're here. I'm here. Okay. Well, go right ahead. Tell us why you're not. Because everything I've seen is that you are. I, I, last time I checked, you should, I should have to prove my innocence. You should have to prove your guilt. Okay, so it's pretty you, obvious. Why do you so, have seven damn Twitter accounts trying to tweet at this chick? To, pr to prove what she's doing to people, to prove that she's why? cheated her Patreons. Nobody her, her. Why are you well, stalking I can't. her? I know I'm you not do. stalking her. No, wait. Kenny, let me let me ask you. you. Yeah, no. Look, let let me ask you, Kenny. You, you tweeted at Margaret at least three hundred times. Is that correct? Well, and and the la lifetime of of since I've been following her. Yeah, I'm saying at least. Ow, by ow. the way, it's probably closer to five hundred or seven hundred, but. At least from from my from my uh, you know amateur perusal, you you tweeted at her at least three hundred times, correct? Man, I, I don't I don't know how long how many times I tweeted. I, I mean, I probably tweeted you probably two hundred times myself. I don't know. Okay, so I, I don't, I so I let, let me let me continue. Time. All right, okay, all right. You don't you don't necessarily want to. You're saying that's that's fair though. That's that's not an exaggeration. That's probably fair. I, I have I have no idea. I, I don't. Let count me my ask tweets. you. Do you? So you're saying you don't know? You don't know if that's fair or not? I I, I don't know. I can okay. honestly say I don't okay. know. You do not recall. Okay. Do you um, think that Margaret wants contact with you? Do you think no, she wait, wants those? Let me continue. Hold on, hold on. I I want to I want to continue. I, I've been involved with this quite a long time, believe it or not. Um. So you you were a Patreon supporter of Margaret, correct? That's right. Okay. So you, um, how much did you get per month? About five five dollars um per video. It wasn't it wasn't per month for most. Okay, most so of the time. Mine, yeah, mine it, set it up was, per month, not per video. Obviously, I do twenty streams per month. That would be a little that'd be a little Jewy even for me. So, um, <laughs> so I have mine on per month, but hers was on per video. How many videos do you estimate she did per month? Um, about two two to three, possibly. I would so say. So you're saying you're ten to fifteen dollars in the hole per month, right? Potentially. Okay, so I wouldn't say I wouldn't say in a hole because, like I well, said, I mean, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's I, I just video, that's a figure right? of speech, right? You were ten to fifteen dollars in in into support. Well, actually, I, I want to ask one thing, and then I'll let you guys get back to it. Her Patreon uh -huh. is it set up per month or per video? It yeah. was set per video, but then when she stopped doing content, um, surprisingly, she set up per month, so she didn't have to do any work to do to take money from people. All hmm. right, and how long after she switched it to per month were you still a supporter? I wasn't a supporter after that. 
So it didn't. Have, okay, so you were only paying per video. So you paid for what you got at that point. Yes, but you have to understand what, what, I, every video that if people patrons have paid for has been taken down, right? So every video that the patrons have supported, they cannot watch, they cannot access, they have no access to, and now, that's but, one issue I have. A, I, that's me, one problem I have okay. an issue with. But let me ask you: you watch those videos when they first came out? Yeah, I swear okay. did. Yeah, okay, but you don't own the copyright of those. I mean, the person who put those videos out still own those videos. It doesn't mean that you have the right to them in perpetuity. I never said I did. Well, you seem to be angry about it right now. That's why I'm asking. Uh, I'm I'm, ang- I'm angry because, like like I said, if somebody sponsors content, they should have the right to at least view the content they sponsor. They you should have the right to access. You, but you, are, but you, you have right it. to access that content. You already viewed it. <laughs> I, how do you know? I, I may, I may have missed one. What do you mean? You, know, you just you said just... you watched all of them. I, yeah. I, I mean, look, I'm not. I I make mistakes. I could have missed one video. <laughs> but you, and you, even I'm going I, by what you said, even, Penny. Yeah, I understand you're going by what I said. All right, but I'm trying That's to explain. All I can go by. That, that, you know, it's possible I missed one. It's possible that the okay. other individuals have missed well, whose five. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is you that? Know? Is that is that hers or yours? It's hers when she take down all the videos. If her, she her obligation. Them, would you watch them? I beg your pardon. If you re-uploaded them, <laughs> would you watch them? That's irrelevant. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're very upset that you haven't gotten to see maybe one or two videos, but you don't know if you'd watch them or not. It's the principle of thing. Here we go back to the principle of thing again. <sighs> but she fulfilled her obligation, though. She uploaded the videos, <laughs> and it's, and she's denied access to the videos as they well. They were up as they were up in the first place, though, and you. Like what, what do you mean the access? Do they have to be up forever, or there was no agreement they, where they, they had to be up forever? No, no. I mean, uh, like, it's, it's Did brain, you it's sign a contract me. when you when you donated on her Patreon? Was there something that you? I didn't realize it was contracts you had to sign on Patreon. Okay, but the, there is no videos. Can you still, but you still are you still obligated? But to there's no Patreon statement support. saying so these videos great. are going to be up forever. There's I'm going to make these videos. They were made. You saw them, and there's they're certain not about, there there's anymore. For reason, though, Ralph. There's 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 there's, there's, there's certain limitation here. I mean, yeah. let's not let's not pretend that you know you you put the video for five seconds and take it down. Well, that's, that's not the seven. case. I mean, they were up longer than. But that. how do? You, uh, but I'm just saying that there's you know there's the bounds of reason here that that you're you're, you're annoying. You know. Okay, so all right, let's just say, and again, we'll get into a little bit deeper the stuff we've been talking about. Let's just say everything you think and believe is absolutely one hundred percent true. What in the world? Why is this worth it? You see, you know, you're here over four thousand people still uh, watching this show. Why would you continue with this autistic witch hunt? Like it makes no sense. Because I want to clear my name. I, I'm I'm sick and tired of people lying about me. But you were because already on this. No, but wait, but wait, you I'm were already sick. on this witch hunt even before people started fucking with you. The reason they started fucking with you is because you kept going with this dumb shit. No, people people was calling me a stalker long long before you. I even asked you for help because you were doing stalking. You know, do you know? Shit. Do you know? Do you know why they call me a stalker? Because, because you're stalking. stalking. Yeah, but go ahead. No, I'm not. No, his thing. Like, if if a, a stalker typically follows the individual on on every available platform, typically speaking, I I don't I don't follow her on on her live streams. I don't I don't watch her periscopes. All right, and you know, so, you see, what I'm saying, like, I don't you don't see me posting. Okay, on, on so her you Instagram. didn't send me a message when she came on during the Medicare Masterson show for ten minutes and said, "Oh, it's great to see Margaret back on live streams again." You didn't send me that message. Yeah. But that that was a kill stream, Ralph. I, but I you watched the kill stream. You, you did send me that, though, correct? Yeah, I I did send send you that. Yeah, yeah, I did watch the kill stream. I guess you're right. I did watch the kill stream. I am a Patreon supporter, so I guess I did watch the kill stream. I get, you know, I mean, I'm guilty. What can I say? Okay, so okay, by your logic, you know, Ralph takes down his streams. Do you feel that your Patreon donation to him is being violated by him taking down his streams? He also re-uploads them. Somewhere else, all the time. Not if he can't. So if he can't, then that you know, I don't expect him to do the impossible. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm just I'm just saying. I mean, you know, Kenny, are you still interested in Margaret's content? Do you still watch her stuff? Do I, I can't watch her stuff. She's taking it down. 
but she makes new content. She, she's still yeah, she, no, I don't I don't want I don't watch that content. So why did it why did when a couple of people asked you that she was talking about you in her last stream, you said no, she wasn't. I watched it. How would you know that she didn't talk about you if you're not watching her content still? Because I jumped over there and, and seeing what she was she was. Oh, so you are you posting. are still watching her stuff. When somebody when someone message when somebody messaged me and says that Margaret's talking talking about you and previously oh, okay. says I'm a serial killer. Yeah, I do I do jump over there to see what she's talking about. Now, by yes. the way, okay, so you're talking about when she she joked about you being a serial killer. Joked. Well, Joked. she did, but oh, you, you had fucked with her for months and months, and she said, "Oh, well, look at these dead bodies in this guy's hometown. He's creepy as fuck." I mean, I mean, what? What do you? I, I never accused her of doing anything she didn't do, man. Do you? Yeah, I mean, what, what, she what, just wants you how to is away. how is this equi- How is this equivalent to accusing me of being a seal killer? She didn't say I write you, Rissa. She didn't though. say you. She did it as close as legally possible. She didn't say it was you though. You're the one that stepped up to the plate and said. I was the only you. person that challenged her to the kumite. <laughs> It's going to be taking that mantle upon yourself. By the way, you also sent her an email. Let me let me go ahead. Okay, and, be, before you get to the email, go ahead, go ahead. Are, are we sure this isn't a troll? You're not. No, fucking with no, us. Jim, no, it's one thousand percent not a troll. I know Margaret. You're uh, sure he gave her money and he gave her PSU. I swear is, to is God, this is a laugh. This, We're not having this. A, is one hundred percent. No, for it's not. Over two years now. I wish I could say this was a laugh. It's not. It's one hundred percent true. This is exactly now, how he always. Now is. there was a and caller who he, called in. Let me say this: there was a caller who called in on Friday acting like Kenny. That was not Kenny. This is absolutely Kenny, and this is a yeah. real issue, and he's been bugging me about it for months to talk about it. So yes, this is absolutely. And real. Margaret backs up what you what, you, uh, you brought it up. You 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 the one who woke this up again, Ralph. Let's not pretend me? that I woke this up. Yes, you the one that came out out of blue, out of blue the other day, and called me a stalker for no reason. No, you, you okay. Don't want so woke, you know who woke it up? You know who woke it up? You getting recorded and getting live streamed by the owner of Kiwi Farms. Who goes into a private chat with the this owner of the Kiwi Farms? What even happened, Ralph? No, I have I have a screenshot. I have screenshots, Ralph. He has the evidence. I, I got <laughs> screenshots, Ralph. Let me read no, this I email. That. I usually keep things confidential. It's just that in Kenny's case, I couldn't. Hey, do Kenny, it. Let, let me case. let me read sure. this. Let me read this email that you sent to Margaret. Uh, this is from the Margaret McLennan. Let me read this. This is from the Margaret McLennan fan channel. Margaret, this is a ridiculous and unreasonable way to treat a channel dedicated to letting your fan base see your videos again. All credit was given to you both in the description of every video and in the about page of the channel. It also clearly states, it also clearly says none of the videos on this channel have been monetized. You and I both know it's unethical to deny the sponsors of your videos the right to see the very video they made possible. This is an official YouTube message, so I know you have seen it. I swear under penalty of perjury that I have a good faith belief that the material was removed due to a mistake or misidentification of the material to be removed or disabled. I consent to the jurisdiction of the federal district court for the district in which my address is located or if my address is outside the United States, the judicial district in which YouTube is located and will accept service of process from the claimant. And then you sign it. Kenny Jones, and your address is originally there. I blocked that out on the on the message. But uh, you did send I, that. I appreciate clear. it. You did that's send that. That's a counter DMCA. Uh, yeah, You're that's trying to force her to court. Yeah. yeah. For, see, she's, the one, she's the one sent it. I just counted it. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put that under me sending her email because that's a response. I had to respond to that. She it's wanted not, you to take down the videos that you re-uploaded without not, permission, it, it's, without it's commentary, an archive. and it's you tried to archive. force her. That's 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 still not. That's, well, that's she, really if great. She wants to, if she wants to take me to court, I'm willing to go. Well, that's the thing because you're so <laughs> desperate to see her. You would love to see her even in court. Don't you think that's kind of creepy? Kenny, you're don't you think that's a stalker kind of thing? You're you're sick, man. No, you're so desperate to be near this woman. You don't even care if it's in I, court. I don't sick. like. I don't care. I don't care about Margaret. I told you. I thou. I've told you already. And that Everything last thing you said that is, is not is motive, I don't. That. I don't. I don't. I, I, look, I'm not motivated by that. I've been trying I to explain that to you guys. 
I, I don't care what you think. I think everybody thinks you are because Russell Greer sued Taylor Swift, and that was the reason why he was so desperate. I to have get no idea who that is. is. It, now let, let me ask you, Kenny. Kenny, yeah, yeah, let me ask you, Kenny. You, you signed it. You you hired a private investigator to look into Margaret, correct? That's right. Yeah, I did. Now, under you know what galaxy would that be a reasonable response to to your beef here? What what galaxy? Well, let's see. Like, why is that? Well, Most when, people just when, say, "All right, I lost a few bucks. Whatever." Even if you even taking because I did just lose a few bucks when she when she went out and she implied alluded. Excuse me when she alluded to me being a seal killer. We I, I explained to now, you how you I lost, hired the how, private how investigator. Bef- you hired the private investigator before then. Is my is my understanding? W- well, that's wrong. Well, I would, I would just, I would just dis- disagree with that. I think, I think you hired it before then. Now, okay, but we can agree to disagree on that. Uh, you did hire a private investigator. Yeah, yeah, because I was, I was prepared, I was prepared now, for a particular okay. lawsuit. And how you much got, did you pay for this? You, wait, yeah, okay, yeah. How much did you pay for? It? How much did you pay for this Fiverr private investigator? That's irrelevant. It was. Well, it kind of does. Anyway. I mean, you're saying that you lost uh you didn't you lost some money. Yeah, I lost money because I, I didn't get I didn't I was suspended from work without pay for three months. Okay, now so because l- let money. me say because of yeah, all this sure because of all this it's you almost were, like it's almost as if it's warranted of a lawsuit. No, but look beca- because of this whole autistic journey, you were suspended from work. Correct? Uh, I suppose so. If not fired from work, you're trying to say you have a new job. No, whatever. It, it fucked up. It fucked with your work uh, history. Wait, how did how did he lose his job? When he was stalking her, and uh, the Kumite thing happened, they contacted his the museum he worked at, and they filed complaints. And they had a zero tolerance policy for that kind of stuff. So we did get dismissed, but they rehired him as an independent contractor. I think to collect stink. How did so they still have his, the uh, Okay, how did they find his work though? Working. Well, that's not how it happened. It's not that smooth. Jim. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing <laughs> how many times I've there. told this story. And, and yet not a single one of these individuals that's in this chat can get a, a single sentence right. It's amazing. Josh, the, the <laughs> man of Kiwi Farms can get one damn sentence right. Hey, give me the give me the evidence. Well, I got your, your parents' docs right. Yeah, you, you docs my parents. Good job. I mean, congratulations. Good job, Thanks. Josh. Good work. Okay, so what's right then? What What do you mean? What's like, well? I guess my pam my parents' stocks is right, and I can't deny that. No, I mean you said you, you know? said that I had to, I had to get my I had to, to today. I went to go pick up my mother and and, and me. I took her back to my house. Yeah, right? well, I don't so, care about that. I, look, that's not my bag. But, but what I'm saying is, what well, what's wrong about like? Uh, Anyway, my, my what, point what was you, you put your job, you put your career in jeopardy over sending a power supply unit to a girl on the internet. That's that's uh-huh. you, you put your whole life in jeopardy over some dumb shit. And if you listen it, it to the would, stream, it, let me let would, me finish. Let would. me finish. Ju- let me finish. And I'll let you finish. You put your whole life in jeopardy over the dumbest of shit ever. And if you listen to the stream with you and Josh just the other day, you're fully willing to continue to just you know, tank your entire life over the dumbest of shit. I'm willing to make that last video and end it all. Yes, you're right. End it all. So people out. make fun of you for making the video. I don't. I don't care if people make fun of me. Clearly, you I don't. That, but you're I'm, on I'm here, here trying to defend I'm, yourself I'm, again. I'm here with with the, the you know the, the biggest bully on the internet. Clearly, I don't care if people make fun of me. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who's the biggest bully on the internet? Hey, Mr. Medica is the coolest guy on the internet, from what I hear. He's the you know he's the man with a plan. Right, so I'm just trying to explain. I don't, I don't care if people make fun of me. <laughs> I like Jim's stunned silence. <laughs> he won't even approach that. I just uh, continue on with your story. Yeah, I'm curious, boys. Keep going. I'm, 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 I'm pretty much done. I mean, I don't know what say else say about it. I don't see the thing about it is, is me giving someone a PSU certain is certain you know connect to me losing certain be a risk of me losing my job. I don't. I don't. Yeah, but that's not all that happened, Kenny. There's about 500 steps of additional retardation between you giving her a PSU and you risking your job. You, you're not. You don't. You, 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 you're you're brand new in this issue. It was a gift. What do you you expect? So, so they stopped making videos. Look, the on on Margaret's wish list. 
Okay. Margaret had a wish list mm-hmm. at one time. Yeah. Okay. On Margaret's wish list when she was building her computer, it clearly said that these components that you that was being bought will be used to help make help, help her make content. Video get videos, live streaming, and playing with her fan base. Okay. Th- that was the three things that were listed on her wish list. All right. So so that that was what I was you know, that, that was what the, the parts were going for, right? There, there was no misunderstanding that the components were being used, gonna be gonna be used for that for that reason. You see, you see what I'm saying? So so at the end of the day, I don't I don't like I don't, I'm not under the impression that that's all she's gonna use it for. Right. I had I mean I'm I I can understand she's gonna use it for writing work. I can understand she can use it for her, you know, playing pinball for all I know, right? But all but when she says that these are the three things that I'm gonna use this computer for and people donate those components for that purpose, and she doesn't use it for that purpose. I have an issue with that. Okay, you're allowed to have an issue with that. It's not nobody's arguing that. Nobody gives a shit. It's everything else that you've done that makes you look like a fucking loser, Kenny. How do you not get this by now? It's only been explained to you like twenty fucking times. Well, I, I mean, what what exactly have I done to Margaret again? You Kenny, stalked her for a year. Kenny, when you hired that private investigator, did you try to find her address and phone number? Yeah, so I can get to my lawyer, yes. So you don't think it's stalking, trying, paying people to find someone's address and phone number? And then, surprising, strangely enough, right after you do this, she receives a bunch of you know, phone calls with your voice and a bunch of other... That's a lie. That's a lie. It can't, it can't be my voice because I've never called her. Go ahead, phone. go ahead. I mean, I mean, if I mean, if Margaret phone. if Margaret McLennan has has evidence, that's my voice. I mean, you you would think that she would she would have recorded. I'm telling you, like, there's no way in the world that Margaret McLennan wouldn't have saved that recording. T- she would she would put on Twitter. The phone she would have put me. She would have put me on blast, my man. She yeah, put me on blast. She thinks that she would just sit there with a the phone recorder, but before every phone call she ever when if she suspected that it's it's me. And, and the how, same person's calling her. Yes, if yes, she's a will. woman and she's afraid she's getting stalked, she's not going to put you on blast because every time she mentions your fucking name, you she's you put me on blast. Another year of crusade against her. She's put me on blast. It's not like she hasn't and done how did already. That turn out because now you're fucking trying to find out where she lives. So the best thing she could do is completely fucking ignore you, which she has done since since she made that comment regarding the Kumite thing. And she's completely ignoring you. She wants and to by the way, exist. Let's keep this in mind. Now. Kenny, you precipitated that. You sent fake super chats in her name to the Kumite. One you made time. that you made it that happen. Okay, it doesn't matter. It wasn't the Kumite. Okay, you made that happen. You sent fake super chats in her name. It doesn't matter what stream it was. You made that happen. So you're acting she like, oh, she, she you're acting thing like she just did that out of nowhere. You're the one that fucking she precipitated did the same thing that. Law, she did the same thing to Law Luma, bro. Okay, so don't don't put out fake super chats in somebody else's name, and maybe you won't get slapped down. You did that to yourself. What do you mean? What maybe I won't get slapped down? She did the same thing to Law Luma. I don't have any evidence or knowledge of that. I right? I, I I do. I, mean, I do all of the evidence. <laughs> I do. Can, can I just say, can I, I just I, I, say like, trying to say that you're not a stalker, but now you're sitting here and saying that you have evidence of a super chat that you say is Margaret pretending to be no, Laura. Do like, you, you realize how everybody chat. sees that? You, I didn't say it was a super chat. She posted, she posted evidence of her um, impersonating Laura Luma and donating to a charity on her website. Which the page is now taken down because you want to try to get rid of the evidence of it. But I took a screenshot of it. <laughs> Do you feel okay? But that my point still stands though. Like you, you see how this looks to literally everybody else that's watching this and listening to this right now. Now, can you see the stream chat? Can you see what they're saying? I don't, about you, I don't, I'm not, I don't care about stream, stream chat. You obviously do care about your reputation. You're all here saying, I'm going to protect my reputation. Like, don't I, don't, I, don't I, don't care about stream, I don't care about stream chat. Who are you trying to protect your reputation from then? Why would I mean, you come on here if you don't care about the people who watch the show, Kenny? I, 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 I don't know. I guess, I guess you have a point there to a, to a certain degree. However, 
I just because just because I, I care in general about what people on the internet think of me because you know I, I'm I'm sick of I'm sick of t- I don't want my parents to be drugged into this, right? I don't want to be some kind of crusade. crusade so why don't you toward, stop? Why don't I just stop? Yeah, I, I mean, how was how was I supposed to know that that this crusade would be going against me for doing like, absolutely nothing wrong? I specifically warned you what would happen. It happened, and- Josh, because you live streamed it. It happened because I was trying to talk to you reasonably, and you couldn't. You live streamed the video, Josh. It happened before that, you Kenny. Been we were reasonable in it. No one doxed me before time. that. No, Kenny, that was out there before that. Half a dozen people were telling you you're going to lose your job. Your parents are going to. You're going to. You're going to get your house doxed. You're going to get your parents doxed. You're going to lose everything. You're going to end up like this if you don't stop doing this. And you kept on doing it, and look where you are. Yeah, you're yeah, delusional. Yeah, yeah. And it's you're, like you're, you're blinded when, you, when I told you autism. when I told you that the live stream was happening. What did you do? Did you say, "Oh, well, this is bad. I should probably bow out of here." And, and just, oh, well, you mean you mean you mean hop off so you can say, "Oh, he's got something something to hide." He had he he no. ran away. Okay, even if that's, even exactly, if that's exactly what you would in say. The live stream. Even if you didn't abandon it, what did you do when you got called out? You said, "Well, that's fine. I, I didn't say anything that I wouldn't have said in public anyways." And right. I don't care if Jim makes a video on me. So uh, that's exactly right. Ask for it. I well, you you asked me a theoretical question, right? You asked. You said, "What if Ralph made a video? What if Jim Kenny. made a reaching out?" Well, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's as ethical as you are, so. I might give him a check out, you know. Yeah, he weren't should you saying that more. that Ralph would back you? Up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know. I'm not getting a, I'm not getting to read one way or the other right now. I'll be honest with you. I mean, it, you know, Kenny. Uh, let's say you're legit and you're not fucking around and trolling. He's not. You got you got hustled by I a chick. You, on, he's not. You got hustled by a chick on the internet for some cash. You're upset about it, and then he tried getting uh you know getting back at her, and that cost you your job. Like what? Uh, how far down the rabbit hole are you gonna go? Like you're gonna end up locked up in prison before See, you get your vengeance on this, or like what? What's the cost to you for this? But and with the the my last my last step was just gonna make the video, man. I was just gonna make the make the video, put the, some of the, the evidence I had had. Did you say the King Jong but, but, but instead, but instead. You- I mean, here, here's the thing I don't get. Like, okay, so you were mad before, right? I get that. Uh, you paid money, you didn't get what you want. All right, whatever. Um, but you're saying now, like, okay, well, this chick cost me my job. So why would you be satisfied with just releasing a video at that point? If because you got I, that's fired? all. Because that's all. I, that's all I can do. But you've been pursuing this this Patreon shit or the video thing for like a year, yeah. right? You put that much energy into it, and then you got fired. And so, it just got, a video is going to be a status. Well, so suspended, fired, whatever. I mean, but just a video is going to be satisfactory enough. If somebody got my yeah, ass fired, I'd probably, I'd probably want blood, right? Like, so you're just going to walk away after you put up a Fiverr video. Yep. <sighs> okay. okay. <laughs> all I want, all I want at, at the end of the day, all, all I want is is the truth to be out there. That's it. You've already, but you've got you know, to tell you know, your story. You know what I'm now. saying? So I, I want the truth to be out there with, with the evidence I have displayed alongside it. So, so at, at the very least, at the, at the very least, there's a video out there that can that can give my side with, with some content. And, and what what is the video going to what is the video going to say? I mean, like, what are the key? It's going to give. Said? It's going to it's going to give the story of the Patreon um, Patreon. It's going to give the story about you know how how it began, how it how it ended, why it was you know why it was what we thought was shady, why we think we we we, we owe content, why we think you know it was, it was wrong for her to take it down, you know why you know and so on and so forth, right? So it's, it's who's it's uh, who, just, who's it's, Kenny? It's, Kenny, who's we? It's the son of Patreon supporters. So there are other people. There are other people that went into this with you then to make the video. Well, yeah, they they can help contribute to it. No, they I'm asking. Did, they, did, help? They? did yes. they help, or is this all just you? They help. They help with some of the ideas. So other people have contributed to this project. Yes, they did. But they were patrons of hers. Yeah. A few, a few of her former patrons. Yes, they, they yes they did. Okay, all right. I'm just. I, I don't know anything about any of this shit, so I'm just asking. Did they contribute monetarily or 
Yeah, multiple people bought PC parts with them. Most of them have stopped. Now caring. again, yeah, that's they, what I'm they, asking. Is that was the contribution the parts originally? Or are you talking about they've contributed to your autistic quest quest since? My understanding is that no one has besides you. No, uh, I mean, I, what what's the question again? I'm saying did you're talking about their con- contribution? Was it you know the parts originally, or was it post haste? You know after. Oh, um, it's it's. It, I thought Jim was asking about just the the video part. Yes, I mean, they helped. They 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 were assist, they assisted me with a video, right? Okay. So they so I got this. There's at least two. Who are these people? Who are these people? That, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to name one them. of them. Is on the um, the live stream that I published. I don't know who the others are. I think he's the only one who cares, and I don't think he cares anymore either. Uh huh. All right. Now um, let me ask you. Let me ask you, Kenny. Because Kenny, we could go. Look, Kenny, we could go. We could go forever. L- let me ask you this: um, Who exactly is going to care about your video in the first place? Me. So Margaret has no more crowdfunding. She has no Patreon. She has no any of that. So, w- what exactly is this going to accomplish? It's going to be closure, and it's going to and it's going to clear my name for at least some of these accusations. It's not going to clear your name regarding being a stalker. Call, call me what you want to. I, it, it's irrelevant to me. Right, well, I don't need your permission. You're a stalker, and this is going to make you look like an even creepier stalker. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I don't really think it's going to turn out how you want. As a matter of fact, I don't think it has already. It just it just seems stupid to me. E- even if you accept everything you're saying, which I don't, but just say, okay, you're 1,000% right. It just seems like it's been a, um, a massive loss. Uh, yeah. Um, let, let, let me, let me try to try to explain, um, mm. a lot of you guys, it's been probably a, pretty, a decent long time since you, you've been the, the underdogs, um, against a, a superior, um, a media personality or, or public figure, however you want to call it. Right. So if, if I would have went out there a few, a few, you know, when it first, first began and tried to expose Margaret, Right, I only, I only have two hundred some followers to, in, in comparison to seven hundred and some thousand. Right, so if I just went ahead, this she doesn't make, have seven hundred thousand. She has like uh, seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she has seventeen thousand. Right, if I went out there and made my little tweet, to, you know, only only two hundred and some people maximum would hear it. And let's be face it, majority of those people are inactive. Right, the only the only alternative for for me. Would be posting underneath her comments, so that the, so her fan base would see. Well, that's what you, you know, did. Yeah, and that's exactly, and that's what I did, right? The alternative would be to go play with your fucking snakes and just forget about this. No, that's I'm not. No, at the time I thought there was is a possibility <laughs> of pro- proving proving my um my point, right? Uh, at the time uh, there was a Patreon still open. At times she was still charging money. All right, Kenny, 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 I'm going to give you the final word because I'm I'm starting to get like just I've heard you talk about this for months and we just had you for like 45 minutes and just just go ahead. I'll, I'll give you the final word. I'm a generous I'm a generous man. Just go ahead. I'll give you the final word. I actually I just I have a final question. OK, if you'd rather make it a question, that's fine. Yeah. Um, if, if you don't mind, what, what has, what, what make, why are you so defensive all this time protecting Margaret so much? What, well, what I, don't, I wouldn't done say done that I protected her. I mean, you're, you're, you're here, you're here oh, writing on this yes. stream. You know, you, you have, you have, you have protected her like a super white knight. For Is good that long right? Time. Is that right? For months. I for mean, months. if you're asking, if you're asking months. if she's a friend of mine and do I believe the things she said about you? Yes. And yes. Oh, without sorry. proof, without evidence. Well, there's plenty of because proof. Because when I asked you evidence. for evidence, you didn't give me none. There's you just plenty said, of evidence you just for said the Kenny's spoofing a, stalk- of you just calls. Said a stalker, and that was it. You didn't, you didn't well, offer any you've evidence. You've clearly been stalking her. I mean, it's not even a question. I mean, there's all the stuff she sent me personally, and then you have people on the stream. You have the stream that you did with Josh where you talk about hiring a private fucking investigator over a power unit that you sent to some woman on the internet. How no, fucking crazy that is, is that? You're fucking crazy, th- Kenny. You're crazy. That's not why Kenny, I hired a private investigator. think about what you're doing. Your own fucking job just almost got fucking X'd out. What, what are you doing right I now? I hired a private investigator, 
dude, <laughs> what are you doing? Your that. whole life, life is being ruined over a fucking power unit and a Patreon donation. How fucking stupid are you? No, Ralph, no. Yeah, you're, you're fucking <laughs> ignorant. What else can I tell you? You're a fucking dumbass. You're a fool for believing that. For believing okay, that's well, why I did it. I can just look at your life in ruins. Uh, I can see your your family, uh, that's their whole history up on I, TV is, farms. I can why see. I hired a private detective, Ralph. Okay, all right. Well, that's look, just just I keep it going. It. Look, just keep it going. I mean, look, it's just gonna give more laughs. I mean, fine if you don't want to listen to reason. I'm not the only one who said this. Anybody who looks at this says, "Well, Kenny, you're being a dumbass." I've told you this for months. You're continuing to do it. Okay, we'll keep doing it. Okay, I, I'm not. I'm not planning on keeping on doing it. Okay, like I said, I'm well, making the video, and I'll be the end of it. Okay. Well, just do whatever you want to do. I, I, I think you're an idiot. It's, it's been. It's been good talking to you. It's, all right? I appreciate you guys having me on and giving me a chance to speak out and defend myself. All right, I appreciate it. All right, thank all right. you, Kenny. Bye. Appreciate Later on, guys. Judith. Tell Bye -bye. Judith I said hi. All right, Negro Joe. Thank you as well. I'm gonna start clearing it, Josh. Oh, real quick. Yes, uh, Jim. Did you invite me onto a stream or something? I haven't watched the latest one, but 50 people PM me asking about a stream. Uh, yeah, they brought up. Um, I was doing the furry thing uh, over the weekend, and people brought up uh, some site called Six Two One or something like that, and Ink Bunny and shit yeah, like that. That's Marka. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they uh, uh, and I know you've talked about this shit before, and I was going to give it like another half an hour before I got into the skeptic stuff. Uh, but I don't know this shit, so I was going to ask if you wanted to come on and talk about it because they're like, yeah, the owners and people involved are into some fucked up shit. Yeah, well, was that for that stream, or did you want me on like next ne week? next week? I also have somebody who uh, apparently worked at or knows the people that run Bad Drag and that has information about shit Ooh. that's going on there. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're they're all dirty. All the people who own the big websites and the big companies and the furry fandom all have dirt and stuff. And I'm asking about it. So if you want to like email me like, a list of things you want to talk about, I can do some digging over the week. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so it'd be uh, Saturday at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern. So okay. if you're up for it, do you have my email? Uh, no, I don't think I do actually. It's just no like Kiwi Farm send that. Okay, well, that works. All right, yep. thank you, thank you, Josh. I appreciate it. Medica Rice, there here. Uh, final thoughts on uh, DeFranco? Uh, anything like that? Anything that we talked about? Uh, I don't know if you saw the part where. Well, oh no, DeFranco's dirty as shit. Are we all? I mean, like everybody knows that, right? I mean, I would think they know it by this point, but. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah. My part, my company partnered with them. Okay, well, we were involved in the <laughs> advertising. Let's talk about the investment because that'll probably be the video next week. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, there there's some financial ties and business ties going on here. Uh, and you know, from what I heard, somebody said Boogie lied apparently about uh, what he knew in regards to this. So, yeah, he was, yeah, he was, he was very inconsistent with the things he said on this stream versus this video today. Now he did say that he was going to donate all his profits to charity. So I, I don't know, and he and he wasn't. He he kind of he kind of tried to have it both ways. He said better helps good, and they helped no, it's me. Not, it's yeah, not good. It's I not good. I don't think so. Yeah. Somebody did the math. What was it? Um, they claim to help like millions of people, but they only got like two thousand therapists. So that works out to like one hundred and forty thousand fucking sessions of therapists. Yeah, there's they said three million plus uh, people helped, and there's only two thousand two hundred. Oh, okay, so an average therapy session goes for an hour. How long has the website been open? Because I can guarantee you, one individual therapist, let alone two thousand of them, haven't done like a fourteen thousand fucking sessions a person. So the website's been up since twenty thirteen. Okay, well, I mean, what's the, okay? So five years. So if they work 24 hours a day, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just, let me pull out my calculator. Let's see if we had a therapist working 24 hours a day, if they could hit that magic fucking number that they're going, oh, I fucking hate this thing. So 2013? Yeah. So it's what, five years times 365 yep. times uh, 24. What do you get? 43,800. So they were working. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no. I don't think the therapists were working. That yeah, their whole life was dedicated to fucking uh, better help. Bullshit. Um, yeah, no. This I, I, see, this is uh, when we talked. Like, people, I, I heard you guys talk. Well, it's a pyramid scheme. No, I really do believe it's a Ponzi scheme. 
Um, I think Fra- DeFranco has financial ties to this company. I think uh, people put money into this company. I think they shilled it hard to get as much capital as they could right away and that the big payoff is going to be selling the data. And then everybody's going to basically pull out, take what they can and disperse the company. Well, the reason I think it's a pyramid scheme is there's other corporations that are, you know, part of the referral link. If you look at H3H3s, he's got a different referral link. Let me find what it is exactly. I tweeted it out. It's not just one. Um, so it's a little weird. I, I think there's a bunch of companies. So basically, BetterHelp is at the top, and right below it is um, DeFranco's company. But then there's a bunch of other ones. Well, every scam has a mark. So yeah. I mean, they, you know, I, I just think DeFranco is closer to the top of this. That's yeah, my gut feeling agree. than uh, Ethan or any of the other people that are fucking involved in it. Um, but it's scummy, right? Like, I mean, you're, you're, you're using depression and mental illness to sucker people and then take their data and their private information, deliver a bad service and then sell it off for other purposes, training AI bots or working in advertising or marketing. And your big ad campaign is tied into world mental health day. And you're going to try to pretend you don't know what's going on. Like you're oblivious to it. Like the money handlers and the people that work for you, who obviously do work for you, don't look in the background of this shit. You're not an idiot. DeFranco's worth eight to twenty five million dollars. He's got people that look out for him. So I don't I don't believe for one second that they're unaware of what these companies or the individuals running these companies are trying to do. He's not going to put his brand into something that he doesn't feel he's secure in doing. Yeah. The one that the other referral um is influencer logic. Influence logic, that's it. And CEO is different and everything. What is it with these fucking YouTubers fucking us all over? <laughs> what is it? Why well, the, the skeptics? Skeptical. Yeah, the skeptics have to get us censored, and DeFranco has to take our darkest, dirtiest secrets and monetize them for some fucking faceless corporation. Like, is everybody? It's like it's it's not even shilling. Like, just the typical joke about shilling, right? Like, just being a money whore. It, this is like a different level. Like, they don't want to just take your money. They want to fuck you, too. That's what they want to do. They they don't care about you. They care about shekels. And if anybody gives them a paycheck, they'll do whatever they want. That's the same thing that happened with Candid. They took a paycheck for whatever. Didn't fucking read anything. Just took a paycheck. And same theory with this. Took a paycheck. And they're like, oh, I get money per, per people signing up. Sign, fucking and what about the DeFranco shit. part? I don't know if you saw this part, but where he said, oh, we wanted... You know, Boogie to be a part of it, but we didn't want to talk to him directly. So we went around to his company that we knew he worked with and then, you know, basically linked up with them and then had him get involved with us that way, you know, kind of back door. I don't know if you saw that part of his video, but that that was the that was one of the main things that jumped out at me. I was like, what the fuck? Like this guy went around. It it was the first video that jumped out at me was the whole I didn't know this was going on. By the way, we partnered with them at a company level. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, I don't I don't give them my support, but at a company level we're partnered with them. Yeah, and he absolutely um you know, he he brought that clip up cuz we had played it on the stream. He he obviously had seen some of the criticism that we had leveled at him from this stream. Uh and he brought that up. He was like, "Oh, what are you guys talking about? Of course, you know, that doesn't mean anything." And he tried to explain that away. Uh I don't know. I just, I just thought his video actually created more problems for him than it did, you know, fix anything. So and the big thing is that he didn't even address the main major criticism, which was the fact that your private personal information is at risk here. You're led to believe because literally everybody else has a confidentiality thing when it comes to talking to a counselor, but they flat out say, yeah, we could totally take your personal information and use it for whatever the fuck we want. And then you look at the ties to uh, this AI shit. He just he didn't even address it, which I think was the most telling thing about everything. Yeah, it's some it's some wild shit, man. I, I whatever happened to just doing advertisements for fucking porn and video games, <laughs> right? Like you know the safe shit. Like here's something to jack off to, and here's a game to play when you're tired afterwards. Like everybody's gonna get all out, clever some with bills. It. Here's the bills, <laughs> right? But yeah, now everybody's got to be clever about it. Now let me ask you: Do you think it's gonna go any further? Or is it gonna kind of fizzle out? I, I don't know. I, I don't think people realize the exact extent uh, uh, like to what BetterHelp is doing. I think that's like, I, I again, I think DeFranco is the story, to be honest. But 
as far as the company better help goes i don't think people are really aware of what they're doing like they've heard that people have gripes about it but they don't get that it's just shit from the bottom to the top and i think if people were to figure that out they'd probably be really angry about it all right so what do you got coming up jim oh probably some hard alcohol after tonight's <laughs> <laughs> that last hour was a little it was a little tough to get through I'm not gonna lie but you know you you led me on this path I was about to sign off and then we played the Worski failure vamp clip and then we rolled right into the Kenny shit and now I just want to hang myself but uh well at least we well, got it I, 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 you know, it, I blame it, you I just want to put it out there I'll, I'll pull it I'll, I'll just Worski's, put it all on Jim it's your fault whatever Worski's appearance was entertaining like he came back and ready to fucking go at it on that second go about with uh, with failure and vamp um, yeah I, I don't know I, I, I yeah like I said I'm gonna go have a drink yes uh, and me too try to get Several. some sleep because I want to be up early enough Right to watch mm-hmm. uh, dances with dongas do a superberry uh, <laughs> prayer in front of the campfire because I want to see what's going to happen tomorrow. So that that's probably what I'm going to do. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Medicare, for joining us. I appreciate it, man. Yep, take it easy, guys. Yeah, Later, buddy. All right, guys, I'm just going to sign off because I didn't think Boogie was going to show up either. Uh, Larius says, "What are the chances of the kill stream ending at a reasonable hour tonight? I'm not sure. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put money on that necessarily either." Philip. Skipataris Skipataris says PewDiePie fight better help IRL Butte Mountain says kill stream best content best co-host best chat best soundboard best soundboard and uh Ethan Ralph yes thank you sir uh woke center left says Ralph started GoFundMe for Donga's new wheelchair his broke after worse he rolled his ass down a staircase earlier okay I think we're caught up I guess I should pull up stream up did you did you did you read out all those super chats I believe I did Jim yes. you hit them all hey you so. know it's really weird man I mean you've got um almost three sargons worth of viewers right now oh yeah I think he I think he had a program I don't know if it's still on now or, or what but yeah 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 uh, it's, it's weird how's that happening I mean you've only got 17,000 <laughs> subs he's got 160,000 on that channel that's weird that's strange. Must be a glitch. It's got to be a glitch. <laughs> I'm sure it's a notification. Spank me, daddy. <laughs> oh, Sargon, calm down. Uh, so what happened with you and Diogenes? I, again, I, I played a little catch up. I, I think you were ar- he was arguing that he invented the term Donga. Or is that what happened? Uh, I, don't I, I don't know. You know I don't want to put words in his mouth. I will okay. let the copyright attorney for memes okay. himself when he shows up. <laughs> Uh, but he was he was very adamant face me on the kill stream so i know it's your show uh you know well you know we don't have a problem with that uh and matter of fact i already told the co-host when he comes on we're just gonna we're just gonna sit back not interfere i've already seen some you know commentary we're gonna stack the deck against them and it's a rigged fight and all this and that not even we'll we'll, matter of fact i'll mute myself and just let you gentlemen talk likewise Oh, uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Speaking of which, he's in the green room right now, so I'll go ahead and drag him over. Drag him in. Let's get it started. Dodgeness, you're on the air on the kill stream. Again, you have something to say to Jim. We're not gonna we're not gonna interfere. We'll just let you guys talk. Does that sound good? Is he here? I can't uh hear him. Okay. I think your mic, I think you have a microphone malfunction here, Dodgeness. Yeah, actually, no, it's not all right with me. I had a few questions for you, if that's all right. Well, actually, I don't care if it's fucking all right. I'm going to ask you some questions. How's that sound, buddy? Okay. Wait, first, off, Ralph, first off, first off, first off, first off, first off. No, 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 no. Shut your fucking mouth. No, no, no. Shut your fucking mouth. I got okay. some questions. Okay. Ralph, okay, go ahead. Why go ahead. did you defend First off, Donga introduce who the, the fuck you are. Stream. First off, introduce who the fuck you are. There. Fuck off. Meet this guy. Meet this guy. Meet this guy. Meet this guy. Hey, I'm some dude. I'm some dude, remember? Now, look. It's my show, dude. You're going to let me talk or you're not going to be on the show. I mean, that's just, that's all there is to it. So you can listen to what I'm saying right now. You can let me speak. We can speak back and forth. Or you can just leave. It's really that simple. So do you want to do that or not? Anyway, I'll bring you back in. We'll see. Okay, let's try this again. All right, Dodge, yeah, are you, yeah. you going to let me speak? Yeah, yeah, are you going to yeah, yeah, yeah. let me will, speak? Yeah. yeah, I will give you permission to speak because you're too much of a cuck to take it. Oh, but yes, yes, yes. What I have to say oh, to yes, you. Yes, yes, fine? yes, yes. If please, like please go speak, ahead. I'm the really great strong. and mighty Dodge, just please explain with your 32 viewers on your show how it's done. Why don't you tell us? All right, all right, Ralph. Why did you defend Dong on the Apocalypse stream when the information is the same as it was then? Why? Go. Why did you take Zavamp Tranny's fucking 
shadow ban list and use it. Why is Vamp Chinese still a fucking ab and in your First server? First off, Why I have not used Ganga so fucking much. Yes, you did. Don't deny the shadow ban list. It's fucking verified. I have not used a shadow ban list on the server ever. Yes, you fucking have. No, Bullshit. Vamp Chinese is still a fucking admin on here. She is an admin. She is an admin on the Discord. Yes. You are covering for his ass constantly on the apocalypse stream and afterwards. Not until Daddy Jim gave you the okay to Donga post. Not until he gave well, you. If you're like, asking me, let, let me speak, speak. sir, sir, sir. Yeah. Let me speak. Let I will me give speak. you permission. Let to me speak. speak. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck speak. my dick, bitch. If you're asking me if I have right. some personal issue with, with him, Tonka, so Ralph can talk. Ralph. Yeah, I mean, if you're asking me if I have some like deep seated hatred for Tonka, obviously you have some issues going back months and months. Um, I mean, the answer is no. I, I've called him out on this show when I felt it was appropriate. I, I talked about last night some of my issues with him. And yeah, that's pretty much where it is. If if you're if you're asking, was it is it my responsibility to take you know Tonka out? No, it's not. I mean, I, I don't know if if that's what you wanted. Why don't you take him out yourself? All right, Dogenes, I'll unmute you. Why the fuck did I say it was your responsibility to take him down? We were doing that for months. We didn't ever need your micro dick asses help. I asked you why okay, you fucking okay. covered for him and well, why I mean, you nobody watches your show, Dodginess. So I mean, you probably need somebody. It's not my help. fucking show. Okay, okay. I don't have what, a fucking whatever show. show it is that you're on. And I, I, hear, I, hear you're, I hear you're unemployed I lately, so I know. Thing. I hear you're unemployed lately, so I know you're probably stressed out, sir. I know you got laid off, and uh, unemployed. I, 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 I have a skills in the real world. Oh, yes. fucking you sound, you sound like you have a lot of skills, Dodgeness. Yes, I can tell. I can tell. Why? What please, changed in Donga's behavior? Please, it's, it's down the street. It's down the street, not across the road. It's down the street. It's down. It's down the street, not across the road. Why did you only start Donga posting and crossing Donga when Daddy Jim gave me okay? Why is it that you should not be on Brazzers for all the fucking times you suck Jim's dick? Why? Go. Well, what's the question? The question is, why did you come? I mean, I've already answered. I already answered. I already until answered. Jim gave you the fucking okay. I've already answered. Why is it that you didn't do it? No, until Jim did it, you didn't fucking do it. That's the brunt reality. You're a I, fucking That's cocksucker. untrue. That's untrue. I've said problems I've had with Tonka before on this show many times. So, I mean, it's just not accurate. All right, and why did you fucking perpetuate the shadow ban list? That's why is Van Tranny still a fucking admin? It's not She's, fucking She is an admin on the server. Six trillion I, times. You can keep saying you're lies. There's shit, no Ralph. fucking proof for what you're saying. It's you're untrue. Of, you're, a Man, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You've always been a lying piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You hang out with a bunch of pedophiles and weaves, and your fucking show is a joke. Your life is a joke. You have no success in anything you've ever done in your fucking life. You're a nobody who's been graced who's been graced with my presence. You're nothing. You're nothing. You're nothing, Dodgeness. Kill yourself, faggot. You're nothing. You're nothing. I'll do it for free. You think you're somebody you can fillet e celeb dick? This okay. motherfucker Jim will tell you the second you're no longer fucking okay. convenient. Why are you even on the show? You said you wanted a conversation with Jim. Didn't you spam your show on poll to actually get like two people to show up? Isn't that Absolutely how you not. We have never show? once actually shelled our fucking shit on boards. Never. We started off on the fucking boards, yes, but as for actually going out and shilling our shit on the places, no, we don't do that. Shilled them on the boards. Okay, yes. Yes, because yeah, if you were actually a board user and not some fucking Reddit Facebook tier faggot, you would know that those threads started organically, and that's where it originated. But no, we never went out of our way to fucking shill it. Fucking micro dick ass piece of shit. I'm fucking done with you. We're moving on. We're fucking done. You lying sack fat. Oh cry yes, more, yes. Cry more, cry more. Since your little backyard fag sports got blown the fuck out of the water. Remember when you used to be up against us and you thought yeah, you were hot shit? You and you thought you were hot fucking shit? You thought you were hot fucking shit? You thought you were something, bitch? You thought you were something? Now you're fucking shit. You're hey, fucking Ralph, shit. You crying, we got five why grand. You, crying, you got three fucking people watching your show. You're nothing. You're the one named Cryogenes, you dumb faggot. Hey. Hey Ralph, why don't you stop crying a little bit? You want to just I ain't crying. What, what's there to cry about? 
I'm great. If you're the one that Tonka trolled into tears, dude, hey, you've got no yeah, leg to stand on. He trolled me so hard that he had to fucking run away. Whatever you say. Who gave you your start when your drunk dumbass got out of jail? You came on a backyard bit sports. You like didn't a give me my a start, dude. I've been that's doing this show for that. years. You didn't that's give me that. my start. Jail, you came on the dude, we were beating you guys head to head. We were beating you guys head to head even back then. We were beating you head to head even back then. Keep repeating your lies all you want, Dodgers. Just you scream over that's everybody. That's, that's your fucking strategy. Fucking yes, that that's your strategy. strategy. You, okay. You, you were just a fucking panelist. You were fucking there on that fucking stream. That's where you got your fucking I came start. Up, that that's wrong, stickers. dude. I've been around for you years. Camera, You're a piece of shit, line motherfucker. I've been around for years. Well, you didn't give me my start. You didn't give me my start. That's the dumbest. That's the dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard. That's the dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard. That's the dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard. Why don't you suck my dick, faggot bitch? Yeah. Why don't you suck my dick? You want it, stick? Ah! Oh, yeah. crash Bitch, I'll pull my dick out and set it on this fucking table. Do it. Do okay, it. maybe I will. Right maybe now. I will. Dump your dick on the fucking table. Okay. That's what you would like. That's what you would like. That's what you would like, faggot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would like that. Do it, you fucking nigga. I'm pretty sure. Well, you seem you seem to be pretty excited about it. Did that get you excited, Dodgeness? You got a hard on right now? You getting turned on, buddy? Is that what's happening? You sound pretty you sound pretty activated, man. You know that you can't do it because it's actually a Are you turned on? Are you turned on? You want you want daddy to show you his dick? Is that what's happening to you? Is that what's happening? Huh? You want hey, Papa to whip his dick out? Is that what's Ralph. happening? Huh? Ralph. You want a little oh, round Is that what you want? Hey. You want a little cock buddy? Is that what you want? Huh? Yeah, you offered to do you it. You want a little taste? Is that what you want? Huh? You seem, you seem a little excited. Case. You seem a little oh, excited. Oh, fucking whip it out, buddy. Huh? Okay. Fucking whip it out. Okay. Oh, to do it. We'll work something. We'll work something out. We'll work something out. Known as gay agenies. Yeah, we'll work something out, buddy. We'll work something out. Anyway. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I love how you fucking made me some dude. You know who the fuck I am. You booted you me for your stream. You are some dude. Seconds. People's watching this stream. Nobody type. knows who you are, dude. You're yeah, some dude that you can't fucking handle. You some piece of shit. Some piece of shit. Nobody type. knows. That's all you with 12 are, people watching That's your show. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. It's not my fucking show. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're I'm not great. here as BYBS or BYR. Whatever I'm here fucking show you're on, 12 people watch. So good job. 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 Here you go talking about my dick again yes yes here you go about talking about my about dick again move on to the big boys okay all right yes so why don't you shut your i hope it goes i hope it goes better for you than this went for you sir but yes go ahead saying that you wanted to show me your penis i'm the spurg yes i'm the spurg of course yes yes i'm the spurg yes okay i'm pretty sure yeah okay yeah suck my dick anyway yeah, you're one inch dick i couldn't possibly fucking do it man my tongue is longer than that all right yes fucking hell Huh. Just pathetic. like everything else you said, false. But go ahead. Anyway, Jim, you there, buddy? Yeah, are we doing this? Are you guys done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Well, they said they'd mute themselves, so it'd just be us. I was staying silent because you wanted to go with Ralph first. So. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that, man. You're a lot more courteous than he is. Oh, so what did you want to talk about? I wanted to ask you a few fucking questions, if that's right. Uh, the first being... What changed in Donga's behavior that makes him gay now, but not back then? Well, I told him outright that the fight me in real life stuff was gay. And I also told him that Viva La Rasa thing was gay. And I mean, I, I told him that a while ago. Yeah and, I, yeah, and I agree with that. But that was just fucking gay memes that you called out, man. Like, let me ask you an honest question. And this isn't a fucking like, you know, a gotcha or nothing. Did you actually do research on Donga at all when you were pushing him? I mean, pushing up the Kumite, you know, boosting it with your fucking your following. Did you not know about all of this gay drama with his former friends like Ziff and Les and Jeff Holiday and all that? Did you not? Were you just completely in the dark or you just didn't care? Well, I don't I don't really do research on shit. I was looking for Jerry Springer in the morning and I got it. Um, and the reason I liked well, I, it, too, as this added reason was the fact that it pissed liberalists off where we had Quarter Pounder and other people constantly fucking crying about it. Where it was him and Jeff Holiday and other people saying, oh, blood sports are going to get people to kill themselves. Oh my God, this is so terrible. Oh, blood sports are the worst thing ever. You've got SFO and all these other faggots running around screaming at the top of their head that uh, IBS is the worst thing to ever hit YouTube. And I, I love that. I love that reaction. 
Yeah, and it's an understandable reaction at first when it was actually blood sports, but it very quickly devolved into something that I like to call anti-blood sports. It became a hug box. Even Ralph here participated in that. He had a shadow ban list. He denies it, but it's fucking confirmed. I can pull now, up look, the Now, look, if you're going to mention me, that's Shut not... So you need to fuck, fuck off, dude. Up. You need to keep Shut me out of the conversation. No, you keep me out of the conversation or, or, hey, or I'm coming back in. Now, suck my dick. Now, there is no fucking shadow ban list. I had nothing to do with any of that. Fuck off. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off. You're full of shit. Okay, prove it. Prove it then. Everybody's seen the fucking list. Prove it then. Prove it then. Prove it. Prove it. Shut your fucking mouth. I'm talking to him. You either keep you my fucking, keep my fucking, 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 no, like keep my fucking, fucking name out of your Maybe fucking you mouth. No, balls, keep my right name out of your fucking you mouth or I'm going to speak. Fuck. Yeah. You can't fucking speak. You keep don't have my, my permission name to speak. out of your fucking mouth or you I'm going to speak. permission to speak, Ralph. Keep my name out of your fucking mouth or I'm going to speak. Keep your fucking micro dick in your pants. No, no, fuck you. Fuck you. No, prove, prove what you said. No, prove what you said. 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 No, you shut the fuck up. Prove, prove what you said. No, prove, prove what you said. You lying fucking Jew. Prove what you said. We have proven it countless fucking times. No, you haven't the proven shit. You haven't proven shit. That's fucking was. No, it wasn't just any fucking video. There's no proof for anything you've said this entire show. show. There's, there's no proof for shots anything you've said. Because there's no proof with the for anything you've said. The no. Mafia. If you are too stupid you're just to fucking saying shit. go look for you're the truth, I'm not going to sit here and spin foot it to you. You're just making shit up. I'm literally looking at screenshots right now of people. No, I am looking at it right fucking now. There's no I'm shadow ban right list that now. I've ever enforced. I don't know if people That's have a shadow ban list. No, there's bro. not. Where the fuck do you want me to post it? I'll you post you it right fucking me, now. People you can send it to me themselves, on Twitter. Posting it like. on their accounts and their fucking, uh, you know, their alts. And they're banned from the fucking chat. And they're the same names. That there we're is on no shadow ban list, list that I've ever enforced, list. period. <laughs> yes, there is. No, there isn't. And you can scream it all. Hey, you can scream it all you want, want but it's not seconds. true. I'm going to post your shit in the Discord right fucking now. If you give me two seconds without spurging, like a stupid fat micro dick faggot, oh, I will yes, post the screenshots yes. okay, of you having it. a fucking shadow ban list. Okay, do it. Okay, there's no shadow ban list on this. It's literally people posting and not showing up no, in your no, chat. No, the same names on the fucking no, shadow ban list, right? Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Because I've what you're more, saying it shows it, it, it's not there. Wow. Wait. Hardcore evidence here. It's literally people that were on the fucking ban list this? not being showing up in your fucking chat, wow, you stupid hardcore mother. Hardcore evidence here. There's nothing here. It's literally evidence. There's a guy posting in your chat with his main account. Looking at it from his alt, it's not fucking there. One of the same people that are on that fucking ban list, you dumb fucking nigger. Now shut your lying mouth. There's so nothing there. Jim. Incorrect. There's literally, it's right fucking there, dude. Look there's at somebody, it. there's two screenshots and somebody saying they're not Aqua, showing up. Test, 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 Aqua. Okay. Not showing up. There's and only that one of the billion people you had on that fucking list. That's incorrect. Shut your fucking no, you suck my dick. Wait, hold on. Are you saying, hey, are you saying that there's a shadow ban ability in Discord because there's not? No, you can block. He's, no, he's, he's talking about YouTube chat. He's talking about YouTube chat. chat. However, if you're in top chat, you're not shadow banned. They're showing up in top yes, chat. Yes, yes, that's another thing. That's t live chat versus top right, chat. Right, because top what chat says fucking faggot. Right, no, top chat. What a line. So, yeah. Look, live chat versus top chat. Those are two different things. You're actually retarded. Are you actually retarded? Top chat we versus know it's live chat is like, literally everybody. Those are two different things, fucking things you fucking brainlet. <laughs> Hey, hey, top chat doesn't fucking censor people that just say test. Are you, you drinking? Sir, are you drinking again? No, is that what's happening? If you're, if you're the people are, are you are you on the booze again? Are you on the booze again? Is that what's happening? You know, I can get drunk. I can get drunk and still pull four or five thousand. Not everybody has the Ralph Mail abilities. You are on it. You went to jail for assaulting a drunk yeah, as fuck. Yeah, it worked out great for me. It worked out great. It worked out great. You want to talk about the fucking booze. Dude, it's everybody great for me. was on that bed. Was Look at where I'm at now. I wouldn't have it any other way, sir. I wouldn't have it any other way. 
I wouldn't you have any other way. Okay, so are you, got, are you gonna answer? Are you gonna answer that you your proof? Are you gonna answer court. that your proof was complete trash and it's live chat versus top chat <laughs> and it proves hey, nothing? How does top chat work? How does top chat work? Tell me. Does it censor people that say test or nigger? Some people don't show up in top chat. People that say nigger, yeah, might not show up in fucking top chat. Yeah, but That's if they YouTube say test, doing it. Show up. Are you fucking retarded? That's you. Everybody doing who was it. on that shadow if ban list was if you're, ba if you're banned off of YouTube, if you get hidden off YouTube, you don't show up in any chat, you dumbass. Hey, this was fucking I had on accounts that didn't create any so fucking content. So are you going to continue with, with your lie? Are, are you going to admit that you were lying? These are literally just sock accounts of people that never did fucking anything on YouTube. Are you going to continue lying or, you know, you can apologize no, now if you'd like. The same people on that fucking ban list were banned from your Discord. You can sit here and pill pull and lie all you fucking want. I know you're full of shit. No, and you're full of shit and you just got found out in front of 6,000 people. You look like an idiot. Why did the testing not show up in live chat then? You look like a complete fucking idiot. Why did the test not show up in live chat? If it's they were right there on then. live <laughs> They're not shadow. It's right there on live chat. Is it really? It's right no, there it's on the screenshot. Live. So it's top it's chat scary. versus live chat. So some people might not show up in one versus the other. But you see it right there on the chat. Right, so we have two possibilities. We have you having vamp tranny as a fucking it's avenue to YouTube, YouTube, and YouTube you hides comments all the time. It always hides comments. You know what? You know what I can does. do? I can pull this up. Live live chat no, 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 you, want me, you want me to do something? How about this? I'll do something live. You're going to pull up your current ban list? Oh, for fuck's sake. No. We're talking about months. Oh, shit. I, I'm going to show you something. All I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. And I shouldn't. I, I saw my, my money came up there, but whatever. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just let's just have it all out. Oh, my there. shekels. Oh, yeah. my shekels. That's all that matters as long as I get my shekels. No, here you go. Look at the you're approved users. Hidden users, yeah, none. I don't give a fuck none. what your ban list looks like right none. now. I can't none. Even Hidden Dude, users, none. Hidden Bad. users, none. That's never what I said. None. I never came in here saying that they none. weren't fucking banned now. No. All right. Now Kingdom the, Pole is calling you a Spurg. Dude, stop. Hey, hey. All as I said was during the Donga shit, you were covering here? for his ass. No you were hidden users. On his fucking prerogative. No on his hidden users. Prerogative. None. None. Yeah, as of right fucking now. As of right fucking now. What None. the fuck do you think that None. is? None. Your evidence trash. There's no hidden users. You can I apologize. You, you would look you better. You would look better if you apologize for your blatant lies. I'm just, I'm just putting that oh out God, there. Oh my God, Ralph. You are a complete that out there. fucking brainlet. If you if you, if you would apologize now, I'm sure I'm sure you would have a lot Ralph, more. You know, Aqua was not in the live chat. Why was he not in the live chat? Ask you to show me your ban list. list. You I know you are. Time. You showed me your ban list from today, from fucking today. I'm not talking about today. I'm talking about when you had Donga's dick straight up your fucking thigh ass. When you're banning people just because he fucking told you, you to. You can keep you repeating lies and you can just keep getting shown to be a liar. They're lies. They're lies. This they is going are lies. Circles, Ralph, and I don't give a fuck. They're Frankly, complete lies. Everybody knows you're a fucking faggot. I, I mean, I'm don't reading the chat right now and they're circles. laughing at you. You got blown the fuck out. Faggot. You got blown the fuck out so hard. They're, they're laughing at you, Dodginess. They're laughing at you, Dodginess. They're laughing at you right now. They're laughing at you right now, Dodginess. They're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. Yeah, they can laugh all they they're fucking laughing, want, they're bro. They're laughing at you. If they're too stupid to realize that you're lying. They're play, laughing at you. No skin off my ass. They're laughing at you. No skin off my ass. They're laughing at you. Jesus fucking Christ, Ralph. You are such a goddamn brainlet. Why they're don't you fucking laughing. focus on your internet? They're still politics? laughing. They're still laughing. Jesus, you should be on fucking Brazzers for all the dick you suck. Dodgeness, they're still Jesus laughing. Jesus fucking Christ. You're making it worse, Dodgeness. You. You host a gay porn you're studio where you suck, you select you're tits. That's what all this fucking is to it. You're Move making it browsers, worse. You'll be on more at your fucking They're still element. laughing. Please, please, you're making yourself all look right, worse. Jim has lost his, I mean, sorry. Ralph has lost his mind. He's you're having a mental breakdown. Can we fucking move on? Yes, I'm so mental. I'm sh I'm clearly yeah, the one who looks mental. mental. Not not the shit. idiot who's been spurging out about laws for thirty minutes. I'm the one who looks. Yeah, mental. you're the one spurging, buddy. You're sitting yes. here lying, saying yes. that just because you don't have anybody banned now, you didn't really I'm clearly the one who's spurging. Whatever. I'm that's, clearly that's, the that's one who's spurging. Can you even hear your voice right now and how insane and unhinged you sound? Jesus fucking Christ! Can, do you have hey, any self awareness whatsoever? Tell your dog to shut his fucking mouth. Do you have any self awareness whatsoever? I, that's a great question for you, actually, buddy. Because you know you had the shadow oh, band list. Oh, what rubber bounces off me and kid. your glue. Yeah, what a comeback there, Dodgeness. Fucking, if you look do at you that Do you want to talk to Jim, or do you want to keep, you know, getting blown out by me? I mean, it's your choice, really. 
He's going to start chicken can soon. Fucking hell. So you can either talk to him, keep my name out of your mouth, or we can keep besides, doing this. Just show them, besides, hey, we can keep doing the this. For, hey, we can keep hey, doing hey, this. Hey, no, hey, we can do. Hey. No, listen. No, you fuck you. No, is. fuck you. Dodgeness. 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 Was it on the Ralph for Tour channel? Was that the channel that you showed the ban list from? Because if not, your entire argument is utter bullshit. Because that's not the channel you're on now. That's in no way indicative of what happened. Even if it was Ralph for Tour and it was empty. We're not talking about today, Ralph. You've got fucking nothing. I mean, if you, You've if got you, fucking nothing. You're the one who has nothing. You just got blown out in front of God I'm and everybody. I just showed you the proof, and all you had was this ban list from a fucking completely different channel six months later. There's no fucking proof. Zidane just mouth. showed that you were full I of shit on that. Proof. Z- I showed you the Dodges, fucking proof. Do you want to talk to Jim, or do you want to keep spurging out at me? I'd love to talk to Jim, but you keep sitting okay, in the cup so holding Okay, so again, again, you have an shut option. No, you shut your fucking mouth, mouth Dodges. Dodges, no. You have an option. You have an option. You have an option. You have an option. Dodges, you have an option. You can keep my name out of your mouth, and you can talk to Jim. on YouTube. You're full of shit, and you fucking know it. Shut your goddamn mouth. Shadow Shadow Ben comments all the time on YouTube. That's a common thing. It's a common thing everyone that. complains about. Hey, hey, That's hey, a common thing hey, everyone com- complains about. Hey, if you're in a fucking dog pile, let me bring one person in here. Otherwise, shut your fucking mouth. This isn't dog pile. It's just... These the are the past. people on the show. And no, you won't be bringing anybody else on the show. So You're lucky that we right, let you come on the show. Keep your fucking, keep your fucking you're lucky that we let you on the show because nobody knows who you shit. are. The only reason you let me on the show is because Jim told you to. You're a fucking cocksucker and Jim you know it. Jim didn't tell me shit. If I, I haven't talked to, to Jim said, all day. Hey, can I talk to Jim about shit? You never would have fucking let me on and you know By it. By the way, here's this a live screenshot your from game. the no, chat. No, no, no. No, the only way to infiltrate your walled garden hug box is People's to bait Jim with some retarded tweets and getting me on. Because I guarantee you that if I had just come to you personally and honestly asked, can I have a discourse with him, I wouldn't have gotten shit. And you fucking well, you know never it. did that. You, had me no. and you don't know what you would have gotten. Calling you a faggot. You don't know what you would have hey. gotten. I mean, you're completely unhinged, but people like that anyway, so I most likely would have let you, actually. Hey, Ralph, was that a screenshot that showed that Aqua showed up in the chat? Was that exactly what that was? Just yes, proving and he's right there in the chat tonight, so I, I really don't know what you're talking about, Dodgeness. Uh, yeah, you're a lying faggot. I don't give a fuck. Okay, Jim, so again, no, no, no. Do you, are you going to keep my name out of your mouth, or I'm just going to have to unmute myself again? That's why I'm asking. So I don't know, man. I would much I don't rather know, just sit back. I would pants. much rather just, just sit maybe. back and just not have to deal with it. But yeah, sit there, count your shit, count your one inch. Yeah, stick, I'd rather just maybe, sit back and count maybe, count the money that I'm making off your you dumbass. Yeah. You your mouth. You're right. I would rather yeah, just sit back and count the money that I'm making off Ralph, you. That's correct. Yes, Ralph. Ralph, yes. why did you call me a? Sh- why did you boot me when I called you a shekel drumming kike? And you're literally just here saying Dude, I am a shekel drumming kike. I honestly kike. don't even remember. You're talking about on Zoom stream when you apologize for, for yeah, how I you acted. You, you apologize. You apologize for me. that. Are you? Yeah, are you I apologize that for misrepresenting you. I didn't apologize for because, calling you a because shekel because you lied about me like you're doing tonight. You've lied about me before. No, it's I on record. To you then because I knew I'm that glad you brought that up, Dodgers. Because I fucking I fucking forgot about that. That it's on record that you tried lying about me before. You got blown out last. You already apologized God, once. Yeah, for misrepresenting so, you, sure. So when you sober oh, yeah, up I'm again, right, when you sober up again, you're gonna apologize yeah, again right, later. Hey, Ralph, Ralph, here's where it stands. If I make a mistake, I'll apologize for it. I don't give a fuck. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be expecting. I'll, I'll, I'll be waiting. Kike. I'll be waiting on your apology. Your I'll, I'll be I waiting on your apology later. Show, right. Okay, for your fake ban list accusations, I'll be waiting for your apology later. So. Yeah, show the fucking hidden ban list on the Ralph retort from six months ago, and then maybe you can fucking defend yourself, you lying faggot. Well, I anyway, have to switch accounts, I'm but yeah, if you. if you would like Shut me to do that, no, are you gonna? Okay, yeah, just yeah, keep my just name so out of your mouth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you can unban everybody beforehand. Whatever, we saw the proof. If you don't want to fucking, there admit, is I know no you proof. Yeah, yeah, we saw the yeah the proof. Okay, yeah, there yeah. Is. Oh, yeah there we is. saw it. Yeah, we saw it definitely. Definitely great people proof. Great proof. Ace, Ace, buddy, you did it. You did it. Reddit did it. You did it. Reddit. Good job, Reddit. Good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't even start with good job. Good job, Reddit. Good job. You did it. We did oh it, Reddit. God. Great job. Great job. Anyway, now that I think about it, uh, where me and Jim left off, he had said that he had called out Donga for the Viva La Rasa shit and the Fight Me IRL shit. And yeah, that's fair enough. But he wanted to perpetuate blood sports to ki- uh, piss off skeptics. But why wasn't he calling out Donga for all the shit he was doing? There were fucking doxing ups. There were shadow ban lists. There was fucking slander. There was no such thing as sh- blood sports at that fucking point. It wasn't blood sports. It was a fucking circle jerk. There were shadow ban lists. There were fucking, (laughs) 
Like he was he was offering up dough to get a fucking dox from Zeph. Joaquin was fucking implicit in it. Why is this shit You're making suddenly it seem like there's uh, some kind of troll covenant? Like I've gone into some kind of uh, negotiations or agreement with other people that want to see things happen. I wanted Jerry Springer in the morning, and I wanted skeptics to be annoyed. That's all I was looking for. I stopped watching Tonka in the morning Kumite when it got fucking boring. Yeah, and uh, the putting, other thing I wanted wanted way more way more thought into this than than I did, to be honest with you. No, and that's fair. But here's the thing, buddy. I asked you on the fucking Metacast directly to your face. I don't know if you remember this or not. Whether or not you gave Donga permission to sell your fucking brand on his merchandise. And you said to me, and I quote verbatim, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I might have done it. Okay. And then when uh, Donga comes out in public and says, you know, he's talking shit on you for fucking attention, all of a sudden, then it was convenient for you to call him out. What was with that? Are you talking about the jab I took at him where he said uh, something akin to, boy, you like to use my catchphrases, and I said, boy, you sure like to sell my fucking face on your mugs? Yeah, yeah, and when I had yeah, asked you whether or not you fucking... Right, but, well, I mean, chronologically, we're eight months, six months past that point, right? Tonka no like me no more, but I'm still on his fucking merchandise. So, yeah, I'm going to bring it up. Like, if the guy doesn't like me and he... Well, he yeah, but the thing is... ...distance himself, he's still selling my shit in his show, or in his yeah, uh, and shop. Exactly, and that is exactly my contention, because I remember when you talked to Zoom about it, you said, quote, Donga is a faggot, he never had my permission to do this, and I never fucking allowed him to do this, never gave him permission, but you told me something completely different. Fast forward a few months, he crosses you directly, all of a sudden it's convenient to bring it up. And the only thing that I can think with that is, it's no longer just about honesty, it's no longer just about calling out retards on the internet, it's just selective picky choosy. Don't you see how that's fucking fair to assume? Okay, well, when I talked to Zoom, yeah, I honestly didn't remember that I gave him permission. Then Tonka said you did. So, I mean, I can't... Am I supposed to lie and then say, oh, no, Tonka's wrong? I mean, if, if I gave him permission to put my fucking face on a mug, I gave him permission. Again, my thing is, we're eight months past the point of me ever being on Akumite. Tonka likes to talk shit about me, act like I'm poison and his show is great and it's isolated. Uh, all the Billy Hunters are terrible, all that shit. Meanwhile, the motherfucker's selling my, my picture on his mugs and fucking uh, posters and T-shirts. But yeah, but he was doing that before and during and after the Metacast, man. Why did it take so fucking long for you to catch on? Again, it's like you're, you're not getting what I'm saying. He wants to, to right now, right, in the, in the present, bitch about me while he is still selling it. So if he had such a big problem with me, why is he still selling it? It, like, built up. I, I, I pretty much ignored the morning Kumite. I pretty much ignored all of that shit kind of once it got boring for me. It's once Tonka started spurging out, like, every day, talking to... Uh, people that were taking shots at me. It's like he wanted to re-engage. So, okay. I mean, if you want to, if right, you want right. to engage, I'm going to engage with you. Right, but Tonka lied and lies all the time about stuff. So, is it that's okay the, if he's... That's picking... the fucking internet. People lie all the time. But yeah, I know that. I know that, but why is it... Uh, is it okay if he's not bitching about you? What if it's everybody else? What are if you, it's Shadow Are you asking... Okay, okay, so it sounds to me like you're asking, why didn't I run in to defend you? Is that it? No, that's not it at all. It's a matter of your, you, you make your bants off of being... <laughs> Why would people be personally interested in shit that personally affects them? Because it personally affects them. I'm not like some internet crusader that goes out to, to make sure Tonka's not talking naughty about other people. Okay, if he, so if he turns are... the fire at me, then yeah, then I'm going to address it. Well, I would say it's not necessarily accurate to say you're not an internet crusader, buddy. Because uh, you are. And I understand, believe me, I saw the not, not your personal army thing coming. That's not what I'm trying to get at here. It's a lack of consistency. It's picky choosy in your fucking targets. You, you can pick on, on what? I, I don't have a political platform. I'm not starting an army. There's no base movement. I'm a fucking guy that does YouTube videos and streams. That's, that's it. I mean, you're, you're, what ethical standard are you trying to hold me to? What, it, it's fucking YouTube. There's no ethical or moral standard. I'm simply trying to gauge consistency in what you per yourself purport to be about. Yeah, Donga was a huge septic. No, Donga, Donga was a huge. That's my main game. That's what I've done for 10 years. I like watching people be retards. I like watching people spurg out. I like watching chaos in a situation. That's what amuses yeah. me. And I will take any approach I can to get that. The any approach. Is, yeah, yeah, but the thing is, Jim. You say you fucking promoted Donga, for example, 
sorry. You promoted Donga, for example, to piss off septics. But Donga was a huge septic faggot. No, no, I didn't say I, I promoted him. If you go back and you read those Zoom communications when he's talking to me and saying, why didn't you turn around and talk shit to Donka about the stuff that bothered you, you know, bringing up other stuff. And I told him, why would I do that? If I've got a group of people that I think are massive faggots, the skeptics, and they're angry at Tonka and his show, why would I then do their bidding for them? How does that benefit me? Right? I mean, that's it's a fairly simple, straightforward uh, no, line of saying, thought. Before you fucking promoted the Kumite, he was a septic. And after the Metacast, he became one again. He started sucking Kraut and T's dick, for fuck's sake. Did yeah, you that, not was, do that was after the IBS guy? apocalypse, yeah. Yeah, and before that, he was a septic. Did you, like, do zero research on this guy before you decided to use him as a movie? <laughs> no, again, it's, off that it's, this is just YouTube shit. No, I didn't do research on some fucking YouTube streamer. I thought it was entertaining as Jerry Springer, and then I got the added bonus when I found out that the skeptics really got fucking angry about it. And, I mean, so to be fair know. here, I mean, if you're talking about, well, you going on the show, is that that's promoting them. He was on Ancapistan's stream. So was I. So was Andy Worski. I mean, you can say Ralph is an Isolab dick sucker, but you guys have had Isolabs on. Yeah, and that was all Jukeem, though. That was never our fucking volition. And second of all, it's not my show. I will, I will speak for the show as far as I am involved, but it's not my show. You said that I was a shekel grubber earlier. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, yep. obviously, but mm -hmm. let, me, let me make it this clear. I don't have a Streamlabs. I've never gotten a cent for shit posting on the internet, and I don't fucking want any. All right? Right, but you so, are on a show that does have a stream. I mean, it's weird to me that you'd be like, "Oh, Jim, you're you're an Isleb uh, shekel whore," and then later that you know, like later the night or whenever you guys have your regular schedule yeah. program, go on to a stream that literally underneath it has a Streamlabs. I mean, it's it's the same shit, bro. If you're on a show, yeah, and I, you're no, part here's of a show that's making money. Welcome to the club. You are now an Isleb shekel whore. That's kind of the fucking joke, though, uh, Jim, because I have called the handicap on this plenty of times and so is the fucking audience we say oh you just want pay pigs you want your shekels we, it's not a fucking secret we fucking own that shit and i don't feel i don't see a fucking cent of it if we're up to me we would have no fucking stream labs but you can't use that against me personally i am involved on that well, stream sure. yes. i mean if it, if I it was something that really out. bothered you if it was a principled position you wouldn't be on a show you'd be like i can't associate with somebody trying to make money sorry do no, it for free no, or I never, do it. no here's the thing jim let me make a distinction i don't have a problem with you or anybody making money on the internet i don't Did but you, anyway, oh, oh, you said go. you didn't care. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me repeat myself in case you didn't hear. I said I don't have a problem with anyone making money on the internet. That's not my fucking contention. But if Dongo was such a huge faggot and you didn't care about that, do you care if huge faggots benefit from your sub base? Do you care when you end up putting money in their fucking pockets, even when they're huge faggots? Because that's what I, happened. I, I don't that's really what's happening now. Yeah, I, I don't really give a shit. If I get my laughs, I get my laughs. That's all I'm looking for. People profit off me all the time. Have you seen the amount of mirrors that people put up on my shit? Do you know that half the archive channels that exist out there are monetized? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I don't even run ads on my own shit. I mean, if people are going to make bank yeah. off me, people are going to make bank off me. It's not that I'm going out to promote them making money. It's if it's a byproduct of it, it's a byproduct of it. I can't really fucking control that. I mean, I, I guess I don't understand what your contention here is. Is it you're upset that I didn't? protect people from Tonka or you're upset that Tonka made money because I somehow was on a show? I mean, like, what's the main issue for you? No, I'm asking you for your thoughts on these matters. And you're well, doing your best to give them. Thanks. Yeah, I already told you. Like, I, I am, again, I'm just looking to see shit get stirred up. That's what amuses me. I mean, people like so, to point out that... A, okay, go ahead. All right. Sorry for interrupting you there, buddy, but uh, if that's the case, if all you want to see is shit getting stirred up, why did you give V advice when those people were making shops of his family? Again, this would go back to what's more beneficial. I've told V this to his face. I told Zoom this, and I've mentioned this on stream twice now. This will be the third time. V was going around saying that a certain uh, lactating bovine image board was basically like troll ops center for the alt-right. That it was the only reason it was fucking with skeptics was purely political. And that was going to be the defense that they were going to use to brush off any criticism coming towards them. V was convinced of this. Other people were convinced of this. And in all honesty, and I meant it when I told it to him, and I really do believe it, this particular board is not politically motivated. So when I went on to talk to V about this, this is me explaining to him that you are being retarded. This isn't politics. This is troll culture. And you're an idiot for confusing the two. 
All right. But if so, I if, if I had allowed him to run with that narrative, we would be in a different position today than where we are right now. Probably a better one. You say you only want Kex, you only want the laws, the chaos, all of that shit. Then why are you fucking going on there and telling him that? If you're really about the chaos, you would let the trolls fuck with him. You say you don't have a political motive, but you intervened in a political matter. Because what the end result of that would be is anything from that point forward that anybody said about a Don Sargoon or SFO or any of these fucking people would instantly and forever be brushed aside as fucking all right. Look at that. Crowd and so, T was crowd and T was correct. So. Do, you see these all writers, do you see these all writers going after the skeptics? Crowd and T was 100 percent correct. That is what so the angle the, they were uh, going for was. You mean the exact same thing that all these East celebs, including Ralph, are doing associating anyone that was fucking with them or trolling them or talking shit on them or spreading, exposing them was just an anime avatar. La Ralph unironically just said we're a bunch of fucking pedophiles, Jim. Uh, that's what I mean by lack of consistency. You want to go well, after and the again, skeptics? I'm, I mean, I'm not going to jump into your, I'm not going to jump into your fight. Why am I going after the skeptics? No, that- no. I'm saying if you will go after them for those exact behaviors, why is it okay for people that help you facilitate your person, your cult, the personality and help you facilitate your shekel grubbing? Why is it okay for people that you set, hang around, but not okay for people you want to fuck with? Diogenes, I'm one dude. I don't have a forum to go to anymore where I've got 30 people helping me with, uh, you know, 24-hour ops. My amusement... You do have a forum, only, No, no. My amusement can only be, you know, pursued by me. I don't, I don't have people helping me. <laughs> so, I, mean, I, 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 can't, I, can't, I, I can't take on 40 different fucking groups at once. No, no. I, I, I disagree. I think you do have a forum helping you out. What forum would that be? I think it rhymes with Kiwi Farm. Kiwi Farms? I, I can tell you right now, I do not have a Kiwi Farms account. You don't have to have an account to read the threads, Jim. Why, yeah, I read the threads. I browse 8chan. I browse 4chan. I browse something awful. I browse a lot of fucking websites, yeah. to be honest with you. And listen, here, and listen here. I'm not going to try to come in here and make the claim that you know nothing on the internet can get appropriated or used or fucking uh, talked about elsewhere. Like when you make a video, sure, you might find a lot of information on a certain website. That's that's completely acceptable. You know, that's not fucking theft. But I have had fucking people come to me, or not to me directly, but I've seen it in the woodwork that you've taken posts from that website word for word, paragraph by paragraph, and used it in your videos without any sort of due credit. Is, I, is I, I literally true? just did. I, I literally just did two streams about. Yeah, I know. I watched. I, I watched. I, I read through the ops. Yeah, and I said, yeah. this is from Animal Control on Kiwi yeah. Farms. You can go yeah, see. I know. And when I, I talked about them. Nick Bates originally in the link description and stuff, there was a, a thread again to a lactating bovine image board that went to the thread. But the, the fact of the matter was the thread ended up cycling through. So the link was dead. But I, I have in the past talked about where I found stuff and even looking at the fur fake shit. I mean, if you want to be honest about it, who found it first and who got the word out there, give the credit to Encyclopedia Dramatica. I mean, that's that's odd guy. That's easy peasy was part of getting that shit out there. But I don't see anybody crediting him. Anyway, uh, another thing that I found interesting about that stream since I got you here, uh, why did you stop your stream ten minutes after your super cycles were disabled? I stopped my stream, or I stopped my stream about the part where they got into talking about raping children and shoving uh, fucking picks up dogs' asses that were covered in ants. It was a little bit much for me. Well, yeah. Yeah, I understand, and I'm not going to try to pretend like that couldn't be a possibility, but like, it just, I just find it unlikely. You were so full of fire, you were so ready to go, and you just so happened to run out of steam 10 minutes after your shekel stopped coming in. Like, can you understand why somebody might be a little cynical of that, you of all people? Well, I mean, you can be cynical of it. That's, that's fine by me. I don't, I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest with you. I, I can only tell you what I can tell you. I mean, there's only so much shit that you can read. There, there are two things that bother me. I mean, everybody likes to be like, oh, Jim's this nihilist. There are really two things that bother me. I don't like people hurting children, and I don't like people hurting things that are weaker than them. Usually, that, that refers to animals. Like, that, those are my two pet peeves. Those are the two things I legitimately don't, don't like, like in a community. You don't like people hurting people weaker than them. Is that what you said? Hurting things weaker than them. Yeah, animals. All right. Who's stronger, Jim? You, Mr. Mediker? Or Terry Davis. How did I hurt Terry Davis, Diogenes? You made a video on Terry Davis, who was the Terry relatively liked, unknown. And he watched and he liked, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, uh, you made that video. He was relatively unknown before. He was covered in mainstream uh, press he, on Vice and other places. Yeah, but I the mean, only in fact, I showed the article when I did the video. No, no, the only people that really fucking knew about that motherfucker was image board people. You know what I mean? 
And after that video comes out, and listen, I'm not trying to put blood on your fucking hands here, but I just don't think it's not a non-factor that after that video came out, you had a bunch of fucking autists from Discord, I believe, somewhere. You had well, autists, Diogenes, you I mean, if, if you want to talk somewhere. about Terry Davis getting fucked with, uh, you know, there are things that I left out of the video, but we can talk about them. I mean, if you're so yeah, concerned yeah. about Terry's well-being, yeah. why don't we talk about the people from the G board that were impersonating women and driving them crazy? Oh, yeah, and that's what I'm who would email about. them? Yeah. No, they were doing that. that yeah. before, they were doing that well before I ever did a video. That was a running joke where they would impersonate women and then pretend to come on to them, and he would get all fucked up over it, and it would drive yeah. him insane. And there's a reason I didn't mention it because I didn't want people fucking doing it to him. Right. The only thing yeah, that I showed, no. as far as impersonations went, was the uh, email he got. I think it was from uh, Linus Torvald. So. Yeah, because if you know how the story ends, a bunch of those autists uh, stole Bunny from him, and they ended up throwing himself in front of a train. He's dead now. And so, let me get this straight. I don't know if I heard you correctly. You said that you heard me you correctly, but if you want to try to no, pin no, no, Terry I, Davis getting hit by a train on me, you're really reaching. No, I, no, you're I really reaching. Hey, I already said specifically. I'm not trying to put blood in your hands, but let me ask you. You said. When I was making the video, or before, as I was making the video, I was already aware that people were fucking with him, pretending to be women. Is that what you said? You knew about people fucking with him before you made the video? Yeah, there were people that were fucking with him so, from Gboard, yeah. You were fuck but he was just a schizophrenic, dude. He was literally yeah. just a mentally unhinged man. Not like me, who's just a spurg and a retard. A schizophrenic. Yeah. Why? Anybody Why that if you knew people... If you knew people were fucking Anons with from an him, image board, Diogenes, him. how is this difficult for you to comprehend? Anons from an image board were doing this to him. This was talked about in Terry Davis' thread. But you still made the video. Huh? Yeah, I made the video, yes. You were picking on a guy weaker than you, weren't you, Jim? Oh, my God, you are such a disingenuous little faggot. Okay. I mean, if this is the attack you want to try to take, you spurgy little cunt, let's go for it. All right, Jim, let's let's get into uh, it. Why don't you tell I, me I about think, your I copyrighted memes? Really... Why don't you tell me about the meme master copyright owner? You know, oh, Donald hey, Trump already... is mine. No, no, tell me about that. Tell me about that, how you are the originator of that, and the image board stole it from you because you're so fucking clever. Hey, man, I don't know if you copywriting Kiwi Farms content is, uh, you know, that's uh, not Am, I, am I the one either. going around yelling at people saying, I came up with that new fag? Well, that's not what I fucking said. That's exactly anyway, what you said, bitch. That's exactly no, what you I said, said, word for word. Yeah, yes, I said, we came up with it. Yes, new fag, that was me. All right, I, first I, it was I. No, first it was I, now it's we. Is, You're is fucking I, changing is, it up is already. Is I a part of anyway. we? Dipshit, is I a part of we? Is that is that you know included in there? Are you considering yourself separate? Is it a royal well, we? What the fuck if are you we talking change, about? You monetize Kiwi Farm threads for pay pigs. And I baited you on Twitter so that we could talk about real issues here. Oh, you here. baited me so hard. You haven't made you yourself look like a complete asshat screaming at Ralph because you want attention. How dare you not know my name? What an attention whore. Hey, man. If I wasn't an attention I mean, whore... Listen to you, I mean, Mr. Old Fag, Mr. Anon. How do you not know my name? Just shut Jim, the fuck up. You're so desperate Jim, to be an e-celeb, Diogenes. It's painful. If I would, hey, if I wanted to be an e-celeb, I would have a fucking Streamlabs, all right? I would be sucking yeah, e-celeb. Yeah, you're just on the stream with the Ralph Streamlabs. House. Yeah, no, we'll take your word for it, Jim. I don't... I Hey, paid. Jim, Jim, oh, I don't no, no, care. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word hey. for it. You're not getting paid, Diogenes. Sure. I don't care about my E rep. All right. That's no, not yeah, something I don't care about my E rep. That's why I cried at Ralph because he didn't put my name in the title of the big stream. Oh, I beat no, you I to come on here because I wanted an audience of 7,000 people. I didn't cry. Oh, I thought poor it was Diogenes really wants to be shit. famous, but nobody will I make I thought it was fucking hilarious. But anyway, Jim, you are Sargon. All right. But instead of reading BBC articles, you read Keely Farms thread. Uh, it's really hot pants. Hey, I like it how, you know, it's funny that you're Besides like, Jim, Jim, furries are Jim, cool my, you know, I like how you're stuff. trying to take the, oh, Jim, we made the Donga thing. When you faggots will sit on your monetized stream talking about NPC memes and all the other shit. Do you, do you pay for Do you pay poll for that faggot? Do you, do you, go, to, my do you go to 4chan and say, here's some money? It's not we'll my fucking stream. Oh, do, do you go there, Mr. OC, do not steal? Do you go there and pay them for the memes you take? You fucking monetizing piece of shit. Hey, man, if you want to monetize other people's oh, content... Oh, no, no, it's, it's cool when you do it. It's cool when you do it, right, attention whore? When you want to be the... I easy. don't get any shuckles. Oh, you have to talk that to sounds like about the that. Of your people. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, I believe you. You totally don't get paid. You're anymore. a fucking scam artist, Jim. You don't even oh, make the oh, videos you fucking I totally, promise. I totally believe you. It's no wonder you hang out with charity scammers like Don if you're going to do all of your fucking pay No, Diogenes doesn't. the taste of life. Diogenes you like the taste of burnt rice, you fucking race mixer. When are you going to get off your channel, Jim? When are you going to gas your channel? Or do you why need the shekels for your little Elliot Roger? Why would I gas my channel? 
Why would I do that? What 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 would be the purpose? Oh, I don't know, man. You did it back in Gamergate. You claimed because yeah. everybody was a shill, but those same people that were shilling, you're buddying mm. up to now. I think it might have had something to do with the fact that you finger banged your fucking half a GF. Hey, I put on a great show. Right Five thousand people heard me make a woman come. Something you'll never do. <laughs> That's a good one. But anyway. I'm yeah, that silence is called reality crushing you. Yeah, no, yeah, that was a good one. What would you know about reality, man? You fucking jerked your spunk into a gay Indian's tent. And now you change your fucking tune acting like it was just Listen a Listen to you. You know, you fake it sound just like, okay, you want to be Mr. Old Fake? You know what you sound like? You sound like the PVCC. Mr. Old Fake, you know what that is, right? Mr. I'm the, the hardcore cow browser, right? You know what that is. You know what PVCC is, right? Quick, come on. What is it? I'm waiting for an answer, faggot. What is it? I don't know, man. Oh, you don't know? But you you know the Chan histories, right, old fag? You're not a fucking pretender, right? You know what the private villa of corrupted citizens is? The A-logs that thought they owned fucking Chris Chan and they were the ones that could only do the troll ops on him? That's what you guys are for Tonka. You get mad when anybody makes fun of Tonka because you think that's like some claimed territory. Oh, that's fuck, you know. You are misrepresenting me like no, a No, that's exactly what you are. Anybody talks about your no, no, precious no. little lol cow, you get all fucking angry about it. Hey, okay, hey, hey. I got no, you. I Mr. Clearly, old fake doesn't yeah. know what it is. Okay, you're so, no, you're no, so no. ancient. Such a Chan hey, user. Jim. Jim, I think you're getting a little scared, buddy. Maybe scared of what? Story, you're a fucking, fucking retard that's you. made yourself hey, like Jim. an asshole on a stream. We were having a conversation. Hey, 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 we were having a chat. We were, I was talking, then you were oh, talking. Oh, no, I know, I know. Right. You're, now you've gotten a little hot. Angle. You've gotten you're a little to take hot. It. You're trying to take any angle no, no, attack, and it's little, failing. You've it's gotten, failing miserably. You've gotten a little hot Because you're a color. pretender. You're a fucking pretender. You like to call other people you, Reddit. Hey. You are literally the definition of it. Oh, you're I'm an taking money from those Redditors, Oh, I'm an old fag. I make memes. I make memes to the image board steal them from me. How pathetic are you? How pathetic are you to try to steal from anons on an image board? You fucking pretentious hey, cunt. If, if you go back to 08, 010, and you watch your Jim 81 uh, Jim video on the pretender syndrome, and you look at the current climate here on YouTube, including you, it's the exact same fucking thing. You've got the people from Reddit, you've got people what? from Twitter. You've about got, what? What are hey, you talking hey, about? You just fucking cunt. I don't know hey, what I'll, your I'll problem be. is. Diogenes, I'll other than being angry, answer. you're not fucking famous. It's not about fame, Jim. Oh, I don't oh, want to be How famous. dare you not put my name? How dare you call me some dude? No, you gave it away with that. So try no, again. No, I fucking try I again, it Diogenes. Hilarious. Try I again. I thought it was funny. No, I thought it was didn't. funny. You got angry. You, me. you got angry because nobody's going to know your precious time, name. I, How dare you not put it in the title for people to know who I am? I'm important. I'm the meme meister. I created the memes that the anons and the image boards uses. Oh, it's copyrighted and trademarked by me, Diogenes, the master of bants. Jim, you steal all of your content from image boards and monetize, and then you try to bance me about it. Are you fucking retarded? I, I, I love how you try to act like you're some investigative detective. Listen, faggot, when have you ever talked about anything that you didn't good. read somewhere else first? Do you go out in real life and look for it, or do you read about things in news stories? No, I, don't, I already told you that reports? I don't give a fuck. If you read about something and make a video on it, fine. By no, all I, I'm not, I don't care. You're, you're, you're answering shit. about what you think I do. I'm asking you, faggot, are you an investigative reporter, or do you read about shit you talk about on the stream that you guys monetize that do you i read on, i don't know on twitter on other read. fucking image boards oh you just you know, find it you yourself read? you source it yourself you're a real big detective are you no man it's when you fucking make videos with other people's word for word posts and then try to act like it's your shit that's fucking well, line it up I don't line it how up much you try to fucking it go ahead go ahead line it up word for word you read articles just like sargon you okay. don't make original content Neither You're do fucking you, fake it. If I, if I, if I want to watch your stream, I can just read a poll thread, Diogenes. I could just shit. read a poll thread, Diogenes. That's your stream. You are, you are, you are regurgitating poll threads. You're not original, faggot. There's nothing in your head that I haven't read some anon and an, or an image board put out before. What, what do you offer? Yeah. What do you bring to the table? Your hot take you on pikes? Welcome to fucking four years play. ago. Yo, yeah, but did we claim that that was our OC? That's your OC, yeah. Uh, do you have? Neither can you back us, it up? Do you have proof? Hey, Jim, do you got more top chat Jim, proof for us? Jim, neither of us are original. You fucking moron. Oh, so then you're anyway, then you're yelling you at yourself. So everything you're bitching about at me is is the shit that applies to you. You're a e celeb, attention whoring, money whore that has no original comment. Uh, well, okay, you really lit me on fire. Jim, you really lit me on fire. You really lit me on fire. I'm a money whore. 
Post my stream labs right fucking now. Where's my what, stream? What lads? stream do you do every day? What what who do you stream with? It's not my fucking stream. Who do you lads. stream I do with? It for free. It's, who do you I stream do it for free, with? Free, who do you stream with? I do it for free. Who do you stream with, Diogenes? I do it for free. Uh huh. Yeah, no, that's convenient. I mean, you wouldn't believe but Ralph when he told you something, but I need to believe you when you tell me something. How are you different? What makes you special? Because faggot? I know that Ralph's a fucking bullshitter. I've seen. Oh, I know you're a bullshitter. I, I've there. seen the proof. There's a there's a Streamlabs link. See how it works? See how easy that is? Is that my fucking Streamlabs? Does it say fucking Diogenes? I, I don't know. Are you on the fucking stream every day? I don't know. I don't know what you guys do. Maybe I'm on the stream. Maybe your boyfriend just on the know. stream. Hey, if I'm on the fucking stream, just because he has a Streamlabs does not make me a fucking shaggle grubber. Can we agree on that? No, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, with maybe, with maybe you two get together for hot gay sex and he gives you $100 bills after every stream. I don't fucking know. No, he's a leaf and he's got a fucking Mormon for that. Personally, I, 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 I don't know. Him. I don't know. Why should I take your word for shit? You won't listen to Ralph when he tells you something, but you expect me to take you at your word for it. I can just throw out accusations too, right, bro? Right, you claim to leave Gamergate because of shills and shekel grubbers. Yeah, I, I left Gamergate because baggage. people were using Just a hashtag. Like we're using a hashtag to Just make money. Like Ralph. I last I checked, Ralph didn't have a GoFundMe to pay his rent because two Asian chicks threw him out in the street. Last I checked, Ralph didn't ask people to buy him a wheelchair lift up the stairs because Ralph he couldn't walk. Hey, Ralph was defending Dongo when he was doing all those gay ops. Dongo wasn't in was Gamergate. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just trying to draw parallels between his behavior now. Is, is, and Donga, is the kill stream like supported because it, it piggybacked off Gamergate? I, 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 these are two different things. He built a fundamental following back then. He came back and he filleted East Celeb Dick. Tonka did? Going, including your dick. Well, yeah. Tonka. No, I'm talking about Ralph. But Donga also, yes, filleted your dick for fucking shackles and views. That's what happened. Uh -huh. So uh, anybody that's nice to me or cordial with me on a stream is filleting my dick. So when I was on your stream and you guys were nice and cordial, you were sucking my cock to get famous. There. I, I was not there. Oh, all I your co-hosts were sucking my dick. Is that what you're saying? Jeff, Sydney, yeah, and Capistan? Maybe. I, I are are you going to go jump on their stream and call them dick-sucking East Love whore wannabes? You know what? I just might fucking do it. Now that are you really going to do that? Are you really? I, I seriously and Are might. you going to mean it? Are you going to mean it when you do it? Are you going to go what on there and tell them to get rid of the stream labs because that means they're whores? Are you going to do it there and have a principled stance? Are you going to tell them to stop talking hey, about hey, NPCs Jim, because they're mean? That you didn't you create? Fucking, Are you going to do that too? fucking talking about this like I have a problem with people monetizing shit on the internet. I don't. It's when it's not fucking original and you claim it is. That's all there fucking is to it. We don't claim to be original. We don't where, claim where, to be Okay, show fucking, me where the claim that uh, it's original. Leonardo but show me where the claim is that it's original. Where have I ever said I completely found this myself? Your fans seem to fucking think so. No, no. You show me. That's the accusation you're throwing out. Link me. This is all Jim, baby. This is all my deep thinking thoughts. You show me. Where is that? You need to tell me that you never fucking used these fucking posts and you never fucking uh, did it without giving credit. You always gave credit every time you use somebody else's word for word paragraph. It's, I'm not just talking I, I, I would, stealing I would link to it information. The, the time, yeah, yeah, I would. Uh, with Nick Bates, I linked to the cow thread. With the uh, fucking fur fags, I linked to the Kiwi Farms. Oh, I outright said Kiwi Farms. This is just really weird, petty shit that you seem to be upset about. And you're looking for like any angle of attack, but you're just making yourself look retarded because the majority of this shit applies to you. No, it doesn't, man. It, fucking, you just agreed with everything not, I said. No, I agree in the point that we're both not original. I can fucking tell you that. The difference is I don't fucking build gay ass cults of personality. I don't in, I build. So you're angry that I've got people that watch me. I'm fucking sorry, man. I'm sorry no, people like watching people my shit. Watch you. I'm sorry people my, like watching my shit. I, what can I tell you? doesn't fucking matter. Yours does. My what? Your E-Rep. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact, man, that you fucking help facilitate these stupid-ass cults of personality, these fucking internet welfare-ass motherfuckers. They have no opinions. They have no conviction. They have no nothing. They will literally... Take a yeah, and you want to see the them again. You want to see them taken down, just like the PVCC. It's this a loggery shit where it's your low cow and nobody can touch it. And you need to no, teach. No, that's not lessons. what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Ralph, I'm saying. Told Ralph no, thirty no, minutes Jim, ago that you Jim, were taking talk it down, and Jim, you didn't need Ralph's micro Jim, dick to do it. No, Jim. Jim, when you help fucking facilitate their cults of personality and their shekels, and you defend them or otherwise shield them, and then turn around and start shit talking. How have them I shielded them? them? How have I? When have I interceded and said, "Don't make you. fun of them"? I'm talking about failure. I'm talking about. When did I jump in and say, "Don't make fun of Tonka or failure"? When did I do that? 
No, your persona is based off of hating When did these I do that? It's a simple question. Out. When did I jump well, in and say, don't do I it? I didn't say that you did. I was talking about all of these other fucking faggots. Your persona is based off of hating these exact kinds of people, yet when it's convenient your for your fucking Your persona, dude, I change there. my persona every couple of fucking years. It's whatever. I like to fuck around with people on the internet. No, you caught uh, me on yeah, Medicare, like uh, Janice, you caught me on Medicare. They like to, you like to fuck with people on the internet. You like to fuck with e whores and fucking his self important faggots, except for when it makes you money. How is you it making me money? I never got paid for work. a single Kumite. I don't get paid for the Ralph retort. If I wanted to make money, I, said, I did my I own said, stream. I made two fucking points cult the personality and fucking shekels. You build a cult the personality to get those fucking shekels. You fucking network. Don't act like you're fucking ignorant to these things. I know I'm going to network with these people. Like, Tonka has <laughs> what, 10,000 subs? Ralph had. A couple thousand subs? You think if I'm going to network to make more money, I'm going to do it with people that are fucking one one hundredth of the sub base that I have? Does that make any sense to you? Them, you use them for cocks for fucking weeks. Weeks. Then all of a sudden, as soon as they fucking step out of the line, they step out of line for the, dim, the gym tribe. Then it's okay to attack them. If I seem to remember, the IBS apocalypse home. stream was set up because you guys were whining about wanting to yell at them. And I let you do that, didn't I? Man, you made a lot of fucking money doing it, did you? We had to clean up the fucking mess that you made because you wouldn't oh, get on. Oh, you had to clean. See, that's what, what I'm talking out. about. That's the a log shit I'm talking about. We had to clean up the mess. Oh my god, get over yourself, fucking Christ! Listen to what you Does say, you, man. You had to clean it up. Hey, hey, Jim, 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 janitor, listen Jim. to yourself. Yes, literally. You yeah, if you're going after pedophiles and septics. Yeah, if you want to go after fucking furries and septics, I consider you a janitor too, wouldn't you? Are you telling me that your huge subscriber count does not cause things to happen? That when you go on another stream, what have you, it does not help you in any way, shape, or form? Are you seriously fucking telling me that, dude? doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. I, I, again, I, I do what it's entertains me. But effect. you know what I don't do, Diogenes? I don't go on public streams vulnerable. and say things like, I have to clean up this mess. These people need to learn a lesson. We've got you to take them down. That on your last stream. Yeah. When it comes to the pedophiles, yeah, Diogenes. Yeah. When it comes to internet personalities, not so much. I mean, are you going to tell me that your problem with Tonka is more important than dealing with somebody that rapes fucking toddlers? Absolutely not. But let's. let's, let's then you have that. some perspective. How much, you know, how much do you know about Pizzagate? You follow that at all? Yes, I fight. People have asked me this before. Yeah, I said that uh, the Pizzagate thing seemed a little weird to me, but I found it pretty fucking strange that the owner would do one interview where he told people that the restaurant didn't have a basement and then do another interview a month later where he says they keep their supplies in the basement. <laughs> yeah, but you also understand that Pizzagate is a lot bigger than that one fucking place, right? Like that was just the mainstream sort of shit that they fucking covered it up with. I'm talking about the deep, dirty details, the pedestal leaks, the emails, the sacrificing a chicken to Malak in the backyard, the fucking all of it. Yes, I, I've read the pull threads. The yes, I've read all the shit you've read. Yes. All right. So do you have a plan to go after them? Do you want me to go after Podesta? Yeah. No, I don't have. He's not. Podesta is not on my list of things to do right now. Diogenes. All right. Who is more important? Who's more of a threat? You said donger pedophiles, obviously pedophiles, which is more of a threat. Furry pedophiles on some obscure fucking image board or the people that run this fucking planet that are raping and eating kids. Instead of shitting on fucking people. I don't, I don't, like, are you you're fucking with me, right? No, man, I seriously think that if you want to really be asking good, me this? Red pill. Yeah. <laughs> you're really asking me this. If you wanted to, Jim, you could be a hero. You could fucking red pill all the Redditors that watch your gay ass content. Tell them that Jews rape kids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, why don't I have, why don't you guys take them down? I mean, you took Tonka down, right? You guys had to clean that up. Why not go after Pedesta uh, we, next we, and show us how do, it's done? We, we do what we can. What, what, what do you mean you do what you can? I thought you guys were the golden boys. Go take them down. We, we've never claimed to be... Ops. Go for it. Go start. No, <laughs> See you tomorrow. Not me, not me or BYR or anybody has ever claimed to be some sort of influential figure, right? We're not claiming to be out there saving the <laughs> white race. Neither do I. Right? We're not fucking Joaquin. We're not fucking heel turn. We don't claim to be these fucking, oh my God, if everybody just listen to us, we'd be fucking great. We just talk about it. That's all we fucking do. And that's different than what I do, how? It's different targets, man. And I'm not trying to tell you that you should fucking compromise absolutely everything to fucking... This is so weird. I mean, you're coming on here and your, your basic complaints are, I don't like your audience. Um, I don't think you should talk I don't. here somewhere else. Why won't you go after Podesta? Like, I don't dance to your tune, bro. I, if you want to do shit, go do it. Nobody's stopping you.
I'm not getting in your way. I, I'm not. I haven't said anything not. negative about backyard radio. In fact, I, no, I know. And, and I said, I'd rather you not because. No, I know, and I fucking appreciate it. But look, here's the thing: I'm not here as backyard radio, right? This is all me. I don't want anybody thinking. I, I know, but I want you to understand: I'm not hindering you in your quest against Podesta. I'm not standing in your way. I'm not going to stop you. I will cheer you on. If you want to go do that, you've got my full support. All my little redditors, all my little redditors will cheer you on with me. The Sweetie Squad has got your back, Diogenes. Go take them. Would down. you ever fucking? Would you ever fucking consider? actually trying to spew a little bit truth to these faggots to watch your content because you know your paper what, what truth about it. do you want me to spew to them they're here to laugh at shit so what like what truth do you want you can fuck eat dog whistle all the fucking time why not just take but it no i mean what what truth i'm asking you openly what do you want me to talk about what is what bothers you that i'm not talking about remember i'm the guy that killed terry davis so i don't know if we want to have me promote never, something that'll make hey, it look bad jim, jim don't be fucking Unfair. I never said you killed Terry Davis. Oh no, I, I did. You if you I am responsible you had... for that train. All right, if you want to take the Sweetie Squad train that hit him. Uh, all right, if that's what the position you want to take, that's it fine. Is. I never accused you of killing somebody, Terry. Somebody Davis. needs to lock me up. The blood guess, is on my hands. I asked you <laughs> if you thought you had an influence on it, and as far as I'm aware, you said no. No, I, I think the majority of the people that were really hurting him and fucking him were the people that were doing the impersonation thing. Like Terry really wanted a girlfriend. Terry really wanted to connect with another woman. That's yeah, why. I I, that's like, why I ignored it. That's why I didn't bring it up because the last thing I wanted to do was be like, "This is what really fucks this guy up." Here you go, everybody. But that's what's fucked up, man. Like, if you knew the people were doing that to him, why'd make the video? Like, isn't there better targets like furry pedophiles? Why this schizophrenic dude that ain't hurting nobody? The series is called Internet Insanity. It deals with insane people on the internet. Right, and, you, and there's plenty of them, so why the fucking dude that has no control? Well, I'm sorry, Diogenes. I didn't have your fucking phone number on speed dial to check it ahead of time with you of whether or not that would be permissible. No, like, I no. a video on that. Your influence exposed people to it. Mean, this influence shit. I'm not, not the one going around calling myself an influencer, but you seem to keep you know, putting that out I there. Your influence, either. your audience. You just said you your influence. Yeah, yours. Yours, not mine. I've never claimed to have any fucking clout. I'm just a fucking nobody on the internet. That's how I like No, to no, I'm saying I'm not the one claiming I have influence. You're like giving me this credit for no, being no, like, no, 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 the kind no, of I, I, internet boogeyman. I, I'm it's, not. It's, you're not a boogeyman. You're not a bad dude, but fucking no. You're denying to me, to my face, that you have any fucking influence. Are you seriously telling me when you say something, when you do something, that you don't have some sort of, like, something resembling a Trump effect within this microcosm? Here, the here's, here's the reality. Um... You I'm don't claim that you have influence. I, I'm you answering your question. Here's, here's the reality. I'm not responsible for Gamergate. Um, the people that really projected that into the mainstream were anons from an image board. I didn't get Trump elected. Uh, the running joke is uh, the mysterious Jim is me. Obviously not. I didn't get him elected. Had nothing to do with that. I make videos on YouTube laughing about shit and occasionally talk about a sick fuck that really does get under my skin. That's about the majority of the stuff that I do. I don't have some great influence. I'm a fucking YouTuber. My argument and disagreement with Sargon was about this, where he thought that you could be so much more and use that influence to do shit. Stay in your lane. We make fucking videos people watch in their underwear when they're done with work at the end of the day. There's nothing special or unique or important about that. And I agree completely, man. But you and Sargon have a lot in common, man. But, okay, I guess I guess we do. All right. I mean, what do you want? You want me to run and make a subreddit? Like, if, if you don't like my shit, if you don't like my audience, that's fine. Okay. Some, Jim, basically, all I'm trying to say to you is that sometimes when you have the ear of that many people, bad things happen. And I just do think that sometimes you might want to think about how much influence you really have and the consequences of your actions. This uh, like, instead, of, instead of instead of picking on a schizophrenic, maybe skip on a guy that fucking deserves it. How was that video picking on him? I mean, did you watch it? Yeah, I've fucking seen. I've seen your, all of your fucking and, internet. And what, did, what did I say at the end of the video? I mean, what was the entire point of the video was, this is a guy that's uniquely talented. I really believe if Terry Davis didn't have schizophrenia, his name would be up there with uh, people like Wozniak. I know, and was a no, I know that it was a positive video, Jim. That's not my contention. I'm not trying to say you were out there shit talking him. No, I'm saying that you knew people were fucking with him beforehand. You might have tried to help him out by saying nice things about him. But did you never stop to think that maybe, just maybe, that would only amplify the problem? Some of the audience, they, your they audience, were going to continue doing what they here. were doing after 
a, a video or whether it was made or not as they were doing before. I don't control image boards. I'm not going to step in and tell Anon not to do what it wants to do. That's fucking retarded. Yeah, and I didn't tell you to fucking uh, preach to people either. All I said was, did, did you never stop to think that somebody from your audience might have been a part of the crew that fucking stole his money, that fucked with him, that ended in his death? Can, do you have any evidence for that? I don't, but did you never stop to think that it's a possibility? Did I don't you, claim you control it, but you can at least say that it was a is risk. Is this a what about is to a psycho? Are you really going with the what about is? What about Jim? What no, about what if, what if what if maybe maybe your no, audience? No, no, no. Can you what if say I've got a serial least. killer? What if I have a serial killer in my audience and they're stalking every fucking target, uh, every topic of every video I've ever done? No, can you say definitively that it was a risk exposing him to a psycho with half a million views? No, I'm not going to say shit. I think that's retarded. So you think that uh, exposing him to a half a million people no. in no way could have contributed to that? Nope. I sleep like a baby at night. I'm not trying to say that you should feel, fucking feel guilty about it, but the fact you never even considered the possibility is kind of fucked. No, like there are no. better targets out there than people with genuine mental disorders. Man. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. I, I'm glad. Okay, well, you've chastised me great. Guess what? I'm still going to do Internet Insanities. Have you ever considered covering that Spider-Man Elsa video bullshit? It's already been covered. It's already been dealt with. Oh, you did that? No, no. It's already been covered by other people with a bigger fucking uh, reach than me that actually got YouTube to do something about it. You're talking about all the perverted videos that they were targeting towards preteens that had weird sexual imagery in the thumbnails and behaviors between yeah, people it, in it costumes? Was, yeah, it, it was fucked up, man. I, oh. Yeah, people, it's already been dealt with. That's a rotten, that's a rotten taste in my mouth. But, all right, yeah. This is a really dumb argument. I mean, you know that, right? This is really stupid. And you really do come off like the PVCC. And it's really weird to me that you don't know what that is. Well, let me, let me fucking attest to that then. I don't believe that I fucking own any memes, all right? And I'm not mad at anybody for shit-talking people that I already shat talk. The only contention I had before, you know, when we were screaming at Ralph is the fact that the same people that were covering for his ass, helping him run his gay little ops, passing around his shadow ban list, all this fucking bullshit are now fucking shit-talking him just because you came in and said... Dong is a faggot. Okay. <laughs> like what, what answer do you want to that? Okay, and? I, I don't care what other people do. I do what I do. It's just a little gem against the world, Diogenes. I, I, I've, I've been very open with people. If you look at those early Kumites, what I mean, I told Tonka and Failure and uh, fucking Brittany Venti and all the other ones, I'm not your friend. We're not buddies. I mean, I was pretty fucking clear on that. I don't think Ralph thinks we're friends either. Right, Ralph? I, I, let me let him jump in here for a second. Ralph, are we best as friends? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think he on. went to sleep. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, let well, me switch back. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. No, we're not friends. You're just some dude who shows up on the show. There you go. Just another fucking guy on the internet. I do me. Oh, hey. does whatever Ralph is going to do. I, I can't. I don't By the way. Him. does whatever he wants. By the way, I, I have the shadow ban list, the uh, the text file here. It's real. One of those names, of course, being... Dodgeness, I never course. said there was no list. I said I never instituted a list. I have no nothing to do with anybody did, else's Ralph. list. That's not true. Listen, I, I'm not, the, I know, I know you're reaching there. for something else. Don't just, just continue getting blown out by Jim. It has nothing to do with me. Yeah, we all know you can't do it, buddy. Yes, yeah, so expert course, showing so. by you, Dodgers. <laughs> you really oh, killed it right oh, now. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, yeah, let's. We'll keep it just to us. I just wanted to do him a test. I've never told Ralph, "Hey, we're buddies." Um, and I think Ralph gets what I am. I'm just a guy on the internet that wants to be entertained, and I will watch a show that fucking entertains me. I've watched fucking Ice Poseidon. Have you seen that guy? <laughs> but he does some crazy shit that I find funny. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it? If it's entertaining to me, it's entertaining to me. I'm not going to be ashamed of it. Why would I give a shit? No, man. You can be entertained by whatever you want to be entertained by. But this whole fucking denial about building these gay-ass fucking cults of personality. It's, what, it's you, you, again, you're going to that, like, what cults of personality am I building? What are you talking about? Uh, are you besides, talking about me or other people? Or what, what do you mean? Besides, where are those videos you promised? Do you plan to do those? Well, no, I mean, it really, I'm asking you in a genuine question. Like, when you're talking about cults of personality, what are you talking about? Are you talking about people that watch my shit or other people? What do you mean? It's all the fucking same microcosm at this point, man. 
Where's the Badger you, Hunter video? If you Where's can't define it for me, video? it's not a really good criticism, is it, man? No, when you fucking have this insular little hug box and you have your sh- fucking lists. And if you, it was you, insular, you, we wouldn't be on here. I mean, you're the one that said you wanted to face me on the kill stream. No, the only I, reason that it isn't insular is because of you, Jim. That's what I'm saying. If it wasn't for you and me baiting you on Twitter, Ralph would never fucking allow See, anybody. This on. just makes it, but, it, it, but this this makes you look bad. All right, you're saying you you baited me to get. No, you, if, if we're gonna talk about egos and attention whoring and cults of personality and shit like that, you can't go around saying I baited you to get onto the stream and then get angry that people don't know your fucking name because it makes it look like you're indignant that you're not famous or important. No, I literally thought it was hilarious because Ralph's a faggot and I've blown him the fuck out every time we've talked. And he knew who I was. That's why I thought it was hilarious. You can't tell me what I'm angry at. All right. I'm just telling you how it looks to me. I mean, if you want to go with that, you can go with that. But I mean, it's just, it's not the a good look. To me, Jim, is that as much as I like you, I do think you're a bit of a fucking scam artist. And Okay. Like, how am I scamming leave, people? Leave. You fucking promise all this goddamn content and you never fucking deliver and you've still yeah, got I all these patrons up. I change out. up the videos, yeah. Uh, the patrons are aware of the delays because I tell them the video's delayed. All right, moving on to something different. And believe me, and believe me, man. Like, if I could fucking sit on my ass and have a bunch of retards throw money at me for nothing, I might do the same thing. That's not my contention. I thought you just told us you'd do it for free. I do do it for free. I said if, I would probably do it. Oh, so if, if you were talented yeah, enough to do it, you would be a whore. Okay, good to know. No, I'm saying that if somebody walked up to me and said, all right, here's this channel, take it. Fucking if somebody told you you had a sense of humor and a wit and insight, you would do it. I got you. No, I heard you. Well, ba- no, basically what I was trying to say is that I'm not fucking trying to tell you that you're a piece of shit just for making money on the internet. Uh-huh. Well, you're telling me a lot of things. It's, you're taking every swing you can, and it's just not really working out. So uh, I'm a scam well, artist. How, the, how am I a scam the, artist, Diogenes? Because you don't deliver on your fucking content, dude, and everything you uh-huh. do make is lazy and fucking stale. Okay, and you well, get lazier and lazier as you keep getting more and more shekels. You're no that's, longer the that's way ever based yeah. on troll. I mean, my, my videos are awful. Yeah. I mean, they you are. understand that Patreon, they're not held at gunpoint, right? Like, it's an open Patreon. They can they can pay and then they can decide, you know what? I don't like it. I'm not no, going to. And that's, w- that's what I was just trying to say is that, yeah, I don't blame you. If you, retards want to throw money at you, by all fucking means. That's not what I'm but saying. What admit. I'm saying is it, Patreons aren't held at gunpoint. So if they don't like the content, they don't have to pay. There's no paywall. You can watch my streams and my videos without paying a cent. There's no paywall that exists. The people that support me apparently do like my content. Otherwise, they wouldn't give me money. No, I know. I know. And all I'm trying so to that's ask not you, really do a scam, you really believe if, if people no, are you, paying me because they like the product they're getting? Yeah, and it, do you believe that your quality in content has degraded as you've gotten richer? No, I don't. I think my videos are pretty decent. So you've been like putting, they've always been pretty been, decent. You've been putting the exact amount... Same of effort into this work that you always have. Have you seen my really? early videos, Diogenes? Have you seen the SPAC stuff? Yeah. I mean, do, you, do you think that was high quality? Quite a bit of it. You think that's high quality? No, that was the, no, that was the charm. It wasn't about the production value or the bells and whistles. It was about, it was about that the, was the charm. I still use the same $20 the headset, Diogenes. I edit my shit in an old fucking version of Sony Vegas. Yeah, it's not. that's not my contention. It's not the production value or the bells and whistles. It's none of that, dude. It's you. It's your humor. It's your bants. It's your content. It's not the fucking same. Uh, well, I think my bants have been pretty good uh, today. I think you've kind of made yourself look like an idiot, to be honest with you. But I mean, that's biased because that's my own opinion, I suppose. I mean, I'm you sorry you don't like. Really I, I mean, I guess I'm sorry you don't like. I, I, I'm sorry you don't like my shit. You don't have to pay to watch it. You know. I mean, you could just watch it if you're so inclined. It's it's. I, I, I just, I just honestly, man, the reason that I and a lot of people like you is because you just seem to be honest. You use a Socratic method to get to the heart of an issue. But when you're called on something you, you don't want to fucking be called on, you devolve into that fucking hot under the collar Spurger. You're an idiot. Oh, you sound like an idiot. Fuck you. I don't care about my ego. <laughs> you I want you sound like you sound kind of stupid. I mean, you've said a lot of dumb shit today. Yeah. All right. Like what? Uh, well, what you know, from our initial from our initial Twitter conversation until now, the whole mame ownery shit. Uh, to not knowing what PVCC is when you try yeah. to claim that you're right. some old fan. You I mean, that's the easiest way to you this on thing. you, that you're full of shit. You're a pretender. If oh, I, I'm so old. I'm such an old fake, but you don't know what no, it is. Had, that's no, basic board history you. shit. If it's if basic board tweeted, history shit, Diogenes. If I had fucking tweeted you or Ralph and been like, hey, Jim, I have a problem. Can we discuss it on the kill stream? You really think that you would have responded to me? Or do you really think? You know, I guess you'll never know, will you? Because you didn't try, did you? I have tried, Jim. Okay, and you okay. never fucking responded to me. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, it's Ralph. world's smallest violin, I guess. I mean, you got your response today. Yeah, and how so, did I have to? So, do what it are you again? telling me that you're literally throwing a tantrum on Twitter because you want attention, and that doesn't make you look like a fucking retard? I wanted to ask you some. Yeah, I wanted to ask you some questions. You're you're you just came out and said you threw a tantrum on Twitter to get attention. Well, yeah, I baited you. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You look at the a loggy aspects of this. I don't know if that's. We, there's a difference between bait and tantruming. I mean, you came in immediately and started screaming at Ralph like high octaves. Yeah, because you because he had a, you had a screenshot you had a screenshot of we're both fucking, stupid Jim you, you, a screenshot of top chat I mean I've done videos on they're not necessarily lying to you you know I mean YouTube does fuck with comments in real time and on videos I mean did a video doing a side by side from two different accounts showing that two thousand six hundred comments just disappeared didn't even matter if they said anything offensive they just outright disappeared yeah, because I know those that. accounts I know that. That's are flagged. Talking. You can't. Fu There's no global bans on YouTube. All right, and for the like, you seriously, you're sitting here right now saying Ralph never had a shadow ban. This is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying your evidence was shit because it's top. Ch it's a screenshot of top chat. That's what I'm telling you. Do you have any other evidence? Do you have something that's better than that? I mean, if you can prove it, prove it, man. I'm not holding back. I'm not protecting Ralph. If you got something, drop it. Fuck. All right. Aqua didn't appear in live chat, for one. He was on the fucking list. It's no fucking coincidence. You can look at those fucking shots. You see live chat. Aqua's not fucking there. You gotta... I, I can't see this. You have to give it to Ralph so he can screen share it so I can see what you're talking about. Yeah, let me try to fucking pull it up. Gonna break up the dead air here because uh, it's not our fault. Oh yeah, duh. All you have to do is look at that fucking shot. You don't see Aqua in the fucking live chat. I don't know why the fuck you thought it was so fucking retarded. Dead air dodgeness. I think we have a new moniker for you, sir. <laughs> you looking for help on your Discord there, buddy? Maybe you should have let one of the uh, other guys come in your place. They probably could have done a little better. Kind of a sad display. Yeah, that's the new fucking channel. I'm talking about your old channel. <laughs> He's literally talking to people looking for a life lot right now. Oh, man. No, I fucking showed you the, sh the shot, and he's not in the live chat. It's the same fucking yeah. shot from before. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like we said, that pr doesn't prove anything. All right, man, whatever you say. You've got that fucking tranny in your admin block. I don't think it's too much of a stretch of the imagination. And I do know it from personal experience that me or anybody else never showed up in your chat before. You're here on the you show. The I showed list. the ban list that you claimed existed. There's nobody banned on, on either your channel. Fucking new on and guess what? Somebody yeah. sent me a screenshot too. And unlike your screenshot, my screenshot's actually live chat. And guess who fucking shows up in that? There's Aqua right there. You showed the I, old I have to wait for this screen. Uh, catch yeah. up so I can see this. There's Aqua. All right, hold on, let me full screen this. And I've showed, you know, the yeah, community I settings see. on both channels. Uh, so. Aqua testing. Is this from today? When is this from? This is from the stream today. And I pulled up the community settings on this channel. And while you guys were talking, I don't know if he saw this, I pulled up the other channel as well. So. Yeah, there were, doesn't there were some, the to be fair, there were it. some banned words on the other channel, and they were uh, doxes of, of certain individuals, so uh, that's true. There were a few banned words. There's no banned words even on this channel at all either, though, so. Aqua doesn't appear in the live chat. He only appears in the top, which is where he was posting. And this Wait, is the isn't that just the opposite, opposite of what you, isn't that the opposite of what you just said a couple of minutes ago? He had, no, he had live chat open so that he could see whether or not he would appear in the fucking chat. He posted he didn't appear in it. And that was on the Ralph Retort channel, the Ralph Retort channel, during the IBS days. And it's not just fucking him. It was all of us. It was me. It was fucking everybody. So Come you've on. literally got nothing, is what you're saying. I literally, there's literally proof right fucking there of Aqua being shadow banned. I mean, like, are we talking about the you were talking about the live chat screenshot they just put up? No, he's talking about the one we showed earlier. The top chat one. 
Yeah, the one that he sent us to show that. Does yeah, and show look anything. on the fucking live. Look on the live chat, not the top chat where Aqua posted. Look on the live chat. Where I mean, he we've been over this. The Dan's already answered you on this. I've said myself that I haven't banned anybody. I yeah, pulled up whatever you say. Both community whatever settings. Okay, well, I, I, mean, I don't know, man. Like yeah. I said, if you got evidence for it, drop it. I, you know, maybe Ralph it's is doing that. Right. I have no fucking yeah. clue. Yeah, it was right fucking there. You see Aqua posting and not showing up in the chat. And that's just one fucking dude out of everybody that was on that list. I have the fucking list right here. Okay. All right. All right. Was there was there anything else? Like, where does this conversation go, I guess? I have no idea. But you, you hang out with motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you nailed, you nailed it tonight, Dodgeness. Hey, Ralph, it doesn't matter what I came in here and said. You'd have the same you, opinion because you've... You well, just, look, you objectively speaking, I, I've pulled the chat. You've gotten destroyed. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't like you. I mean, that's clear. I don't, I don't see you. why would I like you, to be honest. But, uh, I mean, it's just obvious that you've gotten destroyed. People that speak truth tend to be hated, Ralph. You should oh, try yes, it. Yes, you're like Jesus Christ, I suppose. Yes. No, I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm just Jesus. an honest dude. That's yes. all there is to it. Unlike honest, the, honest. You came on here there. and done nothing but spout lies. But yes, you're you're the no, you're, you're the there, one Ralph. honest man Ralph. left on the internet. Okay, Ralph. okay. Ralph, let's be honest. You sat there and you covered for Donga twenty four seven. I think Why a better moniker for you would be family. dishonest Diogenes or dead air Diogenes. I can't really choose which one's better. Chat, I'll let you vote. Press one for dishonest Diogenes. Press two for dead air Diogenes. We'll see. We'll see what the chat says. I'm actually curious about this. Diogenes, why do you care if Rolf uh, went to bat for uh, Tonka or not? Like that, That's another weird thing I don't get, I guess. You've got no, to it's not about that, going, That's no, fine. It's, it's why do you care? It's literally not about going after him. It's when you helped cover for him. In the how, did second, Ralph, you know, how did Ralph cover for him? Were you there on the fucking apocalypse stream? Were you there? Dude, I, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. On. That whole thing was a shit show, and I You're pretty right. much tuned out after about an hour of screeching. <laughs> You're right, but no, he fucking sat there and covered for his ass. He covered for him before and after. It wasn't until you came along and said Dong is a faggot that he turned on him. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that anybody that attacks Dong is a fag because we did it first. I'm saying that if you fucking helped facilitate his bullshit, and you perpetuated his bullshit, and now you're turning on him because it's cool, it's trendy, and using other people's material for it, you're a faggot. That's literally it. Besides, do you care if Donga docks F back on the apocalypse stream? Did he dox Seth on the Apocalypse stream? The, the only dox that I saw go up was the Zoom video. And I told people when that got called out, I was going to stop the stream right there. And then Zoom said, I don't give a shit. And it was the video that had like his name in the title. Yeah, I just think it's really ironic the guy that convetches about doxing so much is engaged in that behavior. And well, I think it's even more hilarious people like Ralph or anybody would fucking cover for his ass. And they won't shit talk him for any of this shit until you say it's okay, Jim. And you deny that you have some cult of personality to want to sit here and act like you're just... I've I've already I've I've been on Ralph's stream before, and I I'm Why is certain, it? I, wait wait Why I'm certain it? Ralph can vouch for this, where I've make made jokes about the tenuous situation that Ralph is in right now, where I told him he had to be diplomatic and political, because he's on a fucking channel that is owned by fucking well, failure, I'll, and I'll, if I'll, if he were to go out and say something about Tonka, that would create an awkward situation. I've made that joke like three or four times. This is what, yeah, but he was covering for him way before he was on Failure's channel, dude. That's new, that's new fucking shit. I'm talking way back then up to now. Well, I, I don't know, started, maybe, maybe Ralph and Tonka are gay lovers. Maybe they've got a <laughs> thing going on that I'm unaware of. Like, do I don't know, really. Do you know something? Tonka has not been on this program until, I, I think the last time he was on was actually maybe the day of the, the IBS apocalypse. And I did go on some wrestling stream that he did a couple months ago. Other than that, we, we've had no... Oh, I did go on the Kumite the day after the Monday Matt stuff. So that's the only interactions we've had on stream since May. So, I, I don't All right, know. Ralph, let me ask you, man, oh, man, oh, why did you cover for him? Why did you censor people he didn't like? Why I didn't did you censor people anybody. Why did you your fucking channel? I didn't That's censor bullshit, anybody. Ralph. It's just not true, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like if, you if, you're asking, like if you're asking, if you're asking why I don't have a, like a raging hate against Tonka, well, I mean, he no, helped, he helped, he helped facilitate. Hey, Listen, care. last night I put some criticisms out about Tonka. 
Oh, I mean, last I don't, night after Daddy Jim gave you the okay. And last week, too. Now, nothing. if you're asking me, do I say, oh, he needs to be driven off the internet or anything like that? No. I mean, he's he helped facilitate getting no, me on I, this I, channel. I Why would I, I hate the guy? Why would I hate the guy? Do I, I think he's made some mistakes? Yes. Several. Several. Literally, I don't give a fuck about what you feel about Donga. All right? You can love him. Then hate what him. are you asking me? Like, you're... <laughs> No, I'm telling you that you are a faggot for turning on him the second Jim says it's okay when you. I would first off, I would dispute that I have so quote unquote turned on him. I've, also, I've, oh, yeah, I've oh, aired yeah, out oh, some yeah. criticisms, yes, but uh, you know. Another fucking thing, Jim. Why did you say you saw Joaquin's face when you didn't? I did. He went on fucking webcam for me and talked before the stream. He, he literally told me, "I want to do a stream privately with you before we go on air." to show you what I look like because these guys are going to bring up information and I guarantee you it's wrong. That's bullshit. That's, That's bullshit. absolutely true. Absolutely 100 fucking percent true. I have zero <laughs> reason to lie about it. And by the way, he did the same thing to me too. I saw him on camera. So Yeah, because you guys are such renowned for your honesty, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you just came on here and said lie after lie, but calling us dishonest. I... Yeah, one hundred percent saw him on what? camera, and he showed his ID. It was the same person. It's, it's uh, now is that a thousand? Would I, you know, would I put my? Dollar, dude. I would I put? Fuck, but I, I, no, I, you brought it up. You brought it up. Dodge this. Would I put my nutsack on the line and say he could chop it off if it absolutely wasn't him? No, yeah, but I know he got on camera and he spoke. Unless he's got some no, hologram technology you. that I'm not aware no, of. No, no. In a few fucking days at most, people will have the fucking evidence compiled of you being a censoring faggot and you will look like a huge fucking dick. Okay, so you may as well, well apologize for it now. No, I'm not apologizing like for lies. Dick, even though no, yours is only wrong. I'm not apologizing for for lies that you've told. Never. Never will. Never never gonna happen. Matter All right, of fact, man. Well, we'll see, we'll see how fucking okay. much you love that little story that you're telling okay. here. Okay. All right. Good luck. Kick it to your Discord right. buddies. Maybe they'll come up with a more yeah. convincing Photoshop. Oh, it's after a photo all, shop after all, they're known, to, rich. they're known to they're known to be spicks. They man, do the jobs. Man, they hey, do they hey, do the jobs hey, Americans don't want to do, hey, Dodgeness. So maybe maybe you'll hey, have better luck with them. Hey, hey, Vamp Hello? Candy spread that docs far uh, the the shadow ban list far and wide, and she's still a fucking admin in here. Now you're saying it's a Photoshop. That's the weakest fucking. Shit. I That's didn't say that one was a Photoshop. Hey, I said that you're gonna kick it to your friends to try to make shit up because you've got nothing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna Photoshop shit. Really? That's what you fucking got. It's fake because it could be photoshopped. I, I mean, literally just said that image was not a photoshop. It was on top chat because your friend... Yeah, He's I saying that you it. need to photoshop something because what you actually brought proves nothing and you look like an idiot. So maybe go cook up some evidence and you'd look a little better. That's what he's saying. Not that that was a photoshop. Yeah, right. You delete, you unban everybody to erase the evidence, and now you're trying to tell me that I'm gonna Photoshop shit. No, it's out. Dunga Hotchinese no understand yeah. logic. <laughs> you could have Dunga just gotten rid of him. No movie. face, man. <laughs> Should a log. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, I think it, that's another fucking thing, man. You weren't Donga posting until Jim said it was cool. You were a fucking faggot and a joke. And as soon as he decides well, that you're I boring, mean, your audience okay, is going to shrivel up like okay. your one inch dick. And you're right. going to be nothing. Okay, get you're mad again. Get them. mad again. No. I will have still succeeded beyond your you wildest always, expectations, you sir. Have always, you have always been a talentless. This could disappear fuck. tomorrow. You're absolutely correct. You I've never said anything that, otherwise. You but that, you I, I will you still have done more than you've ever done. I will still, I will still have done more than you've ever done. Dodges, I, I know, I know you're reaching right now, man. It's just sad. It's sad. It's sad. You're the saddest motherfucker. It's sad, Dodges. You're a packy fucking race mixing degenerate. That's true. I'm a race mixer. It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother me at all. I race mix proudly. Yes, I don't care. And you love packy niggers. Yeah, holy shit! It's all coming together. I love Asian pussy. I've always been open. That's not, that's not a secret. Right. That's been that's been consistent for a decade. Everybody knows. No, I'm not like trying Asian to say pussy. you haven't been consistent, but what I am saying, Jim, is that like if you have a chick, uh, I mean a a kid. Is with this that breaking girl, news? Like, like I don't I understand. Don't, this is well. Apparently, shut the fuck up, Ralph. Shut the fuck up. But anyway, you're gonna be making a video on that fucking kid. I swear to God, he's gonna be worse. Than oh, I'm gonna God. train him to be a hunter killer. You're, uh, he's gonna be the most supreme gentleman. So, like, are you going to move out into the fucking woods? No, Diogenes, here's my plan. I'm going to make a couple Elliot Rogers, and we're going to go clean up the mess that you <laughs> left in Tonka. 
We're going to shut down the Indian <laughs> once and for all. Hardcore park motherfucker be... right in real life. No, There's not a committee no. wrestle wrestling. It's going to be full <laughs> Elliot Rogers. Hey, man. It's like I said. I never had a fucking problem with anybody going at Dung. It's just people that covered for him beforehand now doing it and pretending like they aren't kikes. That's literally my only contention. You can keep saying that I have a problem with that. I don't. Diogenes, this entire stream true. are Jews yelling at each other about who's the most Israeli. All right, let's be honest. Okay. It's no, a bunch I of Jews sitting here. around arguing about who's more Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest no, fucking argument I've ever been a part no, of. Like, I, I actually agree, but like, here's the thing. I don't give a fuck. I didn't come in here with any delusions that I was going to come in here and be like, oh, BTF food. I care about my ESO, my E-Rep. I'm an ESO rep. I, I, again, I, I disagree. Just to ask you some fucking you wouldn't have gotten, yeah, but I disagree. I think you wouldn't have gotten upset about him just saying, calling you literally who if it didn't bother no, you. I, I, you can say I was upset, but I thought it was funny. Yeah, you, I didn't sound, you, you didn't sound like you were laughing when he brought it up. <laughs> hey, hey, Jim, he was screaming at me. I screamed back. I don't Dungeons, know where you literally came in. Yeah. <laughs> you jumped in and screamed at him and said you wanted to go with him first. That's why he muted. So yeah. you guys didn't have your I, thing. I, I yeah, was I perfectly fuck. willing to have a regular conversation with you, sir. And I like how you alternate between just outraged screaming and then, you know, talking like, let's be, you know, let's just be reasonable. I was perfectly willing to be reasonable with you this whole time. I don't. I don't agree. I, okay, I really don't well, agree. you came Second, in screaming I, no, at my, you no, know, be honest. Scream my ear no, off. You started screaming first. The That's untrue. That bring out the fuck. People the can go back and look. List, you were fucking convention. That's wrong, second dude. You came in here, literally started screaming at me right from the top of the show. No, I said, Ralph, I got some questions for you. Sure, I might have been raised my voice a little bit, but I wasn't fucking yelling at you. Okay, well, people can go back and make up their own mind on this. I think that's just another in the long litany of, of mistruths. That right, are, so are we good here? I got an army of Elliots to make. Like, <laughs> <laughs> are we um, I don't know. Do you, do you have anything else, Dogenous? Or... Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure you have the party shot. Up, up, up. I don't know what he's going to do there. We'll have to take him off. He was probably going to play something. But I'm sorry. Well, is he is he is he gone? I took him out. I took him out. Let's let's see. Or do you, did you have something to say or are you going to try to play No, what, I didn't. What happened? Why you move? Okay, go ahead. I was just I was just for safety. I thought you were about to uh try to uh, get us a strike. Yeah, you, yeah, you were afraid that I was going to bring my uh, anime avatar pedophiles on to No, nah, I'm just not going to let you take down the stream. Go ahead. All right, yeah. I did have one thing. Uh, I honestly think that the Spider Elsa Man videos will ring down in history and have more effect on society than this entire microcosm. Uh, there's always bigger fish in the sea. Everything fades into irrelevancy after long enough. And we're all just dust in the fucking wind, man. Okay, yeah, YouTube's gay. Nobody's going to remember any of this shit in fucking five years. I agree. And, and let's, let's thank God for that, will we? Okay, okay. Inshallah, brother. <laughs> Thank, Shout you. Lay. Thank you, Dodgers. I, I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Uh, Jim? Dip, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you as well, Jim. I don't know what to say about that conversation. Oh, well, that was that was fun. I'm sure your audience enjoyed that. What do you... <laughs> uh, they seem to. I mean, we were... Well, you're sitting at almost eight Sargons right now, so yeah. they must have liked it. Yeah, we just set the, the kill stream viewership record, actually, so... Okay. Well, hey, uh, you know, I've got people to kill. And Thanks. Elliot's your, your check's and in the mail, Jim. I'll, I'll make sure you get your portion from the... Uh... Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, well, that was, uh, that was a fun hour and a half. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that was that was comedy. Jim's never been, been paid yeah. for his appearance. Just make sure you name your uh, weapon. Don't fly. Don't fly. <laughs> Just make sure you name the weapons Deep Poe in Outer Heaven after Ralph. Yeah, Ralph is lying. He's all, he's actually three foot two, and he pays me every weekend. I, you know, I would disagree. I mean, he tried to make it seem like, oh, if Jim stops paying attention, your your channel's going to wither and die. You've got people like Keemstar watching. The dude's got like two and a half million subs. I could fuck off tomorrow and disappear, and you'd still have a show. You've got big people watching your shit. <laughs> me being around doesn't make a fucking difference. Well, we definitely appreciate you coming on. Oh, well, I have fun. Like I said, I just I just want to hear people yell. I like spring. I don't give two fucks if that bothers people. I want some good old-fashioned yelling on the internet. That's always fun. Well, we got that, at least at the beginning. We got some good old-fashioned yelling. So. All right. Well, you enjoy the rest of the show, fellas. Thank you, sir. Appreciate All right. it. All right. Have a good one. What's Later. up, uh, Jim? How's it going, man? Oh, hello. Hey, what's hey, up? What's up? Oh, oh, man. Hey, man. 
Okay, hold on. Hold on. I, I, fit, Ralph, Ralph muted. muted. Yeah, I, yeah I can't. I can't hear anybody else. Okay, yeah. it should be. It should be okay now. Should be okay. There we now. go. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I, I got uh, a furry that uh, <laughs> kept escalating things. So uh, he he made it seem like he you know he was like I. So he's like, why don't you settle it on the kill stream? And he's like, well, Jim won't even talk to me. So I was like, all right, you know, I asked, and uh, you said yes. So. So what's the backstory on this exactly? Let me give you the backstory on this. So if you look at my timeline, that uh, YouTube comment was by this guy. The one where it's, oh, Jim's a pedophile that Sargon favorited. Oh, yeah, we did show that earlier, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then somebody else shot me over something from his Twitter account where he's just going on, like, 30 tweets screaming about me being a, a child molester. So, I, I, you know, I looked at his Twitter and I looked at his YouTube, and it's the same username. So I Googled it, and I found a Fur Affinity account. And on the Fur Affinity account, their pictures are like fucking Shota, uh, basically like uh, cub porn. So like pictures of very young furries, you know, and thongs and shit, riding bananas and sucking on pacifiers and shit like that. Their pictures like tails bent over, that kind of stuff. Yeah, get wholesome. <laughs> so he seemed he get, he got really upset once I once I found that, and then he's like, "Oh, well, you're doxing me." And then he started screaming, "You need to dox yourself so we can be sure you're not on the sex offender registry." Yeah. Um. Why Why would Sargon favor a comment like that? I love the you know it was a joke right earlier today, uh, yeah, and, and yeah, other yeah. people were saying it. Like a lot of people were saying, oh, I wonder if uh, uh, Sargon tribe and Furry tribe will make an alliance. Well, here we go. <laughs> He's oh, so man. dumb. Sargon is so dumb. He tries that black PR shit, and it literally is pulled on him three days later, and he still is oblivious to. You know, what I mean, it's like it's it. I don't know how somebody can be so stupid. Uh, but if you, his name on Twitter, Ralph, if you want to try to get a hold of him, is uh, Carusi. Carusi, I guess. Yeah, K O R U S I. I have DM'd them already with a link to the Discord and tell told them to tell me their name on the Discord. I, if that right. might be them, actually. Oh, here we go. Yeah, because he, you know, he blocked me initially, and then he unblocked me. Oh yeah, I do. I see them. Carusi, nineteen eighty four. Oh, yeah. here we go. It's a bond to me, but. Here we go. Um, all right, let me turn them down just a little bit. All right, unexpected. This is gonna be good. I said it keeps falling in our laps. What can what can you do? Um, Carusi, nineteen eighty five. You should unmute yourself. You don't. Okay. Uh, can you hear us? I can hear you fine. Okay, here we go. You said uh, Medicare wouldn't talk to you. Well, here he is. Here we are. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. I can hear you fine. Okay. So uh, what's with spazzing out and screaming that I'm a pedophile? And then you've got a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas. No. Can you explain to me for just a moment why you have 500 people messaging me at the same time? I, just I, do I, me I, that favor and answer that. I'll be happy to answer your oh, question. Okay. Well, that'd be fantastic, girl. Um, if you look at my timeline, I'm not talking to anybody else but you. You've been the only person I've been talking to for the last hour. So I don't I know how I got anybody. Listening. I don't know how I got anybody to to do anything to you. I'm not stupid. Nobody is that. I, I don't know if we could. I don't you know if we could say that. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if a smart person would go around calling somebody a pedophile and they've got pictures of cubs riding bananas on their fur affinity. You are. You are a pedophile. Are you not? No, I'm not. I don't Am have I a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas like you do, sir. Okay. Are you sure? Do you not? Do Am I not sure that I don't things? have a fur affinity with cubs riding bananas? Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty sure on that. I see. Um. So you're not on the sex sexual predator list. Is that right? That would be correct. How do I know? I don't know. Are you telepathic? Are you law enforcement? Like I don't know. How would you know? I don't know because I don't know your real name. What's your real name? Oh, jeez. I, I let me let me jump out there and tell it to you. <laughs> this is a very smart strategy. You've learned well from the stepfather. I don't call him the stepfather because I am not a sycophant like you. You're not and a sycophant. You just go around, you know, sucking Sargon's cock. There, I'm not spamming you. There I is a reason. There is a reason that I created this account specifically so that you could not do this to me. 
So could you stop? Do, do what to you? Respond to you when you say stupid shit? Well, that's going to be difficult on the internet for you if that's if you think special accounts exist where people aren't going to call you retarded for acting retarded. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're calling somebody a pedophile when you have pictures of cubs riding bananas on your fur affinity. Yeah, where do you get the pedophile thing from exactly? I, I mean, I hate to jump in. I know you guys are having a uh, discussion. I was just talking with him. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? Oh, no, this has turned out well for you. I think this is a good idea. I think this this has played out spectacularly, really. This has been right up there. I mean, this is not as good right, as the Gate 2, but it's, it's close bully, out there. You have a bully cabal that you have created. A bully cabal. Oh, bully cabal. <laughs> <laughs> outer heaven of the squad. What else would you call it? Uh, I'd call it the sweet squad. We spread you, hugs you, and love across the internet. Bullshit. You know that's not true. You know what you're doing. What am I, name the bully. You know, name the bully for a <laughs> Bully Hunter will help you. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh... Uh, Darty is currently randomly messaging me bullshit. Have to block his ass. Okay, I don't know who uh, Darty is. I don't either. No. Well, he works for you. He works. Well, for I've, you. I've got many mercenaries in my outer heaven. I mean, I do employ a lot of sweeties in my sweetie squad. Do you condemn their actions? I do not condemn any actions. Okay, so then you are basically the leader of a bully cabal. You well, if I were to disavow or avow any actions, that would mean I'm taking responsibility <laughs> for them. But since they're free agents working under their own will, I can't really pass judgment on what they do or don't do, can I? You're a bully. That's how bullies work, and you know that's how bullies well, work? Bullies work by letting I people express their free will? That's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh, how disingenuous of you. You know you're doing you know you're a bully because you've probably been a bully your entire life and who am i bullying exactly oh wait the guy with the cub porn on his fur affinity account i mean here's the question is it illegal even if i do have which by the way if you didn't know fur affinity that pretty much bans uh cub Born like a dragon. I did, not, I did not know that. No, I didn't. I'm not. Well, there. it's a picture of a youngish. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a picture of a. I'll try to describe it as best I can. It's a picture of a youngish. I I'm guessing a wolf and a speedo riding a banana, sucking a lollipop with what looks like either okay. lube or a baby bottle behind him, uh, behind his right foot. I mean, that's about the best description I could give of it. Okay. And is it illegal? Is it uh, is it illegal to? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean. How, how are we? I don't know if anybody's made a ruling about Cubs riding bananas in the U.S. courts. I we tell have you. precedent okay. on this. Yes. So basically, what you're saying is you're going after me for uh, what you have perceived to be just this thing that you don't like because you have this crusade against crusade. furries. In My fact, bully crusade. <laughs> My bully cabal crusade. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you have a crusade against furries right now. I understand that. I do. And this isn't about being a furry. What uh, when, you, when you say against furries, what furries are we talking about? I mean, what, what is my crusade against, since you seem to be so familiar with it? At this point, like you have created a witch. A witch hunt for what, though, is what I'm asking. What, what am I going after? Well, I found it odd that you are so good at finding uh, pedophiles, which was why I called you a pedophile. It was because it was funny, because who better to find a pedophile than someone with a guilty conscience? Well, a lot, a lot of a lot of yucks in there, but uh, I'm not the one that leaked the logs of the uh, Kiro stuff, uh, and I'm not the one that posted them. I merely read them because I found them to be uh, horrendous. Logs of what? I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Well, you said I'm leading a witch hunt, and we're talking about the Kiro leaks in which people were decapitating puppies and fucking their skulls and talking about molesting yeah, preteens. That has nothing to do with me. That has nothing to do with me. Why, why am I in this? 
you just said I'm leading a furry witch hunt, but you you keep neglecting to bring up the fact that the yeah, furries you, we're talking about molest eat. children you and kill animals for their sex uh, pleasure. Uh, that's nice. You caught that's me that's in that wide net. You have where, made where it did I, your where mission. Did, to where did I make it? My, you're the one running around calling me a pedophile, and then you get angry when I find out you've got cub porn on your fur affinity. Well, hey, it's funny because to me. It's funny. it's funny to me that the guy that calls me a pedophile turns out to have a bunch of cub porn on his fur affinity. I guess so we're, we're just both, laughing. We're, 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 both we're both laughing. Well, I'm very much laughing. Yeah, my, my troll pleasure. cabal, my bully brigade, is laughing right now. Yes. Yes. I mean, they they really are. They are enjoying what they're doing to me because they've got nothing better to do. Because they enjoy <laughs> well, yeah, that, I guess that's what that's what uh, bully brigades and trolls would do. Yeah, I suppose they kill them time on a, a, a new evening. A bully brigade, you admit that you have created a bully brigade. You are bullying people because it's funny to you. I, I'm, I'm bullying you people an ass. because it's funny to me. I, I, again, you keep neglecting the key point of people decapitating puppies and fucking their skulls and molesting little children. That has nothing to do with me. Why? Why has that got anything to do with me? Explain. What? Why would you call it a free witch? Why would you call it a free witch hunt then? If that's what what we're discussing, why would you call that a free witch hunt? Well, you're you're the dude screaming pedophile at people with cum porn on your fur affinity, dum dum. Think it through. Are you stupid? <laughs> How dumb are you? God, why are why are furries so fucking stupid? It's like a, it's is it something in the water when you guys go to conventions? Is, does somebody lace that shit? What's going on? Same thing over and over again ad nauseum because they think it's funny. Well, you're the one that's the you master you? yuckster. You're the master yuckster, right, Mister Super Humor? I mean, if you if you don't think that's funny, why did you do that all day today? I'm sorry. What did you say? I, I said you're the master yuckster, Mr. Comedian. If you don't think it's funny to repeat something ad nauseum, why did you do it all day today? How did you know? Because people sent me screen caps saying, look at this furry, he's a retard. Why do you think they did that? Because you're a retarded furry. No, why do you think they did that? They are loyal to you. They are your loyal Gestapo. You know that. My Gestapo. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> are you are you are you handicapped? Am I speaking to somebody that has all their mental faculties? I don't know, am I? I'm asking you. Okay, can you self-identify? <laughs> do you play with trains? Do you like Legos? I, do you? Like, I mean, why are you trying to make me out to be stupid? You're doing a great job of making yourself out to be stupid all by yourself. I, I don't know if being sa you know, sassy gay when you get called out for being a degenerate is going to work well for you here tonight. I'm the de degenerate. We don't know anything about you. We, 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 don't we know, know about, about you, you though, don't we? Whether you use the same username on your fur affinity with the cub porn on it. Prove that it's me. Prove that it's you, the account that has your avatar on it, the same username on it. Now you're going to go with it's, it's, now you're going to go and change tactics and be like, no, that's not me. You're getting a little desperate here. No, I just wanted to find out exactly how much information you had. Why? It's your uh, avatar. It's your username. It's my account. It is your it account. It is my you're, account. Yeah. So then why are you asking me to prove it if you're literally admitting it's yours? Because you went to the trouble. Why did you go to the trouble? Why did your the Gestapo go to the trouble? Of, if the it the wasn't trouble you? of Googling your username. The trouble of Googling uh -huh. your username? Really? I mean, that is very difficult. That's, I mean, that takes, it's an arduous journey. That is journey. pretty stalkerish. You realize oh, that, oh, it's right? Super, it's super yeah. arduous. It's very that's, difficult that's to take a username, weird. put it into a Google search engine, and hit enter. Why? I sprained Why? my wrist. It was a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. I think I need to ice it. Maybe get some medical attention from why? from this long day's work of Googling your name by hitting enter. But why? Why? Why would I look at your why? username? Because you're a retarded you because why? you're a retarded furry, and it turns out what do you know, shocker, the thing you're trying to accuse other people of seems like maybe applies to you. Wow, how shocking is that?
Does it apply to me? I, that one I'm not letting you pin on me because that's not true. I, I'm not the dude with the fur affinity with the cubs riding bananas and sucking on lollipops. That's you, champ. I mean, like, I mean, so so to be fair, didn't you accuse him of being a pedophile? You understand why he might look you up. If somebody accused me of being a pedophile, I'd probably, I'd probably give him a look see myself. Not really, because Wait, what? who am I to him? Oh, Who's I see. You're, say, you're, just, you're just the innocent little guy fighting against the powers that be. A little bit, really. I mean, because oh, you're so stupid. Like, who this am is I? painful. God, I can tell why you're a Sargon fan. I mean, it's a pretty serious allegation. No, I can imagine what somebody might, you know, look into the person making such an allegation. None of us know. None of us fucking know, do we? We don't know because we don't know who this guy is. This guy is leading you around. You have no idea who he is, and you follow him blindly. Ralph is my second in command. Blind. <laughs> blind, <drug rat. laughs> Ralph, I don't have any problem with you. I don't know you. I've 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 heard of you, obviously. I mean. I don't Other know than you when you all I know is you started you, stabbing Sargon in the back the moment he got off your stream. That was fucking low, dude. I didn't. I wouldn't call what I did. I mean, I said it was retarded. I pretty much said that in a nice way while he was here. I was just playing my host role, and then I put on. I put on my analyst. Was, I put on my analyst hat after he left. Uh, I wanted to make sure he had a fair hearing while he was on the program, and then I gave my. You know, full view, but I was. And if you can that, tell by the questions I was asking, I pretty much said it was stupid already. But I mean, absolutely, he was an idiot for even coming to you guys because this is the kind of group of people that he is trying to convince to do something that is like kind of big picture. It is. It was fucking stupid. It was fucking stupid. Ralph, I mean, you should listen to him. He, he's, he is right. I mean, we should listen to the retarded furry that's into cub porn. Clearly, that's the audience Sargon needs to appeal to to accomplish his Gamergate 2. Uh, he can have them. No, oh, I think he's going to save the West this time, guys. We're going to look foolish in a week, I'm telling you. His new slogan is going to be, Yif the West. Yif it, yif it, yif it to freedom. So, what? So okay, so you weren't happy with how the, how the stream went. You got in his comments and... What was your quote exactly? I'll have to pull it back up. Uh, you said, true, but at least he isn't a pedophile like Jim. Now, I don't know the he you're refu referring to. Was that me or someone else? But um, No, that was in reply about Matt. Like, they took the... I was actually making a joke about how the fact... Well, at least Matt isn't a pedophile. Like, they were saying Matt was, like, all... He was, a, he was the guy that... Uh, took down the streams and everything like that. He, he, but like, who says that? Why are you so mad? Like you're, you're accusing. I mean, it's a very serious allegation to just fly out and say somebody's a pedophile. Because I don't know who this motherfucker is. And now is. you're talking about. <laughs> I, and now you're talking about. I'm a. You know, you're saying. You know, you're talking in your voice. You're saying I'm a nobody. Uh, this, that, and the other. Well, you made a serious accusation. Sar yeah. Sargon fucking favorited it. I mean, you you did this to yourself, and then you repeated it on this show. You said it on Twitter. It was because Sargon favored it. Oh, right, because Sargon. Well, he might not have seen it. He might not have seen it otherwise. I don't know. Um, but that that probably is why. That's true. That's probably why Jim, because Jim has such his fucking heart on for Sargon. Oh my God, he is such a fucking spaz. What I'm getting he's at is spaz. you're, you're talking Actually, about oh people are I, bullying I really you, but you did this to yourself, me. Ralph. Why don't you read through some of the gems that this retard has tweeted out over the last okay. hour? Like he started yeah, an you he started an op to dox me. Picture. He started an op to dox me. Oh, the Gasapos after yes. me. Oh, mentions. Oh, they're bullying me. Help. I, hold on. I actually said I don't want to pull uh, my mentions on this, but it was ridiculous. If I oh showed God, you girlfriend, it was shit, fine thing. Off the hook. Fuck the fu furry. I have three notifications and 20 messages right now. Like, it is I love this. Listen to this shit. No, his audience is a bunch of shitlords that think they're defending Papa Jim and will <laughs> notice them. I'm not walking anything back. Jim is a disgusting pedophile that attacks other pedophiles because he has a guilty conscience. Then he also so wait, wait, I mean, even but by yeah. your logic, right? By your logic, if I'm a disgusting pedophile that only attacks other pedophiles, then I must be right about you, huh? 
He also said, I see. So you aren't going to release your real name so we can know you aren't on the sex offender registry. Is that right? That was another. Stop. 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 Catch him in what he just said. He just admitted he was a pedophile. I said, going by your logic, if I am a disgusting pedophile, then I must be correct in attacking you and you must be a pedophile, right? By your logic, you're admitting you're a pedophile because I'm attacking you. Are you a pedophile? Answer the question. I just told you I wasn't, but by your logic, I am. So if I'm attacking you and that's what you believe, you must be a pedophile, correct? Can so you, I'm not a pedophile. You use, can, you use your, can you use your thinking thoughts by your own logic? You're, you're saying if I'm attacking you, you must be a pedophile, correct? It's very simple. You might not understand this because it's an SAT thing. If then, if you're not a pedophile, then I'm not a pedophile. But if I am a pedophile, then you are a pedophile. Again, it's, it seems like you're struggling with this. By your logic, you're saying I'm a disgusting pedophile and only attack pedophiles, right? Okay. That's, that's your statement, correct? Are you? I, again, is that your statement? Did you Pedophile? write that out? Did you write that out, big boy? Did you type that out with your tail or your paws? Are you a pedophile? I, 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 why is it so difficult for you to say yes or no? Ralph, do you want to confirm that he did write this, in fact, on his timeline? Because he seems to be unable to answer this. Yeah, they're all there. I mean, Okay, so he, by his logic, he's saying Jim is a disgusting pedophile that attacks other pedophiles. And then he claims I'm attacking him. So by his logic, what does that make him? By his logic, that would okay, make him so a pedophile. Pet that would make him a pedophile by his by his, his logic. logic okay, good. I'm glad we all. I mean, Mr. <laughs> SAT here was really struggling with it, but I think I think all of us kind of kind of grouped together, put our thinking thoughts together, and big brained it to get an answer. Here's the thing. I think you. I so think we can thing. all work together. I think he can give you the quest now. Here's the thing. I want everyone to understand. Jim just admitted he's a pedophile. Boy, you really have difficulty with the English language. I'm going to guess that's because you lose a lot of fluids jacking off to cubs riding bananas on your fur affinity. I, I would recommend maybe like an IV drip of saline. This has dodged it. He is a pedophile. Okay. Case closed. Nothing oh, more it, to it, say. It's case closed. Boy, you're stupid. Yeah. And I think, I think you're embarrassed because you basically got caught being the thing you're calling other people. Like most disgusting degenerate furries like you are. Um, like the faggots in the Kira League who abuse animals and children, uh, you don't really strike me as being very different. I, I think if we looked at your other accounts, you're probably even even into more fucked up shit. Probably on your ink bunny or your <laughs> Google. I, I bet you. I bet you're into some really twisted at... shit. Uh, you know, I and mean, you're dumb enough to use the same username. It's probably a given. Okay, here's the thing. At this point. I already know everything about you. I need to know. Do you, you sassy liar, gay man? You were scam uh, asshole. Oh, I'm an asshole. I, I bet you want to just lick it, don't you, girlfriend? Mmm, <laughs> it's an asshole. It's presenting itself to you. I bet it's delicious. Look, I'm not like the guy that molested you when you were a child. Oh. So, you know, maybe show me respect. Well, I will be fair. He wasn't wearing a fursuit. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess you got me on that one. I mean, you have to admit, I can roll with the punches. Well, I think you roll because you've I mean, been trained to, like a dog, because you're a furry, and it's part of the role-playing shit you're into. Probably at the petting zoo you attend at the conventions. How many horses have you fucked? Just be honest. You have, you, have nothing, you have nothing better to do than attack my character, because you've got nothing. You are such Attack a your character. I'm looking at your accounts. This is the shit you put online, dipshit. That's not your character. This is what you decided to share with the world because you're retarded. That's why you are a retarded furry. Plus, it's kind of hard to say you attack. He's attacking your character. I mean, you called the man a pedophile publicly. and I did call him a pedophile. That seems like a character attack there. <laughs> is what he does he attacks random people and and just doesn't even care about the consequences i, I love it this guy is so mad that i made sargon look <laughs> retarded this is his is spazzing out to try to protect him and then he gets caught basically being a degenerate and now he's upset about it and crying about being bullied what a pussy and he calls other people shitlord like that's a hot fucking bants around i bet you the kind of asshole that uses snowflake because you think it's uh you know the cool hip in term but uh, you're fucking retarded. 
And that term probably applies to you more than anybody else. You blocked me. And then you unblocked me and <laughs> cried because you were getting momentions. What a pussy little bitch you are. Does, does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel good to say these things to me? Really? Oh, 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 you poor I'm, abused, I'm happy. Poor abused pupper. Oh, God, I weep for you. <laughs> Can you hear the smallest violin in the world playing in the background? Yeah, I, I really don't care what you have to say because I Obviously know what you kind do, of person because you are. You're on the stream to... and you're engaging with me on Twitter. You must desperately care what I have to say. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing any of this. Here's the thing. The only thing that I really want is to stop getting this abuse from all these people. Well, and that's maybe the only reason I came on to say that I am not it. afraid. Maybe don't invite it on yourself, you dumb, stupid fuck, by yeah, being a degenerate and being openly degenerate and then crying when people call you degenerate. You're not a man. I mean, don't start right. shit and then cry when you get hit for a thing. Coward. She's not a coward. Are you not a cow? Well, here's the thing. I don't want to have to put yeah, my account in front of it for yourself. like. Listen to this shit. Oh, they always go to it. Can you repeat something Wait. Argon didn't pull out of his ass, retard? Do you have any original arguments? I don't. I actually don't. You care. don't. You yeah, no, I know. You don't have any original arguments. You're fucking retarded and you repeat and parrot the shit you hear in videos. God, you're stupid. How do you live? Does it, don't you just get depressed at the thought of how dumb you are? Doesn't it just make you want to throw yourself off a bridge sometimes? Are you done? No, I'm asking, are you done? How long are you going to continue with this life you're living? Wow, are you telling me to literally kill myself? No, I haven't told you to kill yourself. I've asked you a question. Do you ever get to the you're point good. where you just can't take it anymore? Where you just think, God, I'm so fucking stupid. I'm such a dumb dumb. I just can't take it anymore. Do you have those thoughts? Does that ever occur to you? Look how weak you are. You have nothing else. But personally, well, I've, I've, got, I've got the pictures of your cub porn you have in your favorite section on your fur affinity. I mean, that's kind of what we've been talking about that you're dancing okay. around with the is it a legal girlfriend? It is what it is. No, we all know not. what it is. Yeah, we know what you it's are. We legal. know what you are, and we know why you <laughs> act like you do. And now we know who you follow and what you watch on YouTube. So you're a Sargonite that thinks the stepfather's a big brain. You're a Sargonite that thinks the stepfather's a big brain, and you're a furry that's into degenerate shit. And you're mad because I exposed Kiro and these other fucking disgusting puppy killing child molesting freaks. About that because they because yeah anyone that kills puppies or or like you will find that most furries are actually decent people that just want to be left alone. But and well, I mean, obviously that's yeah. not the case because you've done everything you can to not be left alone and to engage repeatedly. No, it, it is just because I'm a furry. It, it, that's the only reason that you're even talking to me. No, I'm talking to you because you're retarded. Like that's the, furry, the furry part's a bonus. Well, I mean, I'm on your target list for now. Like, I'm... Sargon's already on your target list because you... I, I don't have a target list. It's just when a retard flails in front of me, I pay attention, and then I move on to another retard because they inevitably get my attention. Right. Uh, because... I mean, that gets you mega views, and, and I applaud you for making that dope, brother. That, that, is, that is a great scheme you got running there. Yeah, people generally like a sideshow. I mean, they want to watch you flail like an idiot and throw popcorn at you like you're a sideshow freak. Yeah, I mean, you do have that correct. That's what the audience is literally doing right now, even though it's not technically my show, but Ralph is making a fuck ton of money with people laughing at you. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> it is true. Basically, Ralph, but but does he cut you in ever? Like, does it, if he's not cutting you in, cut this man in. Cut this I, fucking I man in. I don't need any of that money. I do I do good on my own. Ralph's a big boy. He's making those big bucks. I'm, I'm happy for him. <laughs> I do my own shit. You get nothing out of this? For real? I get laughs. I'm enjoying myself right now. I get the joy of the moment out of this. That's That's more than money could ever buy. You can't buy happiness, friend. Yeah. Because, I mean, that, that really does add into the bully narrative that, that I've suggested is that, like, you're just doing it for the yucks, really. That's like you like you do, right? Like you just literally said earlier, you're doing it for the yucks. We're the same thing, right? I, I know, but... So you're a bully. But think about what you're doing. Well, you're a bully then, right? You just said we're the I same don't thing. have... 
I don't, I don't have a group of people that when the kid on the playground, on when the kid on the playground, bro- when the kid on the <laughs> playground kicks another kid's ass, does he need fourteen people to do it, or does he just do it because he's a cunt? I mean, you don't need an audience to be a bully, do you? You could just be an asshole, can't you? Well, I've actually noticed that it actually does take a lot of people to kind of be a real bully. uh, Because that is the kind of thing, like, because if you didn't have all these people behind you, like, would you even be here? Like, would, would you just be echoing it out into the open by yourself? Yeah, I, yeah, I am curious. I, I, I would absolutely be doing the same thing I'm doing, laughing at retards. I've always enjoyed that. That has been a pastime of mine for like a decade. Same. Because it, it, it just seems to me that really and truly, like, all you can do is come after me because I called you better. Like you have such thin. I love skin how you try to paint that. that. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. No big deal. Jim, you have thin skin, and then when I when I do the same thing you've done to me, you start crying like a bitch and block me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You but, instantly did that. You but, blocked me like a bitch instantly. So who's got the no, thin skin? Was I the one that blocked you, or were you the one that blocked me? blocked you for there you go yeah i'm glad you can remember the continuity of what happened tonight oh i blocked you and even after i unblocked you i had like 30 people asking why'd you block like he, he can't message you if you blocked him it's like he's been fucking unblocked for 30 minutes I and the only reason i blocked I, you, you can you can look at my account i messaged you, were, you repeatedly so I, I don't know what your problem is you asked me to respond i did multiple times I probably couldn't find it after like, like I really probably couldn't because I'm actually not used to seeing that many messages. Really, it is true. It was confusing. And, and you could admit that technology Twitter, spooked you, did it? Are you you're the one that called me a boomer and you can't work out how Twitter works? No, you know that it calls a lot of shit. You know that. No, I'm but, just trying to. I'm like, you're saying like 30 replies spooked you. Like it, it, that's kind of amazing to me. I mean, I, I I'm guessing you're old enough to have remembered what a VCR was. Uh, did it always blink 12 for you? Were you able to figure that one out? Are you done? No, I'm. I'm I've literally got all night to do this. <laughs> I mean, so do I. Isn't isn't it great that way? I mean, but no, like for real. You know that it's different. You know that it's different when someone has like a hundred thousand people that are in their corner. In their corner. It feels good. It really does feel good to go after people like that. I to mean go after degenerates can, that are into cub porn. Is that what you're saying? You You can see this shit, right? Like you are are you just not in Discord at all? Are you just like no, I'm, 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 I'm heterosexual. I don't use Discord. That's a statement I've made multiple times. So you have no idea the shit coming through. Uh, I, I'm assuming Ralph can see it. We're, we're talking about Twitter, though. We're not. I'm not actually about- monitoring the Discord right now, so no, I haven't seen what all's going on there. But I could imagine you're probably not getting a oh, warm reception. Yes. It, yeah, it is fucking priceless. Some of these. I, I suppose um, it is when you flail around like a retard and <laughs> say, look at me. Yeah, you probably get some attention. It's weird, isn't it? Can I ask you, do you think Anita Sarkeesian was bullied? Uh, as much as she says she was? Fuck no. Well, why not? I mean, she had all these bully jerks, these bully brigades after her, right? I mean, she was a victim. What about Zoe Quinn? I guarantee she probably had some of this same shit. So she was, she was a victim, and right? It really didn't. Was was she a, a victim of what? Like, of bullying. Am, am I saying that I'm getting death threats and and things like that nature? I might be actually. I'm, oh, you so you're kind of like I'm kind of like Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn. I got gotcha. you. Okay. <laughs> You're really batting a thousand tonight. I think you're impressing the crowd. I think they're on your side. I think you're winning them over. I might be losing this one. Are you done? No, like I said, I've got all night. Okay. All 
I'm saying is that it is it is a little different. They have actually huge audiences. You know that they've done certain things, and 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 basically they have gotten me. You would admit they've gotten mean things sent to them and death threats and things of that nature. You would admit that that is something that has happened to them. Well, I mean, it is tragic that Sargon of Akkad, a member of Gamergate, whipped people up to harass Anita Sarkeesian. Yes, I would agree with you. That is tragic. And now he's trying to start it okay. back again. Jeez. I know. Why won't this ha hate campaign stop? Oh it just needs to stop. <laughs> Brianna Wu had to hide from snipers. I don't know if you're aware of that. Driven from Wu. <laughs> I was driven from the home. Oh, my God. I doubt that I, I do doubt that for real that that's that's not likely um but i mean yeah like people do get death threats they do get attacked they do have that kind of thing and it's not helpful at all it does like what's the goal <laughs> just to laugh at me I said. yes the, the fucking goal is to laugh at you yes that is the entirety of the goal okay. Okay, you act well, like an idiot, people laugh at you for being an idiot. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the whole thing. Are you still there, sir? Or? No, I'm, I'm still here. I, I'm just like... <laughs> I, I just don't understand why you're laughing at what is actually occurring. Like it is. Why am I is laughing? At what is why are you happening? laughing at furries? Oh, wow, uh, I know it's Andre, isn't it? What I'm referring to, what I, the doxing, like they are actually actively looking for information about me. You do know that, right? No, I wouldn't. Again, like I answered you earlier when you said, "Do you uh, basically disavow?" And I said, "I can't disavow or avow anything because that would mean I have control over what other people are doing." So I'm unaware of what other people are doing. I'm not a psychic. Well, no, dis you can disavow something even if you're not in charge of it. You can say, don't do this, guys. Well, yeah, and we could make a list of a billion things and sit here all night talking about them because, you know, that would be retarded, though, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, people know what's right and wrong. Like, are you really going to sit there and tell me you... You, well, see, I would disagree like, you with you on that premise because if people knew what were right and wrong, you wouldn't have pictures of cubs riding bananas on your Fur Affinity account, now would you? Not even my pictures. Yeah, that's why they're called favorites. Yeah, I know you didn't draw them. Yeah, I understand that. That concept doesn't elude me. I would think it would. I mean... I gotta say, when Sargon sends his, he is not sending his best. I, I'm sorry, but this is really... I don't think Gamergate 2 is going to do too well, guys. I gotta put this out here. I, I don't know, Zidane, Ralph Gator, what are you thinking? Uh, what are the odds looking like? It's not off to a great start, let's put it that way. Smashing success. I didn't send because because I am, I am not working for him. I don't have a cabal. I don't work for a cabal of people that work for Sargon. That's not what I do. I, I'm pretty sure you're a card-carrying member of the uh, liberalist. Uh, uh, the, the liberalist. There we go. The liberalist I lynch squad. Identify. That's what they're called. The liberalist lynch squad. They bully the bully brigade. It's very tragic. <laughs> you know. So, so that's all. Awesome. Uh, really, all this is about is just getting back at Sargon because you can't. You're just I, I, jealous I, I, of them. I just, that, I just talked to him this morning and laughed in his face. Like, obviously, I can. I, I can, and I did. I because because you're just jealous of him. That's all this really is about. Jealous of what? Making myself look like an asshole by starting up Gamergate too? No, I, I don't really have jealousy over that. Then you know what what you're jealous about. That's why what, you're avoiding. What am, I jealous, your what am I jealous of? Tell us. Hit us with the hit us with the you're deep. Jealous. Shit. That that he is basically doing what Anita Sarkeesian did. He is going to. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are he correct. Is Sargon is doing what Anita Sarkeesian did. You fucking called it. Thank you. You said it perfectly. Went to the EU. I mean, went to the EU and actually spoke there. You know, like he is actually doing activism, and that's the only thing that you can't do. Because all your, all the following you, all they care about is laughing at people on the internet. 
I know it's so weird. Why would why would there be a group of people dedicated to laughing at retards? I think you've got me. I am deeply jealous that Sargon of Akkad is behaving just like Anita Sarkeesian. I wish I could do that, but something holds me back. Maybe it's a moral compunction. Uh, maybe it's just self awareness. I don't know what it is, but I fucking testosterone. Wish, I wish I could be Anita. I really do. Maybe I need to eat more soy so my tits grow like uh, like Carl's. I don't know. I can I can give it a shot. I can work at it. Maybe we can get through this together. You can make me a schedule. We can work on it daily. Are you there, sir? I'm still here. I I just really don't know what what else there is to say. Like we're not going to come come to any kind of agreement. Obviously, like he, I laughed at him. He laughed at me. We had fun, didn't we? Oh, I've definitely enjoyed myself. Yes. I just right. want to say and, one thing. And you hit. Wait, you let's let's say here. whatever you want. Go. Okay, sure. like also, I don't, you've been trying that you've been getting bullied this entire time. Yet you started everything. You can't start shit and then cry like like a little faggot that you get bullied. You have tweets from earlier today calling Jim a pedophile uh, and saying that you're that they're terrorists. I think Ralph pulled that up on screen earlier. Yes. And then you go into Sargon's uh, stream and call him a pedo again. You did this to yourself. You started everything. Don't cry about with shit that you start. If you start shit, you're going to get hit. Yeah. Right, with him. He didn't message me, no, not once. He didn't tell anybody to go after you. You could look at his tweets. He said nothing of the sort. Jim's not the one that puts right. cub porn on your <laughs> fucking he, deviant art. Right, but here he is. Yeah, and yeah, here you are you. Af after starting shit earlier today. Yeah, laughing at you. Uh, before you go, since you said you're, you're done and we're not going to come to an agreement, um, can, can you say yif well, and, I'm not, can I'm you say yif and hell for fags? Can you say that for us? I'm not doing anything for you. Okay, can you breathe for me? <laughs> I got him. By I mean, way, people have found your ink bunny too, apparently. So, bet there's some gold in there. But, but, but ink bunny. I, I mean, don't, don't worry about it, pal. It, it, I'm it, sure it, everything's it, looking it, up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha, bitch! <laughs> it's gonna be a great weekend for you. I can foresee it. Fun times ahead. I mean. <laughs> The question really comes to mind, like, why? Just why? Why like, not? No, no, why not? It's a, it's a Thursday evening. evening. Why not? Why? Why would anyone do this to anyone? I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just all twisted people uh, looking to spread <laughs> misery, and they're all part of a, a bullying cabal. That Ralph runs. I, I have heard Ralph is a terrible person. I can't, I, you know, I, I love to tell more, but I'm scared. I'm scared he's going to hurt me. And, and look, sir, I, I don't, I forgot your name, to be honest. No, no offense. But what you're saying might have some, some merit if you're just some dude that, that was picked out of random and just to pick on. You came at him calling him a pedophile. No, you weren't. I mean, you came at him calling him a pedophile and you got answered, you know, forcefully here on air. He does, and and somehow I like. I have never seen Jim call somebody a pedophile without any evidence whatsoever. I've never seen him do that. So, I mean, if you have some evidence that I don't know of, you can go ahead and give it. But I haven't seen that. I'm not interested in looking into Jim's docs. Who are he's the not interested in are. evidence, Ralph? Please, be no, so, someone is messaging me and saying, we have gem stocks, we can help you. Like, no, no, that's not what this is about. This was this was just to fuck with them, and really, I got what I wanted out of it. He, he, I, I think he did. It's me more it really is. We should put a banner up behind you and take a picture. <laughs> He's given me more attention than I think I have ever had. <laughs> Perhaps... <laughs> It's really amazing how disconnected with reality this guy is. This is pretty great. Well, you're complaining about being bullied and getting attention, and then you're saying you want the attention, so don't cry when you get bullied later. 
It is negative attention. It really is. Um, it we're like is. five minutes I mean, away from them finding all of your like really shameful, disgusting, carol like shit. So you might as well just come out and admit it right now, live on air. Yeah, protecting your tweets isn't going to help. I, ever, somebody's told me they archived everything. No, that that was just so that I could get away from Twitter and like. But they're also messaging me on like. Why would you want to get? Why would you want to get away from Twitter? You just said you love the attention. I mean, you must be super happy right now. Unlock that Twitter. Let everybody come in. You need that attention. You want it. You said that's what you're looking for. They're they're going for more than just looking at my accounts. Like I I, I don't know why, but I already have a Kiwi Farms. Like what the fuck is up with that? I don't know. You know, like, the who? Kiwis are like those those weird fucks that live off Australia. I don't know. Maybe maybe you piss that country off somehow. I can't tell you. New Zealand yeah. is weird. All I had to do was call you a pedophile. All I had to do was do that. I think it's I more probably to related to the cubs riding bananas and sucking lollipops on your fur affinities. Probably what got people's attention, to be honest with you. I mean, so? Like, what? what's... Like what's the what's the big deal, man? It's just cub porn. What's the big deal? It's cool. No, I got you. We got you. We know where you stand on this. Everybody's cool. We're all copacetic here. I don't mean to harsh your mellow. Well, <laughs> harsh your well, buzz. I mean, like, like you haven't actually, like, do you have anything? Like that's that's the thing that I don't understand. I know it would be terrible for me I... to make a claim and then not have any evidence for it. That would make me a massive cunt when that. Yeah, but that's all you've got. Boy, now, it's like not to say zero self awareness, right? Like, <laughs> Did anybody catch that, like, or I just, was that too confusing? Did I yeah. that it better? My only concern is like seriously, if if I see something coming in for real. Like that, that's going to be my question is, can I come to you and talk to you about that? Because th would that cross a line for you? That's the question. Like, would other people doing you? things to you cross a line for me? There are other people. Why would I care what they do? Because you might have some sense of morality. I don't fucking know. You want me to control strangers? Do you think I'm some kind of Internet God? So that's a no, you just don't care. Well, yeah, I mean, it's two, It's a two for really. One, I really don't care. But two, how would I control other people? Can you control other people? Do you have a special ability we should know about? It's like X-Men kind of thing. Are you Jean Grey? The furry Jean Grey? <laughs> I think it helps. I think it really does help when you tell people. When you tell people, just don't. Like For you, buddy, you know what? I'm going to put it out there. Hey, everybody, just don't. Just don't. They know what it's about. Just don't. I gave okay. you three. I gave you three right there. Here's a fourth one. Just don't. Hopefully, hopefully that I coded mean, message is clear. Well, I mean, I like I said, I'm more than happy to go ahead and and un like. I want to go to bed. Okay, <laughs> you go to sleep. You get so some rest. I, oh, that's there's a sarcasm <laughs> yeah. for you right there. Oh, I'm so tired, sleepy. sleepy. Oh, it's so tiring. How, how long do you want me for? Because I can. I mean, I, I know, it's fine. Longer, I, think but... I think we've had a good conversation. I think this has been. I think this has been something okay. special. Well, well all I, like I said, all I'm asking is just call off your dogs. That that would be cool. Well, they're that not my dogs, really but cool. I mean, I did throw that special message out for you. Hey, everybody, just just don't, just don't, you know, just don't. I think you're about to get a okay. lot of attention if I had to make my guess. Yeah. I probably am because I'm going to go ahead and, and, and undo the protection on my tweets and, and I'm probably... <laughs> I know, it's fucking stupid. I should not do this. This is this is so fucking I stupid. Have one, I have one recommendation for you before you go. One. <laughs> I think I'm we sorry, can all agree with that. that, really. I mean, I think that's a message <laughs> I'm walking behind. <laughs> all right, sir, you have anything else? We don't want to keep you past your bedtime, you know. No, like I said, like I I'm happy to stay on here and continue Which talking is it? to you if you want to. Like, no, well, don't you be silly. We well, don't want to interfere with your beauty sleep. I want you to get a good night rest. 
for all the positivity that's awaiting you because we've told them just don't. So I think it's going to be sunshine and fucking rainbows from here on out, to be honest with you. I doubt it. I'm sure I'm still going to get messages and, and things like that. And I mean, <laughs> like they're messaging. You're trailing off there. It's okay. Why don't you show them the door? Yeah. Show them the door so you can go get a good night's sleep. Thank it's you, uh, Car- Carusi. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you're going to need that rest. I have a feeling. Uh, dip, 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 <laughs> 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 also saw Andy's in the chat. I think he's had a few drinks or something. He 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 linked me to to some short fat otaku video. I don't know what he meant what he meant by that, but uh, well, I, it, hey, thanks for letting me use your stream. I mean, he's the one that kind of wanted yeah. to do it, but um, you know, yeah, you I think we all learned some special things tonight. You know, I, what was it? Just don't. Um, Cubs riding bananas and sucking <laughs> lollipops is totally cool. Uh, you know, um, Sargon is amazing and you shouldn't stab him in the back. And I, I, you know, jealous Jim just can't handle the fact that Sargon's acting like Anita. I think he really has some deep insight into that. <laughs> and, um, he really fucking blew me out of the water. I'll be honest. I, I didn't expect that from him. Yeah. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to your show. I know you were doing the quarter pounder thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think quartering's probably, yeah. We'll probably play that Kanye clip. I don't know if you saw that yet today, but yeah, we'll probably play that next. Oh, I'm sure you can get quartering back in. I mean, what is he going to do? Go to his live stream of 10 people? No, he'll come back. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys take it easy. Later, Later. I don't, these two guys, and I, I don't have the exact time code for when his friend starts talking about all the, the super serious rounds I've got. I'll just shoot the shit out of you. But uh, going on about I fire, I fire guns because they're scary, and I can fire single round burst. I'm so good at this.
Hello and welcome to the Kill Stream. I'm your host, Ethan Ralph, the owner and the editor in chief of the RalphRetort.com. Wow, this is a I should I say a Kill Stream special. You know, this this wasn't a planned event. Um, maybe I guess I could tell you guys how this came about. Uh, we were waiting on uh, we were waiting on Sargon uh, for a bit, and uh, I've been told he's in the hangout. By the way, uh, so I'm not in there right now because finally I just said fuck it. We're gonna start the show. Who cares? Uh, so that's what I did, uh, and he's there though. He's there. I haven't actually talked to him myself. Apparently, he messaged me on Skype last night. Not apparently. I mean, he did. I didn't see it till today. And he said, "What did he say?" I hope, I hope this is not unethical, but uh, it's not. It's nothing that big. He said, "I'm happy to come on your show." This was d during the actual show. I didn't see it because I don't use Skype all that much anymore. He got a DM from V today, and he said, uh, "Sargon wants you to check Skype, basically." And then I check Skype, and, uh, well, here we are. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, let me do something real quick. Uh, well, maybe not that quick. Uh, uh, these super chats. Fash Bandicoot. Carl cheated on his wife with a tranny. Disgusting. SMD, SMT Dane says, the UK is done with a guy like Sargon doing politics. Here, take some shekels. Fox Mulder, Peacefully Sunset the Liberalist. Colin Stevens says, Wheelchair Intro. Baron Barbados says, More people are waiting here than watching Kumite. Salty Pickle says, Sargoy of Arlock and his band of Boulder Boys. Vishamist says, I'm on vacation with the family and so I'll miss this. Make this stream awesome. Salty Pickle, Soygoy, Depends on the Child, Arlock. All right, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to get back to these. Uh, I just feel, and I appreciate every super chat. Please uh, continue supporting. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, I think, should I just bring him on or should I keep reading Super Chats? I mean, it's up to you guys. All right. I think I think I should just bring him on. I, I will go back to the Super Chats, though, for sure. Okay. Let me do something really quickly. Uh, okay, they're saying bring him on. I just don't want anybody to feel uh, cheated or anything. I, I will definitely go back to the Super Chats, for sure. All right, let me let me do something real quick. Let me make this window go away, just in case. We don't want that link getting out. That would be bad. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, uh, Sargon. How's it going? Gator's also here with us. Yeah, that's fine, man. I'm really good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Now let me uh, check the audio here. I think I think it's fine. It sounds good. The audience uh, can let me know if it does not. Okay, mm. so, uh, again, I, I think I laid out the story of how this program came about fairly fairly accurately. Do, would you agree with that? I don't know if you heard it, but... Uh, no, I didn't hear it. Sorry. Okay. Um, so... Well, I'll just take your word for it that you did. I mean, you know... I don't, okay. You'll no, take my word for to it. Misrepresent it is uh, okay, well, I mean, I guess I could just be a complete salty fucker and say, well, you didn't take my word on the emails thing. If, if we just <laughs> That's to, right, if I didn't, and I was wrong. All right. Uh, well, I wasn't going to lead off with this, but, you know, since <laughs> since it just naturally happened, uh, you did put out a video on the Thinkery. No, 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 uh, no, let's, let's not, uh, I don't know, I don't have to go over, like, you know, everything that's happened, so it's going to take ages. We've known each other for years, so, like, let's let's not, like, have to go through, what, four years of, of stuff. Um, well, I, well, we don't go over every single thing over four years, but I, I think the email thing is kind of, because you put out a video and it was a correction. Uh, basically saying that Ralph was right, but you spent most of the video. Um... I was really on curb mentality, man. Right, like like Thomas Smith had, in fact, the year before. And I, I, you know, you you slip into it without even knowing, and it was it's difficult to understand that when you're in there because people are saying things to you that aren't actually wrong, but they're also not right or they're not necessarily contradictory to the things you're saying, and so you don't really know exactly what to do because they're not actually contradicting what you're saying but that doesn't mean there isn't also some truth to what they're saying and often you have to make a mistake before you can see what those people are saying and that was the position i found myself in right so the reason the this is this is the reason i'm doing like the phase two thing and that the reason the phase two thing is and the the, the main change is stopping this week in stupid because it occurred to me that like I was, I was getting like 350,000 viewers a week on This Week in Stupid. I mean, that's a fucking colossal number regularly. You know, every fucking week I get numbers like this. And I was thinking, shit, man. And it, it's, not that it's, it's not that it's a pressure, but you, there's, there's always the worry to perform 
when you're doing that, you know, you you start worrying about the numbers. I didn't like worrying about the numbers that, you know, suddenly it becomes like a weight around your neck. I don't like that. So I decided that I'd stop it. And I, I realized that, like, we, we did this uh, interview with Banning yesterday, and I was, I was talking to a few of the liberalists there. And this has helped them, and I'm sure, like, other people in other communities as well, tremendously. Because now that, like, people aren't going for, like, a, a you know, like a, a regular weekly roundup show. You know, they, there are lots of people doing them, but I think I was kind of monopolizing it in a way. And and now I'm not doing it. They're, they're doing much better. You know, everyone else around is, you know, people are people are getting their news from that sort of uh, location. And it saves me the hassle of having to do that. Because, I mean, I think people understand that making a regular weekly roundup show is not like an easy job. I mean, sure, you know this yourself. You know, you've got to you've got to spend a lot of time researching and reading stuff and putting things together and finding things. It's not no effort. And so for me, it's a great weight off my shoulders. And for everyone else, it's it's like a big new thing that they can get their teeth into. And I just feel that this has been a, a great solution for everyone because now I don't have to be burdened with it. Because it, it does it does become a burden after a while. And uh, and it, it get again it gets you into the sort of like bunker mentality especially when you're the one who thinks you have to do it all on your own and i think i learned at MythCon that i don't and i i I'm, it's not just i don't have to do it all on my own. i don't think i can do it all, all right now let me even let, as far as i can get right let, but, let, let me let me get in here because yeah, uh, sure. you know your famous uh your famous debate with richard spencer uh you and richard spencer are <laughs> you reminded me of richard spencer here with your with your ability to talk so long without without me breaking in but uh, l let me go ahead and break in here. Uh, you mentioned MythCon. Uh, by all accounts, that debate, I haven't actually watched the whole thing, but I watched some of it. I think Richard Carrier was the guy that you uh, well, went up I against. I can give you a quick rundown. Um, Richard Carrier had no arguments, and I crushed him on every point, but I was a really belligerent twat. And Richard, it, it, I, at the end of it, I felt as if I'd basically been kicking a puppy, and I felt really bad about it. Okay. So is that what... Uh you know, spurred your change here, the phase two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now yeah. what, what does phase two actually mean? Because, uh, I mean, it sounded well, almost did like, you, a, like, did you not watch the interview with Bannon? I actually have not. I did see a couple oh, of clips man. from it. it. Um, last night we were doing some other stuff. I didn't get a chance to watch it. So dude, do it. Bannon is like, you think I'm a talker. Bannon, Bannon could talk forever, but it's so interesting and engaging what he's saying. And unlike, like, if you watch a bunch of his, I've watched a bunch of his interviews with like, um, you know, like ABC and CNN and all that. And the interview is constantly every two seconds interrupting him and saying, Oh no, no, that's not my narrative sort of thing. You know, they don't give him time to, you know, they don't allow him to actually lay out his points. And so when, when you do allow him to do that, then suddenly you get this absolutely fascinating worldview that he presents. It's really, honestly, I'm really proud of that interview. It's really interesting. Well, look, I mean, you know, we've, We've taken plenty of shots at you, no doubt. I, I won't, you know, I can't. I, I don't I, care about any of that, man. I won't, I won't take anything away from getting banned. I mean, that, that's good. I, I can't even, you know, yeah. be, you know, hate on that or whatever. Um, well, okay, so let me, let me, let me pick up from that, right? Because this is the thing, right? So. No, wait, wait, wait. We did say we were going to talk. First off, let me let me say a couple things. There sure. were no there were no conditions put on this appearance, correct? No. I just I just want that put out there. There's not there was no conditions put on you showing up. Or anything no. I couldn't do, or anything that couldn't happen, right? I just want that to be said out in the open. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I also said we were going to talk about some of the stuff that we've been talking about, but you came to me and you said you had an idea. That was that was your yeah. pitch uh, yeah. to to do the show. Um, I, would you, so we can either do this one or two ways. And the, my original way was let's just cover all the you know drama and stuff we've been talking about, and I had a few other questions and topics or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, I was going to let you get the idea. If you would like to do the idea part first. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, it's up sorry, to you. Did would I you cut rather, off there, did I? Yeah, yeah. You cut off for a sec. So oh, right. we can either do it one or two ways. I can go through this this list that I have, and then you can do the idea, or you can just do it now if that's what you're about to well, roll into. Is, well, what's the list? If it's just like drama grievances, then I'll just agree that you're correct on them all if you want. Well, I mean, they're not all. I mean, some of them are drama, but uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> well, what, are the, what are the ones? So that aren't drama? obviously, we have to talk about Medicare, right? I mean, uh, really? Why? Well, I mean, it's 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 just been it's just something that's not really. Why is I mean, he playing with furries or something? Well, we had to. We tried to get you guys on stream to talk forever, and a matter of fact, well, we did email me. He knows how to contact me. 
If he wants to talk, I'm happy to talk to him anytime. Okay. All right. Um, but what, what, what are the actual things, the, the, the things you want to talk well, about? Well, okay. That's that just drama, you know. Let's not bother with that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what what is drama though? Like, what is your? How about this? To go philosophical. What is your definition of drama? So, I mean, you can look at that's almost any question. topic and, and say, well, you know, this this displeases me. This is just drama. I don't want to talk that's, about that's this. That's a great question. I don't know. Um, oh, I excuse suppose, me, waiter. I suppose I would waiter, just say, uh, waiter, inter- I, I, where are my appetizers? I've been waiting. Yeah, for I, I would minutes. say I would just say it's thirty uh, thirty minutes. Waiter, where like are my this, appetizers? Actually. My frittatas are going to get cold. Can I that's speak to your, Can I speak to your manager? No, I, I this service is this like, service is horrendous. <laughs> I heard I heard I heard you were going to be pitching a, a big brained idea, so I wanted a front row seat to watch it. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of glad you're here, Jim. Oh, I, I'm sure you are. I am actually. I, I'm genuinely. Hey, glad hey Ralph, can I say one thing before here? before Please. we hear this amazing idea? Uh, yeah. 20, 20, viewers, and look who shows up in chat. Oof. How you doing? How you doing, Oof. Carl? How you doing? I'm good. Um, so. You know they keep talking about Gamergate. No, who's they? The left. Uh, <laughs> the, the collective left. Have they all yes. gotten together to discuss this? Okay. Yeah, they they go on about it all the time. Um, the latest one was, you know, the, obviously Kavanaugh, the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with him, was a guy called Mark Judge. He apparently wrote two articles in support of Gamergate, citing Mr. Repsion, a YouTuber. I did see and that. that. We talked they about on the kill stream. Fun. I don't know how many times, you know, how often you get to catch. Yeah, that was show, like two we, weeks ago, I think. We, yeah. we did talk yeah. about it on the show. Yeah. yeah, it was like two weeks ago. Um, but that's pretty recent, really. And then you think like all the other ridiculous. Well, I mean, it, I mean like, it's, it's recent if you don't watch Ralph. But if you watch Ralph Weekly, you you heard about it when it was breaking those. That's okay. That, that's great. But no, it is great. Is, the audience loves it. We love being on top of current events. That's what makes it so delicious to watch Ralph. He's sumptuous. Ralph, he's sumptuous, don't you know? <laughs> I'm sure it does. But it's not just that, is it? You know, there are there are loads of other, and we could we could find a huge list of things that they've said about Gamergate to magnify it. I mean, I, I have seen the most colossal overreaches in the description and sort of influence of Gamergate coming from the left, you know, like the Guardian, the Independent, you know, mm-hmm. like shit like this. They bring up all the time, and they're always making Gamergate out to be this giant fucking boogie monster. And the FBI investigated Gamergate and found that Gamergate did nothing wrong. I, I'm, I feel like I'm in a time warp. We're in 2018, right? This, this yeah, hashtag yeah. is dead yeah, at this point. It's been yeah, four yeah. years. I mean, I yeah. feel like we're talking like about chinology. Yeah. Should I get my guy Fox no, no, mask no, no, on to talk about this gay listen, shit? No, no, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. We're not talking about Gamergate, right? It doesn't really matter about Gamergate. What matters is the boogeyman that the left have conjured up. And they've conjured up a fucking hell of a boogeyman. And you know they're still afraid of it. It's still there, there under the surface, right? They have this kind of subconscious fear, I think. that some, And that's why they keep bringing it up. I mean, fuck. Justin Trudeau condemned Gamergate. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Well, right? no, Carl, I have to be fair. I have to say it really, Carl, it, it, it really depends on the politician now, doesn't it? <laughs> I guess it would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I yeah. mean, you've got to take it on a case-by-case basis. You do, yeah. And what, do. Who, 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 do. Uh, who on on the other side might actually support Gamergate? Who uh, on what what sides are we talking about? Democrats and Republicans. Uh, who supports Gamergate in the Republican camp? Mm. I fucking don't know. Mark, Judge. I, I don't. Pay, I, don't <laughs> I can tell you literally. <laughs> Mark Judge, the guy who was alleged to have been in the room with Kavanaugh, supports Gamergate. Congratulations for Mark Judge, I guess. Yeah. But what I guess just where, where are you yeah, going with right? this exactly? Isn't that, it, but isn't that funny? Isn't that just oh, fucking yeah, amazing? Like the idea that there's a game yeah. gate supporter, like in the room with a guy who's alleged to have sexually assaulted the woman, who is then the center of the entire fucking like world's media for a week. That's that's fucking incredible. <laughs> it was a bit <laughs> surreal, but but what I mean, what like what where are you going with this though? That's what I don't. Well. Where do you think I'm going with this? I have, uh, I have no Sargon, idea. Sargon, I literally do. have no I idea. Really like, I'm, 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 you can do this. I, I believe I'm not even both. being sarcastic. I, I, like I, you I messaged me, and, I, I, can I just one. say you All messaged right. me and you seemed like really hype about whatever the idea was. Uh, oh, I'm I, fucking hype. And I have I'm no idea what you're talking hyped, about, and then you start talking about Gamergate, and I'm just like, what? What's going on? Yeah, this is this is why I'm thrilled you're here, Jim. I am fucking thrilled you're here, right? I'm thrilled that you guys, the some of the core people in gaming, get here so I can talk to you about this. This is exactly what I wanted. 
do you not think it would be really interesting to see how far we can make this go? Who's we? I, that sounds very collectivist. Collective I thought we were individualists here, Carl. <laughs> the collective internet. Do you not think that would be funny? Do you I mean, think anybody on the gamer... internet gives two fucks about Gamergate at this point? It's it's no, become a joke. No, like, no, I don't, Jim. That's the point. That's the that's the entire point. <laughs> what is your pitch exactly? Get get the band back time. together? Is that what is that what you're saying? Like I don't I don't understand. What, what would look? They think Gamergate is a tremendous universal and categoric evil, right? Who else do they think is a categoric evil? Uh... I feel like I'm fucking lost. What are we talking? What is your plan? Oh, yeah. What is your? I guess I what's your idea? Hit, you hit us with it. Try and use a bit of. Just, just try and look a bit ahead. Just look a bit ahead. How? If, if we're if talking you, about Gamergate, I'm looking progress- behind me, not ahead of me. <laughs> no, you're not. You're looking way, way ahead. But you just, I don't know. You can't seem to do it, can you? But I know I can't. I need you to shine a light think on of it. From the left wing's point of view, right? They mm. are genuinely afraid of Gamergate, which is why they keep talking about Gamergate. Is the punchline here Gamergate did 9-11? Because we made that joke already. No, but it could it could be something <laughs> nearly like that, like effectively like that, right? So <laughs> But what so, what, right? what are you saying? That, like no, is, no, is it is it what I said though? What what are you are saying? You saying Ra- Gamergate raped and killed a woman behind an Arby's in nineteen ninety nine? No. That was just I, me, saying, Gator, not Gamergate. Better, yes, right? yes, yes. So again, if Gamergate is the eternal boogeyman. What would be the worst thing that Donald Trump could do? Uh, He's I mean, not going to co-sign Gamergate. He doesn't even know what to do. What, he could most, tweet out hashtag Gamergate? Is that what you're like? well, most people have no idea what Gamergate was or is. I don't think you, you realize that it's a thing on the internet, but most most people have so, no yeah, idea. So yeah, we, we talked about this before. I, I of course know exactly what Gamergate was, because I was in it. Yeah, we all know. I wouldn't, of course, I wouldn't, we, I wouldn't yeah, not presume we, what people are thinking like that. We, we all know. I'm just saying the public at large probably maybe 25. percent Yeah. Of now everybody on Twitter don't. knows what the fuck it is. You know, a lot of yes, the you know journalists and stuff know what it is, but uh, yeah. as far as the public at large, they don't. You, okay, how do you get know. black people to join the alt right? Give them watermelons. <laughs> Fried chicken on, and Kool Aid helps too. Appreciate that humor. Come on, my fellow white nigger. I know you like those. <laughs> that was, honestly, I thought that was a bit slow. You get Hillary Clinton to denounce the alt right. Wait, sorry, was there a punchline? I can only hear crickets. It's not. <laughs> oh, you're being serious. I'm sorry. It's already happened, Jim. This is documented and verifiable. When Hillary Clinton denounced the alt-right, loads of black people took to Twitter saying, well, I guess I'm alt-right then. And I was speaking to a few of the alt-right people, and they were freaking the fuck out, thinking the idea that a bunch of black people are going to invade a white supremacist movement, because nobody really knew. And so Hillary Clinton kind of set the narrative on it. I mean, did I, I? I don't have like official membership numbers from the alt right, but did I mean? Is there any evidence no, I know, that I don't caused have a spike? Okay, okay, yeah. But it was just you know, like you know, people. You'd see a lot of people on Twitter sort of freaking out about it, and understandably so. I mean, if you're a white supremacist, the last thing you want is black people stealing your movement or something. You know, that that that's pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty I mean, funny. I remember her speech and everything. I actually thought that that was a yeah, tactical no, no, mistake. That, that she she wasted a whole day of campaigning, you know, bitching yeah. about, you know, fucking Ma- massive, Breitbart massive and shop. Pepe the Frog. <laughs> so like, I mean, what was that all right. about? She, you know, anyway, but yeah. Yeah, but ima- imagine them whinging about that to the point where Hillary Clinton feels the need to, and Justin Trudeau feel the need to, like, denounce Gamergate, effectively, the alt-right. How does this, okay, how does this help, how does this help you, how does this help you, Kip? It's, it it's sounds like you were helping you, Kip. Well, but this, you're talking in American context or Canadian context. How does, I mean, I thought you were like, you know, kind of jumping in the political cycle over there. How does this help them? I'm not saying it helps anyone. Are you guys about helping people, are you? I, I don't, I, I legit have no idea what you're <laughs> I going wouldn't for. I would come here. to you if I wanted help, Jim. Let's be honest. I mean, like, I saw the last <laughs> thing you did where you're like uh, saying, oh, I don't care about anyone here. I don't care about Ralph. You know, you, we don't come to you for help, Jim. You know, we well, come you, to you. For you a already did, and I told you no. Sorry. Look, listen, listen, right? If someone comes to you at all, it's because they want a god almighty troll, a troll to end all trolls. That's what they come to you for. Okay, I, I just want to hear the pitch idea because uh, okay, yeah, be I'm still you, the I'm last. Really, I'm really the last time you pitched me an idea, okay, and I, I you can go reread the conversation was on Skype. 
I, I and Google care. was. I, I don't care. I, I want to just make I, the record clear. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly Google what was goal. crushing. The, when I'll Google tell was you crushing. The goal you why won't you let me finish my finish. point? When Google because you're was, making a silly point. What's you just you don't want to be about? embarrassed? I know you don't want to be embarrassed. Jim, let me finish my story. Sargon, then you let me talk, won't you? Yeah. Yes, let, let's talk me. one at a time. Yeah, thank you. It's a big boy one conversation. Do, we don't do want you like the pitch or not? You really don't want this story out there, do you? Jim, you've done a stream about it, haven't you? No, I haven't. I, Jim, just release it. I don't care. Just release it. I just want to go over the conversation, the last Wait. great idea you had, the big-brained idea you had before about Google and how you could fight back against the apocalypse. Was oh, by taking, what was it? I can't remember. You, you, you were so excited. You told me, Jim, we just have to tell everybody... Uh, that we're Google's friends. We have to, if we appease, you You quite literally yeah, went the do, that if we it. appease Google, yeah. Google will fight for us and give us our money back. Well, and it I turns told out you that was, was a lot of retarded. We didn't have that. Did, did, did that come out afterwards? Well, who told you it was a bad idea, though? I, I told you that's how it was going to play out. And you were yeah. so convinced. I was like, go for it. Because okay. <laughs> it's just a terrible idea. All right. So okay, I want to hear, yeah, I yeah. hear your you next right idea. I want to hear your next Google the? Did you see the good sense of thing? I did. Yeah. We read the yep. entire we, we article the, on our We read the week. Breitbart yeah. leaks, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Was that all out when I had that conversation with you? Well, it's just kind of common sense. Why would you expect a mega Is corporation to give two sense? fucks a, the, the, about a bunch of little YouTubers? Ship? I don't know. Maybe, Sir, maybe you not. Thought if, you thought if you were their friends, they were going to protect you. It was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Who knows? You well, know, no, we, obviously we it, it, it was because we've seen how it played out with the leaks. Okay. That's, okay, that's great. great. So yeah, I, now we, I want to hear what your next great idea is. That one thing was true and one thing was false. Okay. I want to hear what your next great idea is. So I'll, how does Gamergate I'll, help yeah. us take I'm not going to lie. I'm actually <laughs> interested. Like, I don't know what where you're going okay. with this, man. And I really just don't know. Like, I'm, I'm completely okay. lost. I'm lost. I, I can't believe that you haven't figured it out yet. Well, I mean, the only thing I could figure out, it sounded like you were talking about resurrecting Gamergate. That's the only thing no, I could figure out. No. But maybe I'm off base. I don't know. Gamergate, it obviously, it doesn't exist anymore, right? It's not an activist not movement really, on no. the internet anymore, yeah. right? We all understand this, right? So whenever I say Gamergate, I'm not saying us as activists doing things for ethics and video games journalism or against, you know, you know, for any, we're not participating in Gamergate anymore, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah that's, I pulled the yeah, shit yeah, on that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bravo, bravo, well done. Yeah, you, you, you guys are fab, right? Now, now wait, you quit that... Gamergate too, Sargon? Don't act yeah, like you did. You said it was over. <laughs> you oh. made a big public thing about quitting Gamergate. Don't act like we did the <laughs> only ones. Did right, you okay. make a big public thing about quitting Gamergate? You sure there wasn't Jim? Oh no, I, I, I made you... a, I wanted people to know how many faggots were involved in that movement. Yeah, you're okay, no, you're yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You no, but you did. You actually that. did. I mean, you put out a video like Gamer Gets Over, work done. I mean, am, am I off base? Like, I mean, yeah. if, if I'm wrong, you yeah, can. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm like quitting anything. That just means okay. Well, right? you said so. But any, okay. anyway, all right, go anyway, ahead. Right. Okay. Getting, getting back to it, right? So, but the idea of Gamergate is now imprinted in the narrative of the left, right? It's I I mean I still see see people talk about it from time to time yeah it's it's usually like scare tactics from from the media yes. and stuff yeah it's scare tactics they're they're worried about another game gate coming along I I don't really think they are to be honest with you I think they've <laughs> got their own agenda going and you're forward just saying it for the sake of saying it Sargon what's dumb as fuck is saying let's do Gamergate I, 2.0 I'd rather I'm fuck myself with a rake than do that you know, I know that's where you went. You you don't know what the proposal is yet, but you've made assumptions. Of what, what you're building up to sure sounds dumb, but okay, I guess I can admit I'm wrong if you've got a better angle. Let's hear it. Yeah, I do. I do. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I reckon we can get Donald Trump to defend Gamergate. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Why not? But why, why not? would he, though? You just said Gamergate was well, over. Like, why would he? Why would he? The fucking troll in chief. <laughs> Why would he defend Gamergate? Oh, there are lots of reasons. <laughs> I mean, it usually he kind of gets involved in stuff that's like breaking well, news, you know what okay, I mean? Like, yeah, it seems to what be kind of What would the benefit everything. even be to that? I mean, he's already made comments about Charlottesville uh, where he said there was violence on both sides. They got angry for like a week or two. It was in the mainstream media, and then they didn't give a shit. So what? Like he, let's say he does they go and say Gamergate wasn't a big deal. It, it, you got uh, you got a news blurb, and then nobody cares again. They still talk about Charlottesville all the time. So you want to you want to try to trick 
Donald Trump into talking about Gamergate. Why would I need to trick him? Well, because he's not obviously done it himself, so you're going to have to spur that along. I don't think he knows anything about Gamergate. Of course he doesn't. Most people don't. <laughs> yeah, but you, you literally implied that he knew something, right? He, I, obviously, my, listen, Sargo, my, listen, point, listen. my point is, let me say this real quick. My point is, he usually gets involved in stuff. He very much avidly follows the media, but he usually gets involved in like breaking news stories or hot cultural topics Dude, like kneeling at on. the NFL he, games he and stuff like that. This is kind Twilight. of a... About not getting back together with the girl who cheated on him, like Donald Trump. Yeah, Trump's but that was before he was president, no, so now he picks his Donald battles Trump a little more. Understands the importance of culture. Sure, I agree that, with that. Right? Yeah, and he gets involved. He gets directly involved, belligerently. In also true, cases. but Gamergate's not really a thing now, though. I, I know. I do you want, look. The fact that the left still remembers it like a wound is why it's important, right? For them, I don't think they were expecting this kind of consumer revolt. This this revolt from the bottom. I really don't think they were expecting it. And I think it's really freaked them out. I mean, like, I'll, I'll probably go through, like, you know, the Guardian coverage in the last year or something on Gaming Gate and, like, the independent coverage, because they still make articles about it. They still talk about it. They still fear it. And if we get Donald Trump just to tweet out, I mean, it, you know, d just a tweet that mentions the hashtag Gaming Gate, it, it, it doesn't even necessarily matter how he uses it. Man, the blue check marks are going to shit their fucking pants. It, you are going to see the spurging of a lifetime. Donald Trump supports gaming. They are going to flip their fucking shit. I, I'd rather see him. I'd rather see him talk about Veronica's. Hey, you hear me, guys, gangweed? Huh, what's up? <laughs> what's up, my fellow gamers? Rise up! <laughs> I'm for the Jokers to take it back. But who cares, man? Don't don't you think it would be so fucking funny to watch them do this? Like the reactions. Well, how do you so propose to do that? Like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just think it's unlikely to see him go out and do sure, hashtag I'm not saying, Gamergate. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, you know. And this is this is why this is why I'm not saying I can do it on my own. Are you trolling but us I, right now? Like, what is this? Like, this I, I don't reminds know, me of that millennial woes conversation you had, where you're like, dude, millennial woes, you should act like an SJW. That's a super smart thing. Yeah, this I, like I think like an SJW shit. would get the white nationalists' legitimacy. <laughs> oh, these are some big brain ideas. I, it's I just, undeniably true. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Do you have a they're war bringing back plan segregation to college campuses, dumbass. I mean, like, it legitimately ends in the same results. But anyway, that's not what I don't want to talk about that, right? No, I'm so, just saying this is a, the same quality argument. I'm really enjoying this. So, you, okay, so let's say you're right and you get care. Donald Trump. Jim. You obviously do. Why are you here pitching the idea to people if you don't yeah, care? Well, yeah, but you're, you, whether you're like, oh, I don't like it, okay, fine, don't like it, but you haven't even let me finish it. Oh, there's more? Fuck, questions. I'm sorry, I'll let you go. No, 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 okay, you're right, you're right. If there's more, I want to hear more. You're the crab at the bottom of the bucket that can't see the rest to get out, aren't you? I, I don't know. I mean, do you want to compare well, stream numbers, know. Carl? You keep saying I do, don't do you know, wanna, but that's do you the want to compare stream stream numbers? What did you do you last night? Was it, was, it 16, was it 1,600, Carl? And when Ralph was hitting eight? That's pretty sad. That's why you're here, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody wanted to listen to the idea on your 1,600 viewers stream. Jim. But you come onto the Ralph retort no, after saying it shit for months talking. because he's got eight thousand dollars. I don't. You know should what be you're sorry. About. That's really embarrassing. I mean, it is super I, it's, embarrassing. It's tremendously, tremendously. You, it is. You're the, you're, 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 you're the crab at the bottom of the bucket. Ralph sitting on top. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're pinching his ass trying to get attention. Bucket, I get your Gate Two <laughs> idea. Holy shit, <laughs> Jim. Do you mind? Uh, do you mind? Let me finish Ralph's. Oh no, I want to hear this, please. More. Why are you talking so much then? Don't ask me questions if you want to speak. You're going to get answers. Go, go, go. Why did you Why did you interrupt when I was trying to answer Ralph's question? <laughs> Being silent so you could talk. Go. Yeah, but I'm asking you a question now. You, you, you're asking me why, why I'm answering you your questions. Why did you interrupt when I was trying to ask Ralph's question? Why did you do that? Sometimes you say shit that's so stupid and stunning that I, I have to say something. It's like it's like a tick. It's almost impossible not actually, to say something. I didn't actually finish my sentence before you jumped in. Okay, well, I'm very sorry. I guess it's like your debate at MythCon. Oh, shut, up, shut, up, saying, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Carl. Let me talk. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel that you're acting, yeah. I'm acting like you? Yeah, I better stop. I don't want to, I don't want to pull yeah, that look off. Do you think that that's a good idea? Maybe you should stop. To, to act like you? No, fuck no. I agree. Next Completely thing you know, I'll be agree. giving out of context quotes about the age of the child. No, let's go. <laughs> I Look, Jim, you can carry on interrogating teenagers about the size of their boyfriend's penises all you want. I, it's just 
Hey, you know, Carl, I don't weird. don't get upset. I mean, I, mean, it, I don't even know what the I, I love how you tried. Movie. I love how you tried black PR and it blew up in your face because you're fucking retarded. Black PR. black PR. Yeah. Oh, I don't get the conversation Jim's having. And oh, I'm getting accused of the same shit that I tried to use. Against <laughs> Depends on the child, doesn't it, Carl? OK, Jim. Yeah, it was, does it, was, it depend on the child, Carl? Does yeah, it depend it, on the it child? All black PR, it's all it's all, all black black case by case basis. So you're you're cool. It's case by case basis. We get you, champ. We know what you're talking about. Jim is scientifically verifiable. That people hit puberty on a case by case. Oh no, no! Basis. Please tell me about your it's your genius ideas terrible. about ten year olds and twelve year olds having sex. You're so smart. You're so smart, Carl. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate that. Now, Ralph, oh, no, you're um, what was your question again, man? Sorry. Um, you said there was more to the proposal, I guess, and and yeah, um, okay. yeah. This this one, I can't do this all on my own, obviously. Um, basically, okay. So the way the way that um, the way that it seems that the political sphere works is that all of these people act within bubbles, right? Um, and obviously they're very sensitive to perception. This is why social justice activism has worked so well, because the SJWs act as a mob, they email, they, they tweet, they shame, you know, they, they, they are constantly filling the sort of inputs, the, the social media input of these people with the sort of thing that they want them to hear, obviously. And this is how they end up kind of influencing and like washing over an institution. And that's part of it. You know, another part of it is they have activists that go and speak to these people directly, like Anita Sarkeesian. You know, she ends up going to, well, she Intel. I mean, she's she got like the UN, you know, she, like how the fuck did she get there? Well, I know how she got there now. You know, I've actually been doing it myself. This is This is how this works. And you can make this a remarkably... Um, efficient and effective thing if you have a kind of victim narrative and if you have a particular like group that is opposed to you politically who you can demonstrate have interactions with you it's very very easy to get people already opposed to them to be sympathetic to your side and with good reason i mean obviously you know it, it's sensible that that would be the case you know why wouldn't you want to find allies and stuff like that um and so I think that with a kind of combined effort of the internet, we could essentially craft a narrative because you have to, to sell to people, you know, explain that this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. That's a lot more fair about what happened in Gamergate. And I think that we can effectively get um, very important people to say that Gamergate did nothing wrong. I, I just... Look, I came yeah, here. I know, I know. I know. It is. It is. This is blowing my mind. I'm not gonna. Sure. I'm not gonna lie. You're, you've blown my mind. I, I was sitting here. We had a lot of ideas to just about. You know, what, what is he up to? What, what is he planning? <laughs> oh, this this, was not, this yeah, did not this, come up on the list. Not at all. What I was. This expecting. did not come up the list. But you know, one thing I did when I said I said I'm gonna come in here. You know, even though we've been you know talking shit about Sargon, he's been talking shit about us. Like I'm gonna keep an open mind. If, if it's a great idea, uh, it's a great idea. You know what I mean? No matter who it comes from, I just don't. I don't know. I just don't. I don't see what what you're doing here with this, really. I mean, I'm, I think that I've made myself quite clear. I I want to. You want to see, get people to I, come I, I out and say Gamergate did nothing the wrong. Biggest basically. troll. I I won't see. I mean, there will be nothing more autistic than watching the response to them seeing Trump support Gamergate. That, why that would be, why why would anybody? Okay, but so what benefit is that to Trump? You want Trump to to create a situation where Gamergate looks good? That sounds fucking how, retarded. How is that not beneficial to Trump, Jim? Tr because uh, what I <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm having a fucking short circuit, Ralph. We am I, I, I on alone I just, on this? No, no I, I really don't, and I'm not, I'm not even I'm not even trying to be mean. Like I said, I'm trying to keep a fair amount. I just don't understand. Like yeah. if, if okay, Gamergate okay, was yeah. happening today, like if this was the heyday of Gamergate, I have no doubt that President Trump would probably be right in the middle of that shit, fucking around, right? Because he's a huge troll. But Gamergate yeah. is like s smoldering. You know, we talked about it earlier. It's dead. Now there are some people no, 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 hanging out on Kotaku in action, and they don't, actually don't. think it's still going. It's not going. It's no, been done worry for a long about time. Gamergate. Right? Gamergate is gone. Okay, we're not dealing with an organism of people on the internet called Gamergate. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking yeah. about is the perception in the journalists' minds and in the verified checkmarks' heads of what Gamergate is, because they don't just think Gamergate was an activist movement, right? They think that Gamergate is a latent part of every community that there are going to be people who are going to say, no, we don't care about your moral shaming. We're pro racism or something like that. And then, you know, fuck you. Cause that's how they perceive it. That's what they think. 
It's not what we think, obviously, because that's nuts, but that's why they're nuts. But that's I'm, their perception. I just don't think there's any real juice in it, if you know what I mean. Are so, so when Trump this, does this, he tends to do it for electoral benefit. Yeah, he loves trolling the left. He loves fucking with these journalists. Serious? Dude, but, he trolls them all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, but it's for it's for voting purposes. So you see the NFL. The NFL is the biggest fucking sport in the country, if not the world. So when he jumps into something like the, the kneeling thing, he knows that's going to roll up his base and actually benefit him electorally. Um, the cultural issues he jumps into, uh, he, he tends to be thinking about, you know, winning elections and, and rallying up How the base. And I don't know that. Well, I mean, I'm, you know, I, well, I'm just making an observation. I mean, of course, I can't You're read guessing. the man's mind, but You're guessing. Well, so well, well, well that's all I anybody guessing? can do when am we talk about somebody's well? action. Am I actions. guessing, or have I had conversations with people who might know the man personally and figured out something? That <laughs> what degree away? Yeah. <laughs> Bannon has no clout in the White House anymore. You do know that. Right? I didn't say Bannon had clout in the White House. Yeah, uh, I don't know who you talk to. However, if you do know who I talk to. Look, I, you know what? I, I won't you even know dispute. Exactly that. I'm, I'm sure to. Bannon probably still does have conversations with Trump. I'm not going to like dispute that, but I, I, I just think you know the idea of the Gamergate. I, I just I just don't see why Trump would do that. Now, of course, Bannon was well, intimately involved with Gamergate no, behind no, the no, scenes. Hang on, man. Hang on. You've Milo said yourself, Trump is that. a giant troll. Trump is a giant troll. You said it repeatedly in this conversation, and you're right. Yeah, he you're is. But no, no, but just... you don't. No, no, listen, right. I can't tell you what I've been told, but you don't even understand the depths of how much he enjoys trolling, right? <laughs> and I can't, I'm not going to, it was all off the records. So I'm not going to say anything. But this is, a, this is a fact. Trump is a troll, and we know he is. He likes to make them scream. You too. understand you're coming on a stream and making a public statement that you've talked to people in the Well, maybe you should try and sabotage it by Sargon. sending it to whoever. Sargon. Go, Jenny, go. Oh Send my the god, you're things. such a pretentious cunt. Will you Fuck just it, let me talk? You're, the, you're not listening. You're the idiot saying you want to set up this trolling op, and then here you are openly talking about it because you're fucking stupid. And then you're saying you know people that know well, Trump and that he's in on the no on it, you dumb fuck. I didn't say he's in on the no at all. Jim, you keep doing this. You make up shit. God, you're stupid. I you're so fucking dumb. It's painful. It. What is the matter with you? I didn't say he's in on it. How many I? things do you have to fucking murder and touch and latch oh, onto and kill? Into that, Jim. You're currently in the no, middle really. of murder. How many things do you need to fucking murder? And yeah, co-op Sargon. Does that. I'm trying to actually How many burnt bodies need to be in the pyre for you to be satisfied? I don't know. How big's your pile? Uh, way less than yours, man. <laughs> I don't think it is, Jim. Uh, you're I the fucking... fucking you're, oh, 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 listen to Chatelet, my, uh, you know, you Mr. Chatelet, Chatelet you, here. Okay, you the, you the guy okay, yeah, let's a have a series of people with character statements against your character for you being a bully all the way through... I, I'm such a bully. Years, Name the bully, Sargon. Has Bully Hunter 77 shown up? Has Bully Hunter 77 and the you have to do that because you work up so many people. And, you know, it's fine, Jim. I don't care. Oh, yeah, I worked you up. This is what you I worked do. you up, and then care. you quit the internet for a while, didn't you? Uh, no. I know. I don't recall quitting. Uh, guys, uh, I need to take a break from YouTube and from the drama, and I need to stop. Yeah, I've already explained that. Did you miss it? No, I, yeah, right after I kicked your ass and made a fool. No, at the beginning of the stream, did you miss it? Oh, no, your rationalization for getting made to look a fool? Yeah, no, I heard that. Okay. Do you remember the stream yeah, I did okay. where 30,000 people okay. laughed at how retarded you were? Do you, do you right, remember right, that? Right, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So you agree. That you're retarded? Yes, we agree on that point. Okay, yeah, we agree. We agree. Right. So this is this is the thing, right? So okay. Ralph, you're completely right. Trump is a troll and he enjoys trolling. And he's good at trolling too. Uh, um, I would argue Trump might be the greatest troll of all time. Oh, honestly, yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think we may have underestimated the man's trolling abilities, yes. right? So... I, I genuinely think that he will see the value if we can present the right view of Gamergate to Trump. And I think the, pro the primary way of doing that is the FBI investigated Gamergate and they found they did nothing wrong. Because they did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the report and all that stuff, but I mean, okay, so where do you take, where do you go from there? So like, I, I don't, so you take that and, and what... I, well, the, the, the ultimate goal is to get Donald Trump to defend it. Because I mean, that, I mean you, imagine, you realize imagine this already happened a couple years ago when that report came out and everybody made videos about it and talked about it. Um, Which one was this, sorry? The FBI report. Didn't that come? Are you talking about the old report? Yeah, is there the a new FBI, one? Yeah, but we need, what, we need is, what we need is Donald Trump to tweet something like the FBI report out and say, the media smears about Game Gate false. You know, the FBI investigated Game Gate and found that they did nothing wrong. It, it doesn't have to be exactly that, obviously. But that, that would be like the perfect you know, scenario, but, um, 
you know, I just mean, if that happened, would it, I laugh? Yeah, most likely I would. Just, right? just from the sheriff's just insanity of of him mentioning Gamergate. But I, I, I just yeah, don't. But wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> it would. I mean, yeah, I would laugh at that. If that it would be fucking incredible. I mean, the response would be apoplectic, wouldn't it? But how do you propose? Like, so what, how, how do you propose them to do that though? And well, and, and then I, okay, kind of, say that does happen. What what is the ultimate benefit of that happening? I mean, just for the laugh oh, itself. Laughing. Yeah, okay. laughing, laughing at the verified check marks. <laughs> mm. That's the point of this, just so we can have a laugh at the verified check marks spurging out about Gamergate. Not all. First, let me, let me do hashtag not all check marks here, since I have one. Myself. Oh yeah, sorry, but, I do apologize. But, uh, the, 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 you know, you know the ones I'm talking about though. Yes, yes, the Jews. No, I'm just kidding. Jews, <laughs> Jews, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's, um, wouldn't wouldn't that be amazing? And then the the coverage as well. And not only that, I think you'll find a lot of people on like the sort of out of touch Republican types, like Ted Cruz. They understand that social media is important, and I think they can be made to understand that things like Gamergate are an, an inherent resistance to the far left, and I think they'll support that. I think I think they'll run with that. I think they'll I think they'll like it. You know, especially as we can you know we can we can have different ways of framing it that are all true. Obviously, I'm not suggesting we lie at all. We need to be completely honest about what we've what we've got and what what is going on, but I think we can be, and I think it will have the 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 results of freaking them out, and I think it would just be a funny ass thing to do. So, how do you propose to? I guess what what I'm getting, I don't know. Maybe maybe if you said that there, I didn't I didn't really catch it. But how how do you propose to make it happen? Like what what are you going to do to make it happen? What are you okay. what are you trying to tell other yeah. people to do? To yeah, make it happen? This is this is another thing, right? So. The way the way things happen is by connections. It's someone knows someone knows someone, and you have to ask them to get get their email to send to you. You know, so you can email them. Networking, like basically. This. Yeah, it is networking. Yeah, and I don't really like it. I would prefer if everyone had a public email, like I do, but they don't. A lot of people keep their de contact de details secret, and it's annoying. And you have to go through agents and things like this. But um, but what I'll try and do is talk to people and. You know, try and get emails for people, and and um, and try and get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon. But there needs to be a cultural phenomenon, and that's why, um, that's why I need you guys. Okay, so let me get this straight. Your plan is ninety percent us doing the legwork and ten percent you sending out emails. No. What have I misheard then? How does this? What's the All breakdown? I'm not going to explain to you though, Jim. You're just wrong. So, what do you recommend? You just literally said I'll email people to get them to pay attention to a cultural phenomenon, and then you guys. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I will do, Jim. That's one. Okay, thing. well, fill us in on the rest of this 20-year plan. Well, I don't think I should, given this is a live stream. Okay. Oh, now you're taking my advice. That's good. I think it was good advice, don't you? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, well I'll I... take it then. Thanks. I did consider. I did, I did think about that maybe keep it on the low, but I mean okay, it's well, too late now. Delete the stream right. afterwards if you have to or whatever, you know. Ah, but, no, you know, but the thing is, you know, it's not like be sensible though. None of the people who are listening surely want to alert the far left that we're about to make them look stupid. Well, you know, I, I will say this. Um, you know, I actually, you know, there are lefts who watch this show too. I mean, it's not just all. You know, well, then they can. Yeah, but hey, hang on. How much funnier will that be if they start raising the alarm that we're going to try and make Donald Trump endorse Gamergate or ask him to endorse Gamergate? How funny does that sound on the fucking face of it? Like, <laughs> you paranoid freak. And then Donald Trump might respond to it naturally without us doing a fucking thing. I mean, perhaps. Uh, so, so you're saying collect? You're going to collect emails of people who might, you know, be in it's touch not with that. leaders. You, you have to. Meet no, I mean, you, you mean like contact that. data, but I, I'm asking. So, you're talking to a broad-based audience here. You know, we're we're the number one late night show on YouTube. Uh, oh, I hate to, hate to toot my own horn here, but uh, um, Dude, oh no. but but uh, so what 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 should the people do? I guess. In, in your idea? Okay, so the 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 thing that I think we need to start doing. And not, and I, I will be doing this as well. Um, is finding everything that they've said about Gamergate that makes Gamergate sound scary, right? Makes it sound impressive and big. Like you know, you remember when they were like Gamergate's going to end up on Mars? Gamergate put Trump. I mean, didn't they say Gamergate put Trump in the White House? Uh, yeah, I want to say it was Sarah Zhang that said that. Actually, the uh, the racist the uh, New York Times. I believe that was her that said that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was. There was one on. Everyday, everyjoe.com. Yeah, not... she's not the only one that said it, but I, I, I think that's where I first saw it. Yeah. yeah. 
Right. Okay. So, um, I yeah, want to say that. I mean, don't, you know, I won't bet my left on, nut on it, but I think that that's who said it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the sidebar so you can see it. But again, we can use all of this, right? Because they're, they're printing any of this is just a bonus to us. Here's, here's the link. Okay. Let me. So we find everything like this, like, you know, everything where they say Gamergate did this, Gamergate did that. We make it sound like Gamergate is really capable and really competent. You know, it's everywhere. It's, and it's, we'll use their sources. They're the ones building this narrative. And then all we need to do is present Gamergate was invested by the FBI and found to do nothing wrong. And then like, I don't know, you know, find, you know, in fact, Mark judges, Mark judges articles on it are perfect because Mark judges a political, you know, involved in a political narrative. And he was in defense of Gamergate. And we, there we go. You know, oh. in fact, they, they all say that Gamergate's like a movement of Nazis that have put Donald Trump in the White House. In fact, Gamergate was a grassroots move, movement of people against the far left. Here's some articles that Mark Judge wrote, you know, the guy with Kavanaugh. The, the FBI inve investigated Gamergate, found they did nothing wrong. They're lying. You know, we'd like President Trump to use his platform to help us redeem our name or something like that. However you need to spin it, you know, however you need to sell it. Just like that, that. And the thing is, nothing about that is untrue. Nothing about that is untrue. That's a completely true narrative. And that's frankly what's happened. And this is not only a way we can, I mean, there are people in Gamergate who probably still aren't happy that the name is being smeared by the far left. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you you know, you might, Gamergate, fair enough, you can say it's full of faggots and, and twats and, and people trying to make money out of it and all this sort of stuff. But it wasn't a movement full of Nazis, you know? And that's how they've tried to portray it. It wasn't a, it wasn't a movement full of women haters and all this sort of stuff. And so don't, that's... Don't, don't you think, though, honestly, because I, I do think it, it had a lot of faggots in it, but at the same time, you're proposing using something that people are still, some hangers-on are still involved in. I mean, I don't... Are they like, still? Like, I talk about action, there definitely talk, are some still. Yeah, this. talking about Gamergate, I, I, you want to use them as like a political cudgel to win points uh, with Twitter arguments with journalists. It kind of seems dickish. Oh, does it seem dickish? Well, uh, yeah, I left the movement because I was sick of people using it for their own gains. Why would I agree to do that now? Because this is a way that Gaming Gate can win. Can I ask you a question, Sargon? Sure. Okay. Are you trying to resurrect Gamergate because that's when your YouTube career was at its peak and now that it's dead, <laughs> it fucking no. gets cratered? No. Because that's what it seems like to me. Let's okay. let's all do I, fucking Gamergate again. I, I really don't think my YouTube career was at its peak during Gamergate. Well, I do. Okay. Well, I, I want to say this, that uh, I just want to point out that the whiskey has not killed all my brain cells and that I was absolutely correct that uh, it was a Sarah Jean quote. And here's the quote. Breitbart played a key role in Gamergate. Congratulations, America. You put Gamergate in the fucking White House. And, and that's in the article that you linked. Perfect. So I just Th this is all out. stuff that we can just you know mesh together and say, look, Mr. Trump, they think that we elected you and they're smearing us all over the place. We did support you probably. I mean, I know I did, you know, like. We support you, and we'd, we'd really appreciate it if you could just clear our name. So, so you're telling you're saying people here tweet at Trump or send letters, or not, it, not, it's going to take not or, Trump particularly um, or officials, I, I would, you know, elected officials, perhaps. I would I would tweet them and say, look, you know, we were activists who supported Gamergate, and uh, you know, assuming you were obviously, um, and. You know, they, they smear us all the time. They think we put Trump in the White House. We do support Trump. And the FBI investigated us to find we did nothing wrong. Could you please get Mr. Trump to just tweet out that we, you know, that he supports us or something? Because we're sick of being told that we're terrible people. You know, it can be anything like that. Because this is all true. You know, I, I've talked to so many people who are sick of being smeared for it. They've just, you know, gone, oh, whatever. I don't care. But I'm sure there are loads of people who'd love to see fucking a bit of redemption in this regard. So, you and know, part thought, of the problem with Gamergate um, is... I mean, I guess a problem and a benefit. There was a wide tent, uh, especially at the beginning, and a lot of people had no problems, you know, keeping that wide tent and just letting people do their own thing. Uh, but but the the coalition, the Gamergate coalition, quote unquote, there were a lot of uh, leftists in that. Uh, there are mm -hmm. a lot of people who um, used to support Gamergate now who are raging anti-Trump people. Um, sure, but and so I, I don't really know that a lot of these people them. would be on board with it. I mean, I guess that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, but I mean, they don't have to be. It's, you know, we don't, it does, you know, if someone doesn't want to, you know, try and redeem Gamergate's name in the public dialogue, then that's fine. You know, I mean, I don't mind if they don't care. Um, but this is something that, A, we could do, and it, man, if we did it, it'd just be so fucking funny to see the reaction. And B, it would be nice to be able to say, well, you know, 
Trump acknowledges that Gamergate did nothing wrong, blah, 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 FBI, blah, blah, blah. You know, wouldn't that, um, wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, it, it would be, yeah, I, I would laugh if it happened. I just don't, I, I just tend to think, um, like, like I said earlier, Trump, Trump usually gets involved in, in stuff that's hot. You know what I mean? Like stuff that's, that's cult. He gets well, involved I mean, in culture, he gets involved in trolling, uh, definitely all the time, but it, t- it tends to be hot button stuff. You know what I mean? Right. That has juice uh, among his voter base. And uh, okay. I, I just okay. really don't. Let's, let's pause there. Cause that's a great point, right? Um, I'm not saying I know how to give this juice initially. And that's, that's probably beyond what I can manage anyway. Um, again, this is why I'm coming to you and the people listening, right? Mm. Don't worry about how you feel about me. This is, you know, don't worry about how you feel about Ralph or Jim or anyone like that, right? But just think, how can we achieve the end result? Um, you know, what what would need to go happen? What is plausible that would need to happen for us to create a kind of, I don't know, online, not an online scandal, but create the atmosphere for them to give a shit about gaming? Because they do still bring it up, you know? So, like... You know, I'm I'm sure someone listening. So you, you probably got. I, I can't. I haven't got the the things. We have people. almost eight thousand people. people right? Almost eight thousand so people watching. I'm I'm sure there are some fucking amazing ideas in in the people listening, and I'm sure that like you know after after the stream's over, like you know, like people talk about in the comments say, okay, I'm sure you know, I hate will, I hate yeah. Sargon, but if we did X or you know whatever, and then you know a good idea will come out, and then we can run with that and. Because, like, like you say, it needs to be something hot. So we need to. I mean, I haven't looked at whether they actually, um, you know, what, what's been put out about gaming it today or anything. But um, it'll be very interesting to see, and or, and not even just to see. Like, if if something does happen that involves Gamergate, then holy shit, why why not why not get Trump to endorse Gamergate? I mean, why wouldn't he? Like what you said, and I admitted that. Yeah, I would laugh if if Trump tweeted about Gamergate. I don't think that that's. I mean, it's it's so it's so crazy and absurd. Almost, that I would have to laugh. But, um, and I'm trying to be completely fair to your idea. I saw a couple people in chat. Ralph, you're being too nice. Well, I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to hear it out. I I just don't see. So this sounds like a lot of effort when the whole like. So I ask you what the benefit was, and it's like, well, it's a laugh. I mean, it, it seems like There's a lot of effort. So so when I was sitting here thinking about you coming on, and you're like, you got to great idea i don't want to go into every single thing you said but basically said i have a big idea it's great and i was like okay what could this be me and gator were kicking it around because the damn wasn't wasn't he was at work sounds like he skipped out of work uh for this but uh i did <laughs> and we're like well what's he talking about he just talked to bannon maybe the trump tv thing bannon's gonna do it himself like we're sitting there thinking that and then you came in with the Gamergate stuff, and I'm just like, what is that? Ha- I mean, this is almost, uh, it almost, it's almost like you're trolling us. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, it, you seem really sincere about it. I don't think you are. I, I'm, I'm 100% serious when I say I think we can get not just, I mean, we, like, for example, I wouldn't go straight for Trump. I would probably, you know, try and get Trump Jr. or Stephen Miller or someone well, like that. Can I, can I ask you something? I mean, you keep saying we, like, and then you say, well, you guys might have the juice to do this. I just oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to clearly state to you, I'm not going to use my audience for your retarded plan. Now, maybe well, Ralph will go along with that. Great. Yeah, that's no, that's great. right. It's not going to happen. Great. It's okay. stupid. Okay. And I'm not going to try to get them to, for great. your chuckles, great. your smug chuckles. This is that's, so dumb. That's great. That's great. Awesome. I, I'm glad we're clear. So when you we're, say we, make sure that we is a royal one. It doesn't include well, it's, me. Yeah, it's, it is the royal one. I mean, I would never try and include you in something. Good. Happy? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I guess my point is, it, it seems like, you would be sh- shooting for something higher. You know what I mean? Like, okay. When, when, I, when I say we, I just want to say like anyone who's interested. Well, yeah, in of course. And I, I'll trolling. go with what you said. <laughs> like, I, I, I haven't, this, this I haven't is, signed on for anything. I, I just, I'm just hearing you out. You said I have this big well, idea. I haven't, and, I haven't initiated anything. You know, okay. I, yeah. I, I, I'll put that out there too. I haven't, yeah, <laughs> I haven't signed I, yeah, on. This is just all, you know, shit posting. I'm just trying to be fair like, and let you get and you know, extrapolate yeah, yeah, on your this points. Is just and throwing stuff. out ideas. Right. But the, the thing is I've noticed that, like from the perspective I have at the moment, I can see a path to achieve a particularly hilarious goal that does nothing but benefit people who oppose the far left and does nothing but enrages the far left. And I don't think there's anything wrong with us, like you know, following this path. I think it'd be, I think it'd be good for. In fact, I can think of several good reasons why it'd be a moral good to do this. But you know, you guys are generally just here for the laughs and stuff. So I figure. This well, will be a massive if, fucking laugh. Seriously, if we can get Donald Trump to like defend Gamergate, oh man, the sky's gonna fucking come down. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Just imagining it is incredible. You know what would be better if he tweets out hashtag White Lives Matter. 
Uh, no, he won't do that. He won't do that. It's it's. it's I mean, close he to did Nazis. talk about the South African, uh, f- you know, farmers getting killed. I mean, I, I don't know if you know. He's already kind of almost went there at, at that point. Um, no, no, no. The, the thing is, right. I, I'm certain that Trump and the people around him are not white nationalists, right? Yeah. So, the, the they're definitely. I, I'm certain they're not white nationalists. Um, they they are. Le- they're like American nationalists, you know. Um. And they, yeah, they will, they are, they're definitely concerned about like, you know, South African farmers as they should be, which is laudable of them, obviously. But they're, they're not going to tweet out White Lives Matter because it sounds too much like an alt right slogan. They're, they will see it as being too. I close, mean, he I defended think. people at Charlottesville. That was, that was fairly. Yeah. 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 Alt right. So that's that's uh... not the same as tweeting out White Lives Matter, I think. Yeah. I think Gaming Gate's the one we've got the best shot with because the SJWs keep bringing it up. Yeah. <sighs> If this was 2014, I would say absolutely. He, you know, he was president then. I'm pretty much certain he would be in the middle of it. Uh, it since it's 2018, and Gamergate's been dead for a long while, I, I just don't know uh, that he would actually, you know. I understand. Just just have a think about it. Just mull it over. Because, it like, <laughs> it, it would be seismic if Trump were to tweet the t- just the hashtag Gamergate. Just even, regardless of context, it'd be fucking seismic. And if if it was pro understanding it as being a cultural force against the the authoritarian far left, man, they would they would just piss themselves, and it would be the funniest thing in the world. And he could vindicate Gamergate, which I think, frankly, deserves to be vindicated. So, um, and all I'm saying is, I think I think I can actually see a path to it, but it, it requires us to like you know m- you know people who are interested in doing this. Like it would require some kind of understood coordination that, you know, we're not going to worry about interpersonal drama. It's not about our own egos. It's about getting the job done, you know? So if stuff needed to happen, like we'd all have to do our part, you know? Um, but that's, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll leave it with you guys there. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head off because I've got other things that editing to do, which is amazing fun. Um, but um, I look forward to, look forward to, send me, a, send me a message on Skype when you've, when you guys have talked to Evan, had a think, and uh, you know, we can talk further and stuff like that. Is that cool? Uh, I mean, yeah, we had other topics, but we went so deep at this. You know what? Uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just let it go with that. I guess. Uh, cool. This, this yeah. is a good one, though, right? <laughs> well, we'll, 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 we'll. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm on. I, 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 I'm, I'm. I don't know what to say about it. To be honest with you, but well, that's that's the thing. Have a have a think of it, and uh, and you know, give me a shout on Skype when you want to. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for coming on, Sarah. All right. Take it easy, everyone. Bye. Right. Yep. Take it easy. Um. Yeah. I. What just happened here? I was just gonna <laughs> say, oh, 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 <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, uh, is he trolling? It? Like, I still can't. I don't know. Well, I, I, I brought this up. I, I, really, folks, if you get a chance, go listen to that millennial woes conversation that Sargon had with him where he tried to convince him that, no, no, if the alt-right want to be powerful, you need to act like SJWs. It's super smart. Trust me. It's a good idea. So, so he keeps saying, well, wouldn't it be funny if Trump tweeted about Gamergate? Well, I mean, would I laugh? Yeah, but like, I, why would he do that? For, I, I would laugh from the sheer absurdity of the President of the United States tweeting about Gamergate in 2018, years after it was over. Like, I would, I would more laugh at, you know, I, am I, this, is life actually real? Like, what's happening right now? Not from the trolling leftist aspect, you know what I mean? Just like, what's I don't know, this was just dumb all over. If this was like a, <laughs> a tr- if this is a troll attempt, it was really stupid. And uh, if this was uh, genuine, it's even dumber. Like, I didn't pick your poison, I guess. I don't know. Do you think he was trolling us? Or? I, I, have I no hope idea. he I, was. I, 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 I kinda, really hope he was. I, I'll agree with him. I really do hope this was his attempt at trolling because it's painfully a bad idea. But I will say, I have heard somebody el- uh, else in his circles uh, mention to me that they wanted Gamergate 2.0. One of his capos specifically said that. Do. They, 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 literally word for word. We need to do Gamergate 2.0. Can you help me? <laughs> so and, uh, you be my and this, hero. this was this was about a month ago. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I won't call that individual out because I, I want to. You know, I know he gets real upset when you share DMs. Oh. I'll leave it at that. Oh. Well. I have a couple ideas. I, I won't. I won't make any speculations here while we're on air. But yeah, I. Uh, so that's so when he was giving his pitch, like I said, me and Gator were sitting there thinking, "Oh, this is something big." You know, he just talked to Bannon. Maybe there's like something actually going on here. And then he starts talking. He starts talking about Gamergate, and I, and I finally just said, "Are, 
are you are we trying to what, what are you trying to get the so and then you showed up and he's like great you're here too it's like what are you trying to get the band back together what, what is this it's like oh, it's so dumb it's so dumb i don't i don't I, you you pick your angle it's it's a really bad troll or it's a, a really horrible idea i don't know i was expecting i was really hoping for like year two of the 20 year plan i was i wanted a front seat to be able to listen to that yeah i I don't know. I just, I, I just wanted to make sure. Like, I, I was sitting there and I was talking to Gator. I was like, "Look, I'm gonna keep an open mind. You know, if it's a great idea, it's a great idea. Even if it's from Sargon." And then, and then we went to to Gamer this, 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 like, like, this, this is literally that fucking image macro of the guy that goes, "Her der, I'm retarded," and they're like, "You're a retard," and he's like, "I was just trolling you." <laughs> like that's what we just witnessed in this fucking call. Uh, like the end result is you made yourself look like a fucking retard. Oh, I just, yeah, I don't know. By the way, I just saw JF message me earlier. Sorry, man. I just now saw it. So I was on air. I was just completely befuddled by what was, <laughs> what was going on. So uh, I apologize. But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, and then, so he's making such a big point of coming, you know, literally we've been, you know, badgering him for months to come on the show, call him a pussy and, and this and that. He wouldn't even come on the charity stream. And no, this is this is dead. I, I told you this uh, earlier. This is yeah. the exact. This is a joke, and uh, you know, uh, Ice Poseidon's audience makes this joke all the fucking time. It's like, oh, you know, ten thousand viewers, uh, twenty thousand watchers. Look who shows up in the chat. It's once you started getting viewers. Now suddenly, I bet you said it was last night. I bet it was those comments. I told you he really hates it when you bring up numbers because they are important to him. He may try to play it off like it's not, but it is. And those jokes last. Uh, Last night or the night before, whenever the fuck it was, when you had eight thousand people watching and you only had sixteen hundred. Yeah, I saw those. I didn't even, yeah, yeah. you know what? I didn't even bring it up on air, but I definitely saw them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You I, and I said you had eight Sargons watching. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe I did read your comment. Yeah, maybe I did. Now that I think about it, but yeah, that's uh, that's funny. I don't know. I just and he was so excited in the, in the Skype though. I was like, well, oh, this must be something good. Like maybe maybe some type of big idea, and then. Hey guys, I've got a great idea. Despacito too. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how it went. God, it felt like the underwear gnome of fucking plans. Like part one, I email people. Part two, part three, Trump tweets about it. <laughs> you know, like what the fuck was that? Uh, I still, I mean, Gamergate is so dead. Like if Gamergate actually had, like I said, juice to use the term. If it had some juice, if there was, you know, a lot of stuff going on, may, you know, maybe he would. He'd probably already be tweeting about it. You wouldn't need to come out and, and try to do that. But Gamergate's fucking dead. Like, what, 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 I don't know. I was about to make a joke that I shouldn't make on, on YouTube about it. Uh, did it, does it peacefully, involve trains? Does yes, it involve trains? Peacefully yeah, sunsetting someone. Yeah. Maybe that would be a good way to start it back off again. But that's about the only way I could think of. Uh, I, I really don't. I don't see it popping back off ever again. It's pretty right, well, this, this was this was fun. I'm gonna go yeah. uh, hit my head with a brick and get this <laughs> stupid idea out of it. I think. <laughs> it's just, uh, wow. Okay, that was uh, that's something new. All right. something well, else. hey, hey, when yeah. you guys go fight the good fight under Gamergate 2.0, <laughs> um, I'll be there laughing. <laughs> so, okay, Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it, man. Oh, I would rather drink bleach. Yeah. I'll have to work early for Gamergate too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to see the like what's the point? Like I I don't know. So you made such a big point of coming on the show for like oh let's troll the lefties by getting Trump to tweet about it. I I don't know. It just it seems like there would have been more there there. It's but. the dumbest thing ever. I I can't believe he actually I you know I don't think it's a troll because I don't think he's that smart to make. No, this he a troll. seems like, sincere gonna, about it. Yeah, I, like you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't seem like it's a fake thing. He didn't come up with this idea. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be funny. He's genuinely, like, this is his genuine idea. Like, he thinks this is a grandiose idea. Year two, start Gamergate 2.0. Uh, yeah. By the way, they said uh, JF's in the chat. I sent him the link, so if he's listening to this, check your DMs. You could pop in and give your take. I'm still, I'm still kind of blown away. Just what exactly just happened here? I do like how he dismissed my question real with a smug chuckle. Cause and I, I, I and I did I, I did point out that there was no conditions for his appearance, and that and then he just happened to say he volunteered that and said, um, I you know I'd love to talk to Jim anytime, and then 
Damn, right after that, Jim popped on. Impeccable timing, Jim. I meant to say that while you were here, but... Excuse me. Impeccable timing. Uh, what are we even doing now? Uh, I guess we should chill the show tonight. Uh, we'll see if JF pops in here. Oh, there's JF right there. Hello, people. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. What, what were your thoughts on what we just witnessed? I mean, I had a lot of thoughts. First, I want to give you some insight, Ralph. You've been just master trolled by Sargon of Akkad. You think so? He's been doing it for so. years. I, I use not to detect it. Uh, and I'm pretty good at detecting it, but Sargon does that. He just he just spills bullshit on a show, and he's just doing it for fun. He's probably chuckling right now in English with, with the English accent. I mean, I don't think it worked out as well as he thought it was going to. He looked. Re I mean, let's face it. I mean, you you were in the chat. You saw what the chat said. I can only imagine what the reactions like on Twitter and elsewhere. Um, and again, I was trying to play the host role and be completely fair, but it was it looked pretty retarded, right? I mean, that's not. One thing that I take away is that he was in good. He, he, he was having fun with Jim, and he was returning to Jim what Jim does always, which is to troll. Uh, and let's not forget that everyone in this discussion seemed to be kind to each other, and it was beautiful to see, uh, essentially, guys being guys. Uh, it's a form of white unity that was beautiful to see, and I thank you for putting it together, Ralph. Well, it, this shit keeps falling in my lap, JF. I, I mean, I, I didn't really do all that much, but uh, well, I did. I did send send a link around, but uh, that's about it. But yeah, I don't know. I I think he looked. It just looked a little crazy. Um, my my whole thing was. If you're gonna make this big, you know, move, um, make it for like something bigger. And I guess his point to that was that, well, you guys are all just here for laughs anyway, so I came to you for something that I thought would be just a laugh. So um, I guess that's his retort. But and by the way, <laughs> somebody said JF is joking. Maybe maybe I'm missing. Am I missing your sarcasm here? Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> did I, did I completely miss it? I'm sitting here trying to react and analyze like like that was all real. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> well, let me quote uh, my friend Mike Enoch, who once said about me, look, you have to understand something about JF. This guy is deeply autistic. I mean, you won't realize it because of his French accent. But if you talked English normally, you would realize just how autistic he is. I'm going to take that as a yes, you were being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I, I'm still on the cloud of my recent genetic test with came out, which came out and revealed that I'm really 100% white European. And I, I couldn't help but look at the uh, Mr. Mitaker and Sargon of Akkad discussion through these lens. I really saw it as an act of pan-European uh, white unity. And they, they were just, just from white those results. just fucking around, and and they got you, they they, they got you into uh, actually buying their their stuff. Sargon was joking all the way. There there will no there will be no return. Man, of you know what? Gate, Honestly, right? it's well, over. I know that there's not going to be a return. I dude, I have no desire. Look, I mean, you know, I kind of got known off Gamergate, but there was so much autism and just ridiculousness. I would never want to go back into another Gamergate. Fuck that. Like, no, absolutely not. I have no desire. Now, I was trying to be fair to Sargon while he was here because, you know, I have to be the host and stuff. And, you know, everybody else is roasting them. I was still fairly uh, skeptical, to use a skeptic community term, uh, if you could tell by my questioning. But, uh, you know, I wanted to let him get it all out. But, yeah, I just... I don't see. I don't see much. By the way, I'm I just, starting I, to wonder about Sargon's truthness. I mean, didn't he give up his YouTube career and now he say, now he keeps publishing videos? And I was like, man, I published a news item saying Sargon is gone from the internet, and, and a few days later he keeps publishing videos. Well, we did a this stream about it too because hard. he said, um, he pretty much trying to say he was taking a break basically, and then. He was still putting out videos on, you know, a couple days later. So I don't know. I just report as it happens, and as 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 circumstances change, so does the so does the story. So it was like the thing with the emails. Actually, I want to thank you here 
uh, you know, back when we were getting a thousand viewers, Sargon tried to smear me and say that I was lying about those emails. And JF actually had me on his show and said, no, it checks out. It checks out. And Sargon eventually had to eat those fucking words, including on this very broadcast at the very beginning. Uh, so, yeah, I want to thank you for that. Uh, now, the Ralph Retort, those who know uh, the story of the internet will remember that I am the author of the Sargon of Akkad report, which found him to be non-guilty on all claims back in the days, I think it was two or three years ago, where he was getting smeared a lot, and I found that he had committed no act of uh, lack of ethics in his journalism. But unfortunately, I look at the last year, and I have three cases of my, on my end of Sargon of Akkad violating journalistic ethic, your case being one of them. Uh, another case was the Coach Red Pill report, which contains false statements that are demonstrably false and that he did not retract. I'm starting to get pissed and I'm starting of thinking, withdrawing my authorship of this report. If he brings back Gamergate, will that change your mind? If he brings back Gamergate... <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't hold the poker face to this ridiculous idea. <laughs> Gamergate 2.0. This I might just put that in the title at this point because that's pretty much what this stream is. And look, man, I spent so much time on Gamergate. This is this is almost surreal that it was him and me and and Jim in this fucking stream. He's literally pitching Gamergate 2.0. I just oh, I felt it was a time machine. It was. I was like, what is happening? Is this real life right now? I, I'm still blown away. It's still it's still not quite sunk in, to be honest. By the way, I sent uh, I sent Andy Worski the link. I don't know how you guys... Uh, I don't know if he's still awake, by the way. Oh, it's you know, been a while I haven't thought, thought about Andy Worski. I'd be happy to talk to him. Yeah, you know, and I guess maybe I, you know, it's kind of my job to stir the pot a little bit, but uh, I've seen some people... <laughs> You know, talk about why not a uh, Worski JF re reunion, if not permanently, you know, some type of uh, reunion program. What do you think about that? Oh boy. It's hard. The economics of it are very hard. I'm making so much money alone. It's well, really you know. hard to pair with uh, someone who will dilute both the creative quality and the money. Well, I mean, maybe they're, a one-off, really you know, just for old Tom's sake. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I think it it could only be disappointing. Nah, it'd be fun. Or you could do it like we did, you know, do it for charity even. I mean, if you want to do that, or, or yeah, probably, you probably want the money. You know my position on charity. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I mean, be, I, I think it'd be fun. Maybe, you know, some type of special event or holiday or something, or you know what I mean? Christmas with... And the MJF. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. So you're not against it. Not 100% against it. You against would at least, it. You would at least consider it. I mean, if I make one more dollar that way than I would alone, I can't say no. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. There, there's an undercurrent of people that I've seen. They're like, man, I really, those guys are great together. I'd like to see some type of reunion program. So I'm just putting it out there. Very good idea. All right. Well, we'll see if if Andy's still awake and, and he and he pops back on, uh, we'll ask him about it. He's been doing pretty good with his uh, with his morning slash afternoon show these these last few days. So, um, we'll yeah, see. I've criticized his thumbnail making, and people <laughs> in my audience are now pointing that the day I criticized it, he changed his style. But I haven't had time to review. All right. Well. We'll see what happens. What else you got, JF? You, you got any? What, what do you got coming on tonight? I know. I know you come on before we do, so I'll, I'll go ahead and let you promo it. If if you were on at the same time, I would. I would probably just not do that. But. Yeah. So I was live uh, <laughs> just before you came live. I revealed out of my twenty three and me DNA test, zero person Jewish. I can confirm it today. <laughs> zero. I repeat, zero person Jewish. And uh, tonight we will be talking about the Fate Goldie Toronto uh, race, and someone, an insider of the Fate Goldie te team, will be talking to us. And what is up with Faith? I, I don't know if you have some in with her, but I actually messaged her a couple times. We follow each other on Twitter. I don't know if she's ducking the kill stream or what, but I try to get her on. She'll hang out with Laura Loomer, but she won't come on the kill stream. I'm starting to get a little salty about it. I won't lie. I mean, faith is ascending. 
toward the the sargon sargonistic layer of the universe she is there might be a point yeah there might be a point at which you you just can't dm fade she won't well we follow each other that's another thing i don't know just anyway i i I would like to have you on faith if you're listening but uh somebody in chat said ralph she's running for office lol no chance all right that might that might have something to do with it we are a fairly controversial program but still Still. All right. Well, Raph, uh, give me a sign if Andy wakes up, but uh, I'll be leaving. To yeah, you know, out. I was going to have an unofficial reunion here on the program, but uh, I, I, I'm not sure he's awake. I did send him the link. If not, if not, and if you don't want to do it on your own, maybe we could do the reunion on the kill stream. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, sir, for joining us. I appreciate Bye-bye. it. Bye-bye. Later, Jeff. Wow, what is that? <laughs> Speaking of controversy, do you know who is, uh, who's watching us? Who? Our favorite guy, Jared Holt. Really? Yeah, I, I linked his tweet in our in our chat. Oh. <laughs> Did he? Yes. Oh man. Jared Holt's oh god, he's ragging on. Yes, he is. He literally on. is. <laughs> it's funny as fuck to me. Oh man. Stopped into this podcast because old Sargon of Akkad is online. He's arguing that the left is still scared of Gamergate and that he could get Trump to defend Gamergate. To ch- Sorry. To trigger the libs, the hosts are just mercilessly mocking him. Sargon never grew out of 2015. <laughs> oh, man. Why doesn't Jared Holt pop on? I mean, he's obviously here. Should we send him the link? I actually DM'd him once to get on the show. He said, fuck no. What a pussy. <laughs> He literally responded, like, no. what, a, what a fucking pussy. I already knew he wouldn't come, but... Type pussy in the chat for Jared Holt. I'm pretty sure he'd rather have dick, though, if you know what I mean, but... Lighten the loafers on this motherfucker. All right, so... I don't even know what we're doing now. Is there is There's, there something we're supposed to be doing, or... I don't know. There's one more... Thing I sent you in our chat if you scroll down. Okay. Oh, Marissa's oh. struggle. Hmm. And maybe we'll drag him on. I mean, honestly, we're this is an overtime stream here. You know, like Saga. You know, I had a whole you guys would not believe. You guys would believe because I sent by the way, thank you, chat. I just I just looked back over. Thank you. You guys would believe it because I sent you. I had I mean it's not that detailed, but I had like, I don't know, twenty, you know, little topic points to go over with Sargon and we just got so right into the shit and it was just Gamergate 2.0 that I didn't even I didn't even waste my time with it I just I just let it go at that point what he's supposed to do he's digging his own grave well what what can you say to that really I mean that it's retarded that, it's well I mean I mean don't interrupt him though I mean I had a lot of other topics it's like okay whatever when somebody's oh, making, I, when your enemies are making a mistake you let them dig their own grave right you don't the, uh, give him an out just yeah and look i don't even know sargon has gotten so mad at us because we were just laughing at him i don't even know if i'd call him an enemy he said some fucked up shit about us i mean we said brain. some mean things about him too but i don't know just that's how the saying goes i'm pretty sure so just... no yeah yeah you're right you're right and no, I, I agree with the with the point it's like well if somebody's making a fucking fool of themselves like why would you why would you interrupt uh i don't sure. know that it's kind of like plan. should we take some calls i guess we could take a few calls if, if people want to call in yeah let me go get the thing set up yeah what i was gonna say real quick was it's like the kid in, in class that's always like making a complete ass of himself like you don't you don't hate the kid you know you're not you're not you just you're just sad you just look at him and you well, just laugh. And I mean, he like, finally Man. he came on the kill stream what can i say I, I'll, I'll give him that i, I just I, I didn't expect it I just thought it would be something like more substantial. Like maybe he had some type of announcement. Cause it's almost like he's reaching across the aisle to a, you know, section that's, you know, pretty much anti Sargon. So I'm sitting here thinking, well, maybe he has something concerning free speech or concerning, you know, YouTube censorship or whatever that he wants everybody to hear. And it was literally, let's resurrect Gamergate. Hey guys, want to go back to 2015? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can't believe that. Hey guys, the game. This game is going bad. Let's hit the reset button. Reload from a previous save. 
All right, we'll see. Oh, yeah, I should read some Super Chats. You're correct. All right. Thank you for the Super Chats, by the way. Oh, God, let me scroll down. Uh, Show more. Oh, these Super Chats are pretty brutal. Good. They're very brutal. Uh, Okay, let me try to start uh, where I was. Oogie Boogie says, Nora confiscate Ralph's coat. Old Angry Normie says, early show yet late as always. Andrew P- Panarella says, late gay vape and soy. Sunset yourselves. Old Angry Normie says, Sargon has suit related issues. Please be patient. Solva says, Sargon finally appears after Killstream hits higher viewers than his own streams. Yeah, Jim mentioned that. And I noticed it too. But Old Angry Normie says, the show has actually already started. Ralph is just waiting for Sargon to figure out his mic's been turned off this whole time. Troy Troy Gowler says, we live in a society. Gamers rise up. Old Angry Normie says, in before dicks on the table. Troy Gowler says, I'm Ethan Ralph and Matt Jarbo donged my wife. Hill Turn News says, hey, Carl. God damn it. I meant to ask him this, too. We just got so lost in Gamergate 2.0 that I couldn't, I couldn't really take away from that. There's nothing I could say that would. Anyway. Hill Turn News says, hey, Carl, what do you think of Payne's interpretation of Locke's view on the right of revolution? Also, I forget, which of his two theses is this from? Uh, Dave D says, hey, guys, do you think Sargon is hot and thick? Paul Chowder says, Crowder, 200K, new subs in 10 days. Wow. WT says, F hyphen says, Ralph lied, 6 trillion Jews died. Salty Pickle didn't say anything. Professor Worthless says, stop delaying Ralph. Brent Herman says, this is why you don't trust Euro trash. <laughs> Joha Wa Al Himar says, I disavow this lateness. Drevin says, late muted. Enlightened Apple fanboy says, already six dongas of derelicts. Hashtag, hashtag killstream derelicts. KTTK says, Sargoy, I want you to sunset yourself in Minecraft. Baron Barbado says, this was the stepfather's plan all along. Set up a stream with Ralph and then not show up, only to cause chat to turn on Ralph. He's the real Machiavelli. Yeah, you know what? We discussed that too at the beginning. It's like, oh, so what is he, you know, there's a possibility he's just trolling us and he's not going to show up at all. And then I, I told Gator, I was like, well, how does that make me look bad? Like, if he literally messaged me and says, let me come on your show, let's do it, confirms to come on the show, I set up the show, and then he doesn't show up. Well, who looks bad there? And, you know, I have all the Skype messages, like, how do I look bad? Like, I mean, that's him looking bad, so I, I wasn't really even worried about that. I mean, it did occur to me that maybe he, you know, was trying to do that, but okay, do it. Uh, Taylor Jerje says, Boomer Sargoy making my workday annoying. I'm waiting for this stream to help me as a cherry on top of getting fully hired. A Jip Wop 47 says, Dead air is fine as long as you start on time. That guy from that thing says, Scrub Wave. Matt Field says, Sumptuous stream, qua- stream Squad. Viva la Streamos de Kilos. Viva la Ralfo de Alfo. Viva Zidane de Butanese Bucheros. Viva la Gator de Gamer. And I did take two semesters of Spanish, and it still sounds like shit. Uh, Slimec the Bear says, Long live the retort. Jessica Usta says, Let's be on our best behavior, kids, about our heaven. Sargon has been kind enough to lend us the time he'd be using on a Coke bench to talk with us. Now press S to smugly chuckle. Eddie S says, Ralph, stop shadow banning me from top chat. I'm with Herpes says, Roses are red, vials are blue. I'm jerking off Ralph, all because of you. Hashtag Sargonomics. Ryan Cavett says, Jessica, don't tell us what to do. Tankfish says, is this a bizarre world? Yes, it absolutely is. Barrett Schaaf says, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, Ralph. I would agree. And I already have agreed, if you know what I mean. Ali says, why not make this another heel stream? Uh, well, we did our heel stream. I'd rather I'd rather just take, get the money from it, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, okay, let's take a couple callers. I'll get back to Super Chats. Uh, let's see. Uh, Blackface Kermit was in there. I don't see him now. So uh, I was oh, gonna, damn. I was gonna make funny. it a full Gamergate flashback, but he, but he left. Sex for favors. I can't do it like Sex that. Sex for favors. Yeah, you can though. Uh, Mike Nolan, you're on the air on the kill stream. Jesus think- fucking Christ, Mike. God damn. I wanted to fucking tear in to sucking fucking Sargon because he said like uh, what liberalism was his heritage it was like oh wait so uh, you you sent fucking me and uh, Rand's great great granddad Bully if you can get Rand in here please for the yeah love I, don't, of God, I think I saw Rand, Rand in the chat I don't know if he's at work or doing whatever he is in here. 
Yeah, I, I don't think he's no, in no, the... he, he's fucking. Yeah. Anyway, he's go not... ahead. Finish your thought. He's not in the green room. Go ahead. Well, I wanted also to tear into Jim because I said like, um. Well, they're not well, here. They're gone. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Fuck, I wanted to fucking tear into him, mate. Jesus Christ. Okay, um. Not... See, I used to be, I used to be charged of the, uh, the offense of an attempted misogynator. Um, I saw those like uh, those photos of um, Jim that was like the fake docs of Jim, fucking failure. And I looked at those photos. I knew it wasn't Jim because for one reason, those photos was of a self-respecting white man. No yeah. self-respecting white man would date a chink. All right. There thank you, go. Mike. Thank you. This guy is so stupid. Every time I bring him on, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, at least Rambot's funny. He just always says something like completely retarded. And he's bitching about people who are not... I mean, I know he wanted to troll Jim about his... Whatever, his Chinese girlfriend or whatever, but he's just always... He's not even... Jim's not even here! <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? Like, I know, I know you're telling it for the benefit of the audience or whatever. And I know I'm race mix at Ralph, so maybe I'm not the right person to give this message, but it's just retarded. All right. Uh, Marissa Struggle, you're on the air on the kill stream. Hey, how's everyone going? How's everyone doing? Uh, I'm still in disbelief. What even is going? What even is going on? Well, I was watching, and I think what Saga might have just done to you is filibuster for an hour and then just leave. It didn't make him look any better. I mean, if that's what he did, I look. I'll take. I don't know. It was hilarious. Uh, yeah, like you. Like well, you know, I did think about that because, like I said, I had a whole topic list of you know little things I wanted to go over, big things I wanted to yeah. go over. And none of that happened, um, and it was just I mean, Gamergate two point oh. I mean, I mean, think about it. Sargon already looks retarded to almost anyone with half a brain cell. Now, what looks worse, Sargon looking retarded, which everyone already knows. I mean, you saw Steve Bannon's face, or Sargon looking like a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, but but he initiated this, Marishan. Like, I, so he could have just not come yeah. on. So so so, what are you? What, you're saying he did this just so he could say he came on, we had our shot, and then he could just check that off his list? Is that is that what it is? Or Yeah, I mean, look at Sargon's ego. I mean, it's famous. His ego is famous. He he needed for his own ego to come on, I think. Well, he came on. I, I just I I don't I don't think it was a it was a win. It wasn't going to be a win regardless, but I think he needed to do it for his own ego. I mean, he's done all sorts of stupid things for his own ego. I mean, the whole liberalist thing, en masse trying to, you know, bum rush the party. Like, this is not, like, if this is in fact the case, which I think it is, it's not exactly out of the ordinary. Yeah, I mean, what you're saying makes sense, but I don't even know if I, if I would think it was that deep. Um, so, like I said, he messaged me and he seemed genuinely excited about his idea, and I'm sitting there thinking, wow, maybe, you know, maybe there's something here. I know I've had beef with Sargon. We've been, you know, talking shit back and forth for months. And like I said already, I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep an open mind. Maybe this is something that I could actually support. And then he came out with, with Gamergate 2.0, and I was, I was like, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe, but I think, I I think, I mean, hell, I haven't seen the DMs, and I, and I never will, so I'm just sort of piecing things together here. But I think he was probably more excited to kind of say, well, I've already talked to him. What more could he possibly want? And then get him off, get you off his back. Because if you'd want, if you had recognized it was, or seen it as filibustering, you could have annihilated him back there. Like there's so much shit on him. He, he could have probably been crying into the mic if you'd had the, if you'd like. Yeah, maybe. I mean, so, so, so what he would have done though, he'd be like, wait, I had this great idea and you're cutting me off and you're going through all this and that. I don't know. I, I just felt like it was so absurd that, I just had to keep letting it go, so um, I don't know. Fair enough, fair enough. But if I if I was on that, I would have really pushed him on it. Well, was, for, well maybe he'll come back. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Gamer get two point oh idea <laughs> didn't do him any favors. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's that's my that's my uh, take on it too. But uh, mm. I yeah, mean, Jared Holt's rolling like, on him right now. Um, yeah, like I've had pe multiple people DM me. It's like, did Sargon actually fucking just say that? Yeah, he did. And yeah, but 
Yeah, he, he just fucking said that. But the thing is, is that Sargon is known as a retard, so no one's really surprised. Well, so by that measure, I don't know. It's, it's like, well, if he's gonna look like shit no matter what, then it does. It didn't even matter. No, like, if we went into it or not, I don't know. It, there's, there's a bunch of different ways you could look at this. But uh, thank you, man, for calling in. By the way, check out his channel, Mauritian Struggle. Check out the you. U- the UKIP uh, interrogation you gave of Sargon was excellent. Matter of fact, that was on the list as well of things that I was gonna ask him about, but. Well, we didn't, we didn't get to it. I'd but, love uh, to have asked that about it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate you. No problem. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off a little early. Go ahead. Okay, you already left. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, Sar- I mean, Sargon pretty much wasn't going to answer any question you asked him. Like, every time you tried to ask him anything, he would deflect. He'd be like, well, yeah, well, so- don't you want to hear my idea? Don't you want to hear my yeah. great idea? So his tactic was just to say, oh, yeah, I concede. I pretty much just concede all your points on in any of that. I, uh, are we really going to talk about drama? Even though I had already said, well, look, I have some things I want to talk about. I don't care about, you know, I'm fine with you talking about your idea. And then so when I started actually bringing him up, he's just like, yeah, you know, we've known each other for years and we don't really have to go through all this and just I'll just concede it all. I mean, yeah, like you asked him about the email thing and he pretty much just said, yeah, I was wrong. And and if you had gone down the rest of the list, like talking about like his appearance on Spencer, he'd just be like, oh, well, you know. Yes, yeah, so I, I had stuff about, about Spencer. I had a, the letter to the alt-right, um, just all kinds of stuff that you kept. So he talked about, he pretty much took credit for the, you know, quote unquote, rise of UKIP. But if you look at the polls, there has been no rise of UKIP. Uh, I mean, maybe a couple points in the polling in the UK, they've, they've bumped up. Still within the margin of error, there's been no that's real large. R- rise of you can Yeah, that's largely because Theresa May just keeps fucking up and just cannot stop fucking herself over. Yeah, but even with that, there was not. It's not a real bump, so it would have to go up over ten or something to actually be credible. And most of the polling still has them. So they they were at four or five. Now you see them at like six to eight, uh, and still some fives and sixes. Uh, you know, fours and fives mixed in there. So it's, there's really no bump whatsoever. Um, you know, at the most one or two points. So uh, just kind of a. And that's not saying we wouldn't want you kept. To... No, nah, I mean, it's not a rundown. You kept. I'm just saying the numbers don't bear out what he said. But uh, anyway, uh, Josh, impresario of Kiwi Farms, you're on the air live on the kill stream. Hey, um, I took notes. I was trying to get on, but that didn't happen. Well, I actually took you notes. know, we kind of just said that. Yeah, go ahead. It's a fucking madness, actually. Uh, the main thing that I wanted, to, that I was screaming in my fucking head while this was going on, is that the the reason why people bring up Gamergate is because it's a smear. It's it's fucking retarded, and nobody wants to be associated with it. That's why that's why they bring it up when somebody has some tangential connection to Gamergate, because it's a, it's a smear. And trying to get Trump to associate with that almost seems like sabotage from his part. Um, it's no benefit to anybody. And it made me wonder first when he started, is this call in like a follow up to the gym stream? Is this him humble bragging again about meeting Bannon? Because when he just started off, that's what it sounded like. It sounded like. You know like- what? I even conceded that. We talk about conceding. I was like, well, I mean, I'm not going to shit on him for meeting Bannon. That's kind of cool that he, that he got to talk to Bannon. Now, I haven't watched the actual well, footage. Some people say certain parts of it are goofy. But, I mean, look, if, if I got to talk to Bannon, I'd probably be promoting it too. But then he immediately comes on here and talks about Gamergate 2.0. It's like, uh, well, know. it made me think, like, I, I just imagine this in my head, this conversation where it's like, Bannon, wouldn't it be great if we got Trump to tweet out Gamergate? And Bannon just like, ah, yeah, sure, I guess that'd be funny. And he's like, I'll, I'll prove it to him. I'll get, it, <laughs> get him to do it. Or, or um, it, like, the entire conversation was just like a stoner thought. Like, wouldn't it be funny if Trump tweeted Gamergate? It's like, no. <laughs> like, not really. <laughs> It's just be fucking weird. And the the final thing I thought this might be is like a prank. And you guys went over this. You thought it maybe. Yeah, that was one of my main thoughts. Like this is a he's trolling us right now. Has to be. I I actually asked um, in his Discord. I asked like, "What the fuck do you think this is?" Because even people who are listening from his Discord were like, "That's this is awkward. This is stupid. I don't understand why he's doing this." And one of his uh, higher up his. Role as a hoplite, and I don't know what the fuck that means. But he's a hoplite, <laughs> right? Yeah, he has different categories um, based on like ancient military formations and stuff. Yes, but Anubis said, 
It looked to me like he was practicing dealing with journal interviews, taking control of the combo, leaving the combo, and sliding the combo where he wants it to go, giving them nothing real and only controlling the combo. I'm like, do you actually believe that? And he said, yes. So the idea that um, that he was just trying to get on the stream and fuck around with it and not answer any real questions, that has some candidates. If he, if uh, if they actually think that that he was just practicing dealing with a hostile like conversation, which uh, is probably the most credible thing going on so far in terms of theories as to what the fuck he was doing. Oh, and uh, theory number twelve is a uh, cocaine. I would. That was that was hot on the list of of uh, chatters uh, thoughts as well. So, well, if you're, if you're <laughs> trying to block like or road rail uh, reporter, you don't give them a crazier fucking idea. You know what I mean? You don't go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make Trump tweet about Gamergate. Let's make it 2015 again. Because Trump would do weird shit like this. Like that interview he did right before the Kavanaugh uh, meeting where it's just like he gave the media a bunch of shit to work with. I think he was trying to do that. That seems like the most logical, least retarded idea. But even then, it's just like all I'm thinking now is that this guy, like when he just started off, it was like this guy is a confused old man out of his yeah, time. No, that's what I <laughs> thought. Too. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? What is this? It's not like boomer shit. It's like you're sitting there on the bus and the guy next to you is like 70 and he's trying to talk to you about some shit and you have no idea what the fuck he's saying. And so you're just like, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, there's nothing to contribute yeah. to it because they're disconnected from, from reality. It's, it's just mind-bending. Yeah, I don't know who, who said it. Uh, that, oh, it was Jim, I think, that said that he had uh, somebody DM'd him about Gamergate 2. Actually, somebody who publicly tweeted about Gamergate 2.0 quite recently was the quartering. Oh. Yeah, I saw that. Has the quartering turned? Has the quartering turned? No, no, no. He was, he was saying that Gamergate 2.0 is, uh, is close. Yeah. And that's a public tweet. That's public, and uh, I don't know if it was him or not, but that was one of the first people who popped in my mind, yeah. The, the only question I'm left with, really, is did he actually think he would go along with it? Did he think that he would win you over, and Jim and you would be like, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> like, regardless, of, regardless of what prompted this, my fucking brain is, is rattling around trying to figure out if he actually thought that this would fly over. I can't. I I cannot understand. You know, I I started you know analyzing Trump's actions. He's just like, well, what? Can you read his mind, Ralph? And I was like, well, no, obviously not. I can't. I can't. You know, but I can still make you know, you know, educated uh, takes on what I think he's doing. As far as what Sargon was doing, I really don't know. I can't. I, I don't know what was going on there. As a as a Trump voter, as somebody who happens to have a MAGA hat in the middle of the fucking Slavic wasteland, I can tell you that I would not want my president, my candidate of choice, to tweet hashtag Gamergate. <laughs> I would prefer, just uh, me personally, I would prefer if he did not do that. All right, just just hang with us. We're wait, gonna bring wait, some wait. It's part of his twenty year plan, though. Oh, Mister Worski. You know what? We had JF JF on a minute ago, and one of my suggestions. And I know I, I know you guys probably don't talk get along anymore, but I've seen some people commenting they they want a JF and Worski reunion show of some sorts, and I put it what out did he there. Say? What did he say? He was open to it. He was. Oh, he didn't go low like you and D. He did. He did take. He, so there was a couple little shots, but but he he did say that he was open to it. Uh, and and I said, if you guys don't want to do it on your own, perhaps we could do it on the kill stream. Yeah. Why not? All right. Why not? All right oh, so by the way, Ralph, thanks for dropping that fucking bomb today. Holy shit! I'm gonna show. I'm oh, fucking Philly oh, I saw that, you guys had anything box. for views. Come on, after that too. Yeah. Anything for views? It's kind of. Give me the the full seven minute video or audio leak of of Aria. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oof. If, if people didn't see uh, audio of a cam ho talking about how Philly D. So uh, he said he was Mike... gonna give you the whole the whole clip. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm jealous now. I'm not gonna Oof. lie. God, Oof. that's right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> Philly giving her the D. Am I right? God Fuck. damn it! Yeah, he sure filled her in. 
Oh I, my god! I, I so did he contact you, or did you like send him a DM, or what? Oh man, I'm getting jealous now. I'm not gonna lie. He he come uh, Asian Andy made a group chat with oh. Aria. Anything for views and and me. it was Asian Andy. Yeah, did you hear? Did you hear like Aria? Like, did I tell? Were you there when Aria got all all pissed off? Yeah, when she left the group chat or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, was, yeah. I was still. And there. then she blocked me. Oh wow. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. So that's geez, well, like, just, just twice in a row that you fucking came in with marital infidelity. <laughs> <and> just like, <laughs> all right, Andy, I have to go now. I go straight for the tabloid uh, angle. So yeah, I just tossed that out there. You know, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, I guess I could pull this up on stream. Somebody changed. Uh, I don't know if it's still like this or not. I have to check it, but I did check oh, no, it yes. before, before I traded. Like, oh, JF's here. JF, what's up? Hello, man? I guess, I guess the what unofficial up, reunion here. Oh. How you doing, I'm so man? happy to see you again. Happy to see you too, man. You doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. Good, good. It took me a while, but I'm all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Kept falling on my face like a fucking retard, but I figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That's cool. Well, yeah. I'm proud that this happened. Uh, yeah, man. I, I, I found my niche, which is pretty much just uh, destroying people in a roast form. So it's fun. Uh, working with people I like and it's fun. I see you're doing well, so yeah, man. I, I, I'm down for a, a reunion show. We could do it on. Yeah, the, we could on do here, that. Man. Yeah, man. Why not? But what do we talk like? This is now. I'm not like this is uncomfortable now. It's like now what? You know. I mean, I don't know because what works between us two is I'm an asshole, and you are a naive individual who I guide through the black pill, and I don't know <laughs> if I want to do it anymore. <laughs> Yeah. I just want to cuddle you. I want to be kind to you. And yeah, uh, I <laughs> wait, I heard you took some shots. Where were they? Was it mild <laughs> shots? I mean, it wasn't it wasn't mean. He just he he talked about your thumbnails and uh, my thumbnails uh, are fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> mild shots, mild shots. Yeah, no, no, that's cool, man. Yeah, we could definitely. Well, if it's not guiding through the black pill we'll figure it out i'm seeing a lot of pineapples in chat by the way a little flash oh the pineapple <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's funny that's funny uh for people who don't know the pineapple was our safe word <laughs> which didn't work evidently <laughs> <laughs> i think it made things worse pineapple fuck you <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I had some, you know, I had a, you know, I kind of just threw that out there because I've seen it a lot in comments, especially, you know, we did the heel stream. You guys were on at different times and they're just like, man, you know, I'm still, God, that reminded me how, how good those guys were, how funny they were, especially when they're together. I've just seen a lot of comments about it. So I don't know. I just figured I'd bring it up, uh, you know, not, not permanently getting it back together, but maybe a, a one-off. Yeah. But you know how, how bands do a reunion show or, yeah, you know, play yeah, some definitely. of the hits, have have a fun time, and then you know go back to doing what they're doing. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, well, well, I, I definitely have to uh, uh, speak, uh, JF. I, I mean, JF, you might want to you know unblock me or whatever, oh. and then we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, unblock me on Twitter. Yeah, and then uh, we'll DM. We'll figure out a a show, and uh, yeah, man, that's gonna be fun. It's interesting. I don't think now kiss. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of brotherly love, JF, here you go. We got some well, brotherly love. I cannot love going unblock on. you because you blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, I'll unblock you, man. I do that too, though, to be fair. If I see somebody that has me blocked, I immediately go block them as well. I'm just like, all right, fuck you. But. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll We're bringing people together on the kill stream. But if it just ends up even worse, like it ends up fucking. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, it's it been entertaining one way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, it's unbelievable wait, what's wait, happening wait. in the YouTube business. Wait, I, I can't Dude, unblock you. The stream is either. rising. Dude, I can't unblock you. So we, we both blocked each other. So now we're permanently blocked. Oh, okay. Now I can block you. Uh, you have to click on the three little periods. Ah, sweet. Yeah. All right, there we go. So you were saying what's happening in the YouTube business? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. The audiences have exploded. They are jumping from stream to stream. The kill stream is rising out of all the freaking It's stream. doing okay. 
<laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Being modest. Ralph just sitting there like, fuck Andy. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I mean, yeah, we'll see. You know, yeah, things can be temporary. I, I don't like to just sit here and, I mean, you know, I have bragged a little bit, but you never know. Shit, you know, shit can blow up at any time. But yeah, we've been doing pretty good. So. We've been blessed with a lot of material. And we just got more today, at least another week or two's worth off of Gamergate 2.0. So. Oh, aren't you excited for that though? Yeah, I was gonna ask you. You know, we kind of <sighs> jumped in. You know, you jumped in, and we had you and JF going. Well, what did you think of uh, Sargon's appearance? Uh it's 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 just he's just trying to revive it. Like in my opinion, he's, tr he's trying to revive it because he needs that spark. Like I thought, like like what two weeks ago he quit politics. Now not only is he not quitting politics, but trying to get Trump to. You know, to retweet Gamergate, hashtag Gamergate. But, but this isn't politics, Andy. This is this is trolling. This is for the lols, as oh, they say. Hilarious. <laughs> Fucking dead serious. It's not for Good. the lols. Oh, it's, yeah, no, he, he obviously, if, he, if he's the one who gets Trump to actually tweet it, it would bring back some relevance or whatever, I guess. I don't know. Medicare was going hard on him. Jeez, yeah, he that was, was awesome. His the, smug the laugh is pretty funny. Target I'm talking though is that they they both scrapped at each other so much. There's there's nothing really they can say, and they just mm -hmm. kind of act like they don't care about what, what the other person has to say. It, it, it's like a stalemate because they're uh, they're deadlocked when they talk to each other. Yeah, I uh, I don't. But the gamer Kate thing, he's like, oh, won't it be funny? Won't it be funny? I don't know. How about think of a new one. I don't know, figure it Somebody, out. Like, even the chat was like, well, maybe Comics Gate, at least that's going on. Like, I, I don't know, Gamergate, that's no, what I kept no, asking. Well, no, look, the whole thing's retarded. Look, I'm just it. saying, but maybe pick something Bro, that's no. still hot. I'm Why just not? saying pick something that's still hot. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I don't want any part of Comics Gate or Gamergate 2.0 or any of that. We have talked about Comics Gate once or twice. I don't want to be personally into any type of gate ever again. Yeah, uh, unless it, it, unless it's Heaven's kind of Gate and I'm anyway. about to drink the fucking yeah. Kool Aid or whatever the fuck they did, maybe I'll be a part of that one. But uh, other than that, no, I'm not. I'm not interested. Like, in like gate. Comics Gate, from what I know, I don't read comics, but from what I've seen, the people making like masculine comics are are actually financially successful this time around because they're 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 putting out products that people like. Don't don't throw Sargon into that. These people don't deserve that. <laughs> oh, I see why you don't want to be that. <laughs> Not because of Comics Gate itself, because you don't want Sarkon to friggin' ruin it. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, no, people, get out of people here. are having a good time, Andy. We don't want that on them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, he's already been sniffing around that a little bit, uh, if you've seen the comments. Uh, but yeah, I won't. Oh, fuck. But what, all, <laughs> the, the gamer Gate? Stop it. Oh my God! And Trump, he's gonna look at that and go, "No, no." He he's like in the middle of like a war, <laughs> like, like almost starting a war. Like he's like, "Do I want to like you know, talk about like you know the military and people's jobs or some YouTuber's fucking dumb thing?" Well, there's uh, no electoral. Know. That's what I kept asking Sargon. I was like, "Well, I don't really see a benefit for Trump. I mean, he likes to troll, yeah, but I mean, there's no." This is this doesn't motivate voters. I don't I don't really see why he would do this at all. It just, it just I know doesn't why. make sense. Cause he wants to be the one to get him to to retweet. And then everyone's like, look what Sargon did. And then boom, it gets that nice boost for a little bit. You know? That's why he like in my opinion, why he left the, the whole politics scene or said he would. He because like, you know, it's like the gamer gates, feminism stuff, you know, it's it's dwindling. So how? So then he tried to, you know, start liberalist and then boost that up. That really shot him. So, like that was shot like fucking right out of the air. And then he tried being a politician. Then everyone makes fun of his suit for like two and a half weeks. <laughs> and he's like, shit. Now what? Gamergate. Get Trump to retweet it. But his thing wasn't even that. He said he'll send a couple of emails and then Ralph, well, Jim, you guys have to do the. That's language. what I kept asking. Him. I was like, yeah. well, okay. So first off, what do you want people to do? And then you know, what are you gonna do? He's like, well, you know, I collect some emails, some you know, network, some people you know that I know or whatever. It's like, wait, are you not? Well, make a video or do something like that. You know, your biggest owl is fucking YouTube, and you got to. I guess you got some people on Facebook and stuff too. Like, are you gonna put out material? Or are you gonna? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to do it anyway, but I'm just saying, just for sake of argument, what what are you gonna do? I was like, oh, I got some emails. 
I guess that is in the gamer. gamer I guess like, that is the Gamergate tr- tradition, Josh. If fire up those old emails, that's uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then what? <laughs> and then, yeah. Then what? Like, is it, oh, it's funny. No, because he just wants that, like that fucking surge of subscribers, dopamine. relevance. In fact, I, I'm in your chat here. A B says he needs that dopamine rush from the Trump retweeting. Like I, I, it's no, I disagree. I think what he's done, what what he was doing, had everything to do except with actually with with Gamergate or trying to accomplish what he was saying. There's some some fucking weird coke induced gambit going on that is completely befuddling to mere mortals. Don't don't insult cocaine. Like that's way low blow, low blow, blow. Get it? Fuck yeah. Uh, sorry, I just ruined the fucking. Save game. that for the reunion you know, show. And can, don't waste you know, all your material. No, go ahead. As as far as the stupid fucking idea goes, now that you mentioned Comics Gate, if if Trump like showed a picture of like the family during Christmas and Baron had one of those comics that that they're producing to counter the the, the faggotry in Marvel and DC, I don't I don't remember the name of it, but like if if Cyberpunk. Baron's holding one of those comic books. Yeah, any of those, any of those things that they're producing to counter it. If Baron's holding one of those, people would lose their fucking mind, and that would be funny, and that would be relevant, and that wouldn't be fucking gay. Um, it's not going to happen, but as like as far as ideas go, that would be that would be interesting. I don't know. I'm still. Did this even like happen? Was, this was like the that. idea. Like I just can't. Yeah, I'm still having a hard time comprehending what just happened. But Fuck Wait, still- yeah. Fuck yeah! But is he still in? Is he still trying to run for some like politician thing or like? I mean, still, no, uh, yeah, as far as I know, he's still you know promoting UKIP or whatever. He mentioned oh. he might try to run for office. He he did kind of allude that he might stand for parliament at some point. I don't know if he's actually going to do that. But. Run for office? Look at his physique. He's going to be <laughs> scrolling the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> a brisk walk is yeah, yeah, run for office. <laughs> hey guys, fucking Sargon and his. Yeah, and by the way, saying his secret plan on like he's like, like trust me, guys. Yeah, uh, off the record, six thousand watching off the record. <laughs> fucking yeah, eight like, thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's so like that, like the saying secret plans on a stream. That's my thing. Don't. No, because that's that's why I think it has nothing to do with with what his goal was. He he came on here just to fuck around and to try and dodge drama. So that, like what Ralph was saying, so that he can say I went on the kill stream. They didn't ask me then. He fucking left when he realized that the whole idea had failed and you guys weren't buying it. That's when he fucking left because he knew the hard questions were going to come immediately after. As soon as he said Gamergate 2.0, it fucking failed. Let's get this shit started. No, 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 because no, there, there came like he kept pressing the idea for like thirty minutes, and then when it came clear that he's retarded, like, nothing, yeah, nothing more to say. It's like <laughs> Zidane, it's fucking savage. <laughs> what are you? What are I supposed we to say? We don't call him the butcher for nothing, man. Yeah, this is the dumbest thing I've heard. I left work early to hear fucking Sargon try to jerk off to Gamergate oh, two point oh. Oh yeah, people are asking me by the way, Ralph, are you going to compensate Zidane for the time? <laughs> 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 Oh man, yeah, I don't. I was excited. I was excited, Rob. I'm like, oh my god, Sargon finally on there, you know? Oh, against Medicare. I, 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 I opened the stream and I hear like, what Gamergate two point? Like, did I hit like a stream from like three years ago? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, that's what I thought, and that's why I asked him if it's just to bring it back so his YouTube career doesn't go up in flames. Hey, hey guys, I, I've got a oh. special announcement. I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay, I just talked to some people in the know. And um, I don't want to name any names here, but um, expect Trump tomorrow to tweet out Sargon's newest video. It's happening. He's, he's one. No, he's one. Yeah. Trump is going to tweet out Sargon of God's newest video. He's a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I, that didn't come across as a joke at first. I was yeah. worried. You <laughs> 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 went bullets a little bit there, were you? <laughs> I might have to disavow my fucking president. <laughs> Reno, it isn't true. I'd be at the fucking embassy tomorrow with my passport. Like, take it, motherfuckers. Get it out. I'm done with this shit. I, I just had to come back in because it, it I, like I've been letting it sink in for like 20 minutes of how dumb that was, what I fucking heard him talking about. And um, I, yeah, yeah, I'm really split on if he was attempting to troll 
or if it's real, because I know people he associates with were pushing the idea privately months ago. I mean, I'm leaning towards real. But and that's just, really scary. Yeah. If that was, that's terrifying, to be honest with you. But, was, I, but part of me, it's just so absurd that I'm thinking, man, he's he's pulling our legs. Like It has no, to be. Jen, did you just, hear what I said? Uh, I quoted some guy from his Discord who said that this was like practice for journalists asking questions so that he can control the conversation. Do you oh, that, that that's good. Any- yeah, I, you know, like I want to learn how to sword fight. So I go, ch- I go challenge somebody. I'm like, no, no, let's use real swords and no protection. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn. No, no, did you see, way. Jim, in did you see? politics, the stream doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, right? did you see Is Jared that, Holt making fun of him like everybody's laughing at this like I, well yeah but i mean look what happened last time like last time he he made one comment about a suit and he's been referred to as a waiter for a month now <laughs> <laughs> right well, so, well, he started serious though like when you oh, were talking about at first he was like no no um like it will make this um, um it will blow it up and make everyone take it seriously and then by the end of your conversation he's like it's just a troll like you've you you made him like like make it from serious to by the end going i'm just fucking around guys relax Sargon is only pretending <laughs> to be retarded if he's being serious this is legitimately one of the most sad and confusing things i've ever seen in my entire life i, I with no exaggeration i've seen a lot of fucked up and confusing shit but this is unbelievable you, you need to get on his level it. Okay, of 24 hour ops. I don't think you can appreciate yeah, I, what you're I'm getting that, that image of the big brain Sargon floating around the galaxy. Like, this is just incomprehensibly above me. I, I can't even look up and see it. It's 20 year ops. Fucking get it. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the terrifying thing to me, though, is okay, um, he's, he's associating with people in UKIP, he's associating with people that are ex Trumpers. All right, even if this was just practice for uh, politics and dealing with reporters, he's coming on here and making statements like he's in the know of what their communications are, right? That That's something like about when it comes to politics, it's not about what's true. It's about what it appears to be. So all they need to do is start clipping things and be like, oh, I, I you know, uh, somebody related to the Trump White House or somebody related to the UKIP party. And now Sargon has entrenched himself into giving stupid quotes for that that'll be used as ammunition. Like he, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. If you want to go into politics, I don't understand why he would do it. Because <laughs> he said he was going to email people. And now they're going to email back and be like, "We were watching those clips, and you said it was a troll." What the fuck? No, no, get out of here! I bet you he's blocked. He went to email them, and then he's like, "Well, like, why isn't it being sent? Why is the emails not being sent?" He's blocked. I'm gonna, yeah. Here's here's the plan, guys. I'm gonna send out an email. You go do all the legwork. <laughs> that's, that's the plan. By that's the way, the, the capos. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, JF, and I'll interject with the news later on. But yeah, because Mr. Mithaker just said a word that he, he doesn't use usually. He's terrified about Sargon. He's he's really shook by this. And the last time I saw Mr. Mithaker in this condition was when Erin arrived on the internet. And I had said to Mr. Mithaker back then, is it possible that Erin is the the coolest kid on the internet the last cool kid on the internet i believe that what we saw today happen is that not only mr metaker had been uh, surpassed by erin and her ability to be the coolest kid on the internet making mr metaker second place on this dimension but sargon just out trolled mr metaker breaking his dream of being well, I, I, I don't the know last if you can cool go, kid on the internet. Well, Jeff, I don't know if you can call it like if you're talking to somebody and you're trying to you know run a troll on them if you're trying to fuck with them, and their first reaction and I think three I think I'm pretty sure Ralph and Zidane immediately said yeah. this is are you trolling? <laughs> I think it defeats the purpose of what you're attempting to do. <laughs> you say you say the troll was not perfect. I, I'm saying if that was a trolling attempt, that was awful. That was really Europe. bad. Well, don't was, forget, there was like a, a 15 minute buildup. Is it European trolling? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why we're missing it. I'm not sure. Well, it, by the way, is Aaron still alive? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't heard. No from idea. Her. Oh, I have from an update from. on her. No, uh, she OD'd actually uh, <laughs> about two and a half. I'm not joking. Two and a half weeks really? ago. No shit. No, no, no. You can check the Ice Poseidon. Uh, no way. Oh, no, was... no. Fonder uh, dead with a heroin needle in her arm. Oh, she had, no a, she had a note. She had a note on her chest that said, "Why would JF have babies with me?" Really 
Poor Aaron. Rest in peace. We'll always honor her memory here on the kill stream. Oh, but what I was going to say is the Capos are already disavowing this. Uh, you see the quartering on Twitter. Huge waste of time for Sargon. He should know better. He should know better. Ooh, short fat Otaku uh, disavowing it as well, uh, saying it's a bad idea. I haven't heard what V said. I did talk well, the to... dude that LARPs is a fat disabled lesbian says that's a bad idea. Maybe you should listen to him. <laughs> Yeah, so he said bad idea. Quartering said bad idea. I talked to V before the stream, and he he claimed he didn't know what was going on because actually, you know, I was sitting there thinking, you know, what what is he up to? So he just messaged him, you know, messaged me out of nowhere. So I'm thinking, you know, he's got something. Like, what is he trying to do? And originally, I was, you know, I was kind of questioning, like, what are you up to, Sargon? This is kind of strange. He just emailed me, you know, whatever, skyped me out of nowhere. And V claims he didn't know what was going on. I haven't heard what he said since, but uh, at least two of them have uh, disavowed. So, I have a better question for the panelists. I want to get your your ideas on this. Um, what's the best possible outcome for this? Is it A, Sargon saying it's real and he really wants to do this, or B, saying it was an attempt at a troll? What do you think is the best possible way of gracefully bowing out what the fuck just happened B. today? Yeah, it has B, to be B, no right? Doubt. Yeah. Because if he, he, he doubles down on this, he he's going to look like the most retarded person to ever live perhaps <laughs> like I, I can't think of anything worse than saying that this was an actual attempt at, at some kind of ops because that <laughs> defies belief no nope. so he, he has to say that he was fucking hammered oh, oh i was just drunk guys no no no, no. i said <laughs> he has to say, I, I, I almost od'd or that. yeah yeah guys yeah. option c for cocaine right yeah yeah no oh, no I... even on coke you wouldn't fucking think of this shit you'd be like you have a better idea, probably, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, Andy is right. I mean, he did light his nipples on fire, but he never said, hey, guys, let's do Gamergate 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want him to double down, to triple down on this. I want him to go as far as he can. This is the dumbest fucking thing ever, and I really want him to fucking burn himself to the ground with it. It's funny. Option C is winning in chat, by the way. This keeps falling in our laps, Jim. I, I, really I didn't do anything for this. Tomorrow. That says Gamergate 2.2, how to do it. Please I hope he just on. avoids this entire, like, he just pretends like this never happened. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about, guys? <laughs> <laughs> For three days, comes back, oh, feminism. And you're just like, what? what? <laughs> I like how after it was pointed out that maybe saying all this publicly is a bad idea, he, like, tried to say to Ralph, hey, maybe you could delete the stream. <laughs> 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 That's not happening. <laughs> not happening. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I might just leave it. You know, usually we put them on the archive. I might, I might just leave this one up on the channel. Actually, I uh, just, I don't know. And I'm, I'm lurking his Discord channel. You know, following up people on Twitter talking about it. There's nobody in his Discord channel that we're talking about it. And those motherfuckers were defending the live stream about Jim. And <laughs> even to them, this is indefensible. They're just saying this is a complete waste of time. This is do we have any even, liberalists? Like, Where's V? Scenario. Somebody grab V or quartering. Do we have? Do, are one of these guys going to come on? Like, what's I going would, on? I would love to hear V's take on All this. Right, are you him. kidding? I want to oh, hear what the carrier pitch and has to. I want that insight. We have when to. V came on after the gym stream, he said it was retarded. <laughs> I can't wait for for his take on this. All right, I, I messaged him. Let's see. Well, let's just ping one of them. Just one of them's got to show up, right? I just messaged V too. All right. Now, did you use the uh, did you use the code? There's a code word you can use with V that will instantly get his attention. Just say, "I have Coca-Cola." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of his apartment, but that'll snap him right into it. Uh, let's see. I'll message quartering too. I, mean, I thought it was anal war. Like, I'm around. Surely somebody has to come on and talk about this. Well, you least... could you could you could try to you know combine the two. Like I put a, a canister <laughs> of Coca Cola in a snake. <laughs> Come get it. <laughs> Come and get it. Oh man. All right. So I messaged those two. Uh, I just love how we all had these big brain ideas of what this was about, and and it came down to Gamergate 2.0. <laughs> I, I thought this was going to be like you know here's like the new political thing I'm yeah. doing. Like I thought he was going to come out and be like. I, I've been I've been uh, messing with everybody, and I've been uh, you know laying in wait, and now you're going to see my magnificence. I was really expecting that. Or and or I, it would have something to do with you know YouTube censorship, or you know something like that. Maybe maybe he's been talking to Bannon, and he had some type of idea he wanted to pass along. 
because uh, he knows obviously this is a hostile you know this hostile area for God, him. you know the scarier idea is this wasn't sargon's idea this was bannon's big brain idea Please, <laughs> man, don't let that be true. oh that's the night that's the fucking nightmare scenario that is right a there. nightmare scenario to be honest with you yes this no, kind of no, this kind he, of he, oof. That would explain it, it was his idea, there. but it was a joke to get Sargon to fuck him so <laughs> <laughs> That would explain why he's not in the White House. Could, could you imagine know. if the Mercers were like, okay, Bannon, we're going to give you a million dollars. We want you to go tell Sargon of Akkad to start Gamergate 2.0. Don't, don't ask any questions. It's a really good <laughs> idea. We can't use Milo. He has AIDS now, so it has to be Sargon. <laughs> By the way, I saw that. Does he... Was he was joking, right? Or does yeah, he it's, really obviously, have, it's obviously. Yeah, he's joke, trolling. Yeah. Like, so I've seen so many people like, oh, he's really got AIDS. He, I think he was just kidding with that. But I mean, no way to know for sure. But I thought he posted a picture of his medical bills. Yeah, but he, it was all blocked out, and he just said, "Oh, oh I thought that was AIDS. I thought that was a receipt from the restaurant he went to." Yeah, I don't know. It was some receipt. I don't know that it was. Yeah, it was just some receipt with like two thousand. Yeah, how meta can we go? Do you, do people in chat are like, maybe Bannon is yeah, just trolling Sargon. Maybe this is just maybe Bannon <laughs> hates you so much. He is thought Bannon, funny. Bannon's in the chat right now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I see him right there. He's like, <laughs> don't blame me for this. This isn't my retarded shit I did. Oh my god! All right, so I'm, I message those people. Uh, what about Jim? I don't know if you saw the program last night. I know this is off topic, but did you hear any of the? Uh, Leaks from uh, Brittany Venti and her ex and stuff. I don't know if you've listened to those yet, but I am not even touching this. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, all right. Here's the thing. Um, I, I my uh, hard drive died on me, so I had to replace it, and I got to replace it and get all my shit back up. But um, I wake up to uh, Jade just fuming, mad, like fucking really mad. She's listening on her phone, I guess, to the kill stream. She was she was going to make a Discord account to come on and call you. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. She was pissed. Really? She, she is not You're a fan of it. about to get a full she, she appearance? Is not, oh, she was man. not a fan of Etty, uh for releasing those videos. Oh, man. So I have to live with her, so I have no opinion on any of this. <laughs> 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 well, you know, guess what? We're going to have Venti on tonight at 11 p.m., so if she still wants to create the account, I come on and talk to her in person. No, let's not encourage her. Let's not encourage her, man. <laughs> Let's, let's do that. Yeah, that's encourage her. Yeah, Ralph, man. your your stream would probably get flagged down. She told me what she wanted to say, and I'm pretty sure in about 30 seconds from the beach alone, you would have been gone. Yeah, she's gonna be on here tonight at 11 p.m. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess don't weigh in on it then. What, Andy? Did you hear anybody? I, I guess I'll toss to somebody else because that was my think, topic to fill time I, until somebody showed up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I heard the uh, her boyfriend. Like leaked out some stuff. Is that what? Well, I um I doubt that he leaked that. It seems more likely that that she put that out there. Yeah, she she actually um seemed to intimate that she had more for the program tonight. So so what what yeah I, I know that the audio got dropped. What was what was the why? So why did she release it? I don't yeah. know. I thought it, it was him that's talking the shit question. about her. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. So it's just him. You know, spurging out and like hitting hitting himself and talking about oh. I look great a year ago and just like yelling and there's video footage where he's underneath the desk crying and um yeah it's pretty I mean it's funny at first and then it started She's getting filming? set yeah well she recorded it yeah so I don't think she I don't know that she's taking like full responsibility for putting it out there. But yeah, it's 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 obvious. She's the one that <laughs> well, well, obviously it had to come from her. Well, it's not I mean, it had to. Phone, right? Yeah, I mean, there's no other way. Uh, <laughs> it's now, not like I, I think somebody else. I don't know if it was last night or somebody in DM said, "Oh, she sent it to one of her friends and they put it out." Which I don't know. Obviously, she's the one who originally recorded them. Yes. I, I haven't <laughs> seen this. But you know what this reminds me of is uh, the schmorky tape of Mandy freaking out. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but oh, you're taking uh, it way back. Yeah, okay. Just a quick rundown. Uh, schmorky was an artist working for something awful, and Mandy's the schizophrenic girlfriend. Uh, schmorky sounds like a muppet, and Mandy was having a schizophrenic breakdown. Uh, schmorky recorded it, posted it on something awful to show people how awful Mandy was. And people are like, why are you recording your schizophrenic girlfriend having a mental breakdown? And it made him look like a fucking an asshole for doing so. But I'm, I'm getting vibes just like that. It's like she takes video of him to show him how bad he is. And people are just going to think, why are you doing this to him if you guys were together? Yeah, but like he probably had like what? Like 
uh, like you know, fight with her. They almost broke up or something. He went all emotional. She films it, sends it to her friend. Look at this thing, and now she like releases it. I don't know. That's I, I'd have to watch the actual you know thing, but it sounds like he had like a little bit of a mental breakdown. Yeah, and I guess I could understand why Jade might be upset. I, I've heard this from other people in the chat too. Like, wow, you're recording this and you put it out. This was this guy's low point. I have. I'm not repeating any talking <laughs> points. Your, your fucking stream will get flagged instantly. I'm just, if I, I'm if just I speculating. Just one sentence of the shit she was saying last night. <laughs> did she like? Uh, did he do something to her for for you know like? Really so they had a dispute. I mean, this all blew up in public a couple months ago, where she told some of these stories in public, and she came on this program actually and talked about it. And he did a stream later on that I popped up on, and he kind of gave his side of it. And then all of a sudden, these leaks came out two, I guess, about what two days ago. Now I don't know what the impetus was for the leaks coming out. I don't know why they were released now. It would have made more sense, I guess, for them to come out, you know, two months ago. But maybe, maybe she just waited for you know time to pass, so it didn't look as obvious. Yeah, that's what to, exactly. Know? That's what somebody said that if they would have came out originally. It would look, you know, it would look even worse yeah, you know, right, now. I love that fucking thought process. Oh, look at my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend having a mental breakdown. What a fucking idiot. Well, I mean, it was weird timing, though, considering what yesterday was. Mental health. Ooh. Yeah, World Mental Health Day. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, that stuff's too too juicy to resist. Of course, I had to play it on the kill stream. Uh, oh, you're going to play anything you can. <laughs> no, we don't We don't expect otherwise. Yeah, exactly. And so she didn't send them to me. They were posted elsewhere and people, you know, said, well, hey, Ralph, take a look at this. You know, actually, Kermit, Blackface Kermit was in the chat earlier. He sent it to me. A couple other people sent it to me. You know, if I see something like that, of course, I mean, it's going up on the stream. Uh, and what I'm was sure... the reaction, by the way? Was she like, as she commented, like, was she like laughing about it, serious, or like, oh, sorry? Like, what? How was her reaction? Uh, uh, so she she tweeted out an egg, which was uh, part of the clips. If you listen to them, that was him. I guess he had made some eggs, and then he came in there like crying, and then he grabbed the plate and like broke it and started screaming and stuff. He made her a plate of eggs. Yeah, something sounds like, like a V meme. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane uh, uh, have you still not heard them all i i heard uh one partial one where it's like he's like crying and then she's like crying and it's filmed at her floor or something like that and that that's what i heard but apparently like three of them yeah actually there are five vocaroos and then there are three video clips uh, so it's, it's I don't understand what is it with people and their compulsion to put up their uh, fights with significant others onto the internet. Bunty does it, doesn't work out for him. Everybody, I don't understand why would you why would you bring personal shit into the public sphere? It never works out for anyone. And did you see we we also played Bunty's latest video talking about his uh, was it his I don't know was it his first masturbation, gentlemen? I don't remember. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's his latest video, and it had like I don't know thirty five hundred views or something like that. He he put that out there for thirty five hundred views. And my point was was of course it's ridiculous to put that out there regardless. But you know if you had a hundred thousand views or whatever, at least you could maybe understand it. He put that out into the public z public space to use a j f term for fucking thirty five hundred views. Is it yeah. funny? Is it interesting? <laughs> No, it's it, not it's funny at all. I mean, by his dad. it's is funny that, that laughing a, at him, a, but you know. it's a new one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's new. Hey, see, I think at this point he's trying to play up to it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I, just, I do. Uh, <laughs> just playing into the gimmick that, that he's already had established. Because yeah. that's a hot new thing to talk about. If you're talking about him getting caught by dad jacking off, you're not talking about the fact that he wants to literally eat shit out of people's asses. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't hear? Oh, don't that, don't pretend you don't know. Oh, I swear <laughs> to God, I swear to God, I don't know. You don't know that he likes the poo poo pee pee. No, oh, but and, and he oh, likes yeah. period. He likes period blood too. He just wants. Oh, to be I mean, who doesn't? But go back to the first thing. Oh god! <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no. Wait, what, what? You made a video about this shit? Oh yeah, like, my god! You oh, didn't oh. see this, Andy? Oh, he has all this shit and fucking you know period blood all in his beard. It's just stuck nope. there. Oh, he <laughs> talked about he talked about the smell of it. Yeah, getting stuck in his beard. The uh, was it the poop or the period blood? One of the two. 
It was he, like, he, likes, he likes to savor the flavor, Andy. Oh. He, he also talked about, uh, you know, yeah. eating pussy from a chick that was cheating on him, and uh, he'll eat yeah, no, pussy anytime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He likes those sloppy gagging. Speaking of shit, I was talking to my buddy. I was like, "You check this out," and he's like, ah, "It's probably not as bad as it looks," you know. He, he's like, like twenty minutes later, he phones me. He's like, "Holy fuck, what an idiot!" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, man." <laughs> Christ. And he, he apologizes to her. Oh my god! Uh, period. The uh, the only thing I know about Venti though is that her cat shits in the bed, and it's like, if, like a woman's cat was shitting in my bed every night, I'd have a fucking mental breakdown. Get this fucking cat <laughs> out of my fucking bed where I sleep. Like, I, I don't know. I think people who live in like hoarder conditions are are mentally ill, and anybody that would live with them is mentally fucking uh, ill. You know, actually, Jade had a theory on this. I can share this, I suppose. <laughs> um, because wasn't it alleged he was using steroids? Yes. Okay, and what's the disease you get um, from cats when they, they? Oh they... yeah, I forget. But basically, I think if if you're exposed to their, isn't the their shit i think uh yeah because like, i know that she was crazy, saying that like uh, does it don't steroids like immunosuppress you like you're more susceptible to infections and shit i believe so is yeah. it toxoplasmosis somebody yeah. just said it in the chat, chat. Yeah, that's it yeah, yeah I, I, all i know is like yeah she was saying that oh well maybe the steroids made him susceptible and there's cat shit everywhere and that's what fucked with him uh, it makes it yeah toxo toxoplasmosis is a disease that results from infection with Toxoplasma. Yeah, inf in yes. Yep, infection. There we go. Yeah. Usually occurs by eating undercooked contaminated meat, exposure from infected cat feces, or mother to child transmission. So, yeah, maybe that's possible. Dirk V asked me if I had seen the conditions they were living in. No, I, mean, I don't know who Brent, uh, Brittany Vinti is. It was really a shithole. There was shit on the ground. There was like garbage. Is it like actual was... hoarder here from like the TV show? I don't not hoarder. It just was a complete pigsty. Well, sometimes yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it sounds bad. It sounds there like something like that would drive me piled up or anything like that. But the the fucking dishes were piled up. The ground was just covered in garbage. Yeah, like, I can't work if I had bottles on my desk. If there were cats shitting in my bed, I would have to fucking kill somebody by the way i message quartering i message v they are radio silent at least in oh DMs. what a shock what uh, a shock shocking i just messaged probably, short fed a, a taku we'll see if we i'm trying to drag one of these guys on they're uh, probably on a fucking skype call with sargon right now yeah i doubt i doubt if they're gonna take up the challenge but uh hell yeah him. stupid <laughs> we're trying to back you up you moron what are you doing <laughs> No, I'm sure uh, he's going like, don't you understand? This was just training. I was I was training on the plebeians for for media inquiries, and he's like, oh yeah, that's a great job. You really showed him. You didn't let them take the conversation. I think yeah. he's gonna defend this to like his grave. He's like, no, no, like I think it's a good idea. He's gonna keep going. He's not gonna back down. He's done this so many times. I hope so, because that would be the best possible outcome. That would be actually fucking funny. If if the last person to let Gamergate go was the Sargon of a cut. Yeah, it's just weird to think that it would be a real idea. I mean, we're four years past it. I don't... <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. It has to be an attempt at trolling. I, I mean, think he's serious, man. Like, I, I don't know. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And then he switched tunes when he's reading the but, chat, going, fuck. Oh, no. Well, Ralph, Ralph, I don't know if this is true, but somebody just said that Q was asking for a Gamergate 2.0. Is he trying to like jump on the Q bandwagon now and kill that? I would believe that. That would be so we'd have all the based megapedes and the Facebook soccer moms <laughs> talking about <laughs> games rising up. Oh, that would be amazing. I played Tetris once. Gamers rise up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, honestly, I don't follow the QAnon stuff because that stuff's stupid. No, I mean, I, Chatelet. I'm, I'm sorry if there's any QAnon people in the chat. I don't, I don't mean. To how, be how did all these people who got into QAnon like? How have they not heard of like Cicada and shit? That still blows my mind. Yeah, I just that stuff's silly to me. That's why I don't. I, I don't really follow the Q stuff, but. 
So, well, there you go. I, I was going to ask you. He he said he wanted you to give it a think. Have you gave it a thunk? Have you? Have you? Yeah, uh, I'm good. It over? I'm good. Actually, I was good on it the whole time. By good, I mean no. I, I didn't want a piece of that. Uh, but I just, you know, I'm the host. So I was trying to, you know, be fair and let him get his talking points out there and stuff. But yeah, I'm absolutely great on not participating in another gamer god damn i actually stayed in gamergate and participated in that way too long as it is and i have no desire to to go back to that so why not ralph come on uh, guys no, i'm good let's go back into time i'll just say i've had way ago. more success outside of gamergate than i ever did within it uh and yeah just not interested just complete no not at all so Oh, I, I misinterpreted. It's not Q. It's quarter pounder. <laughs> <laughs> they, they use Q and then the pound sign. It. I thought they were just talking Q. God, that makes a lot more sense, Josh. No. Actually, I have to say. <laughs> but yeah, I saw quarter pounder tweeting and oh, excuse me, quartering. Uh, but uh, but I didn't see him say anything. And also see that short fat attack. You saw my messages. I, I try to drag him in. But I don't see him in the green room. I think that they're all. Well, I will. I will respect the privacy of the capo that I spoke to. But yes, uh, that there's a conversation that happened, and they seemed very interested in making, a, a, as they referred to it, Gamergate two happening. I just. <laughs> and I I gave no answer. <laughs> I just <laughs> fucking ignored it. They came to you with that. Uh... Why would you ever, of all the people, to bring something like that? To why would you come to me? You would be what the absolute last person. Yes. You've literally shit on all his ideas. I got it. I'll tell Jim. <laughs> like what? Oh my god. How do you think this is a great idea at all? From the first, like the, like the conception of it to bring it to you. Um, I, I, have, I have no idea. I, I, so I guess our carrier pigeon's not coming on. He's suddenly well, in he's indisposed. I see Short Fat Otaku said no thanks. Uh, v hasn't said anything. I don't know what's going on in Romania. Uh, quartering hasn't responded. Uh, I think that they're all... Oh, I know how you can get Quartering to pay attention. Just say you're doing a charity stream. <laughs> oh, and then he'll start his own stream and you can talk back and forth. You know what? I kind of <laughs> let him slide on that, but he, he seemed... He legit seemed mad about it, didn't he? I don't, I don't know. It was just kind of strange. You know what else was strange? You know, uh, just as an aside, not related to our previous uh, couple of talking points, but sure. that clip, uh, what, what subreddit was he on when he uh, said that? Kotaku in Action, actually. Uh, what, are they, what are they known for? Mm, Gamergate. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, just <laughs> pull that out of the blue. All right. What? What? You tweeted out something from Kotaku? No, when he was salty about the, the heel stream, he was doing a stream at the same time. And I guess some people came in his chat and they're like, whoa, Ralph's doing the heel stream. Why don't you you know, hop on there, go check that out? And he started getting really mad about it. He's like, fuck that, I'm doing my own stream. And why don't you go shill somewhere else? And I don't know, I said a couple of things like that. And then on his actual screen at the time, what he was broadcasting to everyone, he was surfing Kotaku in action. You cannot make this stuff up. He was surfing Oof. Kotaku in action at the time, yeah. Oh, who which is like just, what? Like, which is just the go. lowest of the low, like a complete oh. joke. Other articles always are has fucking... been a joke. I'll piss all over wow. Kotaku in action. Fuck that place. Um, but yeah, he was actually surfing that that website. <laughs> Not only was he surfing <laughs> it, but it surfing is. it in public where everybody else could see it. Which was is he even bashing worse. it though? Was he bashing it? Or no, was he, he was he... citing it for the stuff he was talking about on air. Oh, how do you fucking it's like his editor? Like, oh my god! Yeah, well, all right. I don't know. Almost like he was planning a little something there. Maybe he was priming the pump for Gamergate 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, who would even be involved in that? Like uh, the thing fractured so much. Well, yeah, the that was kind of the point I was getting at, at at a certain part of the conversation. Where it's like. Yeah, you know what, Gamergate, at the beginning, everybody was kind of, I don't know about on the same page, but even if people were on different pages, they just let, you know, the others do their own God, thing. God, you know who I feel like right now? Yeah. I talked to the dude that started um, uh, the Chinology shit, yeah. you know, when it moved into real life, yeah. and he was talking about Gamergate, and I remember him specifically saying, it's going to basically end in tears. <laughs> he was like, it's going to just <laughs> fracture apart, people are going to fight, and trust me on this. And I was like, eh, maybe, maybe not. He was completely fucking right 100 right because completely called it 
So it's it's you know there are benefits to having a Big Ten and people from different ideologies, uh, but the 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 negative from that is they're gonna start fighting each other over what the true meaning of you know such and such means, and we don't want to be associated with these people, and we want to prove that we're there are leftists. There's leftists, leftists in Gamergate. What are you talking about? It's not all right wingers, and so those same like you can just look back and I mean they still I still see sad people who are tweeting the Gamergate hashtag, put out that political compass poll. They're like, no, Gamergate wasn't right wing. Take a look at this. Some random fucking Twitter thing they did. I don't know. Just- there is a guy I know from the forum from the Philippines and called Homer who oh, once yes, ate a sandwich too. on... Yeah. You know Homer? <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. He actually raised money for a new laptop or computer or something for Gamergate. Some of the stuff Jim was talking about. Let, let, me, let me get my new teeth off Gamergate. Let me get a wheelchair lift and just... Complete fuckery, but yeah, he still tweets it every he day. As far as I know, he ate a sandwich on live stream <laughs> to get get back at feminists. I I don't know how that <laughs> works, but whenever people talk about Homer on the site, still there, there's just there's this like people made emojis out of him where they took snapshots of him looking smug while eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> as a gotcha to feminists. He's a fucking treasure, and he's the he's the last uh, god king of. Uh, Gamergate. He owned them. He owned those feminists. Uh, I know Monday and Matt's down. Come on, guys. Yeah, he's oh, down God. at the quarry picking up rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Matt. Oh. So who looked goofier, Monday Matt or Sargon? Oh, Sargon, hands down. Yeah. I think- Matt's, Matt's was just, uh, you know, uh, it was a different thing entirely. That, that wasn't like, that wasn't this level of self-embarrassment. Well, plus he kind of got caught off guard, you know. He kind of came into the, you know, lines then or whatever, and got and got roasted. This was, this was pretty planned. Like this wasn't my idea. I want to just get that across. He he came to me. I didn't pitch anything to him. He came to me. He's like, hey, I got this idea. I want to I want to give you the scoop. I want to want to put it to your audience. It's like okay. I'll be the dissenting opinion because Monday Matt destroyed himself. With what happened to him? This is not going to affect Sargon. Because I, I figured it out while talking to people who liked him. Uh, nobody actually gives a shit about his politics. They watch that weakened and stupid thing, and it's it's sort of like their podcast, and they don't pay attention to anything else he does. He, yeah, he actual, ended no, that. He ended that, Josh. Well, uh, <laughs> I know you did, and I think it's going to bite him in the fucking ass. His Patreon dropped like $4,000. Did it really? Yeah, I, I think it, that's going to hurt him. It, it dropped to like 11000 Now it's okay, back so, up to 12000 like Okay, 10 so... Other, I think there's. Oh, oh my God! Let's let's all say a prayer for Sargon. Oh shit! Only twelve thousand compared to six. <laughs> Hopefully, he makes it through these tough times. <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't think I don't think the majority of, of people subscribed to him give a shit about what he's doing at all. Outside of that, we can. Well, stupid, I would just say uh, that Sargon has yeah. a bigger foothold than Monday Matt could could have ever dreamed of. So, uh, you know, I don't think it'll destroy him or anything. I do think people will be laughing about this for a long time to come. And that this is going to be clipped and posted everywhere. And our, our people will, but his people don't care. Like they're just like, oh, that was a waste of time. That was stupid. Let's move. Ba- let's move back onto the serious issues of saving the West. Like, for, for, uh, forgive and forget as far as they're concerned. Well, serious issues. Yeah, trolling the libs is really going to win today. <laughs> if he's smart, he will completely just never speak of it again. Uh, I'm hoping that he makes a video for Gamergate 2.0. That's what I think you should do, Carl. I hope he keeps going. Yes, please keep going. Oh, with this. Fuck, that's so but funny. if he if he's smart, maybe I shouldn't give this tip over the air. But just never speak of it again if you have any sense. But. Well, don't worry, you're deleting the stream immediately. <laughs> yes, <that's right>. so. <laughs> yes, this is getting deleted. This this won't be posted on the podcast site or the archive channel. Don't go to those places. Uh, let me check back in. I'll give the liberalists another chance. No, they're not. They're not coming. They're not coming. Somebody said that Sargon tried to recruit sticks or something. I don't know the story to that, but they wanted me to bring it up. So I thought I would. Um, Somebody said sticks I, I was in the chat earlier. Is he still around? We drag him sticks, in. I want to hear I want to hear his Gamergate 2.0 recruitment pitch if he got it. I'll message him. Yeah, see, yeah, you know him. I, I don't so I talked to him once. Uh could, let me see if I can pull it up. I won't I won't quote it verbatim. Uh <laughs> uh but uh i said uh 
I said, Medicare mentioned your video last night on air. Well, I guess I will quote everybody because it's one where he's just like, nice. Uh, <laughs> and now I didn't tell him that, that he completely trashed your video and kind of took a shit on you. Uh, but he seemed excited that, that it had gotten mentioned. Well, I didn't really shit on him. I just well, you didn't shit on him. You shit on, you shit on the idea, we, not we him should, personally. We should be friends. Yeah. yeah. You didn't shit on him, just the idea. Uh, yeah, when he put out the video, I guess but that no, was If Styx confirms that he got an invite to do this, then that makes this legitimate. <laughs> right? Then there's no question of it being So what are really you leaning troll. towards? Troll or? Uh, if, if I hadn't received DM messages uh, way ahead of time, people bringing this up, I, I would say a complete troll, but I, I'm like 50-50. Yeah, I, I I would lean towards real. What about you, Zidane? I think it's real. Yeah, that's me. It's, it, because he was so fucking happy to say it as soon as he said it, and then he sort of shut him down real quick, and he got really mad about it. If you if you notice, his tone changed immediately. His tone changed whenever Jim spoke. I didn't notice that. <laughs> what? No. He's, I just wanted my order brought to my table. I don't understand. The service is fucking so, terrible at this he restaurant. Was so mad. And honestly... You didn't go as hard. I mean, you you went at him, but you could have went a lot harder. But just any time you spoke, he was just you could just tell his whole demeanor changed from like happy and kind of friendly to just God, ugh, why am I? I have to deal with this person. And I like how, <laughs> so I made sure to say there's right there's no conditions to this right, no problems, this and that. And then he's like, no, no problems. And I and I kind of brought up Medicare. He's like, sure, I'd love to talk to Jim anytime. No big deal. You know, anytime we could talk. And then within 30 seconds, uh, there comes Jim, just perfectly right on cue. Uh, I just I just wanted to get it out there so he couldn't say, you know, you were ambushed or there was some type of rules Ralph didn't follow. There were no rules. Oh, no, we all saw how clever you were when you said there are no conditions, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very subtle. That's my trademark, subtlety. Yes. You got the rope in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Was that you, Josh, trying to say something? Yeah, I, I thought I, I I think he expected Jim to come on. Maybe not immediately, but you know what? That was my original it. thought, but 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 his reaction, I didn't. I, I don't know if he did. Like I, I don't know. So. I think Jim just gets to him. I think he was he was steeled for it, but he's still that could be. Annoyed. Yeah, that could definitely be. I mean, you have to be an idiot to think. I mean, it it wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> that you wouldn't I mean, do that. Yeah, I mean, you have to be, especially because there was no agreement that I wouldn't, you know, so you would have to be stupid uh, to not think, but just, <laughs> just the way. I think he, he hoped to get a little bit more out. In that first yeah. first 15 minutes, like when he was building up to it, like, where do you think I'm going with this? Where do you think I'm going with this? Like, it, it was very strange. And I, I called it, though, right away because he, he literally was, so he keeps talking about gamer. He's like, where do you think I'm going? I'm thinking, uh... Well, it sounds like you're, you know, you're trying to get the the band back together, you're trying to start Gamergate back up. He's like, no, no, think harder. And then he kept talking, and that's exactly what he was trying to do. I, I legit had no idea what the fuck he was going. For. I kept waiting for it. I was like, okay, yeah. where's this? You know, I thought that yeah. was like a small component, like the like the intro to the yeah, story yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, like there has to be something else. Okay, he's building this up to something else. He just it made me feel like I was drunk and I couldn't follow the conversation because it was just so so fucking weird that it didn't make sense. It was almost like he was high. I, I hate to put it that way. <laughs> but it was like, I said it's like a stoner thought. It's like, dude, wouldn't it be awesome if President Yeah, Trump but he was so excited. He's just like, that? wait, you just don't get it, man. Like, wait, just think, man. Hold up. I, I don't it trolled the libs, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what it was. Yeah. <laughs> no. Troll the lives with a dead fucking thing. Congratulations. And now now Jared Holt is on fucking Twitter laughing at him. <laughs> I know, it's great. Everyone's laughing at him. He's an idiot. Uh yeah, I had an idea. Is he still laughing? Oh my god. He's retweeting Kekistan articles now. I don't I don't think he'll get on. I had an idea to get Jared Holt on, but I don't I don't think he'll come on. Zidane, what did you say he told you? Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay. I mean probably oh, probably a good call to be honest, but 
Dark V said in chat, he just wanted to hear a, a take I had real quick. Uh, I don't know who the fuck that guy was in the last kill stream or the kill stream before that was like Jim just steals his shit from the forum. Um, any, it's a public forum. We have no hidden boards that are on topic. If you want to take content from the forum and make a video about it, you go fucking right ahead. I do not care. You don't need to credit us either. So that guy taking issue on my behalf and on the user's behalf, uh, please fucking don't. Because uh, I don't think anybody wants wants what they say to be hidden away. Yeah, what's it supposed to be secret? Publishing on a yeah, public no. forum? Yeah, that makes no sense. I've actually he, used Kiwi Farms before. I, well, I, was, I don't. Wait, yeah. wait. I don't know why he's lying. Okay, as an administrator of Kiwi <laughs> Farms, uh, there are many hidden boards uh, with everybody's information on them. Oh yeah, the, the, I, I've downloaded the entire fucking white pages, and I've basically got threads <laughs> on everybody. <laughs> you really? Yeah, no, but, it's but this, uh, people spend hours on their threads and stuff, and they want it to be appreciated. They want people bit. to so see it, right? So the, it. Yeah, the more yeah, people they, talk they about, the better. Yeah. Time. I don't, know. So yeah, no, 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 no pressure. To, like, even like PewDiePie sourced us, which is, I, I appreciate that's amazing. The fucking big guy, li, he like, didn't just mention the kill stream. Chat. Fuck you, PewDiePie. What the fuck? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you, Jim, what about the... So, I don't know if you said this specifically or you're just talking about in general. Are you going to do a video on the BetterHelp stuff or was that... If people are, are they no, off no, base? No, yeah, I that? planned to release it yesterday. My hard okay. drive, because I have a shitty little laptop right now I've been okay. using for like the last six or seven months, uh, it shit out on me. So, I had to replace it and re-download everything and <laughs> I've either got to redo the video now or just do a stream about it. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Okay, so that's still happening though. So I've seen some people messaging me. Yeah, no, me I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm definitely doing it, but I had to go. Like, I, I don't have anything backed up, so I had to yeah. go download my own videos to uh, get my intros to shit. So it'll be like a VHS copy of a VHS copy. <laughs> so the quality continually goes down. All right, I was just making sure because people message me and I've seen comments. No, like, and it's not. Video, again, course? it's not. It's not the main focus. It is not better help. It's DeFranco. That's the guy I have issue with. Yeah, yeah. focusing solely on him. Do you oh, hear what happened today? By the way? Did you hear how uh, there was audio leaked from Arya Nina? No, was that the audio that Ralph played before, where it was like the dude talking to some chick, and she's like, "Yeah, I fucked him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that dude was on the show this morning. He didn't uh, uh, send me the seven-minute clip, and then we were in a group chat while we were live this morning, and she's like, "Why am I in this?" And Asian Andy's like, "Come talk." To Andy about uh, uh, about Philip DeFranco, and then she left, and then blocked me. I'm like, oh boy. And then any, I'm anything for views jumped on the guy who had it recorded off one of his his mods recorded it and leaked it, and it, apparently there's six more minutes of the of the audio. So we're gonna hopefully get that soon. DeFranco, and she's the girl who uh, who fucked Chick Carl, by the way. And when she was in the DMs with Shay, uh, Shay and she was like, oh, I want to meet your uh, your kids. And he was like, no, what the fuck's wrong with you? And then she's like, oh, my God, you're being rude. And then leaked everything and fucked up his marriage for a little bit. So she's apparently a, a YouTube star fucker. So, yeah, why, why, are, why are YouTube stars, quote unquote, why are they fucking, you know, like cam girls? Why aren't they like go buy a hooker or something? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't know who the fuck you are. What are They're you doing? They're a little like more discreet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. So I don't, well, like, obviously everything is just alleged off, you know, her. Uh, so, but I don't know. Her reaction was pretty interesting, but we'll see what happens. I want to see what the rest of that, uh, the audio is. I do too, and I want you to let Yo, me he'll know. He'll have the phone better help after this. I'm I right want guy. you to let me know oh, so yeah. I can play it on my show as well because uh, I don't know if you saw the Wikipedia page. I think I talked about it earlier. You tweeted it out. Yeah, yeah the one that where says, they, they changed it. Yeah. <laughs> let me look. Is it still after like that? After Franco did his video, I was afraid that that's where it would kind of fizzle out. And I mean, thankfully, the only person bigger than Philip DeFranco to shit on Philip DeFranco came out and, and did so. And that's, I think that reignited it. Oh, I checked yeah, that, the comments that, on video. That's what the dude said on Andy's stream. Um, the guy, uh, wasn't the guy you were talking to, the one that was part of the audio, right? Said something along that caught my attention where he's like, yeah, other YouTubers don't trust him or get a bad vibe from him. Yeah, they were saying uh, when he goes to. A at the parties and stuff it's always business 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 you know he doesn't ever 
like try and be friendly with anyone. Apparently, uh, I'm sure you guys already talked about this, but uh, he didn't even go straight to Boogie or any of those YouTubers who had his affiliate link. That's why yeah. Boogie, when he was on your show, he was like, what? Uh, I have no idea how that's on, you know, um, or oh, my manager did that. So basically, Philly, instead of going up to his own buddies that he knows, went through their managers and he's trying to make it, oh, you know, you know, that's nothing. It's it's how business is done. Yeah, sure. All right, fair enough. But like, come on, like let people know. It's just pretty sketchy. Now, this whole Patreon thing about his news network, he's making between 50 and what, oh yeah, that's what grand. the guy said. That was really fucking interesting, where he confirmed basically or alluded to the fact that the Patreon elite shit that DeFranco was doing, mm -hmm. the money from that didn't go into a news program. It went into his own ad agency, the same yes. ad agency that partnered at a company level with better help so the patreons that's a fucked up thing that's what got my attention his youtube fans are paying for him to take advantage of other people watching his youtube videos he's found a way to create a cycle to get you to donate money and then use that money to fuck you for shit therapy and your information yeah and it's interesting how a uh, memeology you know me you guys like, like everyone just needed one day as you look through like terms of service I, I found that actor who we now know his um, his uh, Fiverr account is out there. All this one day, and then he on his videos said, "When we pick up a sponsor, we uh, uh, check them out for four to five weeks." Really, it took you four to five fucking weeks to, and, and you didn't find anything sketchy with this. And now that you're caught, you want to switch their terms of service like it's just he's he, like honestly it's just scummy like fucking uh like man up dude just go okay like this is fucked i know you know maybe my team fucked up just fucking like he's trying to twist it and twist it and twist it and now more and more shit i think this is why that audio was leaked of aria because people are just like fuck this guy if he's not going to be taken down with his better help stuff we're going to keep throwing him like fucking under the bus because they've all had enough Right, I don't know who exactly, but you did hear on that uh, show this morning that it's just like apparently, what was it like six or seven big YouTubers are just fucking had enough of him. Uh, so like he's like sweating balls and he should be because like fuck this guy, man. How much, how big does your yacht have to be, you fuck? Like, come on, man. So it's so disgusting. He needs two. Ah, uh, I, 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 I <laughs> it, it, it's just that there, no matter how you look at it, there's something fishy going on. Like there's a billion different angles to take on it. It's not and, and uh, one of the other tier one affiliates, uh, the Influence Logic Creator Health dot org thing. Uh, I actually looked at the Influence Logic people, and they had removed uh, huge segments of their of their site. From, from the public. They not only mutilated their creatorhealth.org site, removing all their other sponsors and stuff, uh, on the influencelogic.com site, they removed the About Us page that had the list of the people involved in the project. They had the uh, How We Do It page removed, and there was a little blurb about the company at the bottom of the footer that they took out for some reason, too. See, he, so, here's, he, here's my hot take on it, and uh, if I want to go all conspiratorial with it, um, I think DeFranco is more closely tied into this better help thing, but Going with the logic that they have information and data to try to, you know, create profiles on what makes people depressed and how they react to certain stimulants. Imagine if Fran or DeFranco has financial ties to better help and he uses the data they collect on how to make people depressed and then uses that information in his video to drive more people to use the service to get more money from the affiliate links. Hmm. Well, he, he should do a series about uh, furries fucking animals to death. <laughs> 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 Here is to add to your conspiracy theory. So BetterHelp's parent company, Teladoc, teamed up with CVS. CVS merged with Aetna, an insurance company. Oh, it's just getting, it's just getting <laughs> deep. Do you, want, do you want some life insurance before you throw yourself off the roof? Uh, here's some better health advice. Sector.ai, which is their like Bitcoin company, the other uh, side company, is out of the Cayman Islands. Just what? saying. Yeah. Spectre.ai, what like you didn't see that? Is it, uh, oh that's yeah, that's one of the, uh, the the other influence logic sites. 
Well, not, I don't think that's, I don't think the other shit they sell is related to BetterHelp, but that comes no, no, but there, no, but shady. but the guy, the guy, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jordan. Fun. Joel Robinson. Joel Robinson. I have him like uh, actually on Skype. I should phone him up, eh? Uh, anyway, did, like, he, Joel, did he say anything to you? Nah, but may, like, uh, like uh, I have no idea. Like, he's probably upset with me, maybe at this point. Uh, when I gave <laughs> fucking uh, one of the Kiwi Farms guys my email that had the affiliate password for him to log out on and find the four names connected to all these companies, but Joel. And uh, who came up to me directly last year, uh, yesterday, last year. Um, and uh, who was it? Sh like Shane or, or Sean or something. I'll, I'll find the names or whatever. But those four dudes, we found uh, one of their websites that has the connection for uh, Spectre.ai, which I also sent the emails that they were trying to get me after to promote Spectre.ai. But they offered me in like fucking Ethereum. And I was like, I don't know how to fucking use Ethereum, so fuck no. Oh, What's yeah, and I mentioned to you that uh, since you then, Ethereum me. has gone up a thousand. I, I want to make sure it's known. I think it went up. It was like a dollar at that time. Now it's about $600. I'm just going to throw it out there. You should have taken the fucking Ethereum. You're 1500 in Ethereum? I'm like, nah, fuck that. That's Andy doing the smart <laughs> business decisions. Fuck it. Yeah, but then that would have been like, oh, my God. Andy knew so he got the Ethereum, like exact. So I don't give a fuck. Anyway, um, th yeah. So their companies that they own. So it's the four of them might not be exactly attached to BetterHelp, but how do these four dudes work or or own BetterHelp and these uh, you know side companies attached to BetterHelp and this Bitcoin operation that's attached to other uh, um uh, Bitcoin operations as well as one advertising. Uh, like a company that closed down, I think in 2015. But the interesting thing was the Spectre.ai and a few other companies, when we researched uh, deeper into it, they're from the Cayman Islands. If people don't know in the chat, Cayman Islands is a place where there's no banking laws. So you could pretty much just fucking like dump money in without uh, them checking, you know, where it's from. So there's no audit on, on your company. If, if there's any, you know, sketchy, you know, money, uh, you know, because here they would have to do, I would call it, oh my God, oh fuck. What's the word? A laundering. Uh, uh, here it would be uh, money laundering. So what if they were, because what if alleged, whatever you want to say, what if they were getting, you know, large quantities of money and using these side companies that weren't attached um, over to better help to Put it into the Cayman Island fucking account, right? Yeah, you could so, invest into this company and then transfer the money elsewhere. And all, and also with better help, I went through every testimonial. I was just like, I, it was the uh, second day I was doing the better help thing on my stream last week, and I'm scrolling through. That's where I found that actor and all that stuff, and I was laughing at how everyone's reading like scripts and shit. So I'm scrolling through, and some of the chat uh, people. Uh, people in the chat were like, yo, read the actual like, you know, testimonials, not, not the video ones, but the ones that are text. So I'm reading them. They're very similar. It's just like, you know, very similar sentences, but like mixed around. And I'm looking at, at the names, the very, you know, like fucking John Doe, basically, you know, like, like just obvious, you know, Jeff Sm uh, Smith, like shit like that. Right. And it's all the same talking points. It was uh, the same five talking points, but mixed around. So were the, um, uh, the video testimonials, right? So they have 55,000 testimonials on there. Right. So if they're putting testimonials that are not real there, it may, it will make that, um, business seem like it's making more income than it actually is. So I'm not going to finish off what I, I'm thinking on this because you all know where I'm going with this, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to say that. So why do you have 55,000? Why, why are you working so hard on fake testimonials? Once you have 50,000 or let's say like 10,000, you stop, whatever, maybe throw one or two to keep it fresh. 55,000, are they trying to make it look like that a company is making more income than it actually is. And then having Cayman Island accounts, you all do two and two. I'm just saying 
None of it fucking adds up. None of it fucking adds up. If you have fake, fake, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, a counselors. By the way, uh, that uh, fat chick who eats a bunch of fucking food on on YouTube and then goes, "I'm going on a diet." Uh, uh, Ashley, what was her name? Ashley, something. I'll I'll find the link for you guys. But she said that BetterHelp had a counselor who who actually diagnosed her with a binge eating disorder, which anyone Amberlyn Reed. Amberlyn Reed. Thank Reed. you. Thank you. Uh, who uh, yeah, with, um, binge eating disorder. Which, first of all, I was gonna say, like, like anyone, you don't have to be even like fucking doctor to figure that out. But, but still, counselors and therapists cannot fucking, you know, um, what we call a uh, diagnose you. It's like not allowed. Like it has to be like through a doctor. In fact, in their, in yeah. their, um, well, PewDiePie, PewDiePie went over all this, the uh, the testimonies and stuff. But one thing that they did change just recently, which was interesting, is that I think they. I think Alan Matta, the CEO, said something like they had treated like millions of people, and somebody did the math saying with this number of counselors, divide that by the time that it's been up, and the number of patients he claims has been treated, um, it would be literally impossible for it everybody to get it. But they reduced that die. number. <laughs> everybody, uh, they reduced that number to whatever it was before to five hundred thousand. So they they're like they're yeah, fudging four million to four hundred thousand. They took a zero off. Here's the uh, thing. Look, look, people are going, Andy will be sunsetted tonight. Look, look, I want you to all know one thing. If I fucking die, I was right. Suck it. Please don't kill me, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying I was right. I'm not saying I was right about anything. I'm just throwing out, here's all what happened. Here's all the facts. Here's And, and then Philly D's like, oh, we changed the terms of service. Yeah, what about this, 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 this? He's sweating fucking bullets now. And now every fucking YouTuber is like, all right, if he's not going down now, Aria, oh, you sucked his dick, right? That's it, man. Fucking Philly D. Fucking oh, Philly. yeah, Andy, I can't wait to talk to you about that information you have on Hillary Clinton and John Podesta tonight. They're it's going just, down. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. I thought Jim was supposed to do that. No, oh, no, I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> Someone else is going to have to take that. Thank you all for the invitation. I'm going to go prepare my show. Love to you all. Yeah, have a good one, man. Peace out, Jeff. Oh, one more thing, by the way. I may, and by may, I, I most likely do, and by the most likely I do, have something, but I have to just go over all the information tonight that might make Sargon not look good. You could have just played back clips of him talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I have to confirm everything. I don't want to just go. You know, here, here. No, no, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, so I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm going to keep. Uh, you know, checking it out, scanning it. But it looks pretty bad from what I've seen. But um, yeah, we'll double check. We'll double check first. <laughs> well, yeah, but I have to go over everything uh, tonight because if I, like, I don't want to look like a fucking idiot. Yeah. I don't know. You know if you can, if you can make him look worse than he did today, I'd be uh, legitimately impressed. Yeah, I, I, oh, it's, you know, I'm not gonna say anything. Just, just in case, just in case, I'm not gonna pull a old Andy or a new Sargon. Fucking idiot. I'm sweating now. I'm scared. <laughs> No, no. Well, I'm scared about the last thing I just dropped, but you, th you think Philly D hates me? Anyway, uh, how good is it? Let's just say if 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 all this, like I've seen it, I just have to put it like in chronological order and make sure that it's all legit, you know, all that. If this is true about Sargon, you he, said you weren't going to try to hype it up, and here you are oh, trying I'll, to hype this up. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. Hashtag Sargon New 2.0. Oh. oh Jim, it involves you too, man. Uh -oh. You too. oh, oh, oh. Uh, are there any felines involved, Andy? What? Okay, what if you're not getting that, then we're talking about two different things. All right, that's good. Well, I'm looking forward to your information. <laughs> <laughs> there's emails, there's uh, emails, some some messages, some stuff, and... Now, Andy, I just have to warn you, because you weren't around in 2014. 
Mm-hmm. If if a queen happens to tell you she verified something, throw it away. It's not going to be any use to you. Or maybe tomorrow we'll fucking do some other things. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I like how he walked that back the moment you threw in the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe it's not fucking the thing. It's, it's the rhythm of the night. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just a picture of him sucking a dick. Hmm? Is it is it uh, Nigel Farage's dick? Let's hope so. See, I was gonna say you have a picture of him at VidCon with Blair White, but see, you took it a different direction than where I would have went. Oh, with it. oh, then never mind. Yeah, they're like, all right. Yeah, tomorrow's still on. <laughs> By the way, I was oh, muted. Oh, you guys could hear me. The stream couldn't hear me. So yes, the nicely meme is true. done. Ralph. The meme is true. I was muted for about five oh. minutes. So. No, sorry, sorry. Okay, now that you bring it up, uh, that up. Okay, then never mind. Because like you'll know what I mean tomorrow. It all makes sense. This but is- yeah, it it it's pretty like it just pretty much shows uh, that he doesn't. All right, here it is. All right, here's a little hint. If it's true, he doesn't give a fuck about the facts and will use something to throw certain people under the bus. Yeah, he said that he lies when it's convenient. Yeah, he said that already on the stream. Yeah, I know, but I have evidence of a lie. No. It's going to be a se- it's going to be a, a segment of this and then we're going to make fun of him. Probably make fun of his suit. You giving us a little tease then, huh? It sounds like it. No. This better be good. This better be better than a boogie saying six million Jews on live stream trying to talk about his views. <laughs> yeah, he did say that. I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw it, but he was doing a live stream talking about the heat he had gotten for showing up on the certain Holocaust denial live stream. And uh, he was talking about his metrics for some reason, and just I, it was a Freudian slip. He was looking at his views and said, "Yeah, you know, we're, we've gone down to six million Jews." And he, <laughs> it, oh yeah, no I remember that clip. Do we have a link to that? Because I would like to play you that. Gotta play that because it's it's fucking hysterical. Uh, there's a I sent you a time code. I think. Let me try uh, is it in my? Okay, let me look. I know you posted in the chat earlier, but I don't have that like uh, fresh. Give me. A- Okay. Let's see. Uh, boogie. I mean, it's really short, but it's pretty funny. Okay, we'll see. And then I think we might we might end it with the with the six million. The All right. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna jump. Yeah. I, I'll tune in tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to the to the reveal, Andy. Should be entertaining. All right. Thank you for joining uh, us, man. Appreciate it. All right. Are you, are you, are you, are you right? doing a show tonight, or is this your? Yeah, show Yeah, I think we're gonna do a show tonight. Yeah. Okay. So, tune in for that too. All right. Take it easy, guys. Right, Later, Jim. Peace. Have a good one. All right. Do you have the clip, Josh? Let me see. I'm might... scrolling through my chat history to try to find those because it, it's worth it. Hold on, let me look. I have it timestamped too in chat if I can find it. Uh, I think Ooh. the the link that I have is timestamped. Let me try this. Was well, that Sargon in the chat? Is it? It's not a. It's not a video, dude. It's it's literally a. A nice little like it's like a ha 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 fuck yeah oh my oh, god oh sorry yeah that? that's actually his account I think yeah I think that's a the one I just sent you okay yeah I think this is it right here let's I'm play not saying it. it's gonna ruin his life okay guys all right let's play it uh right now uh, not everybody has it but I'm just gonna play it anyway let's play it right now these are negative uh down to like six million views a month which is fine what? that's more than enough to su- survive hold on, on hold on, hold on. Uh, down to like six million Jews a month, which is fine. Down to six million Jews per month. That's Perfect. Boogie, Boogie himself speaking. <laughs> oh my god, it's a tragedy. One more time, just for fun. One more time. Things are positive. Some things are negative. Uh, down to like six million Jews a month, which is fine. That's six million. Down to six million Jews. Wow. That is that is a textbook Freudian slip. That is com- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oy All right, gentlemen. Like, uh, oh wait, go ahead. I, I, was say, I was I was listening to it in the background and when he said that, like <laughs> everything I was doing came to a came So to were a you listening to that stream like, normally because or did somebody send that to you? 
uh, they sent this clip of like, hey, you oh, know, okay, okay, was okay. talking about talking about his appearance on the kill stream. I'm like, oh, oh I'll put okay. it on in the background. Yeah. Eleven minutes, and then it said six million Jews. <laughs> 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 like fucking no six million per month oh. <laughs> mr worski thank you for joining us thanks guys uh peace out i appreciate it gators dan josh thank you gentlemen as well thank you anytime as always all right peace out we're gonna do as of now we're gonna do a stream tonight i haven't fully committed but i do believe we're gonna do a kill stream tonight so might be a shorter one though we'll see i don't know Anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate it, man. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Uh, oh, there. We'll, we'll show that meme. I do have some stuff to do. Read these super chats. Oh, my God. Can I get through them all? Uh, Lord Akira says, Only after Boogie, Sam Hyde, and Keemstar make appearances on the kill stream does Sargon decide it's worth his time. Really activates the old almonds, doesn't it? HH says, For Sargon, why do you, did you use a video of Jim exposing a pedo as evidence of him being one? Kaner says, Uploaded, upload this before bedtime. I'm freaking working. Lime says, Carl Smug, Chuckle, Brainlet, Benjamin needs to take a long walk off a short pier. Press 1 to chuckle. Press 2 to forget your mic was muted. God damn it. I just did that a few moments ago. So, uh, Jessica Ustas says, Ryan, press S, you whore. RES says, can you ask Sargon if there's any opening in his Applebee's branch? I'm looking for a new job. Schmeebs says, How dare you stream during the Kumite's time slot? Lord Rap of Rap Mountain says, Sargon, are you an NPC? Apocalypse Lemon says, How to admit you're wrong without admitting you're wrong? That guy from that thing says, Excuse me, waiter, I ordered a side of word salad, not an entree. Mike Nolan says, Colonial versus Mainlander, Nolan versus Sargoon. C3O says, For fuck's sake, Jim, are we burn chat down? FF, or for fuck's sake, maybe, I don't know. Sock account says, what prompted this? Sponge says, good to see you giving smaller streamers a chance on your channel, Ralph. I wanted to read that out earlier, but I just got caught up in the conversation. I was going to read that out while Sargon was here. Uh, Das Pooch in Gulf City says, it's a burden. That's what we call a job, you lazy fuck. The thing for you do for the Patreon shekels. Good lord. c 3 says, faggots press one. Literally nobody says, get Jim. Akujin says, I take Gotham from the corrupt, the oppressors of generations who have kept you down with myths of opportunity, and we give it back to you, the people. Gotham is yours. None shall interfere. Quan R.M. Klein says, Jim or Riot. Thick Wid says, Sargon, you're not as smart as you think you are. Slimek the Bear says, Soygon is a compulsive bragger. Please get Jim on the show. Indigo White says, yay, Jim. Hiram Wood says, I'm glad my job isn't as, stref- is, isn't as stressful as Sargon's. All I have to do is control air traffic and active military airspace and keep helicopters from flying into live artillery. Artillery. Sargon is the real hero. Pia Werfel says, Jim for the win. KTTK says, look at Sargoy trying to change the subject. Brent Herman says, Sargon, they're more concerned with real politics and politicians and leaders of nations, which you are none of those. Declan Reed says, Carl, if they come up to my waist, I'm getting a taste. Oh, my God. Benjamin should not be allowed a platform to spew as it is idiocy. Hashtag big brains matter. Problematic polar bear says, is he coked out for real? Uh, I don't know. Joha Al Wa Al Himar, whatever. Says, go easy on Grandpa Sargon. He's demented. Lord of says, Gamergate, one last world tour. David Supernor says, Sargon is like a jock who peaked in high school and wants to remember the good times when everyone else has moved on. Rick Nakeda says, Chuckles and Smugness. Phoenix76 says, What the fuck is he on about? Lead Pill says, Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Terrible coughing. Didn't say anything. Antarctic says, Ralph, it's been 15 minutes and now Killstream plus Sargon plus Hal. I love you. Lucky Contrarian says, This is just like the Rogan interview. Sargon bringing up some irrelevant bullshit like Gamergate and looks like a sped. Pure autismo. Spun says, Sargon talking to Jim as if he didn't call him a pedophile. Das Pooch in Gulf City says, This is what someone burned out on hard drugs sounds like. Get help, Carl. H Work says, He's learned nothing. This man's ego makes him a dangerous liability, not an asset. Go back to your lock, spark notes, and appetizers, Carl. Kai says, Ralph, bring on Mike Enoch. Gojira says, Sargon, yell that you need more dopamine. Havoc Rain says, what's he on about? Andrew K says, cocaine is a hell of a drug, all right? Mayo 101 says, my fellow white niggers. Uh, Siri say my name says, Bannon talking with Sargon, Kanye talking with Trump, and Jim still hasn't uploaded that Better Health video. Message deleted was the next one. Lord of Curious says, so is this, th- is this stream just for Sargon to pitch his weird Gamergate slash 2016 election fan fiction to 
script script to us or is there some real point to this um no as far as i know that was the actual that was the idea yeah tavid andro says i'm feeling i feel like i'm listening to the ramblings of either a washed up rock star trying to get his mojo back or a raving lunatic cindy t says sargon when they get tired from beating you hit them with the self-defense chuckles definitely lex says sargon you're a moron fatal oath says sigh sargon Sargon. Kilmo says, I guarantee Sargon has no idea there are, there is fe a federal Canadian election coming up soon. Joey Jojo says, your race is done. I'm taking over along with some undesirables, and that is cool. High five. I will remember to pay homage to the people who built this place. Thank you, Whitey. Pack the movie says, Sargon, you'll never be queen of England, you loser. Also, someone said, I kind of look like you, so please shave so I never get compared to you ever again. Dragonzord69 says, this is just brutal. Carl's totally oblivious to everyone making fun of him. My Gamergate. The Flush says, Sargon, you're a backstabbing sta homo brainlet. Still remember you using Sarkeesian tactics, Sarkeesian tactics on GG Revolt at the end of Gamergate because scary right-wingers. IT Weeb says, Sargon wants to bring back Gamergate and, ha and have them commit the next 9-11. Can't say I saw that one coming. Simon Scola says, Sargon is like the uncle from Napoleon Dynamite. He's reminiscing about when he wasn't a complete joke to everyone that even knows who he is. Shadow Angle says, Gamergate is small as fuck, but it's still going. Uh, Amber Oxide says, love the show. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Hyphen says, Sargon's low IQ intervention. Optic Decay says, I just want to know if Sargon's Sargon is for dinosaur nationalists. Gang, gang. Old Angry Normie says, Gamergate 2.0. I might actually die from the cringe. Sweet, sweet knee child says, say no to coke, kids. Akudin says, you're one step from Trump. You met Farage. Why don't you do it, Sargon? Yeah, why don't you do it? Uh, hyphen didn't say anything. Deleted. I think it's hyphen. Somebody deleted. Brightroot says, this idiot wants Trump to defend Gamergate. LML. The Mal says, you stopped talking about Sargon for a week and now he wants to be on the show. Really activates those almonds. Merlo Williams says, this is why no one takes you seriously, Sargon. Aaron Kokenauer says, cold takes so bad they destroyed the global warming. KTTK says, Igor V wants in. Let him join his master. Did he? I didn't see him if he actually wanted in. So, all right. Let me see here. Uh, where was that? Cheddar Cheese says, How does Soygon dig himself deeper in the autism hole with every word? Spurgmeister says, Jim hurt Sargon's feelings. Baron Barbatos or Barbados says, Sargon went full, full, <laughs> excuse me, Kurt Eichenwald. Uh, I misspoke there for a second. Holy shit, he said. CPB221 says, Please ask him what he meant when he said after the Spencer debate that he felt like he was kicking a puppy. Yeah, slip of the tongue there on the uh, on the last uh, super chat. Pa apologies, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know you you read so many in a row. Sometimes sometimes it slips happen. You know. All right. Plantation sensation says Carl get help. Paul says Sargon deserves respect for putting his head above the parapet. He's on a lot of UK SAW groups radar now and could end up like Tommy R and Dankula. KTTK says it's Sar Sargon, the rock and roll skeptic. He does cocaine. IT Weave says member Kekistan, member YouTube atheism. Karanak says Paul, no one gives a shit. Dragonzord69 says go for the juggler Jim. His gypsy handler can't help him. Old Angry Nomi says wellness check on Gator. He may have OD'd on Bleach. Yeti Freight says Gee golly, Mr. Spencer, ruined this man permanently. What a dumpster fire. I feel bad for Carl now. Hashtag God Emperor Medicare. Hashtag Ralph is real. Hashtag Balvini12. Son of Tiamat says, Sargon acts like an ex obsessive ex-girlfriend trying to make Jim jealous by conspiring to fix himself up with Trump senpai while plotting to destroy the popular girls, a.k.a. the alt-right. Chris Hill says, Stop getting so triggered at Sargon, Jim. Addicted420 says, Carl wants you guys to help start Gamergate again so he can be relevant again. Laughing my fucking ass off. Ha ha ha. And then a bunch of shit emojis. Lord Akira says, 24-hour collective internet ops, guys. Quan RM Klein says, Carl, puberty has nothing to do with age of consent. Lucky Contrarian has a smiley face with a gun pointed next to it. Laura Harvey says, did Bannon put this in your head, Sargon? I, yeah, we wondered that. 
IT Weeb says, Jim wanted to go at, at Soygoy for the grooming shit, but then he realized letting Carl talk does far more damage. Uh, Alarius says, if he was going to do this, wouldn't something ongoing like Comet's Gate be a better choice? Excuse me, Charlie Willis says, I hope Jim finally wipes the floor with the, so floor with the soy father. Get bent, Sargon. Ali says, Coma may be Miss Gamergate, so I want a version two. I do not. I, I don't know. Version two, no, it's just... It's just not, I don't know, it's kind of insane. Uh, Mark Don says, Dion says, Sargon wants to make a new enemy because he fears the gym and the alt-right. Daniel Minifrego says, Soygon of Bubbles is a big brain nibba. You brainlets just don't understand the depths of his 20-year plan. Chris Cross says, Old man boomer Sargon. Gamergate is dead and Trump will not gain anything from a dev dead movement that Jim helped create. Move on, old man boom. Old man boom. I've never heard of that before. Apocalypse Lemon said, I can't afford this, Sargon. 7,000 people are watching you plot an op on the biggest video platform online. If it happens, they'll all point to this. You'll be an idiot. No one will care. Nick Kicken says, Jim is sounding like a cunt and Sargon is being a pushy. It's like two Vag men having a sleep boxing fight. Leapshin is lolling at this. Winner, Leapshin, loser, all of us. H.R. Uh, Hacken says, Hello, this is Bully Hunter 1488. We're about to start a bully hunt. Dizzy Dizzle says, wait, what? Just tune in. What the fuck? Why did I miss this? Antarctic says, Ralph, launder the shit out of this, daddy. Andrew Benz didn't say anything, but gave a super chat. Thank you. Definitely Lex says, is this a troll? I don't think it was. No. WT says, why? W why? FBI investigates Gamergate. Why? 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 What am I even listening to? Why is he chuckling? Pluto says, in the media says, idea discussed and streamed by racist British man makes it to Trump Twitter feed because you're talking about this publicly. Yeah. Apache Chief says, so how often do you think Sar Sargon Sargon says, will you let me finish, Jim, while jacking off to his wife getting railed? The Dacian chronologue says, I stop hating on boomers. Y'all over 14 already. Alex Blackfoot says, I come back to talk of Gamergate. What year is it? 2014? Groovy Snake says, Trump bringing up Gamergate at this point has no strategic value whatsoever. Sargo is a, is a disruptive agent at this point. Disavow. Shakai says, Sargon looked disgusting. Smug chuckling in his cheap suit before the EU. Very disrespectful. Too Many Cuck says, is this a UKIP psyop? Akujin says, cocaine is a hell of a drug. 6-8 Toast says, Sargoon, you are a degenerate idiot. I like the spike man says, Jim, internet, <laughs> internet insanity, Sargon win. Ali says, Baron Trump is a gamer. Use him to get to Trump. Lucky Contrarian says, this is more autistic than that time you had some guy on. Lord Akira says, guys, I think I'm having a stroke from all of this. CPB221 says, Sargon, I'm very serious. I have a suit. Sargon gets rejected from politics. Sargon, let's own the libs and bring back Gamergate. Beaner Brigade says, Sargon on 24-hour coke ops. Chikai says, I think we've hit peak gay. Omer Oknod says, Ralph, how does this level of content just fall into your lap? Is this fucko really begging openly for a personal army? Yeah, we've had a lot of good content just absolutely just fall in our laps, and it continues to happen. And I really hope it keeps happening because it's been great. <laughs> uh, Cedon Desert says, Jesus Christ, this is so dumb. Sargon really can't get over Gamergate, can he? I don't know. It appears that way. Simon X says, Sargon is trying to destroy the alt-right, redeem him plus skeptics by juxtaposing the alt-right with them and using media scrutiny that Trump would get my tweeting Gamergate leading to pur to a purge big picture. Uh, WT says, this will either be the worst or the best Ralph retort this week. Jesus Christ. LF Quest says, Sargon sounds like Charlie trying to explain Pepe Silva. He's trying to use a corpse of a movement to prop up his dying channel. Joey says, doesn't Sargon realize that Gamergate is dead? It's four years old now. The movement doesn't exist. Asking Trump to comment on it is like asking him to comment on Watergate. Does Sargon have Alzheimer's? Yeah, that was my whole point throughout the whole conversation that... Yeah, if Gamergate was on and active, getting him to comment on it might be feasible. I don't really think it's either feasible or, or really wanted at this point. It just doesn't seem that logical. I, I talked about this while he was on. I just, it just doesn't really make sense. Uh, Euler108 says, Sargon, you're retarded and insane. Zemeckis Lebowski says, old Gamergate head here. Just let it die, Sargon. Dobu says, Sargon of Applebee sounds a lot like Brianna Wu, but gayer. <laughs> 
Next, he's going to bring up Moon Rocks. Seriously, Carl, nobody cares about Gamergate anymore. Build it, says Sargroom of a kid. John R. Super Chat didn't say anything. Tog Professor says, digging up Gamergate just sounds like Soygon trying his hardest just to be relevant. Him and Monday Matt riding on their old Gamergate fame. It's pathetic. Dad92 says, put chat in slow mode, you fuck. I will never do that. Chat's not going in slow mode. Chat, tell them to fuck slow mode. We'll never do that. Just let it out now. Slow mode. What? Huh? Never. I mean, sometimes I won't be able to read it because of that. But no, we're not doing slow mode. We are not. Now, I did, I did take one room on the Discord and put that in slow mode. So one chat I put in slow mode on Discord just so I would. Uh, there were people, you know, doing a bunch of image stuff. So I did do that at one point, but. Uh, Chakai says, Sargon has gone full circle and become Brianna Wu. Bex Fire says, come on, Carl must be trolling you guys with this goofy covert op idea that or he's gone full retard. Dicker John says, SJW's games are dying on the open market. Is GG even needed? Heather S says, Carl's ideas equals interview with mainstream media. It'll be great. Create a new party and let's call it liberalist. It'll be great. Pick a fight with Jim. It'll be great. Get Trump to tweet about Gamergate. It'll be great. Also, no, I cannot be bothered to support Tommy Robinson. Fuck you, Google. This is just sad. Shauna Olson says, leave our president alone. Fix your own country. Uh, Debrika Goodman says, someone needs to shoot Sarkoon of Farcod on the joke is on them when I was just pretending to be retarded meme. Do it, Reddit. Old Angry Nomi says, 4 p.m. PM and I've started drinking, thinking about this half-ass public op. A few dozen shots and it might start sounding like a good idea. Samantha Hyde says, look on the bright side, gentlemen. At least he's not trying to bring back Kekistan. Well, he still talks about that all the time. So, Kara Nealon says, Sargon's gay Trojan horse attempt to distract from his sheer stupidity. Uh, Langer Lord has a bunch of pictures of... I can't tell what that is. Is that a fucking... What is that? A brontosaurus? Oh, a sauropod. I didn't even realize that was a fucking emoji. A sauropod emoji. Dinosaur emoji. Oh, it's for the dinosaur. Okay, I got it. His wife's dinosaur. Uh, Nani Dotto says, we are anonymous. We are legion. Piss off Sargon. Chakai says, not your personal army. Guns down in hell says, what is the payoff? What is the payoff? A laugh is not good enough. Lone says, Ralph check DMs. Demand 7777 says, come on, gay ops. Apache says, Sargon, Carl, please stop. Richard Spencer is right, but who cares? I know your feelings are hurt between him and Jim, but it does get better. It's not your fault, man. Step away from the ledge. Still burning studios says, Sargon, we ordered mozzarella sticks. When we got here and still haven't got them, I want to see your manager. Asho says, this is the makeup shotgun of movements. Uh, Shabo Shekel says, anything Sargon touches turns to death just like his career. Dave says, Sargon is a fucking idiot. I can't believe I used to respect this guy. PC Principal says, ask Sargon how many days he's been awake snorting cocaine. Tog Professor says, ideas like this got Soygon fired from Applebee's. Commodus X says, tweet at Trump that Sargon's a terrorist. Okay, thumbs up. Spurgon of Kokostan says, why come to Ralph? Just do it yourself. Criss Cross says, Soygoon is that old man that is shaking his fist at the moon. Soygoon. Booker T. Booker T in the chat, five-time world champion, says it would be funnier to see Trump denounce Sargon. That would be pretty funny, too. Recovery Nama says, this is a ploy by Sargon to get you guys to stop making fun of him. He wants you to focus on this Gamergate 2.0 instead of going after him. What a faggot. Dave says, lost all respect for him forever. Cheeseburger Walrus didn't say anything. Weston Redwood says, Sargon needs more dopamine. Oswald 2020 says, will Sargon deny the fact that he drinks foreskin tea on Sabbath? Dizzy Dizzle says, who can say where the road goes, where the day flows? Only Tom. And who can say if your love grows as your heart chose? Sargon, no. Jaker17 uh, says, let's forget about our egos. Is hilarious coming from fat gay Riker. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Panarella says, I need a drink after that cringe fest. Sargon, what the fuck? Chris Hell says, Sargon, not trolling Ralph. Trolling the SJW article writers that watch your stream. There are still media place pieces talking about Gamergate. It's alive for the left. Conran Black says, he's doing it to get shielded from trolling. Uh, not a good... I don't think that's going to succeed, but if that's the case. Zeitgeist Official says, not many shekels today, lads, and I joined at the tail end of the Soy Father's call to arms. Is he trying to fuck the dead horse back to life? Uh, yeah, he is. Google is bad. It's his theory. Sargon Spurgeon has alienated him from 
many groups, and all he has left is to try to start Gamergate again. Imagine how desperate he must be to go back on everything he has said. Hugs and kisses. He'll turn news, says, Where's my $5, JF? As Mahound says, UK fan, finally awake to throw money at you. Love your stuff as a fellow Ralph. I fully support your Ralph Amell status. Thank you, As Mahound. Kenny Jones says, Sargon's plan is theoretically possible, but the overall benefits wouldn't justify the trouble would be involved. I'm confused. Dractonus, good video, Dractonus, minus the audio. I turned it up a little bit. Says, JF and Andy could do a charity show next heel stream. Yeah, I really think that would be fun. Keon Green says, how about instead of Gamergate 2, we do NSDAP 2. Chikai says, show us your grabber, grabbler, JF. Noble Savage says, JF equals 100% Pakistani. I might have to hit on him if that was true. But Dave says, Sargon is so out of it. He is just embarrassing us from the UK now. If I'm part, I am part of UKIP, but Sargon is an embarrassment now. Love the kill stream, Ralph. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate that. Mr. Man says, JF doesn't want to share his potato chip money. Lord of Curious says, Sargon's... Hold on. Uh, <laughs> 1,200... Wait, 1,020... Wait, 100... 125,617D chess. Very easy for me to say. The Dacian chronologue says... A Dakian chronologue, excuse me, says you let Jim feed him so 19 points out the window. Let me search and save that because I have more to read. Let me look and see where that was. Uh, how far was that? Uh... Ah, fuck it. Let's finish. Puppet Pal Clem says, Sargon, I think your problem is you're full of shit. Andrew Connor says, your volume is kind of low. Is that on my end? It might be on my end. Uh, sometimes with this new mic, if I'm not right up on it, it'll be it'll be even lower. Uh, Valkyrie Slayer 11 says, Sargon came out as an autist on National Coming Out Day. Spike Tra Strat 13 says, Shillip De Shekel. Ear Juice says, come on, Boogie 1488 song for outro after that clip. OBGYN Kenobi says, where will this be posted for those of us who are at work earlier? It'll be posted right there. I'll probably leave it up here for at least 24 hours. But it'll be posted on that archive link that I just now put out. And it'll also be on the podcast site. Uh, see more. And, uh, and there's links in the description, too, for other podcast places. You can get it. Stitcher and iTunes and all that. Seymour says, Sargon, the NPC that sends you on the most useless quest. Apple Fritter says, better help said Andy Stutter would all be gone. Kyle Dawson says, these shekels are for Mr. Medicare. Forward it. Um, I'm not. Uh, well, uh, OK. Next time I see him, I'll super chat him. How about that? Uh, I mean, next time I see a stream. Give her the D says the better help guy should go to Comet King Ping Pong. The Bone Zone says laughter is stored in the balls. Mr. E Man TK says conspiracy. Remember how the courting called the cops on Boogie for asking him to hire a hitman? I don't think they said he called the cops, did he? I don't know. What would he do if a Magic the Gathering ref asked him what was the best thing about fucking 28 year olds? I don't know. Soft insubordination says, this is awesome. You guys need to have that law and order sound queued up for every time you guys put shit together. The Anime Alliance says, quartering shilling for Philly D shekels now. H Work says, Andy, don't be a brainlet. Buggy asked for ne negative experiences in exactly the same way DeFranco did. Also kept saying how trustworthy DeFranco is. Salty Pickle says, Philip the platform, D platform. Salty Pickle says, soy goy of Arlock wants to, the gamer gators to restart gamergate and get daddy drunk to tweet it to his own libtards oh excuse me to own the libtards that makes more sense yes anime alliances can jim recommend a lolly anime with decent plot i don't know if he can maybe i'll try to remember that next time evan mollering says should have gone with it to try and get him to upload a announcing gamergate 2.0 video alternate keck says sargon and medicare fan i don't care about drama i watch both too Many Cucks says, Ralph, remember when you said you'd be the last person to leave Gamergate? I don't remember that at all. You're That's fake news. No way. Fake news there. Thank you. Too Many Cucks. Not like I've known you for years, you fucking faggot. All right. Joey Jojo says, I put money... <laughs> I put money... Wait. I put money to that lift because Shannon had big boobs. Yeah. Ferd Reich says, The cats at my rescue are smart enough to know not to shit where they sleep. Of the hundreds I've run fecal exams on, I've never come across one with Toxo. When I do, I may weaponize it in pets too, of course. Some people in chat actually remember that too. False memories. Obviously a false universe that you guys have slipped into. 
like the the Berenstain. Is it the Berenstain? I may be quoting wrong. <sighs> Apache Chief says, looking at the Venti leaks, holy fuck, this is a flashback to that guy making coconut bread with a katana. Spike Tra Strat 13 says, Venti's apartment smells of cat piss, socks, and soil pads. Big Guy Project CIA says, uh, Sterons also mess up, mess with... Mess up your head. Okay. It, it's it's choppy. Not my fault. Hormones are going haywire and affect the mood. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't do PCT and had high estrogen. Uh, Yeah, we did talk about it. Uh, well, I have some info on that. Anyway, I can't talk about it right now. Lord of Curious says, is a 10-minute video about some Pajit Canadian rubbing his Canadian, rubbing his genitalia against a television screen entertaining? The answer is no. Salty Pickle says, Niger Ralph. Skelton says, Jim, let Jade come on the kill stream. You can't deny your lady the right to patrol e-thoughts. Kaner says, Trump tweeting he enjoys kill stream on YouTube. Oh. Sono Sonoski says, Jade versus Venti tonight at 11. Make it happen, Ralph. Flamenco says, get Jade on. Blood for the blood god. Groovy Snake says, Ralph gets sticks. Carl tried to recruit him earlier. Lord Akira says, I hope Sargon flies to Jim's house and nails his 95 theses on how even more ethics and journalism that need to be employed to Jim's front door. Hashtag GG2. Apocalypse Lemon says, what if he got Bannon to push it to Trump and Trump is already going to tweet it just so he could smugly chuckle? That might be the plan if we give him a lot of credit. Yeah, maybe. Old Anger Normie says, the troll revolves around getting people to take you seriously. Sargon failed from the jump. Jetson says, everyone tweet, hashtag Gamergate at Trump. The look on the lib's face will be epic. Quote Sargon. Plantation Sensation says, still leading him along. Mr. Man says, he won this interaction. He came to get you to talk about him and he succeeded. Stop talking about him and he fails. I would argue that the whole show has been a massive success, but uh, Yerman's Bucks, your mom's Bucks, God damn it, your mom's box, fuck, says time to add a new door to the Sargon Reaper image. O, O two one two says Gamer Eight Two Point is actually being talked about on Twitter. What the fuck? This is weird. Maybe part two of his plan is working, or like the rest of us, people are laughing at his stupid. RC smug bastard self. LOL band says Worski sucks jick dick. JF likes special girls. Universal and Pretty says Gamergate, Gamergate, Gamergate. You just don't understand Gamergate. Mike Nolan says sorry for the personal words, cunt. Uh, TJD says JF and Andy, Starcross lovers reunite. Dude bro, McYolo swag says 100% a bad troll. Notice all the time spent on Gamergate too. Uh, 0212 says as a Brit, let me inform you that Sargon is a joke over here in all circles. I, we, wish he'd sawed off completely. He's a laughable turd. Not even funny, really. What a prick. Master Grade 25 says, Null and Marissa struggle one on. We had them both on. Linatar says, You guys would like Sargon if Jim told you to. Try having an original thought once in a while. Jonas Traber says, Soygoi interviewed Bannon. He's now one degree of separation from Trump. And uh, I think that's all the super chats. Oh, I need something to drink, not liquor, just something to moisten my palate I got through them all though let me check Streamlabs just to double check by the way people who are still here thank you for uh, sticking that out and thank you for the super chats and thank you for watching as well I think did we I don't know if we broke the viewer record we got really close let me look so we had 8100 so we pretty much tied the viewer record we had another 8100 tonight or this afternoon for sorry, imagine if it was at our regular time slot, we probably would have had ten thousand uh, watching that. If we'd had all day to promote that, there's no telling, no telling what we would have done. I would say that's pretty good for an unannounced stream in the middle of the day. Uh, let's see. Yep, we read them all. Oh, wait, two more. MZ says, "Cast in the name of God, ye not guilty, and for Donga." Puppet pal Clem says, "Sargon, I think your problem is you're full of shit." I think I already, I already read those. Okay. I read them all. Thank you. I haven't decided. We may or may not put off tonight's show because it's ended up being a little bit more of a marathon than I envisioned. I'll, I'll let you guys know on Twitter within the next hour or so whether we're going to do the 10 o'clock show. Uh, I know Venti's scheduled to come on, but we might have to move that to Friday if we don't do it. So, anyway. Oh, I see some people saying do it. Can't do another, do another three hours tonight? Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do it and move it back to 11. I don't know. Oh, what, Ranbot's here? 
you know what? Just for just for fun. Rambo, what are you doing? Oh, hey, do him, mate. What are you dragging up the rear here? You know the show's over, right? Oh, well, you know, I've been having a little bit of a personal crisis, mate. A little uh, having a night of the long soul. A little bit of personal doubt. Oh, well, what's what's happening? What's going on? Well, I just I, I just think I've um, I've lost my mojo. I've been outshone, mate. I mean, after seeing Diogenes absolutely um, strip, you know, strip your hide off in a unambiguous, unqualified victory over you, and then That's having tough. Sargon come in today and just blow you out with his superior ideas, I just I just don't think I can cut the mustard. You know, it's been a hard week here on the kill stream. These people, you know, they keep they keep coming in and <laughs> you know breaking our viewership what? records and uh, you know. Helping with the super chat uh, contributions to the health of the program. They're really hurting my feelings every single night. I just, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to continue. Uh, it's, it's, look, it's been, it's, look, it, it, it's sort of blowing my mind because they just, um, they just seem to keep just wandering through the door. <laughs> you know, it's like, all right, Ralph, I'll fucking fight you. Boom. All right, here comes the next jump. All right, Ralph, I'll fucking fight you. Boom. It's, <laughs> It just keeps like, falling like in my a, lap, man. It's crazy. I mean, I I do believe there's a there's a sh- certain shamanistic um, inclined man who's a big fan of um, oiling himself up and getting near naked and wrestling other men who claims to have a hundred to hundred to zero victory streak. But uh, I think you might actually have a good shot at having that title for real. Well, the kill stream is qu- on quite a roll. I have to say, uh, we'll, we'll see how long we can keep it going. But yeah, it's been, just, just think about this week. Okay. So last week was insane. Boogie came on. We had insane show mm. after insane show, you know, big numbers. And it's not all about the numbers. I mean, the shows were actually, I felt like they were quality as well. And then you look at this week and shit's just blown up even further. How It can't, at a certain point it has to stop, right? It can't keep going like this, can it? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, every time I thought there was, it was going to stop ramping up, something else had land. I mean, the the better health thing just came at the tail end of of uh, the other stuff, and just as everyone's everyone's sort of um, done done better health to death, and it turns out, um, you know, I don't. I suspect the Philip DeFranco thing is going to keep rolling on for a while. I think it's going to become a lot more about him. But uh, then Sargon just come. And it just comes running into the room with the mysterious white white powder under his nose, uh, letting everyone know that he's got a brand new idea and he really needs all of you to hear it. But shh, it's a secret. And if you think we ought to keep quiet about it, it's all right. We can just walk it back in front of thousands of people. Yeah, I, I don't know. He was he was so happy and excited about it. I don't think it was a troll. Uh, uh, we talked about this a million times already, but I, I I really think he was he was serious about it. Well, Allow me to be the 100th and 45th person tonight to um, speculate that that uh, happiness may be somewhat chemically stimulated. Yeah, that's, that's been speculated. Uh, I don't know. You know, they do say it causes a little a little temporary euphoria there, maybe. I don't know. It you does. know what's funny that's is the, I had a whole uh, list of drama yeah. topics, and one of the topics was cocaine. Uh, and we, we, didn't, we didn't get a chance to talk to that, but you know what? I might actually Don't tweet worry. out. I have a feeling that topic might be getting revisited very soon. I might actually <laughs> tweet out. Cause I had like, I have a list here. It's nothing huge. It's just a few. Cause I only had two hours to prepare and really only had about an hour. Cause I had to go do something real quick. So I just sit there Man, and fuck, jot it down some stuff. Why even bother with show content when people are just going to keep rolling nice juicy apples your way like this? Yeah. I mean, you really I mean, don't I suppose, have to do I, I guess quick. you can't. You can't really rest on your laurels and just expect Sargon to walk through the door with a brand new retarded idea every 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 day. But uh, yeah, well, I <laughs> mean, good stuff keeps happening. Um, Rand, thank you. I'm glad. You know well, what? I'm glad I pulled you. Wait, oh, is Negro Joe? Are you actually yeah. still here, Negro Joe? Hey, I saw him in the green room. Oh, I pulled. Hey, him what's in. up? Yeah, what's up? Hey, is, yeah, what's going on? Not much. Let me get uh, my headphones on real quick. Okay. You sounded different. I thought that was fake Negro Joe for a second. That's actually him. Help us close it down, Negro Joe, because I was about to sign off, and I was like, oh, Negro Joe's still there. You drag him in for a minute. I just got uh, two things to say. Uh, One, PewDiePie is a child rapist. No, God. I disavow. Go ahead. What's the second one? 
18 naked cowboys in the shower. <laughs> Ram, Ram. <laughs> cocks wanting to be sucked. 18 naked cowboys wanting to be fucked. Wait, <laughs> cowboys in the showers at Ram, Ram. All right, that's it. That's it. We're closing it down. Thank you, Negro Joe. Oh, Thank you, Ramba. Thank you all. Farewell. It's just me now. All right, that was pretty good. I have to say. That was excellent, actually. All right, where, where's the? Should I play the? I, I know we still have a a lot of Aussies. You know, we just had Rambot here, as well. So, I feel like we should play the the Aussie. <laughs> Negro Joe, that was pretty good. All right, let's see. I th I feel like we should play the Aussie farewell. Uh, if I can find it, Ram Ranch. That was the perfect way to end this stream. Just a complete sur surreal environment. Let's play it. Thank you, guys. Uh, you know what? You kind of shame me into doing a show tonight, so I guess we'll do another one. I mean, I don't know if we can do a full one. Yeah, we probably can. We'll probably do a full one. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll figure it out. But we might do it at 11 instead of 10, even though we've moved to the 10 time slot officially, just to give an extra hour because it's so <laughs> just three hours in between, so we'll probably do it at 11. Not at 10. If, if it happens, I'm leaning towards yes. We'll do it at 11. So. All right. Thank you guys for being so generous and supporting the show with your super chats. Thank you for just having fun. Uh, it's, it's been another, it's been another event here on the kill stream. I'll see you guys at 11 PM. And I'm muted? Are you serious? Fucking Google. Oh my God. How does this even happen? Oh, fucked up. You know what I did? I clicked off screen and I was playing it, playing it on Google Drive. And I was actually hollering about Race Mix at Ralph and you couldn't even hear it because I was muted. Fuck! You can hear this though. Fuck that! All right, fuck it. The beauties of live programming. Thank you all.
fucking guitar solo. Oh shit. Do it. <laughs>